what's up with a happy Roblox family. Oh my gosh, I love human TV! Look at that adorable hamster! Yeah, Dan, if I could actually see the TV. Can you put your wings away? Oh, sorry. <laughs> my wings are so huge! I know, I can't see anything when you're around! Sorry, <laughs> they just keep growing and growing and growing as I get older. I know, our wings as angels will keep growing. Maybe we should sit on separate couches. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. Are you eating another taco? Well, I am pregnant, and this baby wants to eat everything. I don't remember anything about that. I mean, learning about that when, when we went to our, our pregnancy class. I mean, they said that you just eat normally as angels. Well, this baby wants me to eat everything in sight. Mmm, especially tacos. Mmm, this is delicious. How long do we have to wait until the baby is born? Well, at my appointment the other day, they said it could be any minute. Wait, what? Any minute? Why didn't you say something? We have to pack a bag and snacks, and we need to do all of this stuff before the baby comes. It will be fine, Dan. I'm telling you, don't worry about a thing. Mm, this is delicious. Laura, we have to be prepared. Um, I think you might be right, Dan. Well, why do you say that? Because my stomach hurts. The baby's coming. What? The baby's coming? Ah! Wait a minute. Maybe it's not actually the baby. Maybe it's just you ate all that food. <laughs> Oopsie. <laughs> I think you're right. Really? Sorry. I didn't mean to toot. Angels don't do such things. Oh, come on. Even angels fart. <laughs> oh, my stomach still hurts, though. Oh, no. I think the baby might actually be coming. What? Seriously? Yeah. Oh my gosh, we gotta get to the hospital right away. Okay. Well, um, can you get the car? I don't feel so good. Oh, uh, Laura, why are you riding in the back of the truck? Because my wings are too big and, and I can't fold them down because my stomach hurts. Just drive to the hospital. Okay. I hope you're not too cold back there. Ah, it's freezing! Coming through, coming through! Oh my, what seems to be the problem today, sir? My wife, she's about to have our adorable angel baby. Well, of course she is. You are at the angel hospital after all. Are you the doctor? Yes, I'm Dr. Smith, and I can help you deliver your baby today. Okay, I I'm really nervous. I've never had a baby before. Don't worry, having an angel baby is a breeze. You can take her into any room that's available. Actually, all three are available right now. Anyone you want to go to. Okay, I'll take her to room two, doctor. I'll be in to examine your wife shortly. I just have to finish this email. Ah, oh, my stomach, it hurts so bad. Oh. Well, um, let's take a look and see how your baby is doing. Oh my. Your stomach is making some very funny rumbling sounds. I think perhaps we should take your wife to x-ray. Really? Is everything okay? I'm sure it is, but I just want to make sure. What was your name again? Dan. And this is my wife, Laura. Okay, Dan and Laura. Well, we're just double-checking to make sure everything's okay. Uh, I will send in a nurse to get you and bring you into x-ray. Oh, I really feel terrible. Oh, this baby's definitely going to be an only child. Nonsense. Everyone has at least three angel babies. Every angel knows that. I know, but this baby's been crazy. Okay, let's just take a look at your x-ray. Oh, my. I've never seen anything like this. Y -y -y you're you're going to have a, uh, uh, a what? What am I going to have? A demon baby. Ah! I can't work.
work in an angel hospital with a demon. No, I quit. I quit. <laughs> Where's the doctor, Laura? What happened? Dan, we're in huge trouble. Wait, what? The baby. It's not normal. What do you mean it's not normal? <laughs> he or she's going to be our adorable little angel baby. Wait, are we having twins or triplets? Oh my gosh. I might need to get a second job. No, Dan. We're not having an angel at all. What do you mean? Are we having a puppy? A hamster? No! We're having a... A demon baby! What? A demon baby? This can't be! How did this happen? I don't know. One of us must have had a recessive gene. Dan? It was my great aunt Gertrude. She, she, she was part demon. What? Why did you tell me this before I married you? I didn't think it was a big deal. I mean, she's really far down in my bloodline. She was part demon! And now I'm having a demon baby! I don't know what to do. Well, you better learn how to deliver a baby because the doctor quit! Holy guacamole! I don't know how to deliver a baby! I know how to deliver babies. I'm a demon doctor. Huh? A demon doctor at an angel hospital? How'd you get a job here? I didn't. I applied, but they didn't want to give me a job just because I'm a demon. Isn't that rude? Actually, that is kind of rude. Why did they do that? I mean, if you're a good doctor. Because she's a demon! She can't get a job at an angel hospital if she's a demon. How are you even in this angel town? Well, I'm just different, I guess. Um, well, I don't see where we have a lot of options, Stan. We have to get this baby out, and it's a demon. Are you sure it's a demon? Let me take a look at the x-rays. Mm -hmm, mm hmm What does mm hmm mean? I feel very comfortable to be around a demon. Uncomfortable. I mean, I'm uncomfortable! That's what I mean! Dan, stop freaking out! I'm about to have a baby here, people! I don't see where it's an angel or a demon. What? Well, then what is this baby? Well, let's have you have the baby, and we'll find out. Okay, I think I'm going to pass out again. <laughs> Congratulations. You have an adorable baby girl. Aw, she is adorable, even if she doesn't have wings. But, but, but what is she? Well, maybe we should wake up your husband first from his nap. Ba, 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 ba. Dan, wake up! I had your baby! Wait, what? Wake up! Oh my gosh, I had a dream that it was... It was a... Wait a minute. It's just like my dream! It's a nightmare! It's not... It's not got any wings! Well, I have figured out what your baby is. According to my calculations, your baby is... Human. Wait. What? A human baby? How did this happen? Well, it turns out that my great uncle, Stu, was human. You didn't tell me that before we got married! Well, you didn't tell me that your great aunt was a demon or a half demon or whatever. I guess we both had our little secrets. Well, anyway, congratulations, Mom. And good luck, an angel's world with a human in it. <laughs> That's even worse than being a demon in an angel world. Mommy, Daddy, I'm hungry. Could you please make me something in the kitchen? Oh, dear, we don't actually cook our food. We just think it, and it is already here. Yeah, it's angel magic. Try it. What are you thinking of? I'm thinking of donuts and cupcakes. Ooh. Laura... Nothing's happening when she thinks about the food she wants. What happened to her magic? Dan, she doesn't have magic. She's not an angel. You mean we actually have to cook for this kid? Yeah, and we have to change all of her diapers, too. Oh my gosh. Having a human baby is insane. So many diapers. So many. Mommy, can you please get me a cupcake? Well, I first have to learn how to cook, and it might take a while. We better go down to Angel Diner and get you something to eat. Um, Mom, maybe you could just think of the cupcake and then I can eat it. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm not very good at that. I mean, I just think of things I want to eat. Well, that sounds selfish. What kind of angel are you? Don't talk to your mom like that. You have to sit in time out. Well, she kind of does have a point. Okay, let me try it. I'm thinking of a donut. Mm -hmm. So far, 
why nothing's happening. Where's my donut? That's not a donut! Well, it's close. I'm still working out this whole mom thing to a human. I guess I'll eat it. Thanks, Mom. It looks good. Whoa, this cookie's bigger than me. <laughs> well, is the cookie good? It's delicious! You guys are good parents, even if you are angels. Well, you're a good daughter, even if you are human. I guess we're just one happy family. Yeah, one happy family! So, Brookie, what did Luke say after you told him that? Oh, he didn't really say anything. He kind of just ran out of the room. Oh, my gosh. Daisy, why are you on my bed? Um, Brookie, I gotta go. My sister's being annoying. What? I am not, Molly. Okay, Molly, well, try not to fight too much. I love you both. You're both my best friends, and I want you guys to get along. You don't have sisters. You don't know what it's like. Daisy, why are you on my bed? Um, because, Molly, um, I accidentally spilled water on my sheets, and my bed is wet. I don't care. This is my bed. Get off of it. It's my property. Molly, I'm studying for my science test, and it's very important. Besides that, Dad's downstairs running the vacuum. I can't study down there, and I can't sit on a wet mattress. Ugh. Why do I have to share a room with my sister? That's it. I've had it. Mom! 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 What is it now, Molly? Oh, my gosh. I'm washing these dishes. Mom, I want my own room. No, I need my own room. Well, Molly, there's only one bedroom for you and Daisy. One for baby Kira, which you don't want a room with her because she's up half the night crying and needing a diaper and a bottle and... Ah! Why can't I have my own room? I'm the oldest. You get your own room. No, correction. I have to share it with your dad and he snores and talks in his sleep. Sometimes he even farts in his sleep. Ew, gross. Look, Molly... This is the house that your father and I can afford. Yeah, and it's great, isn't it? Even as an elevator. I never thought I'd live this amazingly. Oh, man, this house is great. Well, it doesn't seem that great to me. Why don't we buy one that has a, my own room and Daisy has her own room? Molly, you obviously don't remember what our first house was like. Yeah, Dan, she was too little. <laughs> but I remember that house like it was yesterday. Baby shark doo 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 Baby shark doo 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 Molly, be quiet! I can't hear Coco mowing. No, I want to sing it! Baby shark doo 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 You're super annoying, Molly. Oh, you're super annoying! Okay, girls, that's enough fighting. Come on in the kitchen. Your mom and I are making something delicious for dinner. I kind of hungry. Me too. I'm kind of hungry too. What are we having? Oh, look, girls. It's taco night. Are you excited? I'm excited. Are you excited, Molly? What's wrong, Molly? Why the sour face, honey? Oh, I don't want to eat any tacos. What? Why not, honey? You love taco night. It's so much fun. You get to make your own taco, and then it tastes so delicious, it goes into your tummy. I don't want to put anything in my tummy. Oh, do you have a tummy ache? Yeah, I have a really bad tummy ache all of a sudden. I think I think I need to go sit back down and watch Baby Shark. Oh, I think she just wants to watch Baby Shark instead of eat dinner. Um, Dan, you obviously don't know our daughter. <laughs> Her want to watch anything over eating tacos? I don't think so. She loves tacos. I really don't think she has any desire to eat dinner. She just acts like she doesn't feel good. Oh, my tummy really hurts. Oh, honey, I'm gonna go get you some medicine, okay? And you can drink some Pepto-Bismol. Maybe it'll make your tummy feel better. I don't wanna take medicine. I don't like medicine! Okay, honey, here's some Pepto-Bismol. I'm not taking it. I'm not taking it! Molly, come on, be brave, take deep breath. You can do this. Come on, Molly. You can take the medicine. It's okay. <laughs> I don't want it. I'm afraid. It's going to taste yucky. I'll give you a um, prize. Do we actually have a prize? Oh, no. I'll have to look around and see if I have a toy or something that we forgot to give her for her birthday. <laughs> Just take the medicine, honey. Your tummy really hurts. Ew, it tastes gross. I know it tastes gross. Hey, look it. Look what I've got. 
I took my medicine, so I get that cute little monkey, right? That's right, sweetheart. Oh, here you go, honey. You can have the monkey. Thank you, Daddy. It's really cute. Oh, no. With the monkey, my tummy doesn't feel so good. Uh-oh, honey. Do you need the pukey bucket? I need my He can throw up. Oh boy, looks like somebody might have the stomach bug. Oh no, if she's got the stomach bug, it means we're all gonna get the stomach bug. Not me, I'm not gonna get it. Oh my god, my tongue green. Oh man, she must have a fever. She's got it really bad. Well, I just gave her the medicine, so hopefully some of it stayed down there before she threw up. Don't worry, Molly. Pepto-Bismol always makes me want to throw up, too. It tastes terrible. I don't feel so good. I think I'm going to throw up my taco. Ew, gross. That's so disgusting. Oh, man. I can't even move off the couch right now. Tommy hurts so bad. Oh, my gosh. They both have the stomach bug, Laura. We're doomed. What are you wearing? I'm getting my hazmat suit and uh, my face mask and uh, um, uh, I need to get some hand sanitizer. Oh, honey, I think we're probably going to get the stomach bug too. You know how that germs happen. The stomach bug is relentless. And we only have one bathroom! Ah! Wow, Mavi, I never thought we'd be so sick that we'd match the couch. I know. We're so sick we turned green. Oh, I have to try to make it to the toilet. Oh, no. <clears throat> oh, I didn't make it. Oh, I gotta change my clothes again. I hope you hurry up in there, Dan. I, I need to throw up. I need to use the bathroom. I got go potty. Me too. Why do we have a house that only has one bathroom? <clears throat> Oh no! Oh! My turn! I have to go potty next! I'm not gonna wait either. I have to go so bad. Wait, where's the potty? There it is. I forgot for a minute. It's because I'm so weak from having the stomach bug. Oh! I just, I just throw up in the shower, I guess, you know. Cause... Girls, can you hurry up? I need to use the potty again! I'm not done in here! Oh man! I think I'm gonna throw up in the sink. Oh! Are you girls almost done? I have to go to the bathroom. No, never mind. Too late. And that's why we saved up to buy a bigger house. We needed more than one bathroom. Holy guacamole! That sounds awful. Yeah, this house was really expensive. Brookhaven is well, very expensive to live in, and so we did the best we could. But rest assured. If you ever have to go potty because you have the stomach bug, there's more than one bathroom. <laughs> yeah, too bad there's not more than one bedroom for me and Daisy. But I'm thankful and grateful that you guys bought us such a nice house to live in. I guess I am pretty lucky. Aw, thanks for saying that, Molly. Well, I better get started on dinner. Dinner? What are we having? Are we having tacos? I never want to look at another taco again after that day. Me either. I love tacos. I know, but your father and I can only have tacos like once a month. Every time we think about them, it's like, oh, I'm reliving that throwing up thing all over again. Anyway, we're having nice, healthy, delicious salads. Oh, salad. No, honey, what's wrong? Are, are you getting a stomach bug again? No, I just can't stand the thought of another salad. Oh, oh I'm with Molly. I'm having a hot dog. See, Dad's eating hot dog while I gotta eat salad. I don't wanna eat salad. Dan, we're setting a good example for the girls. Stop eating the hot dog. You're not the boss of me! I can eat a hot dog if I want to! Unless you can catch me! Oh, wow. So grown up of him, huh? Yeah, well, you just can't make your father eat healthy. You just can't. <laughs> Raccoon got a new family. That was so nice. 
I don't know. I think a movie about raccoons is a little well made up. How can you say that, Brookie? Raccoons are people too! Uh, Molly, raccoons aren't people. They're animals, you know? Some people call them trash pandas. <laughs> That's funny. How can you guys laugh? Laugh at a time like this. It was the saddest movie ever. Did you guys hear that we're supposed to get a huge snowstorm today? Um, well, then you probably shouldn't be wearing shorts. <laughs> You're probably right. I guess summer's over. Summer's been over for like three months, Brookie. I know, but I'm always like running around and stuff, so I get really hot, so I just wear shorts until it snows. Then it's just a no-go. Um, Molly, you're wearing pajamas. Yeah, when I'm at home, I wear my pajamas all the time because it's like so comfy and I'm cozy and warm and stuff. Yeah, um, my brothers, they keep stealing my pajama bottoms because we're like the same size. Oh, man, that stinks. Yeah, they never want to do their laundry, so they just steal my pajamas. Oh, that's a bummer. Yeah, having brothers is so annoying. Try having all sisters. It'll drive you crazy. Whatever, Molly. I'm the best sister ever. Crazy. Bonkers. Looney Tunes. Molly, knock it off. Seriously. But for reals, I always thought it would be so cool to have a brother. Well, trust me. It's not as cool as you think. Whoa. It looks kind of stormy outside. I think it's going to start snowing any minute. Look. Brookie, you were right. It's a blizzard out here. Brr. It's freezing. Brookie, are you going to spend the night? Actually, I probably should get home. I mean, if if it's that bad out. No, it's, it's, uh, you can't go home. You're stuck here. Seriously, it's a blizzard. Well, I guess I'm spending the night. Do you have any pajamas I could borrow? Sure, no problem. You should call your mom, though, and tell her you're staying here. Good idea, Molly. Mom? Yes, Brookie, where are you? There's a huge snowstorm going on. Um, I came, for, came over to Molly and Daisy's house and I'm kind of stuck here. Is that okay? Yes, honey, just stay there so you're safe. Okay, Mom, well, um, can you come pick me up in the morning? As soon as the plows come through, sweetie, I'll come get you. Okay, bye, Mom. Bye, honey. Is she okay with you spending the night? Um, yeah, she totally is. I better ask my mom. Mom? What's up? Oh, my. It's so snowing out right now. Yeah, it's like a blizzard out there. Brookie, you definitely have to spend the night. Good thing she already called her mom and said she was. <laughs> okay, well, let's get you some warm pajama bottoms. Those shorts just aren't what you do in this weather. Yeah, exactly. Can we go outside and play? Um, Molly, it looks like a blizzard out there. I think you should stay inside. Okay, fine. I just want to go out here for one minute, Mom. Holy guacamole. Look at all the snow. All of Brookhaven is covered. We must have a foot of snow already in like 10 minutes. It's beginning to look a lot like no school for at least a week. Hooray! There's no homework and I get to hang out with my friend. I love when it snows. <laughs> Molly, you're so silly. I am loving no school. I'm going to cry because I'm going to miss school so much. Oh, seriously, Daisy, take a break. Take a chill pill from school. All right, girls. Well, who wants popcorn? We could watch a movie. I do. I do. Okay, well, I've got some work to do, but I'll make you some popcorn. You guys pick the movie. Well, we already watched the one about the raccoon. Um, uh, no, no, no. Ooh, Cops is on. Ooh, I love Cops. Cops and popcorn sounds like a great blizzard activity. You don't hog all the popcorn. Don't worry, Molly. I'm making enough for everyone. How come Brookie got hers first? Because, Molly, she's our guest. Mmm, this popcorn's delicious. Yeah, you could say that again. Bad boys, bad boys. What you gonna do? What you gonna do when they come for you? Daisy, don't sing. You're making my ears hurt. Molly, try to be nice to your sister. I am, Brookie, I am! Girls, I'll be upstairs working in my office. Okay, we'll be down here scarfing down a bunch of popcorn. <laughs> Was that your stomach growling, Brookie? No? Was it yours? No? It's probably Daisy's brain making noise about science. My 
Well, you can't heal someone's brain. Actually, your mouth is talking right now, and that was used. That used your brain. What? What are you even talking about? Help me. There's that sound again. What could that be? Please help. Ah! There's a guy outside, and he looks like he's freezing to death. Oh my gosh. I know. There's a lot of snow. It's coming down. It's a blizzard. Come inside our house. Molly, he might be a murderer. You don't just invite anybody in. I'm not. I'm a, 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 a murderer. Yeah, he's just a frozen dude at our door. Wait, why are you a frozen dude at our door? I walked so many miles. Um, okay. So, it's okay. You can say it. Molly, he's trying. You, I better go start a fire. That that might warm him up some. G good idea. Okay, so why are you at our door? I... I am... You, 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 what? Your... What's a... Um, Molly, I think he said your brother. <laughs> I don't have a brother. What are you talking about? I, I'm your brother. He's not saying brother. Okay, Daisy, uh, what are you doing? I can't get it to stop, jeepers. Well, that wasn't so hard, was it? Hey, frozen dude, come over here. I've got a nice warm fire for you. Come on. Okay, I can't move. My knees are frozen. Oh, oh, that's much better. Oh, oh look, he's not quite as blue anymore, is he? No, Molly, he still looks pretty blue. It's gonna take a few minutes for him to heat up. But I'm serious, Molly. I think he did say he was your brother. Well, he's sadly mistaken. His brain must have gotten frozen then. Because, um, I don't have a brother. Oh, look! He's not blue anymore! He's kind of changing all sorts of colors. Are you okay? Oh, I'm feeling much better now. Oh, there. You okay? Gosh, that probably almost killed you from frostbite. Yeah, thanks for that. I... I, I found out just, well, this morning, I've been looking for a really long time for you and Daisy. You have? Why? Did I fail my math test? Are you the math police? You don't smell like you've taken a bath in a week. That's because I've been doing a lot of research, and I've been staying up a lot of late nights. Well, if you need a bath, there's one upstairs. Daisy, you might want to back up if he smells bad. Hey. Oh, it's okay. I wouldn't expect anything less from my sisters. Did you just say sisters? He did, Molly. That's right. I just I just got the records this morning. And I walked here because the blizzard, you know, and, and my car wouldn't go in the snow. But I found out I'm your long-lost brother. Dun, dun, dun! Is this dramatic or what? If you think so, hit that like button. Seriously, Molly? You're using this as some way for someone to hit the like button on, on YouTube? Of course I am! Our fans know everything about our lives! And, 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 and it's shocking to think I have a long lost brother! How do you know this? I know that I was born with two sisters who got adopted and I wasn't. And and I remember my little sisters. And, and one had red hair and, and one had blonde hair. And I just know you and Daisy are my sisters. What? have an older brother. I always wanted one of those. Remember what I said, Molly. Be careful what you wish for. Older brothers are the pits. Uh, I'm a good older brother. Well, I mean, I think I am. am. I, I I, never was around you guys, but but I think I will be. I, I make a really good grilled cheese. Really? Because I'm starving. You can come into the kitchen with me right now and prove how good of a brother you are. Molly! What? He offered and I'm hungry. It's okay, Molly. I'll make you a toasted cheese. Toasted cheese? Did you just call it a toasted cheese? Oh my gosh, it's a grilled cheese! Who are you even? This guy says he's our brother. I'm not sure that I could actually believe that. Possible fire detected at your house. What are you doing, Daisy? I'm proving that he is not our brother. But um, I think we have bigger problems! There's a fire in our house! Ah! Call the fire department! Nobody panic! I'm a trained firefighter! And also, here's your toasted cheese. Oh my gosh, my entire house is on fire! Ah! Okay, nobody panic! I'm gonna put this out right now! Alright, um, 
You guys should go outside, though. Out into the blizzard? Yes, and it's safer out there, at least. Brookie, are you coming? No, he's got the fire out. I'm, I think everybody's okay. I'm not leaving my science research. It's on this computer. Are you sure everything's okay, Brookie? I don't know. I, I think so. I'm going back in to make sure. Is everything okay? Wait, did you even tell us your name? It's Levi. Oh, thanks, Levi. You're a really good older brother. Aha! You're not a brother, Levi. Wait, what? But I, I did all the research. You are my sisters, and I'm your brother. Yeah, what are you talking about, Daisy? Don't be rude to Levi. He just, she just saved our house. Um, well, uh, Daisy, I just want to tell you that your booty is hanging out. What? Yeah, why don't you um become my plumber or something? Molly, that's not very nice. Well, I'm just telling you, your booty is hanging out. Oh, whoops. <laughs> I guess this, um, these pants are a little too small. Yeah, you think so? Daisy's got a big booty. Molly, be quiet. Okay, fine. Everybody's always telling me to be quiet. So why isn't Levi our brother? Well, it says Levi was adopted from Bloxburg Adoption Center. We were never at the Bloxburg Adoption Center. We were at Brookhaven Adoption Center. But, but that doesn't mean anything. Uh, yes, because we were siblings pale and we were adopted at the same time as all of our siblings. Well, except for baby Kira. My parents had her later. Oh, so you guys aren't my long lost sisters? No. Sorry, Levi. Oh, no. I thought I had finally found some family. <laughs> oh, man. I feel so bad for Levi. I'm gonna go see him. Levi, are you pooping? No, I'm just crying. Okay, well, then I can come in. Um, oh, man. You look so sad. I just really thought you guys were my family. You know what, Levi? If you don't find your family, or even if you do, you can still come hang out with us. You're a nice guy. Really? I don't have anywhere to go on Thanksgiving. Really? Nowhere? No, I don't have a family. Well, I'm sure you can have Thanksgiving with us. Seriously? Yeah. Besides, if my dad cooks the turkey, we're going to need you here because he'll definitely try burning our house down. <laughs> Oh, Molly, that's the nicest thing you've ever said. Yeah, but can we get out of the bathroom and talk about this out there? Because it smells like a little bit of a stinky doo-doo in here. Oh, sorry. I kind of farted. Hey, maybe you are my long-lost brother. I fart all the time. <laughs> See? Just like that. <laughs> I fart, too. <laughs> we have a lot in common. Totally! Well, I'm playing Roblox, and Bookie's playing Roblox, too, so... Uh, you guys want to play some Roblox? Yeah? How about you, Levi? I love Roblox! Are you guys noobs, though? No, we're not noobs. Okay, DZ, um, maybe we should play that Doors game. That looked really creepy. I don't know, a creepy game? Are you guys old enough? Yeah! We have a YouTube channel. You want to see it? I totally do! You guys are kind of like my adopted sisters. DZ, are you ever going to, like, go put on different pants? Seriously. I will in a minute! I'm playing Roblox! <laughs> years ago. So you guys excited about uh, going to look at a new house? New? This is our first house, our starter home. We've never owned a house before. Yup, it's always been apartments. Well, I'm glad that I can be your realtor then. And the first house I want to show you is this beautiful home right here. Oh wait, Dan, you drove past it. Okay, there you go. All right, um, we'll just we'll just park right here. It's it's vacant. There's nobody in it. Um, and uh, let me just open the lockbox and I'll show you guys in. All right, come on in, guys. This place has you guys written. Guys, are you coming in? Sorry, I'm just checking the foundation and stuff and making sure everything's okay. Trust me, Dan. This house is in tip-top shape. Wow, it's like a palace. Yeah, it is really nice, honey. So what's the price tag on this house? Oh, don't worry about the price tag. I'm worried about the price tag. I mean, I don't even know if we can afford this place. Oh, but honey, I love it. Well, don't fall in love with it until we hear the price. This one is 400000 What? 400000 I can't afford that. I just became a cop, hon. 
I can't afford that on a cop's salary. How about you take us to the next one? Really? I'm kind of sad. I, I like this one. Honey, we can't afford it. I'm sorry. All right. Show us to the next one. Get a load of this pad! Wow, it's very modern. We're not really that modern when it comes to our tastes. But honey, look at this. This is great. I could have my pool table over there and... Oh my gosh, this is so cool. We can even get a hot tub. Too late. This one already has a hot tub. Come on in and I'll show you around. Oh, maybe they pulled the hot tub out. But no worries. We can negotiate that. Wow. This house is fabulous! I know, right, Dan? And it could be yours for the small price tag of $500,000. $500,000? We don't have that kind of money. Honey, we have to have that kind of money. This house is amazing. You didn't have enough for the $400,000 house. We definitely don't have enough for the $500,000 house. Well, I do have one more house I could show you guys. It's probably a bit more in your budget. All right, well, let's see it. I'm hopeful that it'll be the house for us. Well, here it is. What do you think, Dan and Laura? I think it's a dump. Yeah, this place needs a ton of work. What's that smell? Oh, that's just the rat family that's moved in there. But don't worry, you can evict them. Ew, gross. How much is it? Well, that's just the best part. The person who lived here, they abandoned the place, so... It's yours if you want to just pay the taxes on it. How much are the taxes? One hundred dollars. Whoa, that sounds like a great deal. Well, it is! Do you want it? Yeah, we'll fix it up, Laura, and we'll make it our own. Well, Dan, we're going to have to because we're, um, having a baby. What? Are you pregnant? I am, Dan, for a little girl. Oh my gosh! I'm gonna be a dad! We built this house from the ground up. Yeah, and it looks a thousand times better, don't you think? It's beautiful. Daisy, catch this soccer ball! Come on, it'll be fun! Molly, no playing with your soccer ball inside! Why not? It's such a big house. We can, we can do this, Mom. No, Molly, your dad and I worked hard to fix this place up and make the floors, like, really nice and stuff. Dan, can you please tell your daughter to not throw or kick her soccer ball in the house? Molly, you're going to break a window. Okay, all right, fine. I won't play soccer in the house. Well, I have to get going because I, I have dance class. Um, But, Dad, will you watch the rest of this movie when I get back? Sure, I'll wait till you get back, Daisy. Have fun at dance class. Bye! Oh, the annoying sister is gone. Mom, can I have a snack, please, 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 also please? Sure, Molly, but make it a healthy one. Oh, man, a healthy snack. Molly, eating a healthy snack once in a while won't kill you, you know. Well, if I had a healthy snack, mm, I have to eat two because they never make me feel as full as like a piece of pizza. Fine, you can eat an apple and a banana. All right, mm, I'm doing that because these, mm, these don't fill me up, but they're, they're kind of good, I have to admit. See? Healthy food is good for you. Ha ha ha. I win. Didn't say it wasn't good for me. I said I just didn't want to eat it. Oh, Molly. Oh, somebody's at the door. Molly, you want to get the door? No, Dad. You want to get the door. Okay, fine. I was going to be lazy on the couch, but who's that guy? Hello. I was wondering if I could come in, please. Considering this is my house. What? This isn't your house. Whoa, whoa, whoa! What do you mean this is your house? Actually, this is my house. You see, I have the deed right here. What's a deed, Dad? It's a receipt for buying a house, Molly. How do you have the deed to my house? Oh, no! Don't tell me that the house wasn't actually abandoned 13 years ago! Wait, what? I'm so confused right now. What's going on? Did you guys buy this house? No, Molly, we didn't buy it. We just sort of moved in. The realtor said we could, as long as we paid for the taxes. Well, actually, here's your hundred dollars back. I'm gonna pay you back for those taxes, but this is my house. Um, no, your house was the shack that was on this land. Uh, this is our house that we rebuilt here uh, and took my wife a, a lot and I a lot of hard work. Yeah, you you can't own this house. 
Actually, guys, um, according to this deed receipt, he can. We have exactly one hour to pack our stuff. Well, I'm going to court over this. You can't just take our house. Um, Dad, it's not our house. It's this guy's. What's your name? Mr. Jethro. Mr. Jethro, please. Our family lives here. Well, I got ten kids and they need a place to live. So it's my house now. Oh, no. Molly, go pack your stuff. We have to leave. Our home. The place your father and I worked at so hard. Get off our couch! That's our couch! Not anymore! Anything that's in this house is mine! Unless you can pack it in an hour. Huh. Guys, we have to try to pack as fast as we can. Come on! Let's pack all our stuff! You haven't heard the end of this, Mr. Jim Bob Jethro. Oh, okay, if you say so, Dan, but... This here is my house. Now, I gotta call my wife and kids and tell them that they can move in. We don't have to live in the camper van anymore. Can't believe I'm losing my house. We're being evicted from our own home. <laughs> well, it's a good thing I saved this tent from our last camping trip. We live in a tent now? But but what about our beautiful house with the hot tub and the... And the and the, all the other things! Well, honey, at least we're all together, even if we do live in a tent. This isn't the last of this. I, I, I'm gonna fight this in court, and we're gonna get our house back if it's the last thing I do. Oh, I hope so, Dad. Should somebody call Daisy and tell her that we live in a tent now? Yeah. Do you want to, Molly? Um, yeah, okay. <laughs> This is Daisy! I'm having the best time of my life in dance! Who is this? Daisy, it's your sister. Oh, hi, Molly! What? Why do you sound so sad? What's wrong? Um, so this guy came with a deed to our house. What do you mean? What are you talking about? It's like a receipt. You know, Mom and Dad never bought our house. They just moved in. What? The realtor said that the person abandoned it so they could just have our house. Well, they couldn't! And now we live in a tent behind the motel in Brookhaven. What? Is this a prank, Molly? Because it's not funny. No, just meet us behind the hotel after your dance class. You'll see it's true. What is going on? This is not a funny prank. I'm not living here. Well, it's just till we can go to court, Daisy. I I'm going to fight this. I can't believe it. I live in a tent. Oh, my goodness. I I'm homeless. We all are, but at least we're together. The Acker family... Cannot be held down. Turn your frowns upside downs. I don't want to turn my frown upside down. I feel sad. Molly, we have to be positive. We're going to get out of this together. <laughs>you're gonna get out of the way of the television because you're in my way and i'm watching survivor <laughs> molly no 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 you know that creepy house across the street uh -oh. yeah the old sanderson house yeah well someone bought it and they moved in <gasps> say what are you serious yeah i saw a mo bunch of moving trucks and i saw this girl she was walking around the upstairs i'm sure she's about our age seriously yeah, do you think we should make her cookies or something? Mom always does that when there's someone new in the neighborhood. Daisy, I think that's a great idea. But mostly because I want to eat one of the cookies. Molly, it's for the neighbors. Yeah, but they won't mind if I just eat a cookie. Or five. <laughs> Ooh, cookies. My favorite. Mom, 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 mommy, mama, 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 mommy. What is it, Molly? I'm very busy doing mountains of laundry. Mom, do we have any, like, ingredients to make cookies or cakes or anything? Um, well, I think I bought a Christmas cookie mix. Why? Because there's a new girl who moved into the old Sanderson house across the street. Oh, yes. I saw the for sale pending sign just the other day. I bet they're going to be the nicest family ever. Yeah, and they have a daughter that looks like she's about Daisy and I's age. And we want her to be our friend, so we're going to take them some cookies. Wow, that's very thoughtful, girls. I'm so proud of you. Yeah, I mean, I'm going to eat a cookie or two, but Molly, save them for the neighbors. 
No! <laughs> I need to have a cookie. It's a lot of work making cookies. All right, Molly, but just one. Take the rest of the neighbors. You got it. Come on, Daisy. Let's make these cookies. Molly, you're supposed to be getting the Hershey bar from the refrigerator, not eating it. Oopsie. It just tasted so good. Oh, wait. So, if we put the chocolate over the top of the cookies, like just shave it across the top, I bet that'll make them extra delicious. Yeah, I think so, because I ate some of this chocolate. Mm, it's really good. Molly, stop eating it. We're not going to have enough for the cookies. Do we have everything we need now? Yep, we have eggs, flour, sugar, a rolling pin, and the cinnamon and sugar and everything we need. Oh, yeah, and butter. These cookies are going to be delish. Yep, I knew it. These cookies, they're delicious. Remember when Mom said only one, Molly? Yeah, but oh, I need two. Two's what I need. Molly, they're for the new girl. We want her to be our friend, right? And we won't get her to be our friend if you eat all the cookies. <laughs> well, she wants to be my friend. She should definitely understand that um, I eat all the cookies. You can't be my friend unless you know that I eat all the cookies. Ay, 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 Molly. Whoa, Molly, it's so <laughs> dark in that house. I know. I always think they're like witches or vampires or something living there. Oh, don't be ridiculous, Molly. The house just needs a little bit of repairs. But I'm sure the new family moved in because it was a fixer wuppel and they could make it just the way they wanted. Yeah. Um, all right, well, let's ring the doorbell and um, meet our new neighbor. Hmm. I don't see anybody. Molly, I'm sure they're just unpacking boxes. Maybe we should just leave the cookies here and then we'll come back later and... And, and introduce ourselves. We don't want to bother them if they're unpacking. Yeah, good point. Just really wanted to meet her. I love new friends. It's awesome meeting new people. True, Molly, but come on, they're probably just busy unpacking. Molly, why do you look so sad? We don't have to go to school tomorrow or anything. I know, but I, I just... I wanted to meet the new girl across the street, and we knocked on the door like five times and no one answers. Just seems kind of weird to me. Molly, don't fret about this. I'm sure they're just very busy unpacking. Why is their house so dark all the time? And, and, and I don't know, it just seems creepy. There's a creepiness about it, I'm telling you, Daisy. Creepy, creepy, and also, um, um, let me think about it. Um, creepy! <laughs> Molly, you're just being pale and annoyed. Go to sleep already. Ugh, fine. She's probably right. It's probably nothing. It just seems strange that no one ever comes out of the house. Very, very strange. Great, Daisy's already asleep and already snoring. Which means it's going to be super hard for me to fall asleep. Ugh. Ugh. I still can't fall asleep. Oh. Now I'm starting to get hungry. No, just ignore it, Molly, and go back to sleep. You don't need a snack late at night. You don't need it. You don't need it. Daisy is still asleep. Man, she sleeps like a rock. Well, I can't ignore it anymore. Gotta go get a snack. Whoa, Daisy and I forgot to pick up the mess from when we were baking. We better do that before Mom wakes up in the morning or she's gonna get really upset with us. She doesn't like when we bake and we don't pick up. It just like makes her really mad. Ooh, leftover pizza, waffles, Reese cup. I'm going with pizza. Mm. Delicious. Mm. I don't know about that house. I still think it's kind of creepy. Who is that riding your bike at like midnight? Is, it, is that the new next door neighbor? Why is she outside in the middle of the night? That is really weird. Daisy, 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 wake up. Why, why are you yelling, Molly? Ugh, you have pizza breath. Oh, I'm sorry I'm eating pizza, but listen, I have to tell you something really important. It better be important you wake me up in the middle of the night. Daisy, 
I went down and got a pizza for a snack. I couldn't tell by your pepperoni breath. <laughs> pepperoni is the best, though. Now when you're smelling it at midnight, Molly, what do you want? I was down there eating my pizza, minding my own business, when I saw the girl across the street riding her bike at midnight. <gasps> Wait, what? Yeah, she's down there riding her bike right now. Daisy, I'm sure she's a vampire. <laughs> what? What are you talking about, Molly? Of course she's not a vampire. Daisy, it all makes sense. Think about it. Creepy house? Check. All the lights turned off inside the creepy house. Check. Girl riding her bike at midnight. Check. Daisy, I'm telling you, they're vampires. This must all be a big misunderstanding, Molly. I'm sure they're not actually vampires. Now, why are you waking me up in the middle of the day? Because this is important, Daisy. Why is she out riding her bike at, at midnight? I don't know. Maybe she likes a cold air. Um, no. No and no. Molly, I'm going back to bed. Good night. Fine, don't believe me. But I'm telling you, tomorrow when we knock on the door, she's not going to answer. She will, Molly. Oh, you just wait and see. And again, she's asleep already. Now I'm going to have to try to sleep with her snoring. Molly, I'm sure they're going to answer the door. It was just they were unpacking boxes yesterday. Okay, well, let's ring the doorbell and find out. See, I told you! Molly, give it her a second. She probably hasn't even to the door yet. Wait, did you just see that? She... She ran by! What? No, I didn't see anything, Molly. She's not answering, though. Maybe she's not feeling well today or something. Daisy, when are you going to wake up and smell the roses? This girl is a vampire. I'm going to prove it. You just wait, Daisy. Tonight's the night. I'm going to prove it to you. Uh-huh. Okay, Molly. <whistles> She's a vampire. I know she is. Maybe I should take some garlic with me or something. Ooh, there's garlic knots from Olive Garden that are left over. I'll just eat those. So if she tries to suck my blood, she won't be able to because I'll smell like garlic. <laughs> All right, where are those garlic knots? Found them. Mm, that was too good. Too good. Yum. There she is. Um, don't run away, but hi. What? Who, who's there? Oh, oh, um, you didn't see me. Actually, wait, wait, wait. I'm your next door neighbor. Don't run away. Hi, um, my name is Meg. Hi, Meg. I'm Molly. I live across the street. You're new here, huh? Yeah, I'm new here. Um, I should probably get back inside. What are you doing outside so late at night? Why don't you just come out when it's the sunlight? In, like, daytime. And, like... When everybody else is out. Um, uh, uh. Okay, I have a serious question, Meg. What? What are you eating? That smells really weird. It's garlic. Okay, prepare. What are you? Um, a girl who lives across the street from you? I mean, what are you for real? Are you a vampire? And this is made of garlic, so stay back. Uh-oh. What? What? <laughs> No, I'm not a vampire. Wait, you're not? No, but I guess I understand why you think that. Yeah, because you're out after dark, your house is dark, and 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 your skin is like white like a ghost. <sighs> okay, well, can I trust you? Will you be my friend? Of course you can trust me. I know you don't know me very well yet, but I'm actually a really good friend. But you should never, ever, ever ask me for help with your homework. Because I'm terrible at that. <laughs> okay, noted. Um, I'm allergic to the sun. Wait, what? Yeah, the sunlight, it burns my skin. And not just like a sunburn burn, but like melts my skin off. Ew! And oh, and what? Holy guacamole! Yeah, I was born this way. It's been a rough life. Oh my gosh, Meg! I'm so sorry that I called you a vampire. I had no idea. It's okay. 
I guess lots of people probably think that about me. We move around a lot because I don't really fit in anywhere. I don't know anyone that's like me. Well, I get a sunburn when I go to the beach. I always have to wear 100 SPF. Will that help? There's no amount of sunblock that will make my skin not melt off if I'm in the sun. Uh-oh. Oh, my gosh. That's terrible. I, 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 I feel so sad for you. Well, Molly, I have to get inside because, um, yeah, I have to get some sleep. I just wanted to come outside and play a little bit. You know, I like the fresh air. Yeah, I can imagine. Well, it was nice meeting you, Meg. If I'm ever up at midnight, I'll come visit you. Okay, Molly. Sounds good. Bye. Bye! Oh, my God. She can never go out in the sun. That is so insane. Good morning, Molly. It's another glorious day of Christmas vacation. Yeah, what's so good about it? What? What's wrong with you, Molly? You love Christmas vacation. No school, no homework, no rules. Yeah, it's just last night I, I went over to the neighbors and, I, and I, I met her. You mean the one you thought was a vampire? What happened? She, she, she can't, she can't go out in the sun. What? What are you talking about? She's not a vampire. It's just she's allergic to the sun. The sun melts her skin if she goes out in it. Oh my gosh. We have to help her, Molly. I don't see how. She's just stuck in that house until the sun goes down, never to feel the sun on her face. I'm going to go in my science lab. I know I can do something. Daisy, are you serious? Totally, Molly. I'm going to fix this for her. I promise. According to my calculations, the surface of the sun is about 10,000 degrees Fahrenheit or 5,600 degrees Celsius. That means when I create this suit, I'm going to have to ensure that it can reflect the sun's rays back away from Meg so that it doesn't get to her skin. Yes, yes, this is it. This could be it. This very well could be it. I've got to do this for her. She needs to be able to go out and, and ride a bike in the sunlight. Nobody knows the trouble Meg has. Nobody knows. She can't go outside. Molly, I've solved it. I've solved Meg's problem. Yeah, right. Just let me eat this cookie so I feel better. Molly, stop it. Seriously. What? Do you want a cookie too? Here you go. Mm. Good. Molly, put that cookie away. We have to go tell Meg. We've, we've, got, we've got a way for her to go out into the sun. Are you pranking me right now? Molly, I'd never prank you about something like this. It's too serious. It's too important of a scientific discovery. But it's not really more of a discovery, but an invention. But who cares? Anyway, let's go give it to her. Okay, Daisy, let's do this. You're amazing, Daisy. This is going to be the best Christmas present for Meg ever. Meg, Meg, we're sorry we just walked into your house, but we know you can't open the door. So we're just coming up. Molly, what are you doing here? I told you I can't go out in the sun. I know, Meg, I know. But my sister, she's kind of a kid genius and, well... Daisy, why are you standing behind the bars? I don't know, it just seemed kind of weird, like there was a prison in here or something. <laughs> Sometimes old houses are so strange. Um, what are you guys talking about? My sister, she's a genius, and she created a suit that you can go out in the sun with. Seriously? Are you, are you, are you for real? Yeah, I even tested it. It should work, um, even on the surface of the sun, basically. I can't believe this. I can go outside like everyone else? Well, yeah, sort of. I mean, you gotta wear this big ugly suit, but, you know, I mean, it's better than nothing, right? Yes, it's totally better than nothing. Meg, come on, you can do this. We're about to go ride bikes and stuff. What? I'm, I'm outside and, 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 and the sun, it's not burning me. Wow, your spacesuit's pretty cool, too. I like how Daisy put all that fancy stuff on the front, you know? So it just looks like a really futuristic outfit. I don't care what it looks like. I'm just so happy that I get to be out in the sunshine. Let's ride bikes. I put an air conditioner in there too. And a heater so you'll be warm in the winter and cool in the summer. I've never had friends like you guys before in my life. I'm so Aww. glad that we moved here. We're glad you moved here too, Meg. Now come on, let's go ride bikes. <laughs> Whee! Mom, I have a question.
question. Don't say no before you hear me out, okay? Rookie, what is it? I have so many chores to do today, honey. Mom, I know you always say no to me having sleepovers, but... But, but, ah, oh, Brookie, not this again. Every weekend, honey, I told you, no sleepovers. But mom, I've been doing so good in school. I've been studying, doing all my homework, getting perfect grades. Please, we'll follow your rules. Just let me have Molly and Daisy over, please. Ah, oh, Brookie, all right. Yes, you can have a sleepover this one time. Seriously, mom, are you serious? Yes, I get to have a sleepover. Do, 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 do. But you must follow all of the rules. Yes, I know, Mom. We'll follow all the rules. I promise. If you don't, no more sleepovers. Okay, Mom. We'll follow all the rules. Just let me be happy, okay? All right, Brookie. I've got a lot of chores to do. <sighs> Make sure you call your friends and let them know. I will, Mom. Hey, what's up? Molly, is that your new way of answering the phone? No one ever calls me, so I don't really know how to answer a phone. I usually just text. Well, um, you might want to work on it a little bit, because that was kind of funny. That's exactly my personality. Funny. Hey, what's up? So, yeah, what is actually up? Why are you calling me? Why didn't you just text me? Because I'm too excited. I have to tell you, like, well, not in person, but, like, so you can hear my voice. My mom finally agreed to a sleepover. Say what? Are you kidding me? No, <laughs> it only took me two years of asking and begging every weekend. She finally said you guys can come over for sleepover tonight. Are you and Daisy busy? Doesn't matter what our plans are, we'll be there. Daisy, 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 Daisy. What, what are you yelling at me for, Molly? I'm not yelling, I'm, I'm excited at yelling, I guess. Okay, Molly, calm down, what is it? Brookie just called me, and then, and then, and then, her mom finally said she could have a sleepover. <laughs> Holy guacamole! Really? When? Like next year? Next 10 years? When did she say? Tonight! Really? Oh my gosh, we're finally having a sleepover at Brookie's house. Yeah, we've got to pack a bag. We have to be there in 30 minutes. What? I'll never be ready in time. I have so much to pack. Daisy, all you need is a pair of pajamas. <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. Don't you be ridiculous. I'm a fashionista. I'm Daisy and I must... Always be dressed perfectly. Daisy, no one cares what you're wearing to the sleepover. It's just going to be the three of us. I still want to look amazing for it. Okay, Daisy, if you say so. I'm just going to grab some uh, some pajamas out of the dirty clothes. Ew, Molly. Yeah, I sort of forgot to do my laundry. <laughs> hey, guys. Welcome to my house. Come on in. Uh, 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 uh. Stop right there. What? What? What did I do? You have to take your shoes off and then wash your feet in this bucket, please. Oh, Mom, not the bucket, please. Ugh, it's so embarrassing. I just had these floors put in and they are perfect. I don't want any scuff marks or dirt on them ever. I have some indoor shoes you girls can wear. They're brand new, so you won't get anything on them. Whoa, would you have them in my size? Of course I do. <laughs> All right, so just stick your feet in the bucket, please. You can leave your, your bags right over there. Oh my gosh, your mom is really, well, strict. I know, I know, don't remind me. Okay, just gotta get my other foot. Okay, Daisy, your turn. Wow, I never met such a neat freak before. Yeah, that's just how my mom is. Come on, guys, Um, let's go make a snack. Ooh, snacks, my favorite. Hey, Brookie's mom, uh, what kind of snacks you got? We have healthy food, like apples and bananas and we'll take some popcorn so we can watch a movie um popcorn is really messy mom come on it's my first sleepover everyone has popcorn at sleepovers it's true pretty much everybody does have popcorn at sleepovers okay girls i'll have the vacuum ready um all right <laughs> whoa your mom really is kind of strict brookie I know, don't remind me. Oh, this popcorn is delicious. Come on, guys, let's go watch the movie. Uh, excuse me, excuse me. What, what's that sound? That's the alarm. You are not supposed to be eating in the living room. And it's the alarm to tell you to stop immediately. But we're about to watch a movie. Brookie, uh, what's going on here? Um, Mom doesn't allow us to eat in the living room. Well, how do you eat popcorn when you're watching a movie? You don't. You just eat your popcorn in the kitchen, and then you come watch the movie afterwards. But that's not how you watch a movie. 
Molly, don't say anything. We don't want to get Pookie in trouble. Okay, Pookie Mom, we'll uh, go ahead and uh, eat our popcorn out here. Yeah, we'll eat our popcorn out here. Sorry my mom is so strict, guys. I I'm really sorry about this. It's not your fault, Brookie. <clears throat> not here. Have some popcorn and don't worry about it. I hope she doesn't ruin your sleepover. Our sleepover, Brookie, and of course she won't. We're all together, and that's all that matters. Brookie, don't forget to vacuum up if there's any popcorn kernels on the floor. I don't think I dropped any. Oh, wait. Yeah, no. I made a total mess. <laughs> don't worry about it, Molly. I'll vacuum everything. Ah, so much for relaxing at my sleepover. Molly, maybe we should have had a sleepover at our house. Don't be ridiculous, Daisy. This is very important to Brookie to have it at her house. We're going to support her, even if her mom is kind of crazy strict. Let's watch this movie, everybody. Which movie should we watch? Ooh, this one about kittens and puppies. So adorable. Should we watch? <gasps> the new Brook High movie is out. Do you guys want to watch it? Yeah, I guess so. Come on, Brookie. Turn that frown upside down. It's going to be a great movie. Ah, perfect. My tummy's all full of popcorn. We're watching the Brook High movie. This is going to be amazing. That movie is entirely too loud. You girls are going to hurt your ears. Turn it down. But it's a movie. We're supposed to listen to it loud. Besides, you have this really cool sound system in your house. I know. I had it. Pay I had paid to have it installed. Except for we never use it, Mom. Um, okay. Well, they installed it, so it's really loud. It's okay, um, Bookie's mom. We'll just turn it down. No problem. Okay, girls. Well, enjoy your movie quietly see what i mean she's going to ruin everything don't say that bookie everything's gonna be okay we're having a great time right molly you betcha brookie perfect time thanks for saying that guys it makes me feel a lot better oh no guys it's nine o'clock we have to go to bed what but the last 15 minutes of brook high is on that's right girls nine o'clock bedtime and no chit chat after you go to sleep um well maybe we won't go to sleep till midnight <laughs> I don't think so. You should be asleep by 9.15, after you brush your teeth, that is. Wow, um, what if you can't fall asleep? That's not an option, Molly. Mom always has us go to sleep at 9.15 sharp. And you're wasting time, girls. But we didn't even get to see the end of Brook High in this movie. I've been wanting to see it for like three months. Sorry, maybe you can watch it another time. But it's the last 15 minutes. Come on! No, Molly, if you'd like to spend the night at our house ever again, I suggest you listen to my rules. Um, okay, I'll go brush my teeth and get my pajamas on. Oh, man, we <coughs> packed the same pajamas. Oh, we look adorable, twinsies. Oh, I hate when we look like twinsies. Ha, 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 Molly. Whoa, you guys look like twins. Yeah, don't remind me. Oh my, those pajamas won't do. What? Why? Don't we look adorable? We look like twins? Um, no. You look like you're going to be freezing all night. I keep the temperature as exactly 60 degrees. What? But it's like 20 degrees outside. We'll be cold. That's why we always wear wool pajamas to bed. It saves on the heating bill. But, but wool pajamas are going to be itchy. Ugh. I'll be up all night scratching. Well, Brookie wears them without complaint. Uh-huh. Yep, I do. I have some extra pairs you girls can wear. Now it's already getting late, so I want you to get changed and go right to sleep. Uh, okay, lady. I feel like we're in prison. We're all wearing the same outfit. You all look perfectly identical. I love it. You'll stay super warm tonight. Okay, Brookie, you take the top bunk. Molly, you can take the bottom. Daisy, the sleeping bag will, bag will be nice and toasty for you. Good night, girls. Uh, good night, Brookie's mom. Ugh, Brookie. I'm sorry, guys. Maybe I shouldn't have invited you over. I'm feeling really sad that, well, I haven't had a very good sleepover. Nonsense, Brookie. We know it's not your fault. And we still had fun, right, Daisy? Marty, don't keep talking. Her mom seems kind of crazy. And, well, she said no talking. We have to go right to sleep. Well, pff, I'm sorry, but I can't go right to sleep. That's just not how I am. I'm coming up there, Brookie. Oh, Molly, I'm not sure that's such a good idea. I feel kind of sad for you, Brookie. I mean, your mom is so strict. I know she is. I love her, but why is she going to be so strict all the time? She needs to have some fun once in a while. Brookie, I know exactly what's going to make you feel better. Let's turn that frown upside down. Molly, seriously, be quiet. Oh, she can't hear us. The door is closed anyway. 
I have a, a great joke for you. What did the Dalmatian dog say after lunch? What, Molly? What did it say? <laughs> that hit the spot. <laughs> Molly, that was hilarious. <laughs> what is all this commotion about in here? Uh-oh, warned you guys. What? Molly, you're out of bed and Brookie, you're laughing? That's it. You're grounded and you're never having a sleepover ever again. No, but, 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 Brookie's mom, d -d don't do this. It wasn't Brookie's fault. Please, Brookie's mom, d -d don't ground her. It was my fault. Well, maybe I should call your mom and get you grounded as well. What? No, okay, no, that's taking a little too far. Mom, it's okay. I'll just be grounded and, and never have a sleepover again. What? No, Brookie! Look, Brookie is my best friend, and I know I'm just a kid, and you don't have to listen to me, but I think you're being really mean. I mean, you're being too strict. I mean, it's a sleepover. Kids are supposed to have fun at a sleepover. We're supposed to eat popcorn on the couch and 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 leave a mess that we can clean up in the morning and, and do crafts and finish the movie. And then we're supposed to stay up till 1 o'clock in the morning giggling and talking. And it doesn't matter if you don't get any sleep because... We are having fun, and the world revolves around us, okay? We only get to be kids once, and you're taking this special time from your daughter. Do you want to do that, lady? I mean, look at your daughter's face. She's super unhappy. Can't you just let her have this one night to be happy? Oh my gosh. I didn't realize that being a strict mom was making her so unhappy. Yeah, and it's making me unhappy, too, because I wanted to finish the rest of that movie, and I didn't get to. Molly, you're getting off the subject. Anyway, I care about my friend, and I want her to be happy. She's not saying she won't clean up in the morning. She's not saying she won't get good grades. She's not saying any of that. She's a really good kid. Actually, she kind of makes me look bad, because I don't do my homework nearly as much as she does. But, but anyway, like, can you just give her a break? Oh, my God. Brookie, come down here, please. Oh, great. My pep talk didn't work. Brookie's still gonna get grounded. It's all my fault. Yes, Mom. I'm sorry. I I'll do anything you want. Just, just don't be mad at me. Oh, Brookie, I think I've been making some mistakes as your mom. What? A grown-up apologizing? I must be hearing things. Brookie, I thought by being strict I could keep you safe and successful in life. But the truth is, is everyone needs to have fun sometimes. And it hasn't been fair of me to just, well, control your life like crazy. Plus, it's exhausting. I think you should start being in control of your own life a little. Really, Mom? Are you, are you saying that I'm not grounded? No, you're not grounded. And you girls can come out and watch the rest of your movie. Whoa. Pinch me, I must be dreaming. A grown-up actually listened to what I had to say. I thought it was pretty smart. I can tell that you and Molly are BFFs, and of course Daisy too. Oh, she so cannot hang. Seriously, she's already sleeping over there. Well, you two can go finish the movie, and you can even eat popcorn on the floor, not on the couch. Well, I guess you win some and you lose some. And, and you should vacuum up the crumbs in the morning and... Mom, you're getting strict again. Okay, sorry. Trying to chill. <laughs> Maybe I should go take a bubble bath and just try to relax. Yeah, I find eating a chocolate bar helps with that too, Brookie's mom. <laughs> Molly, do you actually know what my mom's name is? No, I just call her Brookie's mom. That's her name to me. <laughs> okay, Molly, well, let's go watch the rest of our movie. Daisy, are you going to come? Yes, not. It's just you and me, Brookie. You and me. Wait, I went into the wrong room. How do I get out of here? I'm stuck! Molly, what took you so long? Your house is really big. I kind of got lost. <laughs> now, let's eat some more popcorn and watch the end of Brook High. Sounds good, Molly. Hey, thanks for standing up for me. No problem, Brookie. Molly, remember you have to sit on the floor if you want to eat some popcorn. Oh, yeah. Totally forgot. <laughs> Daisy, what are you doing? I'm taking this horse to school. What, what, why are you taking a horse to school? 
Because, Molly, it's crazy outfit day, and the horse is a part of my accessories. Daisy, you cannot take a horse to school. The teacher's going to give you detention. Wait, what? She will? Yeah, of course she will. <laughs> what are you going to do? Put the horse at a desk and make it do your homework? That's not a bad idea, Molly. Daisy, lose the horse! Okay, fine, Grumpy. Well, maybe I'm a little grumpy because it's still dark outside and you woke me up for school. Seriously, the bus doesn't come this early. Well, um, I just want you to get out of bed on time because you've been late for so many times that you're literally going to have detention for the rest of your life, Molly. Do you want that? Uh, well, uh, Molly! No, I don't want detention for the rest of my life. Hey, Daisy, what do you think of my crazy outfit? Well, it's certainly crazy. What do you think of my cowgirl outfit? I think I look crazy and cute. Yeah, you always seem to be fashionable, even when it's crazy outfit day. Finally, the sun's coming up. Yeah, well, I may have gotten us out of bed just a little bit early today. You think? Oh, look who these losers are. We're not losers, Sarah. Why are you always saying we're losers? Look at how you're dressed. You have to be losers. Uh, newsflash! Today is crazy outfit day at school, so maybe you're the loser because you're not wearing a crazy outfit. Whatever. Like, I do that baby stuff anyway. Like, I don't dress up, like, for all that nonsense. It's not nonsense. The whole school does it for spirit week, and Molly and I just happen to be in the spirit. What are you, like some sort of, like, cowgirl or something? Where's your horse even? I was gonna bring a horse, but Molly said... Look, I don't even care what you have to say. Ugh, this is boring. W Daisy, wait! What, Molly? What is it? You forgot to look both ways. Oh, yeah. I forgot about that. It was so dangerous. What are you talking about, looking both ways? What are you, babies? Uh, no, we're safe. S Sarah, you have to look both ways before you cross a road! Oh, she'll never learn. You're telling me, Daisy. You're telling me. Wow, this test is really hard. Molly, remember, there's no talking and no cheating during the test. You don't want detention, do you? No, I wasn't cheating. I was just saying, this test is so hard, Mrs. Smith. Well, it does challenge you, I agree. I think it's pretty easy. Of course you do, Daisy. Of course you do. Whatever, this test is so hard. Where's my notes? <gasps> you can't use your notes, Sarah. That's called cheating. Whatever, it's not really cheating if I took the notes. Actually, yes, it is. Daisy, is there a problem? Please stop talking or you're going to fail your test. <gasps> oh, sorry, Mrs. Smith. can't believe she's cheating. That's so wrong. No, it's not. You're just such a baby. My sister's not a baby. Molly, no talking. Sorry, it's just Sarah. Molly, no talking. Okay, fine. Ooh, time for lunch, my favorite. Hey, Brookie, what's up? Oh, hey, Molly. I'm just so excited because today I got Doritos in my lunch. Wow, your mom's super cool. Uh, my mom always, mom always packs me just an apple or whatever. Well, sit down, Molly. You could share some of my Doritos if you want. Oh, wow, really? That's super nice of you. Yeah, why don't you share with me, as in give me the entire bag? What? Uh, no, sorry, Sarah. I, I didn't say I would share with you. I only have enough to share with Molly today. Maybe tomorrow. I don't want you to share. I want you to give me the entire bag of Doritos. She doesn't want to, Sarah. <gasps> Sarah, you took her Doritos! Sarah, give those back. You want them after I've chewed on them? Ew, you're gross. Why are you so mean to me, Sarah? You're always bullying me. Brookie! Brookie, wait! It'll be... Brookie, come back! Oh, my gosh. Oh, Sarah is so rude. All right, I gotta go do some damage control. Brookie, are you okay? No. I wanted those Doritos. They were mine, and I'm really hungry. Well, I'll share my apple with you. You could have half of it. Thanks, Molly. It's really nice of you. But she's always bullying me, and I don't know what to do about it. We could tell the teacher. That's probably the best thing to do. Yeah, but it doesn't get my Doritos back. You know, Sarah just doesn't play by the rules. <sighs> She's so rude. But one day, it's going to catch up with her, Brookie. I hope so, Molly. 
I really hope so. Whoa, Brookie, you had a growth spurt. No wonder you're so hungry. I know, right? I can't get enough food lately. You're probably going to be like seven foot tall. You could be a basketball player. I love sports. That would be amazing. Come on, let's go eat my apple. Okay, Molly. Hey, where you guys been? Lunch is almost over. Well, it's a long story. Here you go, Brookie. Here's half. Thanks, Molly. But let's just say the story starts and ends with Sarah. Oh, no. What did she do now? Walk out in front of traffic? Cheat on her test? No! She bullied Brookie and took her Doritos. Then Brookie cried in the bathroom. I had to give her a pep talk. And now I'm sharing my apple with her. Thank goodness I have friends like you guys. Or else I'd be hungry. Yeah, Sarah's just a bully. Someday she's going to learn her lesson. I agree, Molly. Someday she definitely will. Hey, guys, I have a great idea. What is it, Molly? While we're waiting for the school bus, why don't we play on the playground for a while? Ooh, I love that idea. Maybe it'll turn your frown upside down. It definitely did, Molly. You guys are my best friends. And we're your best friends, Brookie. Now we just have to wait for the school day to be over. Boring! Molly, maybe if you paid attention once in a while, you'd actually like the subject. Uh, probably not. <laughs> Wee! This is so much fun! I'm so glad we decided to come to the playground after school. Me too, Molly. This is so cool. Yeah, I love swinging on the swings. I haven't done this since, like, kindergarten. I know what you mean. Whoa! 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 I'm going super fast. Whoa! Molly, be careful. You're going to fall off of there. I'm going to jump. Whoa! <laughs> I actually jumped backwards. Did you guys see that? Yeah, that was insane, Molly. Maybe we should go down the slide next and go into the pool. Ow, you ran into me, Brookie. Stop running into me. Stop running into me. Um, Molly, you're standing in front of the swing. Maybe you shouldn't do that if you don't want someone to, um, like, run into you. Ah, uh, yeah, that that's a good point. Okay, who's going down the slide first? You are, Molly, since it was your idea. No one's going down the slide because I own it. I'm going to put my name on it, like, right now. What? You don't own the playground slide, Sarah. Yeah, I do. No one's allowed to come up here. I'm coming up there. Get out of here, seriously. Sarah, get out of the way. I want to go down the slide. No, no. And let me think about it for just a second. No. Seriously, you made me wait all that time just to say no? Let me think about it again. No. Whatever, Sarah. You're so rude. Ugh, she drives me insane. I know, tell me about it. Oh man, I forgot my backpack at school. I'll be right back. Hurry up, you're going to miss the bus. Whoa, here comes the bus. Come on, we don't want to miss it. Sarah, what are you doing? You have to look both ways. Whatever, I don't look both ways. Sarah, Sarah, oh my God, somebody call 911. Sarah got hit by the school bus. Sarah. Are you okay? Say something! It definitely hit her head! Oh my gosh, we need an ambulance! We need an ambulance! Oh my god, this isn't good. I called 911. The ambulance is on the way. Sarah! Just hold on! Hold on! Well, Sarah, it looks like you have a concussion, and also, your leg looks sprained. You're very lucky. I mean, having a school bus hit you, it, it could have killed you. Whatever. When can I get out of here? Uh, you definitely have to stay for the next two days for observation. We want to make sure that the concussion clears up before we send you on home. Oh, this is so annoying. Just try to relax, Sarah. I'll have the cafeteria bring you in some dinner. Sarah! Sarah, are you okay? Who wants to know? It's me, Molly. Don't you recognize me? Yeah, I just didn't want to be bothered to look at you. Oh, I'm so annoyed right now. I'm in the hospital. Sarah, oh my gosh. I, I, I thought maybe the bus had killed you. Well, obviously not. I'm still here talking. Yeah, so, so what did the doctor say? She said I have a concussion and I have a sprained leg, so I have to stay here for two days. Whoa, Sarah, you got lucky. You know when I said you should look both ways and you said you don't follow the rules and that's for babies? Yeah, I remember. Well, uh, I think you should start following the rules. 
Why? Why? Because a school bus hit you. That's why. Why else? Ugh, I'm so irritated right now that I can't go and do what I want. Um, you would be able to do what you want if you would follow the rules. Yeah, I mean, I guess I should have looked both ways because it did really hurt when that school bus hit me. Yeah, not to mention you scared the school bus driver half to death. She thought you were a raccoon. What? I don't even look like a raccoon. Why would you say that? Um, maybe you had some bags under your eyes or something. I do not look like a trash panda. Take that back right now. Sorry, Sarah, I can't. And you can't get out of the bed, so see you later. Molly, you come back here right now. I can't believe you called me a raccoon. Get back here. <laughs> Sarah finally learned her lesson. You should play by the rules. Especially look both ways, because, like, you know, a school bus might hit you or something. This has been a crazy day. It doesn't get better than this. No school, no homework, no teachers, no Sarah. <laughs> yep, summer vacation sure is amazing. Mm. Not to mention all the snacks. Mm. Doritos, Reese's, donuts, <sighs> and all of my favorite shows. Oh, this box is so heavy. Ugh. Dizzy, what are you doing moving out? I don't think I'd be so sad about that. Whatever, Molly, you miss me. You really would. Uh huh, sure. Mm. Okay, let's see. I could pack some waffles. Yeah, they'll last a long time. And I could also pack... Oh, I've got a cake. I could put that in here. Daisy, wh what exactly are you doing? Oh, yeah, I could make burgers. And I could take some soda. And yeah, that would be good. Daisy, why are you taking all the food out of the refrigerator? I need that, you know. Molly, you could always go to the store in a few days and buy more. I don't have that luxury. Daisy, what are you talking about? Why do you have a box labeled food? Are you trying to steal all that food and put it in your room so I can't have any snacks? You know how I feel when you eat the last egg of waffle. Molly, I'm sorry, but everything's fine, but I can't talk right now. I'm very busy. Daisy! What? Daisy, what are you doing? Molly, everything's normal. Don't worry about it. Okay, let's see. I've just got to look up how to purify water. What? You can do it through a sock? Ew, gross. Well, maybe it's a clean sack. Daisy! Okay, something really weird is going on with my sister. I mean, maybe she's just prepping for summer camp or something, but I don't know. I, I don't think her summer camp is till August. Something really, really weird is going on here. Okay, well, I'm just gonna follow her. That's what I'll do. I'll follow her, and I'll sneak up, and I'll eavesdrop on her. See what she's doing. You have to be really quiet. Wait, she not in there? Where is she? Oh, wait, there she is. She's in the spare bedroom. What does she have? Go away. Molly, stop following me. Go away. Seriously, you made that sign as I was coming up the elevator? Yeah, Molly, I knew you were going to follow me. And I'm busy. Stay out. Okay, fine. Rude. I know she's up to something, and I'm going to catch her. In the meantime, though, I'm going to go swimming in the pool. Okay, where's my bathing suit? I've got to put on a really cute bathing suit because Luke might be coming over later, and we might be going swimming. But I'm going to go swimming until he gets here. What about this one? Oh, that's pretty cute. This is super cute. Um, no, but this one, I don't want to wear that one. Let me see. Oh, my gosh. Look at this monster outfit. <laughs> that's adorable. Where are all the bathing suits? I can't find them anywhere. Okay, this is super cute. I'm wearing this in the pool. It's adorable. Okay, my parents just put in a pool last summer, and it is amazing. I love it so much. Ah, <sighs> this is the life. Summer vacations are pretty much amazing. Hmm, this donut's really good, even if it is a little soggy from being in the pool. Molly, what are you doing to eating a donut in the pool? What are you doing with it? An axe? Daisy, why do you have an axe? Well, I asked first, why do you have a donut in the pool? Because I'm hungry. I'm always hungry. I don't care if the donut gets wet in the pool. I still want to eat it. You're going to get frosting in the pool. Ay, ay, ay. Sometimes I don't even know how you're my sister. Daisy, wait. Come back here. What? Where are you going with that axe? Daisy. Daisy. Where'd she go? She is acting so weird. All right, that's it. I'm going to go find out exactly what she's doing. Daisy? Daisy, where are you? In your room? Daisy? Daisy? What, what's going on in your bedroom? Oh my gosh, Molly, this is my secret lab. How'd you get in here? Oh no, I must have left the door open. Hey guys, do you want to go to the park with me today? What? Nutty buddy, how are you in here? Oh my god, everybody's gonna know about my secret lab in, in Brookhaven. This is horrible. Uh, I think Nutty buddy left. He's not really interested in a secret lab. He just probably 
wanted to go get ice cream with Nutty Buddies on it, of course, because those are his favorite. That's why his nickname is Nutty Buddy. Whatever, Molly. Get out of my room. Get out of my lab. I'm busy. Daisy, seriously, what is going on in here? I mean, I knew you wanted to be a scientist and everything, but look at this place. Molly, I didn't want to have to tell you this, but I created a spaceship. What? You did? Yeah, Molly, and well, um... <sighs> I'm going to Mars. What? No, you're not. Don't say that. We have school in two months. You have to be here for it. You'll be back in time for that, right? <laughs> this is just like Mars summer camp? No, Molly. Once you go to Mars, there's no returning. What? What are you talking about? It's a one-way trip, Molly. I leave tomorrow morning. But... But, Daisy, we're, we're sisters. You can't just leave forever. Molly, this is what scientists do. I'm sorry, but this has been a lifelong dream for me, and, and I have to fulfill it. Daisy! But, 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 but I'll never see you again. We have today, Molly. We have today. And then I'm off to uh, learn about aliens and 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 Mars and, and all sorts of really cool things. It'll be a totally different life than here. I know, but here is a good life. Brookhaven, us, our family. Molly... I'm sorry, but this is what I want to do. Can't you be happy for me? Okay, I, I guess I'll try. We still have today, Molly. It's my last day on planet Earth. Let's make it the best one. Now, come on. What should we do first? Um, well, we should probably start with ice cream. <laughs> Since you won't be able to eat any on Mars, that is. Good idea, Molly. Let's go. Last one to the ice cream shops, a rotten egg. <laughs> She's always the rotten egg. Whatever, Molly. You're the stinky one. Hello there. <laughs> How are you doing today? I'm um, real good. Although it looks like Brookhaven's going to get a giant storm. Oh, no. Don't tell me it's going to flood again. Well, there are some pretty dark clouds out there. It's probably going to flood. Oh, man. I don't want my ice cream shop to get flooded again. <sighs> what can I get for you? Um, hmm. Oh, my favorite mint chip, please. Okay, one mint chip coming right up. Mmm, that's delicious. And what about for you? Birthday cake, please. Ooh, delicious. Well, enjoy it, Daisy. It's your last ice cream ever. Why, are you dairy intolerant? <laughs> I have some dairy-free sherbet if you like it. Ew, sherbet could never compare to ice cream. Well, it's all we have for the lactose intolerant. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> dairy is pretty wonderful. No, I'm not lactose intolerant. You see, it's my last... Well, you wouldn't understand. I just can't have ice cream anymore, okay? Um, okay, well, enjoy. Oh, excuse me, are you gonna pay for that? Oh, yeah, pay. I forgot about that. Here you go. Thank you very much. Enjoy your ice cream. Come on, Daisy, let's go sit over here. Our favorite booth. Daisy... Are you sure you want to go to Mars? I mean, I think everyone here in Brookhaven is going to miss you. Yeah, right, Molly. You're my sister, and I annoy you always. I don't think um, you're going to miss me at all. Correction, Daisy. I might miss you a little bit. Wow, Molly, really? Yeah, but just a little. Hmm. Best ice cream ever. I couldn't agree more, Molly. Mine's already gone. Well, do you want a second one? I mean, it is your last day at the ice cream shop forever. Nah, I don't need a stomach ache when I'm on the spaceship tomorrow morning. Last one to the slide is a rotten egg. Molly, enough with the rotten eggs already. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> Molly, now you smell like a rotten egg. Ew. Sorry. Ha ha, I get to go first. Whee! No fair. Whoa. <laughs> okay, that was so fun. We should do it again, Daisy. One more time, Molly. Then I want to play hide and seek. I don't know if they like playing hide and seek on Mars. Good point, Daisy. They may not. Whoa. And you won't have a sister anymore to play hide and seek with. Maybe the aliens will play hide and seek with you. <gasps> Maybe you could teach them how to play hide and seek. Good idea, Molly. That could be the first game I teach them. Okay, Daisy. Who wants to be it? Not me, Molly. Okay, fine. But how about we have a rule? You could only hide somewhere in downtown. Because you only have so many hours left and well you know i i i want to be able to find you before you leave on your spaceship good point molly okay go count and no peeking okay one two three should i peek i really want to cheat <laughs> four five six i better not cheat though because it's the last time she's playing hide and seek so seven eight nine ten ready or not here i come daisy where are you Okay, I can't find her anywhere. I wonder if she went into one of the stores or something. Daisy, are you in the fountain? You'll never find me. You'll never find me. Like guacamole. She's... Wait, wait a minute. Does that plant have feet? Daisy!
Daisy! I found you! Oh, man. I should have hit battle. I thought maybe you wouldn't find me, but my feet have grown like 10 inches in the last year, so they stick out of everything. <laughs> you do have big feet, Daisy. No, no offense or anything. Molly! Hopefully the aliens have big enough shoes for your big feet, because you can't come back to Earth to get new shoes. <gasps> Good point, Molly. I need to pack an extra pair of shoes. Wow. I'm getting hungry. Again, Molly? We just ate that ice cream like two hours ago. Don't you want to have a diner feast before you go to Mars? Ooh, that does sound good. Daisy, what if all they have at Mars is like slime and ooze and green goo? Well, I guess I'll have to learn to like slime and ooze and green goo. Ugh, gross. Well... If it's good enough the Ma for the Martians, it's good enough for me. Hey, honeys. How are you doing today? Well, it's it's an okay day. Oh, you sound really sad and down. What, what's wrong? It's my sister's last day on planet Earth. What? Seriously? Oh, my God. You're going to die? I'll be sure to come and leave flowers for you at the Brookhaven Cemetery. No, no, no. She's not going to die. She's just a famous scientist, and she's taking her, her rocket ship all the way to Mars. Molly... It once was to tell anybody. She's just a waitress. She, she won't tell anybody, right? Molly, she's gonna tell every customer that she's ever known. Well, there's no other customers in the diner right now, so we're safe. You'll be gone by the time another customer comes in. Wait a minute. You're gonna be gone really soon. Daisy, are you sure you want to do this? I'm sorry I'm trying to interrupt here, but if you want to eat before she leaves, I really do need your order. Okay, I have a burger and a soda, please. Me too. Sounds delicious. Want to have a full tummy for my ride? Okay, so Sounds good. Coming right up. Daisy, I, I, I hate to admit this, but you're my sister. I love you. Don't go. Molly, I'm sorry, but I have to do this. Science needs me. It's it's my fate in life. But what about being my sister? What about that fate? Molly, I'll always be your sister, whether I'm in Brookhaven or on Mars. Daisy, I don't want you to go. Don't go, Daisy. Please. Daisy, don't do this to me. <laughs> Daisy, please don't go. <laughs> please don't do this to me. <laughs> Molly, everything's going to be okay. You're a tough girl. You're going to be all right without me. But will you be all right with me? I'm um, sorry to interrupt, but here's your order. Enjoy. Okay, here's your tip. Just leave me alone, okay? Okay, no need to be grumpy. Sorry, it's just my last minute with my sister on the planet. <sighs> well, Molly, you should eat this burger. It's really good. Daisy, aren't you sad? Um, Molly, I'm a little sad, but I'm mostly just excited. I'm going to Mars. I'm going to Mars. Gonna meet some aliens. That's the last Coke you'll ever drink. Ooh, yeah. That is super sad. Really? You're gonna cry about the Coca-Cola? But you're not gonna cry about me, your sister? Uh, but, uh, 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 Daisy! Well, Molly, it's about time for me to go. I hate to say goodbye, but goodbye! Daisy! What? Wait, uh, Daisy! I, I did, Daisy! Wait a minute! Okay, fine, Molly. What, what is it? I'm not good with goodbyes. Daisy, I know we haven't always got along, but I really love you as my sister. Molly! I really love you as my sister, too. I've been trying to stay completely positive about this trip, but the truth is, I get to miss everybody in Brookhaven. Yeah, but you have to go to Mars. Like you said, it's your fate. But you don't have to. You can stay here. No, Molly, I have to go. Now turn around. That way you don't have to watch me leave. Okay. Goodbye, Daisy. Goodbye, Molly. Goodbye forever. Daisy? Wait. Daisy? Daisy! <laughs> well, here goes nothing. All my work as a scientist is finally led up to this. I even made a special helmet that would allow me to wear my pigtails. They're my signature style. Hee! <laughs> Whoa! A little bit of turbulence here as I leave Earth's atmosphere. This is crazy and amazing. Ah, little does my sister know that I packed all the Doritos in the house. Well, I guess you could go to the store, and I don't think there's a Dorito store on Mars, so, you know, I needed them. It's been one whole day since since Daisy left, and I just I don't even know what to do with myself right now. I guess I could go to the diner and get some lunch. That's what she would want me to do. Okay, maybe not, but that's exactly what I want to do. Excuse me, can I get some service over here? Oh, sorry. <laughs> I just came on for my lunch shift. What's wrong, cutie? Um, can you not sit on the counter? Well, I'm trying to sit on the chair, but it won't let me. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, you have to pull the stool out before you sit down. Uh, you really are having a rough day. I'm having a horrible day. <laughs> 
What's wrong, cutie? Oh, wait a minute. Now I remember. Your sister left for Mars, didn't she? Hmm. This donut's delicious. Hey, are you giving me some lunch or what? Sorry, I had to work so late last night and then someone called off, so I had to work a second shift and I'm just really tired. I need like so much coffee. Here you go. How about this for lunch? Well, I don't even think I'm hungry. I just miss my sister. We would eat here together all the time. Well, cutie, your life has to go on even if your sister's not here. I guess you're right, but I don't want to live without her. It's going to be okay, Molly. Just try going through your day like you normally would. Okay, well... I'm not really hungry. Well, that's a first. You really must be depressed. Totally. Oh, yeah, I could go down the big slide. My sister and I love doing that together, and I could still do it on my own. Here goes nothing. Ugh, that didn't seem very fun. Oh, wait, I know what I need to do. I'm gonna run over here. Perfect. Last one to the slides, a rotten egg. <laughs> I'm gonna beat everybody. I beat you. Wait. There's no one to even beat to the slide. There's no one to, to tease about being a rotten egg. It's just, it's just me, alone, without Daisy. <laughs> Daisy, are you, are you up there? I know you're somewhere amongst the stars. I miss you, Daisy, but I know you're living out your dream as a scientist. I hope the Martians are nice to you and I'll miss you forever. I'll miss you always. You'll always, always be my sister. So you see, if you want to play hide and seek, you have to go hide somewhere, and then I try to find you. If I find you, then I win. I don't... Sorry, I don't speak alien too well yet. Do you speak uh, human yet? Oh, boy. I really miss playing hide and seek with Molly. <sighs> okay, let's go over this again. First you hide, then I find you. <laughs> Dr. Smith reporting for duty. <laughs> I'm going to have a wonderful day. Ooh, it looks like Laura and Karen checked in to have their babies. Wow, it's going to be such a busy day for me. Hello? Karen, is that you? Ugh, there's not even a good view in this hospital room. It's so annoying. Um, Karen, why don't you come out of the corner so I can examine you and make sure that your baby is doing fabulous. Of course she's doing fabulous. She's my baby. Okay, well, I'll be right back when you have a little less attitude. Hi, Laura. How are you doing? Oh, hi, Dr. Smith. Oh, my stomach's really hurting. I think my baby is going to be coming any minute. You're probably right, Laura. Let me just take a look. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Ooh, you're right. Your baby is going to appear any minute. Oh, wow, I can't believe it. Does that mean, oh, my stomach will feel better soon? Absolutely, Laura. Now, I've got to go check on Karen and see how she is. Karen, come on, I need to check your baby. Uh, seriously, I need to wheel myself out of the corner? What am I paying you for? Um, you're not directly paying me? Uh, yeah, it's kind of a long story with insurance and stuff, but come on, let's get into the bed and let me see how your baby's doing, okay? Fine, whatever. Ooh, cute pajamas, Karen. Of course they are, I'm wearing them, duh. Well, it looks like your baby should appear any minute. All right, don't get out of bed until your baby comes. Oh, my stomach hurts. Oh, but I can't wait to meet my little baby. Oh, I was wondering who was making all this noise over here. Oh, hey, Karen. Uh, yeah, uh, my baby's coming. So is it mine, but I'm not whining about how much my stomach hurts. Um, okay, Karen, um, everyone deals with pain differently. Oh, my baby is going to be so adorable, like a million times cuter than yours. What? Don't bully my baby before it's even being born. That's just rude, Karen. I don't care if it's rude. It's the truth. Your baby is going to be ugly and mine's going to be cute. Karen, get out of my room right now before I call hospital security. You can't bully my baby like that. <laughs> Congratulations, Karen. Your baby is so adorable. Of course she is. She's mine. Would you expect her to be anything else but the most adorable baby in the world? 
Um, well, all babies are pretty cute. No, mine's the cutest. Say it, Dr. Smith. Um, okay. Uh, what are you going to name your baby? I'm naming her Sarah, the best name in the whole world. Okay, well, uh, you take good care of Sarah. I'm going to go check on your next door neighbor because she's having a baby too. Uh-huh, sure, whatever. Hi, baby Sarah. We're going to rule the world. Oh, boy. I can tell it's going to be a very long day. Oh, wow! You had your baby, Laura! Yeah, she's so cute, isn't she? I love her so much. Oh, she is cute. Oh, hi, baby Molly. Oh, you named her Molly. What a sweet name. Okay, Laura, I want you to get lots of rest. Don't worry, I will. Except for when my baby needs me. Oh, you're still here. Um, yeah, I just had a baby. Of course I'm still here, Karen. Duh. Uh, I came over because I figured you wanted to see the cutest baby in the entire world. Um, okay. Um, my baby's cute, too. Uh, no. Your baby's ugly. Mine is cute. Karen! I told you to get out of my room if you're gonna bully my baby! Ugh! You're so... You're so frustrating! Whatever. I mean, you're just jealous because my baby's adorable! Ooh, it's my first day at preschool. I love preschool. I love it already, even though I've never been here before. <laughs> oh, look at it. It's a little, it's a little hippopotamus. I want to play with it. Give me that toy right now. I want to play with that. There's another one right there. You can play with that one. I don't mind playing with that one. I want to play with the one you have. Now give me it. Get that back to me! That's mine! I want to play with that! <laughs> You're such a whiny little baby. No one even likes you because you still poop your pants. <laughs> okay, Molly. You just, you just have to be brave. Be brave! I can ask him to the dance. Sure, I can ask him, I can ask him. He's usually practicing in the in the gym. Yeah, because he's on the basketball team, so he has to have lots of practice. Oh my gosh. He's so cute! Oh, I'm so nervous! It's okay, I can ask him. Oh, H hi, Jesse! Oh, hey, Molly, what's up? Just practicing, because, you know, I've got a game on Saturday. Yeah, um... You know what's on Friday night, though, right? Yeah, the big school dance. It's gonna be fun, right? Yeah, totally. Um, so, uh, I was wondering if maybe, uh... Oh, there's Jesse. What's he talking to that loser for? Hey, Jesse. So, excuse me, Sarah. I was about to ask Jesse something. Okay, girls, girls. Seriously, there's enough of me to talk to everybody. <laughs> oh, that sort of hit me. Sorry, <laughs> never know what's hap gonna happen on the court. <laughs> so if you're out here, you gotta be careful. Okay, so anyway, are uh, you done talking, loser? Because I have something I have to say. Sarah, I'm rude! What is it, Sarah? Uh, Jesse, since I'm really popular and a cheerleader, I was wondering, do you want to go to the dance with me on Friday? What? But, 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 but... Oh, uh, yeah, sure, Sarah. Sounds like fun. I didn't really have a date in mind, so, um, yeah, we can go together. Anyway, guys, I gotta get going because I have to drink, um, this awesome drink before I go to class. It's got, like, spinach in it and protein and stuff. It makes me big and strong for the game. See you girls later. And Sarah, pick you up at eight. Sounds good, Jesse. See you then. Sarah, you interrupted. I was gonna ask him to the dance. <laughs> You're funny. Like, Jesse would ever go with a metal mouth to the dance. Metal mouth? Oh, you call it metal mouth? You brace face. <laughs> oh. Well, it's another beautiful day in Brookhaven. Uh, guess it's time to get to work. Hey, who's that? Oh my guacamole! Look at that sports car. That must have cost three hundred thousand dollars. 
Looks like they're coming in here. Well, I better get on my apron and get behind the counter. Hey there, what's up? Uh, don't mind me, I'm just recording this YouTuber. What? A famous YouTuber is coming into Brooks Diner? I hope my hair looks okay. Oh, it's good to be back in my old town. Well, really, not really. Wait a minute, is that Sarah? Oh my gosh, she's a YouTube star now? Yeah, I would have been living under a rock. Do you not even watch YouTube? Um, I don't get much chance to watch anything. I have to work a lot of hours in order to pay my rent and stuff. Ugh, once a loser, always a loser. Jesse, are you getting this on film? Jesse? Is that you? Yeah, it's me. What? Uh, I just thought you wanted to be a famous basketball star. He did, but then he broke his ankle, so now he works for me. Leave him alone, okay? Um, Sarah, um, what are you doing back in Brookhaven? Well, right now I'm waiting for you to get me some breakfast, duh. Ugh, once a loser, always a loser. What? I I'm not a loser. I have a job. I'm a grown-up. I'm adulting. Not very well by the looks of it. Ugh. You're gonna work here forever? Okay, um, it's okay. I'm just feeling a little sad that you're making fun of me and bullying me, even as adults. Ugh, obviously, we're not gonna get any breakfast here. All right, Jesse, let's just get out of here. Uh, have I messed up my entire life? Sarah makes me wonder. I, r I really don't know. Well, I may be old, but I still volunteer at the hospital every Wednesday and Saturday. I feel like the patients just need a friend. Oh, my back is killing me today. All right, let's see what patients are here. Oh, good morning, Molly. Oh, my, it looks like you have a very achy back. Here, you want a shot for that? Oh, yes, that would be lovely. Here you go. Oh, ow, that hurt. Yes, but in a minute, your back won't hurt anymore, Molly. Oh, wow, you're really right. Thanks, Doc. No problem, Molly. Let's see what patience I can be friends with today. Oh, my. Sarah, you mean the famous YouTuber who's been bullying my entire life? That's right. <laughs> she is kind of a bully, isn't she, Molly? Yes, but has anyone been in to visit her, Doc? No, she has no friends. No one wants to visit her. Oh, I see in the bed next to her, someone just had a baby. Oh, that's lovely. Yeah, she has a lot of friends and family, though, that have been visiting her. So, I think Sarah's probably the one you need to see. Of course she is. Oh, no. Hello? I'm coming to visit you. Who's there? Ugh, I can't even see you too good. Oh, um, it's your old uh, acquaintance, Molly. What? Molly? <laughs> oh, you're still ugly and a loser 80 years later. Excuse me, I had a little bit of a seizure there. I'm about to die. Oh my, I'm so sorry to hear that. Perhaps I can sit with you and be your friend. No, I don't need a loser to be my friend. Look, Sarah, you've been bullying me my entire life, but I want you to know something before you die. Okay, what is it? Spit it out, Granny. I forgive you. I don't care if you forgive me. I don't care. Oh, Sarah, please learn this lesson before you die. You have been a real, real what? Um, well, bully, and it's not good. You should say you're sorry. You don't want to die with this on your conscience. Ugh, whatever. I don't owe anyone an apology. Okay, Sarah, well, I just want you to know I forgive you. I'm... 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 What, Sarah? What were you gonna say? I'm so... <sighs> oh my god, are you kidding me? She died before she was able to say she was sorry? Ugh! 
This is horrible! Well, looks like she bit the dust. I'll call the funeral home. Oh, well, at least she tried to say she was sorry for bullying me all those years. At least she tried. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching our show today, Brooke. Hi. Don't forget to check out our sponsor, the new iPhone. Guys, the new iPhone is amazing. You want to run out to your local electronics store and purchase it right now. Whoa, Daisy, did you hear that? Brittany says we should get the new iPhone. I know, she's such a star. I love her. Uh, but I haven't saved up enough money yet for the iPhone. That's okay, I know what to do. Mom! Molly, I'm right here. <laughs> you know the downstairs is all one room, right? Yeah, but Mom, I have a question. Uh, please stop crawling on the counter, Molly. I can't afford a new one. Uh, sorry, Mom. I'm just really excited. She's gonna say no. Uh, Daisy, shh! I haven't even asked her yet. Mom, Mom, Mom. Beautiful, Mommy! Okay, Molly, what is it? Spit it out. You are the most radiant, amazing mom on the entire planet. What do you want, Molly? Nothing. Just saying, you're amazing. Mm, I think you probably are going to ask me for something. Okay, um, you know how on Brook High they have the brand new iPhones? Uh, yes, Molly, but that's because they got them for free because that is the show that's like most popular right now, so iPhone just gives them to them. Yeah, I know, but... Uh, I want the new iPhone, too. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's a big ask, Molly. Um, I, I, I don't think that I can afford that right now. I'm really sorry. <laughs> what? But, but, Mom, my old phone is like a flip phone. It's so old. I'm pretty sure the dinosaurs called each other on my phone. Well, Molly, just be thankful you actually have a phone. A lot of girls your age don't have a phone at all. Yeah, Molly, try to be appreciative. Hmm. This apple's delicious, Mom. Ugh, can't believe it. I can't get the new iPhone. I could have told you that, Molly. Duh. I cannot believe that I just won a bazillion dollars. What's the first thing you're going to buy? Uh, a new laptop, of course. They're also our sponsor for this video. Oh, my gosh. Now the stars from Rags to Riches are getting new um iPads. I definitely want one of those or a new laptop. Ooh, I could use that for school. I'm going to go ask Mom. Uh, yeah, good luck with that. Already asked for a new iPhone, and she said no. But this is for school. It's necessary. My laptop keeps freezing. Mom! Yes, Daisy, what is it? Dinner's going to be ready soon. My laptop keeps freezing whenever I try to do my schoolwork. Oh, man. We're going to have to take it into Best Buy then, and maybe they can figure out why. No, Mom, you don't understand. This this computer is so old, I can't use it anymore. Um, well, we're going to have to make it work because uh, I can't afford a new one right now. Even with all the overtime at work, I have to pay the mortgage and the car payment. And even your dad's mowing the grass instead of hiring someone else to do it. We have to all pitch in during this rough time. But, Mom, I need a new iPad or a new laptop to do my schoolwork. Daisy, I told you we could go to the Best Buy and see if they can fix your laptop. But, but, told you, Daisy. I knew she wasn't going to say yes. Hey, what happened to TV? Oh, I'm so tired from mowing that grass. It's like a thousand degrees outside. Ah. Dad, I'm so sorry you're dying, but what happened to cable? I need TV. Oh, your mother and I canceled that so we could save some money. What? No new iPhone, no new laptop, and no cable? I can't take this anymore. I've got to get out of here. I'm coming with you, Molly. Girls, wait a minute. If you're going out, I need something from the grocery store. Oh, really? We've got to go do an errand? Yes, Molly, please. I, I need some eggs so I can finish what I'm making for dinner. Okay, fine. Can I buy a candy bar? No, Molly. Of course you can't. You don't have enough money for that. But I want a candy bar. No, Molly, I need eggs. Don't buy a candy bar with that money. Okay, Mom, fine. Come on, Daisy. Ugh. I don't like being poor. Being poor stinks. I agree, Molly. I agree. Now, remember what Mom said, Molly. 
No buying a candy bar as much as you want it. Well, hello there. Welcome to my grocery store. Hi. Um, I only have enough money for some eggs. Where are those? Uh, back right-hand corner. Hey, Luke, what's up? Yeah, I'm just, I'm just, uh, working at the grocery store tonight. The lottery is up to a hundred million- What? The lottery is up to a hundred million dollars? I'm never gonna work at the grocery store again! And it's said that the winning ticket is in Brookhaven? Holy guacamole! Yeah, I'm gonna buy some tickets. Yeah. Yeah, it's gonna be awesome if I win. I'm gonna move to the beach. I'm never gonna work at the grocery store again! Daisy, did you hear that? Hear what, Molly? The sound of my stomach growling? I hope dinner's ready when we get home. No! The grocery store worker. He said that the lotto was up to a hundred million dollars. Holy guacamole! He also said the winning ticket is at one of these stores in Brookhaven. Wow, that's insane. Whoever wins is going to be really lucky. Now let's get the eggs and go home. I'm hungry. Don't you see, DC? We gotta buy the winning ticket. How are we going to do that, Molly? Don't be ridiculous. We're going to do it because we're going to use this $3 to buy the winning lotto ticket. What? No, we're not. We have to use that for eggs. Yeah, but if we buy the winning lotto ticket, we won't have to worry about eggs. We could buy a bazillion eggs. Molly, how do you know you're going to buy the winning ticket? Um, well, um, I don't know. I'm just having faith it's all going to work out. What's going to happen is you're going to spend that $3. We're going to go home and there's not going to be any dinner. You could be grounded for a week. Well, Daisy, I'm buying the lotto ticket. Molly, you're not going to buy the lotto ticket. D Daisy, let me out of this car. Don't, don't you dare. Get, let me out of this car. I'm buying it. I'm buying it, Daisy. Get back here, Molly. You're not spending mom's money. I am spending mom's. Daisy, did you seriously just put me back in the car? Daisy, I'm not three years old. Stop it. Are you going to act more mature about the money mom gave you? Yes, I will buy the eggs. Are you sure? Yep. Come on, let's go over and get them right now. <laughs> I'd like the um, winning lotto ticket, please. Well, there's no way I know if you're going to actually get the... Just sell me the ticket! Okay, fine. Here you go. Molly! No! You spent the money on a lotto ticket, Naughty! Naughty, you're grounded. Daisy, I'm not your kid. Stop putting me in the... Stop putting me in the cart! Fine, Molly. You're so naughty. I don't even want you in my cart. This is all your fault. I don't even know you. You're dead to me. Oh, my gosh. My sister's so annoying. Good luck with that ticket. You know, I'm going to buy the winning lottery ticket. Okay, fine. We'll see about that. Hey, Daisy. Where's the eggs so I can finish up making dinner? Uh, ask Molly about that? I had nothing to do with this, Mom. I cannot be blamed. Mom! Mom, guess what? Um, you were able to get a two-for-one deal on the eggs? And then we can have her for breakfast in the morning, too. No, Mom, I spent the money on something else. What? I told you not to buy a candy bar. I needed those eggs, Molly. This is what feeds our family. What were you thinking? You're grounded. What? No, I can't be grounded. I didn't buy a candy bar. Then what did you buy? A lottery ticket! What? You gambled with our money? Are you crazy right now? Oh, that makes me so mad, Molly! But you don't even know if it's a winner! Go to your room, Molly. Go right now! Fine. Well, Molly, that worked out real well. But when I scratch it off and everybody sees I'm a winner... Molly, you're not going to win. Well, let's find out. Daisy! Oh my gosh! Oh, Molly, what is it? Oh my gosh, 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 oh my gosh! Molly, are you pranking me right now? What's going on? I, 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 Molly, stop talking gibberish! What's wrong with you? Did you bonk your head? What's going on? Oh my gosh. Is that a... Is that a... Winning lottery ticket? For a... Hundred... Million... Dollars, Daisy! Oh my gosh! Uh, yeah. I'll come back to you when you're actually awake. Mom! Mom! 
Mom! Molly. I can't talk to you right now, okay? I'm really stressed about money, and I don't have any eggs to <laughs> feed you guys, and I'm just really worried. I'm going to have to take another job, I think, if I can even get one. Mom, your problems are over. What are you talking about? That lotto ticket that I got, it, it's a winner. What, for like a free ticket or something? How's that going to help us? Mom, no, it's it's the big winner. A hundred million dollars. What? L let me see that. Oh my gosh! Ah! Oh my gosh, is there anybody in this house that hasn't passed out? Where's dad? Hey, everybody, we won a, we met, we met, we won a hundred million dollars! All of our troubles are over! Dad, what exactly are you doing? It's the day we're supposed to move into our new mansion. I'm just so excited! I can't stop dancing. I can't stop dancing. Is that a new song you wrote, Dad? Yeah, I'm thinking about becoming a musician now that I don't have to have a job. I can't stop dancing. This is my signature dance move. Uh, Dad, it's just weird. Nope, nope, nope. Raise a roof, raise a roof. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh my god, Dad. You're even weirder when you're rich. Well, I'm allowed to be weird. I have all the money in the world! Let's move these moving boxes to our new mansion. Oh boy, my dad is so crazy right now. Ah, now this is the life I was talking about. No one wanted to believe that my winning lotto ticket would actually be, well, a winner. But look where we are now. I have to agree, Molly. I thought you were insane, but this place is, well, amazing. It's off the hook. And, um... I'm really glad you bought that winning lotto ticket, Molly. Am I still grounded then, Dad? Oh, uh, that's a difficult one to answer. Go ask your mother. Come on, Daisy, come see my new sports car. I've got one of my own, Molly. Whoa! Okay, yeah, I want to ride in yours. That's just because you can't drive, Molly, and I'm a better driver. No, you're not. I'm a fine driver. Uh huh, sure, says the girl who put Mom's car on the lake. Okay, that was a little bit of a mistake. You think, cheapos? Oh my gosh, Daisy. We have so much nice stuff now. Like, we've got a mansion. We've got nice cars. We have amazing clothes. We have, we have the newest iPhones. What are we gonna do with all this money that's left over? I don't know, Molly. What, what do you think we should do with it? Hmm. Daisy, I think I have the perfect idea. What are you doing, Molly? Why are you going over there by the dumpsters? I just saw something when we were driving by. Oh, I'm so hungry. I hope this dumpster food doesn't make me sick. Ew! Why are you eating from the dumpster? That's disgusting. Um, you could go to the dino. They have regular food. Daisy, he's eating from the dumpster because he doesn't have any money. Oh, wow, that's really sad because I still have like 90 million dollars and... Daisy! Probably not a good idea to tell him that you have tons of money while he's sitting here eating from the dumpster. Sorry, I guess I just get a little nervous when I don't know what to say or do. Well, I know exactly what to do. Hey, I've got something for you here. Whoa. Uh, seriously? Yeah, there's like, um, $500,000 here. What? F five five hundred thousand dollars Yeah. It's enough to buy you a small house. Oh my god, did he die? Ah, the homeless man died! No, I just can't move. Partially because I just got $500,000 and partially because I ate something rotten from the dumpster. Oh, my stomach hurts. Yeah, you don't have to eat from the dumpster ever, ever again. How can I ever repay you? Oh, I can't wait to go to my own house where I have a bathroom because I'm probably going to have to throw up. Oh, man, that stinks. Yeah, don't eat from a dumpster ever again. Here's $500,000. You could buy food and everything you need. Oh, there was there was this work truck I wanted to get because I'm super good at construction and I wanted to start fixing stuff up and, and, and now I can afford to start my own business. I'll never be homeless again. How could I ever thank you? What's your name? Come on, Daisy. Don't even tell him our name. Let's just do it and be good Samaritans. Molly, look at the orphanage. It really looks a bit fun down. Maybe we could donate some money to them, too. That's a great idea, Daisy. Let's do this. Hi, are you my mommy? 
Oh, no, I'm sorry. I'm just a teenager. I can't be your mommy. Oh, I really need a mommy. This place is really run down. Oh, I'm sorry, but look, my sister and I are going to um give the orphanage $2 million, and it's going to be a lot nicer for you, okay? Are you sure? Are you sure it'll be nicer? Yep, until your mommy or daddy comes to find you. Aw, uh, thanks so much. We're just going to leave the bag of cash right here. Hello, can I help you? You two are a bit young to be adopting. But I see that our little Kelly really loves you. Aw, she's super nice. Maybe I could volunteer here sometime. Anyway, we have something we like to give you. Two million dollars. Wait, what? <laughs> Very funny. Is that Monopoly money? No, it's real money. We won the lottery, but we don't need all this money, so we're giving some to you. Seriously? Yeah, please use it for the orphanage and make it a nice place for all the kids. Oh my gosh. The kids right now are out on the playground, except for little Kelly. She kind of didn't want to go out today. She just wanted to hang out inside. They're going to be so excited when they come in and they see this money. And I can tell them we're going to buy new toys. And we only have one crib here for all the kids. What? That's horrible. Yeah. Everybody's been sleeping on those mats on the floor over there. Every kid deserves to have their own bed. I couldn't agree more. Thank you, girls. This means the world. You're welcome. Bye, Kelly! I follow you. You could be my mommy. Sorry, Kelly, but I could come back next week and maybe I could be your big sister. I love that! Yeah, come back! Hello, this is Molly. Hello, Molly. This is the mayor of Brookhaven. I'd like for you to come down to the courthouse. Um, look, if this is about me driving my mom's car into the pool, I'm really sorry. What? You, you were the one that did that? Uh, no, 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 no. Uh, never mind. I didn't say anything. Please come over to the courthouse right away. Okay, I'll I'll tell my sister now. Come on, Daisy, we have to go to the courthouse. For what, Molly? I don't know. I hope we're not in trouble. Me too, Molly, me too. Well, here's the mayor's office. Here goes nothing. H hello Hello, Molly. Nice to see you. Um, if you're going to give me detention, my teacher does that enough. <laughs> I'm not going to give you detention, but I am going to wait for your sister Daisy to get here, because this is for both of you. Oh, gosh. What kind of trouble are we in? I have to give my mom a heads up. What'd she do now? Why are you assuming it was just me, Daisy? Because, Molly, I'm an angel and you're the demon. What? Actually, I think you're both angels. Really? Why? Well... I've been told that the two of you have been donating large sums of money to people in need. Seriously? You, you heard about that? The mayor? I sure did, and I want to let you know that you guys have won Citizen of the Year of Brookhaven. We usually only pick one person, but since you both helped, we're going to pick two this year. Whoa! That's amazing! What do we get for it? You get these trophies. They're made out of solid gold. Whoa! And you get free ice cream from the ice cream shop downstairs for the entire year. Oh my god, that's amazing! I mean, we still have millions of dollars, so we could just buy ice cream, but that's the thought that counts. We don't need any rewards, Mr. W Mayo. We just wanted to do it because it was the right thing to do. Well, I can tell you that you girls are quite amazing. I'm very proud of you. Wow! Hey, uh, one thing money can't buy is, um, a get-out-of-detention-free card for the year. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I don't have that kind of power of the teacher. Oh, man! Oh, my God! I'm late for school again! I'm late for school again! This is so bad. <laughs> so bad! And that's why you're a total loser, Daisy. I'm not a loser. Stop saying that, Sarah. You're so rude. Hey, wait a minute. What's going on here? Are you bullying my sister again? Um, no. I'm just telling her how it is. She's such a loser. Don't say that about my sister or else. Or else what? Ugh, whatever. You're both such losers. Sarah, get out of here. Go. Get out of here. Go. Go. That's okay. You kind of smell anyway. Wait, what? I do? Do I smell, Daisy? Um, well, maybe a little. You did run to school. <laughs> oh, man. I think I have some deodorant in my locker. Molly, Sarah is so rude. Yeah, I know what you mean. 
<sighs> I wish she could stop being a bully for just one day. Well, maybe, maybe she would if she just had some real friends. Yeah, right. Doubt it. Well, we better get to class. Hey, Sarah. Um, you look really pretty today. Don't even talk to me, Tommy. Ugh, you're such a nerd. Hey, don't be mean to Tommy. He's super cool. Hey, Tommy. Hey, Molly. <laughs> uh, Sarah, I was wondering if maybe you, uh... Oh, my gosh. I think Tommy's gonna ask Sarah to the dance. <laughs> Good luck with that. She's rude. What do you want? Like, seriously, you're starting to annoy me. Oh, um, I was wondering, uh, I think you're really pretty and, um, well, uh, kind of nice. And I was wondering, do you want to go to the dance with me? What? <laughs> uh, this doesn't look like it's gonna go so good. <laughs> Are you laughing because you're so excited about going to the dance with me? No, I'm laughing that you'd ever think I'd go to the dance with you. <laughs> you're such a nerd and I'm popular. Like, I'm a cheerleader. Pff, you're not even supposed to be talking to me. Goodbye. Whoa, um, that was not nice, Sarah. Oh my god, I'm humiliated! Tommy, what's going on? Oh boy, I better get into class and see see what the drama is now. What's going on, Molly? Well, Tommy decided to ask Sarah to the dance. What? Seriously? Uh, she's kind of out of his league. Well, must be he didn't get the memo on that one. 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5... Minus 11. Oh, school's already making my brain hurt. When's lunch? <laughs> oh, I'm so humiliated. Well, Tommy, the good news is it's lunchtime. I don't want lunch. I don't want anything. Oh, I need to go to a different school. Don't worry, Tommy. Sarah's mean to everybody. She's probably going to go to the dance alone because who would want to go with such a bully like her? Probably the star football player will go with her. She's so beautiful and the cheerleader and... Well, she might be beautiful, uh, but not on the inside because, man, she is ugly on the inside. She's rude and mean and a bully. Now, come on, Tommy. Let's go have lunch. I'm starving. Yeah, maybe later, Molly. Give me that cheeseburger. It looks delicious. Not a chance, Sawa. It's mine. I'm starving and I want that cheeseburger now. Sarah, no. Sarah, could you just stop being a bully for five seconds of your life? I'm not a bully. I just tell it how it is. Uh, yeah. And we also call that a bully. B-U-L-L-I-E. Buddy, that's not how you spell bully. Ugh, you're such a loser. You don't even know how to spell bully. Yeah, it's B-U-L-L-I-E, right? Ay, yeah, yeah. You need to pay attention in class more often. How do you spell it? B-U-L-L-Y. Oh, yeah, and if it's plural, it's B-U-L-L-I-E-S. <laughs> My mistake. Oh, I'm so sick of Sarah's bullying. Tell me about it, Molly. Well, I don't know what there is to do about it, but I think some pizza will help me. Mmm, delicious. Maybe we're just not seeing things from Sarah's perspective. Sarah's perspective? Pfft, who cares about that? I'm just saying, Molly. Mmm, this Coke is good. Maybe she has a reason that she is the way she is. And we don't know because we're not in her shoes. Of course we're not in her shoes. She has much bigger feet than I do. And they probably stink like rotten cheese. Ma Molly, no. It's a figure of speech. Um, being in someone else's shoes means you live their life. You don't live their life, so you don't know what it's like to live their life. Huh, what? Can't hear you over the chewing of my pizza. Molly! Okay, fine, what? Just saying, unless we live a life, we don't know why. Whoa, that gave me a great idea! Oh no, she has an idea. This can't be good. Spellbook, spellbook, spellbook. No, not the spellbook! Marty, not the spellbook! Okay, let's see. I have Newt. Ew, I have Newt. Gross. What are you doing, Molly? I'm switching lives with Sarah for the day. What? Why? Well, because you said I had to see what it's like to be in her shoes. And she's going to see what it's like to be in mine. Here's the spell. Okay, I just got to go find Sarah. Molly, I don't think this is such a good idea. Yeah, I'm going to be there for practice. Yeah, no, we can get pizza after practice. Uh-huh. What do you want, loser? What are you doing? Spell book? What, what's this about? Ugh, you're so annoying. Alakazi! Alakazi! I'm going to trade my life with you! What? 
What's happening to me? What's happening to me? Oh, this feels kind of weird. <laughs> I'm starving. I need to go have some lunch. And I'm probably going to share it with everyone I know. Why is she so friendly? She's so annoying. What a loser. Ugh. Let me go see if I can bully somebody for their lunch. Wait, why am I going this way? Gosh, school is so annoying and so big. You never figure out where I'm going half the time. Oh, hey, Molly. <laughs> I got a pizza to share. Uh, I don't plan on sharing it with you. You can just give it to me. Wait, what? Why? Oh, hi, guys. Oh, I'm so embarrassed around you, Sarah. Why? Why are you embarrassed? Uh, because he's a loser and you're not? Bully, that, that wasn't very nice. What's wrong with you? I don't know. She's been a bully all day. Uh, wait, what? Are you talking to me, Sarah? Yeah. <laughs> You're super nice. Oh, does that mean you changed your mind about going to the dance with me? Yeah, I'll go to the dance with you. Huh, what do you know? A loser gets to go with the cheerleader. <laughs> Today's your lucky day. Whoa, Marty, you look grumpy. <gasps> Did the spell work? What spell? Get away from me. You're such a loser. Molly, I'm your sister. What do you mean I'm a loser? Where's your lunch money? Give it to me. Molly, oh my God, you are a bully. <gasps> that means Sam was super nice. I gotta go see this. Hey, get back here. I'm s Give me your lunch. Give me your lunch money, one or the other. Hi, Sarah. Oh, hey, Daisy. You want some of this pizza that I bought? It's delicious. And also, I've decided to go to the dance with Tommy. Wait, what? Are you serious right now? <laughs> Molly, your spell is amazing. What is she talking about spell? There's no spell. Ugh, you guys leave me the pizza and all your money and get out of here. Oh, Molly, I don't know when you turned into a bully, but it kind of stinks. I don't like it. I don't like any of you. <laughs> Ew, Molly, did you just fart? Yeah, and that's what I think of you when you eat all the pizza and don't give me any. Um, we said we'd give you some, Molly. I don't want any of your stinky pizza. It's not us that's stinky, Molly. Take a look in the mirror. I don't like anybody at this school. I don't like any any of the subjects. I don't like any of it. Just want to go home and, like, hang out. Maybe play a video game or something. Ooh, what's this? Doritos? Not even Doritos can make me happy. Okay. They can make me, like, a little happy. Mm. Molly, um, try to think back to what you did before you became, well, this Molly. Uh, okay. I guess I can. Not really sure why you're interrupting me while I'm eating my Doritos. Um, you were reading a spell book, remember? Oh, yeah, that's right. Wait a minute. Did I cast a spell? Yeah, and I was wondering how long it's going to last. I really don't like you right now. I don't really like you either. Rude. Wait, the spell I cast, I can't remember what it was, but it said it lasts 15 minutes. Oh, good. We have 14 minutes and 39 seconds. Should be any minute now. I have to go bully some people. Get away from me, loser. Oh, no. Here comes Molly again. I'm so confused. First you were a bully, and now you're nice, and now she's a bully, and I don't, I don't understand what's going on. <laughs> Wow, this was you two go. What are you talking about? Why are you losers sitting next to me? Get away from me, Tommy. You smell like a taco. Oh, <laughs> I had tacos for lunch. Uh, would you like some? You know, I, I could make tacos even before the school dance. <laughs> yeah, Sarah, are you going to go to the school dance? No, not. Well, yeah, I'm going to go, but like not around any of you guys. Wait, but you said you were going to go to the school dance with me. Wait, I, oh my God. Why did I say that? No, I'm not going with a nerd. Um, too late. I already bought your corsage and my tuxedo, so you have to go with me. Oh my god, this is horrible. Oh! So Molly, what did you learn about walking a mile in Sarah the Bully's shoes? I learned that her shoes are stinky and they hurt my feet. Really, Molly, that's it? No, I just learned that she's grumpy and I have no idea why. She's just a bully. Well, I'm sure she has a good reason, and, um, I want her to be your friend. Well, Tommy, good luck to you. Good luck! Oh, who's a cute little girl? Aw, oh, you're so adorable, Daisy. 
Oh, Molly, you're so adorable, too. I can hardly believe we had twins, Laura. I know, it's going to be crazy. Two little kids running around at the same time. Twice the diapers! Oh, Dan, don't freak out. They're just diapers. But diapers! So many diapers! <laughs> I think this is going to be a great adventure. Diapers. Just one word. Diapers! Ooh, Dad! I want marshmallow! I want marshmallow! Molly, shh! I'm trying to read my book. Wow, Daisy, I can't believe you're only three and you've already learned how to read. Ah, oh, you're so smart. Uh-uh, I can tell you something, Molly. I tell you something. Okay, what is it, Molly? Shh, I'm trying to read. I increase my knowledge. Ugh, my sister is so annoying. I got poo-poo in my diaper. I got poo-poo in my diaper. Ugh, ew. I was potty trained over a year ago. Wee, diaper. Okay, Molly, okay. But first, I tell you this amazing fact about lakes since we're on our annual family trip. Did you know there are 117 million lakes on Earth covering 3.7% of the continental land surface? I poo poo! I poo poo! Oh my gosh, my sister is so annoying! Okay, um. Come on, Molly, we'll change your diaper. I poo poo! I poo poo! Oh, yeah, yeah. How's anybody supposed to be so smart with this one running around as their sister? Oh, that smells a lot better, Molly. <laughs> Eventually, you'll be potty trained. Ooh, monkey! I like my stuff, monkey! I am trying to read still. Oh, Laura, I think Daisy's definitely going to be a rocket scientist. I do too, Dan. Ugh, I don't know where she got her smarts from, but probably me. Hey, I'm sure she got them from me. Uh, no, Dan, definitely from me. Uh-oh, I poo-poo, I poo-poo. Oh, no, not again. Your turn. <laughs> I changed the last one. Okay, Molly, come on. Okay, class, no talking, please. If this is a test, I repeat, this is an actual test. Whoa, Mr. Smith takes math very seriously. Uh, I wish I took it a little bit more seriously, considering, um, basically I didn't study. Uh-oh! It's okay, it's okay, don't panic. I, I, I can do this, right? Oh my gosh, this test is so hard! Molly, please be quiet. Sorry, Mr. Smith. Yeah, I'm I'm in math class right now. It's like so boring. Shh, I'm trying to stop my test, Sarah. Sarah, off your phone, please. Unless, of course, you'd like to stay after school for detention. Ugh, I have to go. I have to take this lame math test. Sarah, hang up. Thank you. Okay, let's see. Okay, I can do this test. I've been preparing for this my whole life. Ugh, whatever. I totally didn't study for this. I'll just copy off of Daisy. What? No, you're not copying off of me. Listen, nerd. I don't have time to sit around and study all day like you do because you have no life and you're not popular and you're well, kind of a loser. I'm not a loser just because I study and I'm smart. Actually, I think that makes you a total loser. Ugh, you're so boring. Now let me copy off of you. No, you're not copying off of me. Whatever, four eyes. Those glasses look so ugly on you. I, 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 I like my glasses. They remind me of, of a Harry Potter. Harry Potter is so ridiculous. Ugh, you're an even bigger loser than I thought. Excuse me, Mr. Smith. I have to go to the bathroom. I don't feel very good. Okay, Daisy, go ahead. Uh, I hope you feel better. You can take your test later. Thank you. Sarah's bullying my sister. Uh, Mr. Smith, I I'll be right back. I need to check on my sister. Okay, Molly, but be quick about it. I will. Oh, my gosh. She probably went into the bathroom. Daisy? Oh, 
<laughs> Daisy, oh, don't cry, Daisy. I am just trying to be myself, and <laughs> myself isn't good enough. Daisy, don't ever say that. You being you is just fine, even if you are my annoying sister sometimes. Not helping, Molly, not helping. Daisy, you're so smart. She's just jealous because she didn't study, and she's going to get a bad grade and get detention. And then, oh, no, she can't go to cheerleading practice. And you wouldn't let her cheat off of you, so she's just being rude to you because of it. You think so, Molly? She said my glasses are super ugly. Yeah, well, pff, whatever. Her personality is super ugly. She's just mean. Don't listen to her, Daisy. Okay, Molly, I, I guess you're right, but maybe I should just not try to be smart anymore. What? <laughs> you're right. You can try that all you want, but we both know you're going to be a rocket scientist someday. Yeah, I guess you're right. Daisy, you're amazing. Don't let anybody tell you anything different. Wow, Molly, you're a really good sister. Well, I try, Daisy. I try. Now, come on. Let's go get an ice cream. Yeah, but first we gotta take that math test. Nah, we can just take the ice cream and forget about the math test. Molly, you know we have to take the math test. <sighs> okay. Fine. <laughs> But I'm going to take a treat to go. Ooh, Doritos. Sounds delicious. Mm. Molly, come on! Okay, Miss Pushy Pushy. Welcome back, Molly and Daisy. Uh, Molly, there's no eating in class. Sorry. Let me just eat these really fast then. Molly, take your test. But they're Doritos! Oh, <sighs> Molly, what are we going to do with you? Doritos away, please. Okay, taking my test. Jeepers creepers. <laughs> As if math is more important than Doritos. <laughs> <laughs> Molly, please go tell your sister Daisy that it's time for dinner. Okay, but um, I I I'll go in a minute, Mom. I'm doing some very important homework. Molly, <sighs> go tell her. But Mom, important homework. <laughs> Molly, I know you're watching dog videos. Okay, fine. I'll go tell her. Daisy! 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 Dinner! Do not enter. Pfft, whatever, Daisy. What? What? What is going on in Daisy's room? D Daisy? Whoa, everything's shaking. Molly! Oh my gosh! You weren't supposed to be here! D Daisy, what is going on in your room? You didn't see anything, Molly. Just, just, just go out of here. Daisy, I forgot to put up the lock on my door. Oh, man. I remember the do not enter sign, but I forgot the lock. Daisy, what is going on? Oh, nothing. The core is just melting down. What core? The core of the earth? Uh, no. <laughs> of my science lab. Daisy, what science lab? Okay, let me just go fix this. I'll be right back. Don't tell anybody about this. Um, uh, uh, okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What is this place? This is my science lab, Molly. Science lab? But, but, but it looks like your bedroom. Yes, Molly, it does on the outside to fool everyone into thinking that it's just a bedroom. But it's actually my science lab. Would you like to see what I'm working on? Uh, yeah. Here's your visitor's pass. You are only allowed one hour and then you'll explode. What? <laughs> Just kidding. I didn't program that in yet. But here comes one of my helpers. Wait, you have science helpers? Yeah, they're called lab assistants. I got them from the local college. They're looking some for some work experience. Holy guacamole, Daisy! This is insane! Don't tell anyone! Top secret! Wow, Daisy. <laughs> you really are a nerd. Uh, yeah, duh. Daisy, what are these? Oh, those are wish machines that I'm working on. Wish machines? What do you mean? I mean, you can program into the computer what you want, and it grants your wish. Right now, I'm working on uh, I'm making a rocket ship to go to alien planets and talk with aliens. Ooh, this looks interesting. The code is very hard to make a rocket ship to go to Mars and to visit alien planets, but I think I'm going to crack the code soon. Molly, are you ever listening? Sorry, I used the wish machine to code myself a taco. 
Oh my gosh, Marty! Seriously? Oh, doesn't it look delicious? This machine is amazing! Marty, I'm using a Dakota rocket ship, and you use Dakota taco? Are you serious? Hey, I can't help it. I'm hungry for dinner. That's what I came up here to tell you, by the way. Dinner's ready. Oh, brother. Okay, well, I guess I'm back to my little tiny life, pretending that I'm normal. Well, we all know you're not normal, Daisy, but that's okay. Don't tell anybody about this. I won't, Daisy. But can I eat this taco? I guess. He'll sign this paperwork saying that you will not tell anybody. Seriously? Yeah, it's a non-disclosure agreement. Daisy, I'm your sister! I don't care, Molly. You still have to sign it. Well, I guess I better log in for another day at work. Ugh, working at the grocery store is not my ideal job, but I guess it'll do for now. Huh. I really want to do something so cool, like be a rock star or, or I don't know, just something other than bagging groceries forever. Oh, there's my sister. Hey, Daisy, I haven't seen you in a while now that we're grown-ups and live in our own houses and stuff. <laughs> Yeah, well, I'm just getting a bunch of supplies right now. Wow, you're wearing a funny suit. Yeah, um, yeah, I just made this suit, actually. <laughs> it's fire-resistant and stuff. Whoa, you're getting a lot of candy bars and treats. What are, you, what are you doing? I'm going on a trip. Oh, wow, a vacation. I wish I could take one of those, but I'm too busy working at the grocery store. Yeah, trip. I'm going on a real long one. Well, you better stock up. Where are you going, Hawaii? Um, yeah, that's it. Hawaii, sure. Uh-huh. Okay, well, uh, we've got some Bloxy Aid on sale. You could stock up on that. Sounds good. Wow, you've got enough groceries for like a year. Well, I just need it, okay? Huh, this is going to be a long trip. Uh, Molly, it was so nice knowing you. What? It sounds like you're moving to Hawaii forever. If that's the case, you better give me an invitation to come visit you. I'm your sister, you know. Um, yeah, maybe someday you could come visit me, but uh, I'm not really sure how that's going to work. Oh, well, uh, I, I hope you have a nice trip and and visit me sometimes. Well, Molly, um, I'm going to miss you. Let's just put it that way. Okay, well, uh, here, I'll start bagging your groceries. H here you go. Daisy, you were always so smart. Oh, Molly, you were always so sweet and nice. Even when people tease me at school. Yeah, how's your rocket ship going? Oh, let's just say it's pretty much finished. Wow, amazing. Well, have a nice trip in Hawaii. Have a nice life, Molly. Be happy. Oh, thanks, Daisy. Well, here goes nothing. This rocket ship I've been building since I was a teenager. Oh, I hope it works really good. Oh, we're getting some turbulence. Apparently going to Mars is harder than I thought. Everything's going to be okay, though. Everything's going to be okay. I prepared my whole life for this. Whoa, look at this place. Mars is everything I thought it would be and more. Holy guacamole. It's... It's amazing! Whoa, it's so different than our planet. OMG! Greetings, Earthling. We have been waiting for you. For me? Seriously? Yes, Earthling. You are the smartest human being on planet Earth. We've been waiting for you. Well, uh, no offense, but you're talking a little bit crazy right now. This is just how you hear us, because if you didn't hear the modulator, you would hear this. Woo! That's a weird alien language. Yep, I'll go back to the modulator, please. We are so happy that you're finally here. Um, 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 alien? I'm sorry, I don't know your name. Uh, are you wearing a Buzz Lightyear shirt? Buzz Lightyear is a hero. Um, <laughs> that's just a movie. What's a movie? We love Buzz Lightyear. He is going to rescue us all. 
Um, okay, if you say so. <laughs> Did you bring Buzz with you? Um, nope, it's just me. <laughs> okay, well, you're welcome to stay. Goodbye. Wait a minute, you didn't tell me how to survive on this planet. You are the smartest human. You figure it out. Here I am, still on the alien planet. From what I can guess, a hundred years later. <sighs> I've started to civilize the alien planet and teach them everything I know. But it seems that on this planet, I can't age. I'm forever 20 years old, which I guess is kind of great. But <sighs> I miss my sister a little. I hope she's not dead on planet Earth by now. Your sister is definitely dead. She's probably a hundred years old or older. Oh, wow. Yeah, she definitely is. Well, I guess I'm stuck with the aliens then. We're pretty nice, right? Oh, uh, yeah, you guys are cool and all. <laughs> I can't believe it. My life as a nerd is complete. Well, not really. Now that you're on our planet, you'll live another thousand years. Holy guacamole. What do you guys do for so long? Get smarter. Watch a lot of Buzz Lightyear. Oh, boy. Daisy! 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 Molly, why are you being so loud right now? Can't you see I'm busy? Daisy, we have to go in the pool. Why do we have to go in the pool, Molly? Because it's so nice outside, and it's just, it's a perfect day to go in the pool. Daisy, put that book down! It's right in front of my face! How rude! Molly, I'm busy studying. I have to get a good grade on the math test tomorrow because I have to be a part of the math elites. The math elites are the best math students in the entire town, and I'm going to be the head of them. But Daisy, it's so nice out. I don't care, Molly. I have to do my homework. Now go away. Fine. You don't know what you're missing. It's going to be amazing. I'm going to be in the pool. Molly, shh. Stop singing about it, jeepers. Ah, this is the life. Ah, Daisy doesn't know what she's missing by studying all the time. Boring. Well, who am I going to play Marco Polo with? I guess I'll play with my invisible friend. Marco! Okay, invisible friend. Are you out of the pool? Fish out of water! Oh, I wish I could go out to the pool. It is a really nice day outside. I'm stuck in here studying again. Okay, Daisy, don't think like that. You are the best nerd on the planet. You're going to get on to mathletes, and you're going to take over the world. Yeah, at least that's what I keep telling myself anyway. Maybe just another hour of studying, and I'll be prepared for this test. Oh, sometimes it feels like all I do is homework and study. Study and homework. Daisy, are you still studying for that math test? It's already been like 24 hours. You're going to get a good grade. Molly, there's no way of knowing that. There's no way of knowing. Daisy, you're the biggest nerd I know. There's a way of knowing. Oh, look who it is. Losers. Nerd number one and nerd number two. Uh, correction, I get detention and I don't get hundreds on my tests. I am definitely not a nerd. Yeah, she's not a nerd. Well, you are, right? Um, yeah, sort of. I mean, I get good grades and stuff. Well, that sounds lame. I mean, yesterday at cheerleading practice, we had such a good time. Really? You, you did? Yeah, it was so much fun. And then the entire team afterwards went for pizza. Whoa! Pizza? That's amazing! If I could be a cheerleader, I totally would, just for the pizza. Of course you would, Molly. Wow, cheerleading sounds so cool. It totally is, but you'd never make it because you're a loser nerd. What? But but I could be on the cheerleading squad, I think. No, not even a chance. You're a loser. <laughs> loser nerd, loser nerd. What? Why is she saying that? <laughs> Daisy! Oh my gosh, we're going to be late for English class. Ugh, Daisy, I can't believe I actually beat my sister to class for once. Looks like I beat everybody. <laughs> well, at least I won't get detention today. 
I'm so tired of being a dude. Everybody's always mean to me about it. I work so hard on my schoolwork and, 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 and all I get is picked on. <laughs> I wish, I wish I could go from being a nerd to a cheerleader. <laughs> Did somebody say, I wish? What? Who, who are you? <laughs> Don't be silly. You know who I am, right? Uh, no. I have no idea. You disappeared out of thin air. Well, Daisy, I'm your fairy godmother. Wait, wait, wait. I have a fairy godmother? That's right. <laughs> well, where were you when I was taking that English test last week and I got a B? I wished for it then, too. Well, you didn't say out loud, I wish. Oh, is that all I have to do? I also wish for a million bucks. Um, one wish at a time, Daisy. One wish at a time. Now, you're thinking you want to be a cheerleader instead of a nerd, is that right? Yes, I really want it. Yep, yep, yep. Um, are you sure you want to wish? Sometimes what we think we want isn't actually what we want. We have to be careful what we wish for. Wishes can go very crazy. I know what I want, okay? I'm a headstrong person. I know what I want. Okay, well then, all you have to do is say the magic words. What are they? <laughs> Hint, they start with, I wish. Okay, um, I wish... I could be a popular cheerleader! Your wish is my command! Whoa, I'm a cheerleader! Not just any cheerleader, the cheerleading captain! Whoa, Sarah used to be the cheerleading captain! She's not gonna be happy about this! Well, this is what fairy godmothers do! <laughs> Have fun being the cheerleading captain! Bye! Go figure! The one time I'm early for class, the teacher is late. Oh, the teacher said he got stuck in the rain. His car wouldn't start. Oh, well, looks like English class is canceled. Woohoo! Hey, everybody! Whoa! Daisy, are you the cheerleading captain? No, I'm the cheerleading captain. Well, where's your cheerleading outfit then, Sarah? What do you mean, where is it? I'm wearing it. Uh, no, you're not. What? What, what, what happened to my cheerleading captain outfit? Why is she wearing it? Um, because she's the cheerleading captain. What? No! How did this happen? She's a total nerd! Not anymore! Looks like she's the most popular girl in school. She's the cheerleading captain. No! Well, I'll take, um, I'll take time to sign autographs after class, okay, everyone? Okay, <laughs> I'm going to be the first one to get one, and um, maybe you'd like to go to prom with me? Luke! What? She's just so pretty, and she's popular, and she's the cheerleading captain. I can't help it. Of course I'll go to the prom with you. Daisy, Luke's supposed to go with me. Actually, Molly, he's going with me. He already asked. What? Ugh! This is the worst day ever. How did you become the cheerleading captain anyway? A little bit of magic and a lot of luck. Well, that's the end of English class. Time for the math test. I'm going to ace this. I studied so hard. Well, I'm probably going to fail because I sat by the pool. Good morning, everyone. Uh, are you all ready for the math test? Daisy, I'm sure you are. Totally, Mr. Smith. Um, I think I'm ready, but... uh. I can't really concentrate because all I can think about is how beautiful Daisy is. OMG! Stop talking about how beautiful my sister is. Literally, I'm gonna throw up. Okay, class, it's time for your test. No talking, no cheating, no looking on anybody else's papers, no breathing! We can't breathe? Whoa, harsh. <sighs> Molly, what are you doing? I'm taking a deep breath. I'm gonna need it if I can't breathe for the next 30 minutes. I was just kidding about the breathing part, haha. <laughs> but no talking! Okay, Mr. Smith, you take this very seriously. Oh my gosh, I don't know the answer to problem number one. Okay, just move on to problem number two, and you can come back to problem number one. I don't know the answer to problem number two, either! I, I don't know the answer to any of these! 
but I did yesterday. Oh my gosh, when I was turned from a nerd into a cheerleader, I got super dumb! Oh no! Okay class, time's up. Daisy, I bet you got a hundred. Um, Mr. Smith, I don't feel so good. Let me see your test, Daisy, and I'll grade it right now. I can't wait to call you the captain of the mathletes. Wait, are you the new captain of the cheerleading squad? Uh, yeah, I'm super popular and stuff. Uh, Daisy, um, all of these answers are incorrect. You got an F. What? I, I don't know what happened. I studied so hard, Mr. Smith, I promise. This is crazy. I'm very sorry, Daisy, but you cannot be on the mathletes this year. What? No! Wait a minute. Why do I care? I'm so popular. I'm the cheerleader who cares about nerdy mathletes. See you later. I don't even need math class. Daisy, wait. I'm going to have to give you detention. Daisy! Uh, Molly, why are you sitting in your desk backwards? Um, uh, no reason. She's staring at me again. Make her stop. Luke, I, I thought we were, we were, you know, best friends. We we're going to go to prom together. I only have eyes for Daisy now. Oh, this is the craziest day ever! Oh! Well, the good news is, Molly, you got a B-plus on your test! Well, I actually did good for a change. Oh. Hey, Daisy! Something really weird is going on here. What do you mean, Molly? I can't talk to you right now. I'm talking to the cheerleading squad. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? <laughs> Daisy, wh since when have you been a cheerleader? If you're such a great cheerleader, show me a cheer. Okay, fine, I'll show you a cheer. I am the cheerleading captain, which makes me the best at this level. Well, let's see it then. Whoa! Daisy, that's impressive! I know, right? It should make me really happy, but it's it's not. Being a cheerleader isn't making you happy? Even though you're super popular and the best one in the world? That's right, Molly, it's... It's just making me feel hollow inside. I... I miss being a nerd. What? Really? Yeah, but I've gone and messed everything up now. I... I made a wish to my fairy godmother and... And she turned me from a nerd to a cheerleader. Wait a minute. Whoa, 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 whoa. You have a fairy godmother? And you wish to become a cheerleader? That's right. Yep and yep. Why would you wish for that? You could have wished for a million bucks or, or no more school or, or or to be on vacation permanently. And you wish to be a cheerleader? That's the lamest wish I've ever heard of. Well, I'm sorry. She's my fairy godmother and I get to choose the wishes, Molly. Oh, my gosh. What a lame wish. I can't even believe it. I can't even believe it. Can we stop talking about my wish for a minute? I have to find the fairy godmother so I can turn this back. Well, do you think she'll give me a wish? No, Molly, she's not your fairy godmother. Of course she won't. Well, then why did you wish for, for what you wished for? Stop yelling, Molly. Ay, 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 everybody in the school's gonna know about it. Oh, my goodness. <sighs> okay, Daisy, I'll help you find your fairy godmother. You will, Molly? That's so nice of you. Yeah, if you wish next for a million bucks and then give it to me. Molly! Okay, fine. I'll help you find her. I don't know where she could be. The last time I saw her was in the girls' bathroom. Oh, that's a weird place for a fairy godmother to hang out. She was there because I was in there, Molly, crying and sad. Daisy, who cares what Sarah or anyone else thinks? You, you just be you, seriously. Being you is the best thing you could be. You're a nerd, but who cares? You're amazing. You're smart, and you're beautiful, and you're nice. Well, for the most part. Sometimes you're rude to me. That's because you're annoying sometimes. Not the point, Daisy. All right, you're right, Molly. It does feel hollow inside to be somebody that I'm not. I should be myself, right? Absolutely. Now, come on. I have an idea of where the fairy godmother might be. Well, Molly. <laughs> well... If I was a fairy godmother, I'd want to eat ice cream all day. Oh, man, it's raining. Let's see if I can find my umbrella. Oh, my God, did I forget it at home? Okay, no, there it is. Better. Hopefully the whole town doesn't flood. I don't know why Molly ran here. She could have rode in the car with me. She's right. My fairy godmother is here eating ice cream. Fairy godmother, fairy godmother. Oh, well, hello there, Daisy. I see you're being popular and a cheerleader. Yeah, except for I don't really like my wish. What? 
no gypsies backsies. You have to keep your wish. But fairy godmother, I don't like it. I feel hollow inside. Empty. Not myself. I told you that wishes could go awry. And I truly meant it. Mm, this birthday cake ice cream is delicious. Fairy godmother, listen to me. Whoa, no need to get angry, Daisy. I don't want your wish anymore. I wish that I could go back to being my true, authentic self. Well, I guess I could make an exception this time. But do you promise next time to remember that what we wish for is sometimes not a good thing? What do you mean? I mean, some wishes are wonderful, but when we wish to be something that we're not, not so good. I get what you mean. You're saying, when I wish for something like to help a hurt puppy, or to be a better person, or to dream big, those are all great things. Correct! But when I wish to be something I'm not, then all it does is make me feel sad and hollow on the inside. Absolutely, Daisy. You should be exactly who you are, okay? I learned my lesson, Fairy Godmother. You're a very good teacher, by the way. Oh, thank you. Um, you can make it up to me by getting me a vanilla ice cream. <laughs> we'll see, Fairy Godmother. I'm not sure I have enough money. Okay, well, go ahead and make your wish. I wish that I could be back to myself as soon as possible, please. Well, let's just make sure I'm really back to myself. I'm going to try to do a cheerleading move. Here I go. Oh, ouch, I hurt myself. Ow. Well, the good news is, is you're back to yourself. The bad news is, is I need to go to the school nurse. Ow. Well, my job here is done. <laughs> Daisy, how'd you get here so quick? Because, Molly, I took the car. I didn't run the whole way, duh. Where's the fairy godmother? Was she not here? Is she not eating ice cream? Was I wrong? No, she was eating ice cream, Molly. Do you notice anything different about me? Um. Whoa! You're back to your nerdy self! That's right, Molly. She took my wish back. Did you ask for the million dollar wish? No, Molly, I didn't. Daisy, why not? We could be rich. We'd never have to go to school again. We could be on vacation forever. Molly, you should never wish for something that you don't want. I do want a million dollars, Daisy. What were you thinking? Um, uh, your time's up on this limo. Uh, you guys owe me a million dollars. What? What? <laughs> Just kidding. It's a thousand dollars. Uh, pay up, please. Daisy, wouldn't that million dollars come in handy right now? Uh, yeah, you do have a point. Daisy! Oh, oh, so tired. So tired. Who knew babies were so much work? What are you talking about, Dan? You don't look nearly as tired as me. Are you kidding me? I can barely sit up. Ugh. What, what's that smell? Oh, you're spooed! What? No, I don't want this one. You you take this one. No, you said you wanted to hold Molly. Well, I changed my mind. I want to hold Daisy. You're not getting out of this, Dan. You're definitely having to change the diaper. Oh, man. Hi, Daisy. My sweet little girl. Oh, can you say mama? Say mama. Say mama. Come on, you can do it. What? No! Oh, no! You went poo-poo in your diaper, too? Oh, no! Oh, the baby finally fell asleep. Now I can take a nap. Not quite, Dan. There's another diaper for you to change. What? No, that one's yours! You, you claim Daisy! I have to fall asleep now. So tired. So tired! Okay, fans, watch this! Boing, 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 boing. Oh, bad! there's a YouTube gold, Molly. I know, right? We're going to be famous. Boing, 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 boing. Girls, what are you doing? Girls. Haha, <laughs> we're making a video. Molly, that's dangerous. Get off that couch and stop jumping on it. You're only allowed to sit on the couch, not stand or jump on it. You know better. Don't make me give you a timeout. But, Dad. You know the rules. 
Laura, you should see the girls. Why, what are they doing now? Oh, I just need to wash these dishes. It'll take me 10 minutes. Can I not have to deal with a dirty diaper for 10 minutes? Don't worry, there's no dirty diapers. But Molly was jumping on the couch. What? Jumping on the couch? Did she fall off? Did she bonk her head? Did she have a concussion? Is she okay? Whoa, I think you might need a day off, Laura. Why don't you go to the spa? <sighs> Is Molly okay? Yeah, she's fine. I just wanted to tell you that Daisy had the camera out, and she was filming the whole thing. They were making a YouTube video. Oh my gosh, kids these days, I tell ya. I know. <laughs> we didn't have YouTube when we were kids. Ah, uh, yeah. Quit talking about that, though. It makes me feel really old. We didn't even have Google when we were kids. <laughs> the kids think that we were born with the dinosaurs. Well, we kind of were. Whatever! Speak for yourself, Dan! I'm not old. You can be old if you want to. Anyway, I think the girls are going to be YouTube stars. Really? You think so? I really do. Nah, I don't think so, Dan. Hey, YouTube fans, it's me, Daisy. Tonight, I'm going to take you along as I do my night routine. And the first thing I'm going to do is brush my teeth. Um, when I brush my teeth, I always um, sing an entire song so that I know they're brushed really good because I want my teeth to be nice and white and pretty. And then I'm going to brush my pigtails and put on some cute pajamas. Daisy, what are you doing? I'm making a night routine video for YouTube. Daisy, no one wants... Ah, I fell in the sink! Ah! Oh my gosh, where am I? Oh my... I'm in the cabinet. Mommy, what are you doing? Are you okay? Oh, this is YouTube gold. This is YouTube gold. Help me out of here, Daisy! Ah! Mom! Molly, shh. You're gonna get in trouble if Mom knows you're in there. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, there we go. What I was trying to say was, no one wants to see you brushing your teeth. Yes, they do, Molly. Our fans want to see real life. Well... I don't know about them, but brushing your teeth, ew, gross. No, they want to see it all, Molly. Every second of my life. Um, you're not going to put what just happened to me on YouTube, are you? Of course I am, Molly. That's going to get us a lot of likes. Okay, class, as you know, it's almost summer break. Are you guys as excited about that as I am? Absolutely! I can't wait to bust out of this school and go to the beach and have picnics, play video games all the all the time. I can't wait to read all of my summer books. Of course not, Daisy. You're such a goody two-shoes. Girls, girls, no fighting, please. I don't want to have to give you detention right before summer break. No, no, no! We don't want detention. No, we don't want that. Anyway... Uh, our last thing for the school year, our last assignment is a school project. Ugh, a school project? I don't want to do that. Is it elective? Of course it's not, silly. And great word, elective. That's a big word for an elementary student. Thank you. I like to read, you know. I would have never noticed, Molly, since you don't like school. Anyway, this project is mandatory if you want to pass this grade. Um, Molly and Daisy, I'd like you two to team up. Sarah and Luke, you two will team up. And let's see, I'll write everybody else's name on the board, okay? Um, whose team you're going to be on. I don't want to be with Molly. She's annoying. Well, I don't want to be with you either. You're my sister, which definitely makes you annoying. Sorry, I will not change my mind about this. Besides, you girls live in the same house, so it'll be easy to finish the project quickly. So, the school project can be anything you're passionate about, okay? As long as it's high quality, and I can tell you've put work into it. All right, class is dismissed. Come on, Daisy, hurry up! I have the perfect idea for our school project. Why are we in the cafeteria, Molly? It's time to go home for the day. Because, Daisy, we're going to make a video of us eating as much school food as we can. What? What are you talking about, Molly? This would be an awesome YouTube video. Molly and Daisy eat as much school lunch as they possibly can without throwing up. That's a horrible idea, Molly. No, it's not. And look, there's all this leftover pizza, Doritos, bananas, soda, apples. It's going to be fun. No, Molly. No, no, and no. That's not going to get us a good grade. Ah, what a long day. I turn out the lights and lock the door, and that way... Uh, everything's safe and no one can break into the school. Daisy, wh what was that sound? It sounded like... It sounded like Mrs. Smith locking the doors. What? Oh my god, Daisy! The door is locking! Hurry! OMG! 
She locked us in here. And uh, we have another problem. Uh, it's flooding inside the school. Molly, get to higher ground. Come on. OMG, this is terrible. I'm filming the whole thing, of course, though. Daisy, this could be YouTube gold. 24 hours stuck in a flooded school. Oh my gosh, Molly, your ideas are insane. But this one, Daisy, this one's going to get us an A. And it's going to get us a million views on YouTube, of course. Oh, Bua, though, I don't know about this, Molly. Well, what other choice do we have? We're stuck in the flooded school till tomorrow morning. True, Molly, very true. And action. Hey, YouTube, it's me, Molly. Molly, that's a terrible intro. Try, hey guys, and what's up? Oh, hey friends. Oh, hi lovelies. Oh, that doesn't seem realistic to me. All right, I'll try this one. Yo, guys, what's up? It's Molly. Oh my God, I can't even believe you're my sister right now. Um, guys, I'm just doing my night routine in the school bathroom. You might be wondering why, and that's because our teacher locked us in here for 24 hours. It's flooding, and um, I've got to brush my teeth. <laughs> Where are we going to sleep, Molly? Um, no, that would make a terrible bed. The toilet, Molly? Yeah, definitely. Um, we, we could sleep on top of these chairs. Lighting room? I don't think I've ever been in here. Oh, this goes into the theater. We could sleep in the theater. These chairs are pretty comfortable, actually. When I get done brushing my teeth. Molly, you're not supposed to brush your teeth in the school auditorium. <laughs> Where's Luke? He was supposed to meet me here for our first date. And I don't see him anywhere. Did he stand me up? Or does it have to do with the fact that the entire town is flooding? <laughs> it could be that. Maybe we should have changed it to the movie theater or something. Oh, wait. The water's going away. Hopefully this means that Luke will show up for our very first date. I'm kind of nervous, though. Molly, where are you? Oh, there you are, Molly. Hey, Luke. <laughs> I'm glad you could show up. I was kind of wondering if you were going to make it. Of course I would, Molly. Why wouldn't I come for our date? I mean, it's our very first one, so it's kind of special and important. Whoa, this is YouTube gold. Um, I, I don't know. I just thought maybe you didn't want to go on a date with me. Huh, don't be silly. We've been best friends since, like, elementary school, and I, um, really like you. Wait, what? You, you do? Uh-huh. I, um, I kind of have a question for you. I was going to wait till the end of the date, but I'm going to ask you now. Well, well, what is it? Oh, my gosh. He's going to, he's going to ask her to marry him. Oh, wait, no, they're not old enough for that. Um, maybe to prom? Um, I was wondering, um, uh, uh. Oh, just spit it out already. I'm not a very patient person. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> I've known you forever, Molly. I'm <laughs> sorry. I'm just a little nervous. You don't have to be nervous about anything, Luke. I really like you, too. You do? Yeah! Okay, well, do you want to go to prom with me? Um, I don't know. I, I'm not that into you. Wait, what? She's going to say no? Just kidding! <laughs> of course I'll go to prom with you. Oh, Molly, you're such a jokester. Come on, let's go over to the ice cream shop and uh, get some ice cream to celebrate. Sounds like a good idea. Uh-oh. Daisy! Are you filming my first date? Uh, nope, nope. Just just filming boots in the park. Bye! Daisy! Well, Molly, I guess everybody's going to know we're going to prom together now. Ay, ay, ay. I don't know about this. This whole YouTube thing, like, it was so fun in the beginning, but now I don't have any life. Actually, correction. You have a lot of a life, but it's just for everybody to see. Yeah, exactly. Whoa, looks like no one's here. I think that means we can have free ice cream. No, we still have to pay for it, but we'll just leave it in the jar over there. Mmm, birthday cake. This is delicious. Uh, Molly, that's actually bubble gum. Oh, <laughs> well, my last birthday cake tasted like bubble gum, so, you know, I kind of got him confused. So what color is your dress going to be at the prom? I don't know. You just asked me. I'm supposed to know what my color of my dress is? Oh yeah, yeah. Do you think I know how many kids I'm going to have someday, too? It was just a question, Molly. Jeez. Sorry. I'm just a little annoyed that my sister filmed our first date. Ooh, now they're having ice cream. Oh my gosh, I wonder if they'll kiss. What was that sound? Oh, it was probably my stomach. I'm kind of lactose intolerant. Luke! Oh my gosh, don't eat ice cream! That'll be so bad! Oh uh, yeah, it kind of will be. Oh my god! I can't believe it! None of my 
first day. Oh. Luke, it's okay. Everybody toots. <laughs> Everyone on YouTube's gonna think that's hilarious. Daisy, why are you filming my day? Uh, sorry, but it's YouTube God. Oh my God, Molly, are you okay? Are you okay? I'm okay, Luke. Ugh, I just feel like I swallowed a bowling ball. I can't wait to meet our new baby. Oh, I'm kind of nervous. I mean, we've only been married for five years. That's a long time, Luke. Trust me, we're going to be great parents. Molly, we've had a baby girl. Oh my God, she's so cute. What should we name her? Um, I think we should name her Lily because she's like the most beautiful flower in the whole world. Oh, I love that name. Hi, Lily. Hi, Lily. I'm your dad. And I'm your mom. OMG! This is YouTube Gold! Daisy, are you seriously filming my first moments with my baby? Our fans will want to see this, Molly. We've, we've become really famous. We owe it to our fans. Um, okay. I know our fans are going to want to see the baby. So, I, I'm not going to be mad at you for filming my baby. Um... But I hope that everybody knows that we love them and we think you're amazing fans. And that's why we share so much of our lives with you. Yeah, exactly. Oh, Lily is adorable, Molly. I'm so glad we have this memory with her on video so we could watch it over and 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 over. Well, you get my point. I'm the happiest dad in the whole world right now. How is it that we're lucky enough to get the cutest baby in the whole world? I don't know, Luke, but we sure are lucky. Molly, say something to me. My sister, don't leave me all alone in this world. Also, this is YouTube Gold. Ah, I'm about to say my final words to you, Daisy. What are they, Molly? I'm filming it for fans. Why are you still filming me? I'm dying and you're filming it. Is that the, really the last thing you want to say to our YouTube fans? No, it's the last thing I'm saying to you, Daisy! Why are you filming me? Because, Molly, our fans want to see you um, say goodbye. Okay. Dear beloved fans, you've watched me grow up from a small baby, and you've been loyal to me the entire time. I hope you know how much I love you, and I'll always be with you to watch over you. <laughs> Molly, I'm not sure that's a good thing. You kind of look like the Crypt Keeper or a zombie. Not sure which one. That's not very nice. Take it back. That's all I can say about that, because I can't get up and chase you around anymore. My legs don't work. Oh my, this is so sad. YouTube fans, grab a tissue. Molly's about to take her last breath. Not so fast, sister. I'm still here. I want the YouTube fans to know that I'll always cherish your moments um, where you liked my videos and told me that maybe I should have a different haircut. Really? You liked that, Molly? Not really! It was rude! Love me just as I am. Even now, as I look like a zombie. Huh. <sighs> well, you'll always have my videos, guys. You'll always have my videos. Molly? Molly! Okay, this was the last video ever with my sister Molly. And I feel I don't have much time left either, since we're both very old. But we've loved making YouTube's videos for you guys. And we hope that you will always remember us. Always remember Molly and Daisy! <coughs> Ali, I thought you were dead. No, I'm not dead! You're really loud, so I can't even fall asleep. Oh, sorry. Okay, YouTube, signing off. Forever! And cut! That's a wrap, Molly. Ugh, finally, I can wipe off all this makeup. Are we gonna move to Florida? I really wanna move there. Molly, well, we are retired. We could move there if we wanted to. Perfect! I hear there's a fountain of youth there. Molly, you look pretty good for being like 80. That's right, YouTube has kept me young. <laughs> ah, finally, I'm retired from YouTube. This is the life. Molly, I thought you were retired. Um, I am, but um, old habits die hard. Oh, brother.
Whoa, 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 Marley. We're never going to get adopted if your face looks like that. What's wrong with my face? I think my face is adorable. Besides, what do you know about being cute? Marty, I wrote the book on being cute. Look at me. I have red pigtails. They're adorable. And I have green skin because I'm a zombie toddler. Yeah, and that's why no one wants to adopt us. We're zombies. Marty, maybe if you just wiped the drool from under your mouth, um, people would be more willing to adopt us. Daisy, we're zombie babies that live in a graveyard. Who's going to adopt that? Speak for yourself, Molly. I, I think I'm going to get adopted. I know it. I'm going to take a nap. I'm feeling really grumpy. Molly, no one's going to find you down inside that grave. Come up here. We need to get adopted. No, I'm grumpy and I'm staying down here. Hello? What is all that commotion going on? I came to visit my dead grandmother and everyone is being so loud. I can't get out. Ah, help, help. Oh my gosh, there's a baby stuck down in a grave. Someone call 911. It's an emergency. Ah, help, 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 Daisy. Oh, brother, you're a zombie. You can't even get out of the hole of a graveyard. Seriously? I'm too short. Seriously, I'm way too short. Someone, sh sh someone throw down a ladder or a rope. I'll help you, I guess. Here you go. Come on. Oh my gosh, you're my hero. Uh, so do you want to be our mom? Molly, you can't just ask her if she wants to be our mom like that. Like, we don't even know this lady yet. Like, what's your name? My name is Karen. Duh, of course it's Karen. Look at me. Well, you do sort of look like a Karen. What's going on with your skin? Are you, like, sick or something? It's all green. Um, yeah, that's it. And why are you, like, drooling and you kind of smell like, I don't know, like, disgusting? Um, well, maybe it's because we live in a cemetery. I mean, we can't smell like roses if we live here. Actually, Molly, yes, we can because people bring roses here all the time. Uh, well, we need to get you cleaned up if I'm going to be your mom. Wait a minute. You want to be our mom? Seriously? Yeah, but you guys are, like, really, like, not acceptable this way. <laughs> what are you talking about? She's, 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 she's got a fire extinguisher, Molly. Watch out. Uh, stop that. Stop straying that at my sister! Her skin might fall off! What? You will, Molly? Well, you're a zombie. It's not like your skin is, like, brand new or something. Ah, stop it! Rude, Karen! What are you talking about, a zombie? Are, are you serious right now? That's so disgusting. Oh, that's ugly. Did you just call us ugly? Did you just call us ugly? Uh, yeah, because you are. I don't want kids that are zombies. Sorry. You know, Karen, your brain is starting to smell really good to me. Molly! What? I'm hungry. I haven't had lunch yet. And Karen, your brain would be delicious. Oh! Crazy kids! Zombies! Oh! Come here, Karen! I want to eat your brain! Give me it! Starving! Molly! <laughs> <laughs> well, that took care of Karen. Say that five times fast. Who's this lady? Probably just another Karen. Oh, Mom, I'm going to miss you so much. Why'd you have to go so soon? Hey, lady, this is our cemetery. Get out of here. Oh, aren't you a sweet little girl? Sweet? I didn't think what I said sounded sweet at all. Well, I think you're adorable. Who's this, your little sister? Yeah, we're zombies! Ah! Oh my gosh. Do you guys live here in the cemetery all by yourself? Yeah, we do. Nobody wants zombie toddlers. Well, that's not true. We have each other, Daisy. But I don't have a mom, and I just want a mom more than anything in the whole world. Oh my gosh. Well, it just so happens that I've always wanted two girls, two kids of my own. Whoa! Well, we probably wouldn't fit that description since we're zombies. I think you girls would be perfect for me. Are you saying that you want to be a mom? No, she said... Wait a minute. Yeah, I think she actually is. Come on, girls. I have a beautiful house. You don't have to live in the cemetery anymore. And I'll have the paperwork done so I can be your mom. Molly, can you believe it? We got adopted. OMG, this brain pizza is delicious. Molly, I packed a brain sandwich. 
Oh, ew. What is that horrible smell? I think that would be Maddie's brain pizza. What? Brains? Are you serious? Um, Sarah, we're zombies. Yeah, we eat brains, but... Um, we, we won't eat your brain or anything, we promise. <laughs> or any of the other students. Oh, you guys are disgusting, and you're ugly, too. What? Why would you say that? Because you're zombies, and I don't like zombies. That's so mean! Why you gotta be such a bully? <laughs> Molly? Molly? Where'd you go? Molly, are you in here? Molly? No Molly is in here. It was only a zombie. That everybody hates. Molly, come out of the bathroom stall. Not everyone hates you. Just Sarah, because she's rude. Well, I don't want to be a zombie anymore. I don't want to be a zombie. OMG, today's going to be one of the best days of my life. Why is that, Sarah? Why are you even talking to me, zombie? Um, this zombie has a name, and it's Molly. She's so rude, Molly. Don't even pay attention to her. Today's going to be the best day of my life because Luke is going to come into class and he's going to ask me something. OMG! He asked me if he could have some of my bubble gum yesterday. Of course I let him. No, silly. It doesn't have anything to do with bubble gum. He's going to ask me to the prom. Wait, what? I don't think so, Sarah. Not even a chance. Everybody knows he likes somebody else. No, he doesn't. He likes me. Who else is there? I'm the cheerleading captain. Um, I don't know, Sarah, but good luck. Oh, man. Luke's going to ask Sarah? Aww. Oh, wow. Super nervous, but here goes nothing. Hey there. Oh, Luke, I'm back here. What, can't you see? Don't you have your contacts in? Uh, no, Sarah. I'm actually talking to her. The zombie? Are you serious? Why are you talking to her? What, do you feel sorry for her or something? Oh, hey, Luke. What's up? Molly, I, 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 uh, I was just wondering if I could... Oh, yeah, I have more bubble gum. I'm not really supposed to be chewing it anyway because I have braces. No, thanks for giving me the bubble gum yesterday, but what I really want to ask you is, will you go to prom with me? I really like you. What? What? He asked a zombie to prom? Like, no, no. I mean, like, seriously? <sighs> Humans aren't supposed to like zombies, let alone take them to the prom. Back off, Sarah. He asked my sister. And yeah, she's a zombie. Get over it. Oh, my God. This is the worst day of my life. This is all your fault, zombie. All your fault. So what do you say? Do you want to go to the prom with me? Luke, I'd love to go to the prom with you. You don't mind that I'm a zombie? No, I think it's amazing that you're a zombie. Oh, yeah, this is YouTube code. Daisy, stop filming my entire life. Sorry, I can't help myself. Be careful, Ava. The water's kind of deep right there. Oh, look, Mommy, here comes Daddy. Oh, look, he looks so professional. Oh, I can't believe he got a job at the bank. Hey, girls, my favorite girls in the whole world are my zombies today. Daddy, we played all night at the park and in the pool. Oh, that's awesome, sweetie. So we glad you and Mom had a great time. We did, Dad, but we're even happier that you're here now. How was work, honey? It was great, Molly. How was hanging out at the at the pool with, with the baby? Ah, uh, it was awesome. She got a little fussy, but she took a nap. We had a snack, all is well. <sighs> now we have to go home and go to bed. I think it's so strange that we're awake all night and sleep during the day. Well, that's just what zombies do. But, Dad, you're not a zombie. Yeah, but I love you guys, so I work nights and spend time with you guys, and then I sleep during the day so we can all be together. We're a happy family, right? We totally are. Oh, Luke, it's been ten long years since you've died, and I thought that because I bit you, you would turn into a zombie eventually. But, but it, our plan didn't work. You're just still dead. Oh... Ten years is such a long time to wait for you to turn into a zombie. <laughs> I, I realize I'm going to live forever and you're just going to stay dead. <laughs> I'm alone. I'm alone. Molly? Mo Molly, are you at the gravesite again? Daisy, I miss Luke. I miss Luke more than anything. 
I'm so alone. Not true, Molly. I'm with you for eternity. Zombie sisters forever. Just try to behave yourself, Molly. We're never going to get parents if you just keep being rude to everyone. I don't care about parents. I'm a demon. And I'm an angel and I can't believe I'm stuck with you as a sister. Well, <laughs> you could be thankful. Having a demon as a sister is amazing. I don't really think so. Hey, hamster, be quiet. Don't be rude to my hamster. Well, it was being rude to me. Ay, ay, ay. I heard that today new parents are going to come in. Yeah, and look at all these adorable babies. What are they going to do? Adopt toddlers like us? Yeah, of course they will, Molly. If you're good. Here they come now. <laughs> Time to be our worst behavior. Laura, Laura, the, the, the nursery's in here. Oh my gosh, I can't believe we're adopting. I'm so excited. They told me that they had twins in here. Whoa, look at all these babies. Oh my gosh, look at that one with the wings. Oh, I think she's an angel. She's adorable. And look, she comes with a little hamster. Hey, I'm Pinkle. And the hamster talks. Okay, that's awesome. You can adopt me. Oh, that's so sweet. Do you have a twin? Who, me? No, I don't have a twin. What? She's betrayed me? <gasps> that's okay. I don't need anybody. Oh, but the hospital staff said the little toddler had a twin. Wait a minute. I think it's... I think her twin is over there. What? No, you don't see anything over in the corner. Nope, just me. No, I definitely see another little kid over there. Come on, Laura. Let's go see. Oh. Hello. Uh, is she an angel? No! I'm a demon! Ha 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 Um, okay. Well, I'm not sure that we were gonna adopt a demon. <laughs> That's good, because I don't need any parents. Actually, if you're a demon, I think you need the parents the most. Laura, come on. She really needs guidance. I don't know, Dan. A baby demon? And a baby angel, two for one. You know, you, you can adapt us both. I don't want parents. Well, I think you really need some. Oh, my gosh. I, stop it. I don't want to ride piggyback on your back. Oh, come on. It'll be fun. Hey, can you give me a ride? You have wings. Uh, no. Ugh, so annoying. Okay, well, it's settled. You girls are getting adopted. And, well, Molly, even if you are a demon, you can still be our daughter. Wow, finally we got parents. My sister has tried to scare off every single set of parents in the entire universe. Huh, by doing what? Um, driving their car into the pond. What? Setting their house on fire. What? You know, just little things. Yeah, little things. Wait till you see what I'm really capable of now that I'm adopted. <laughs> First, I'm going to go in the x-ray machine. <laughs> this is going to be fun. Molly, get out of there. You're not supposed to be in there. I want to x-ray my wings. I've never seen that before. Molly! Oh, she's already causing trouble. Okay, little troublemaker. Come on. Oh, you got me out of there too soon. I didn't have time to x-ray my wings. Annoying. I can see this dad of mine is going to be on my tail constantly annoying me. Maybe I should run away. Yeah, that might be a good idea. What did you say? Nothing. But you stop moving so fast. Hey, there's my car. Okay, I'm in the car. Buckle your seatbelt. Now. Molly. Okay. Quit being such a demon. These parents are going to give us back. Yeah, right. They seem to really like you. I don't think they'd sacrifice you to send me back. Well, for your sake, I hope so, Molly. I got all the paperwork. You're officially our daughters. That means we're in charge. <laughs> we'll see about that. Okay, girls. Let's celebrate with some ice cream. Ooh, I love ice cream. Ice cream is for angels. Do I look like an angel? But they have chocolate, vanilla, bubblegum, birthday cake, and mint chip. Ooh, mint chip. That sounds delicious. Be careful, demon. Your angel side is showing. No, it's not. I hate ice cream. I don't want any of this. 
sitting over here by myself. Molly, won't you come sit with the rest of the family? Today's your adoption day. No! Well, see yourself, Molly. I got some delicious ice cream. Molly, come here, please. What? What? What do you want, Mom? Get some ice cream, Molly. Fine. Mm. Wow. Okay, this is pretty good. Hey, Angel, shove over! I can't help it. My wings are really big. Fine, you can sit on the inside. You wouldn't even want to be patient for five seconds. Oh, look, they're already fighting like there are kids. Yeah, <laughs> kind of crazy. Mm. This ice cream is pretty good. I guess having parents who buy you ice cream isn't so bad. Don't get the wrong idea, though, Molly. You'll still have to do chores and go to school. Oh, okay, and that sounds great. Where are you going, Molly? I just have to go to the bathroom. I'll be right back. Time to get out of here. Parents are annoying. Oh, can I climb up this ladder? Oh, yeah, perfect. <laughs> do 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 do. I'm on my own. I'm free of that annoying angel sister of mine. Now I can go live wherever I want. Woo! The haunted house in town. This seems like a perfect place for a demon to live. Now, I'm going to make it super awesome in here. Ah, <sighs> Haunted home. Haunted home. Molly, are you in here? It's really creepy. Please answer. Oh, my gosh. I've got to hide. Here comes that annoying dad guy. Molly, are you upstairs? Uh, it's, it's so creepy. I'm hiding behind the pillow so he won't see me. Molly, we miss you. We know we're not perfect parents, okay? But... We still want you to be a part of our family, even if you are a demon. Whoa. I wonder if he really meant that. No one's ever said anything to me like that before. Everyone always wanted me to change. They never just wanted me to be who I was, which is a demon. Molly, are you in here? Um, I I'm up here. Molly, there you are. Your mom and I were so worried. Your sister could probably live without you right now, but whatever. We love you, even though you're a demon. Do you really? Because sometimes I do naughty things. I know, that's how baby demons are. But we're your parents, so we love you no matter what. Now, why don't you come live with us? Besides, this haunted house is creepy. I know, it's cool, right? Uh, maybe when you grow up, you can live by yourself in a haunted house. But for now, you have to come live at our house. And by the way, it's not haunted. Well, until you get there, and then it's sort of haunted because you're a demon. Okay, I, th I think you've got this all figured out, Dad. <laughs> totally. Now let's go home. Okay. I guess I got adopted today. Can't believe it. I always thought that no one would love me because I was a demon. Turns out, these parents are pretty cool. Baby demon, what are you doing? <laughs> no, seriously, baby demon, that's not a house. What are you doing? Oh my gosh, the baby demon is breaking into people's houses. Whoa, this is a nice house. I thought you didn't want to follow me. <laughs> I'm just trying to be a good influence on you. Uh-huh, yeah, sure. Wow, look at this pad. This place is amazing. We shouldn't be here. You can't just break into people's houses. Wow, this person sure does like wallpaper. Holy guacamole, this is crazy in here. Ah, just what I need, a demon bath. <laughs> Molly, that is so rude. You should try to be more angelic like me. Yeah, right. Boring. Molly, being good isn't boring. You naughty little demon. Whoa, this looks like unicorn scales. Except for unicorns wouldn't get anywhere near you because you're so evil and bad. No, I'm not. I'm the most adorable demon on the planet. <laughs> Whoa, look at these beds. They look like ships. Ah, this bed looks super comfortable. Parents can only use it. Okay, maybe I'll get in their crib then. <coughs> oh, brother. This baby demon sister of mine is going to get me in so much trouble. She's breaking into everybody's houses. Uh, excuse me, baby angel. Could you be quiet? I'm trying to take a nap. Jeepers. <coughs> Demon, get out of this house! Oh, whatever. Almost like having a little picnic. They don't have any furniture in here anyway. I'm out of here. 
Besides, the wallpaper's giving me a headache. That's rude, Marty. They worked really hard on this. Oh, look at snacks! <laughs> I'm not gonna leave till I have all the snacks. Can I um steal this apple? Don't you dare, Marty! But I'm hungry! <laughs> well, look in your pocket. Maybe you have a sandwich. Why would I have a sandwich in my pocket? It would be disgusting. It would be all gross and moldy. <laughs> a moldy sandwich for a naughty little demon baby like you. I love that they have like a party in the middle of their house. They have a giant pool and like a party. That's cool. Alright, I gotta get out of here. Ow! Oh, I hit my head on the side of the pool! Huh. Okay, time to break into someone else's house. You better not, Molly. That is rude, rude, rude. Whose house is this? Ah, uh, that one looks kind of boring. Whoa, someone's got a tree house going inside that. Molly, seriously, don't break into people's houses. Uh, I'm getting tired, but I don't even care. I want to go in this tree house. Oh, yeah. Going in. Molly, that's someone's home. Wow, rustic. <laughs> what do they got in the refrigerator? Oh, first I have to go to the bathroom. Seriously, Molly, you're going to go to the bathroom at the house? Yeah, why not? It's rude, Molly. That's why. Well, if it's so rude, why are you following me into all the houses? Baby Angel? Baby Angel? Where'd you go? Okay, the baby angel left. <sighs> OMG! The baby angel is sleeping. Oh, yeah, she hates coming to all these houses. A donut bed? Oh, I can't get it. No, fair! Okay, I'm just gonna jump on it. Boing, 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 boing. You really are a demon, aren't you? Are you ever going to be good? Of course I'm not gonna be good. I'm a demon. Duh! Ugh. Having a baby angel as a sister is so annoying. Time to go check out the next house. See, does anybody else have a cool house I can go eat their food in? Food! Well, I'm gonna go in this house. This one looks pretty nice. Mom! Dad! I'm home! Just kidding. <laughs> yeah, right. Like, they never adopt you, you little devil, you. Ah, uh, their kitchen is grossing me out. It's, like, so pretty and pink. Blech! Gross! Barf! I think it's beautiful. I love it. Yeah, you would love it. What's that supposed to mean? It's supposed to mean you're a nice little angel and you love everything. Everything is beautiful and nice. Ooh, I'm hungry. I do have to look at my um pocket and see if I have a sandwich or something. I do! <laughs> it's a demon sandwich. Mm, that's good. It's not even moldy. Seriously, you're going to eat that sandwich that was in your pocket. That's what you told me to do already. Okay, yeah, but, ew, gross. This one's kind of boring. It's too happy. Ugh. It's making me kind of sick. Hey, what's this? <gasps> they have, like, secret codes or something in here? I'm hacking into their computer. Molly, that is so rude! Don't you deal! What? The secret codes to adopt me? To adopt any animal? Ha 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 ha! Ha 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 ha! Ooh, somebody invited me to join their party. Going. Come, um, to see my dragon. <laughs> okay, I said yes, I want to go. Oh, I have to actually follow the... It's not going to just teleport me there? No, lazy demon, you have to actually go there. Oh, it says I need a bath. Maybe I should take one before I go. Do you think I could take a bath in the toilet? Ew, no! <laughs> oh, everybody wants me to go to their party. Apparently the demon is really, really popular. Ugh, I don't feel so good. It's because you ate a moldy sandwich from your pocket, demon. What? No, I didn't. I saw you do it. Now you're lying. Oh, I don't feel so good either. What? We're both sick? I, I, we can't both be sick. We are, Molly. We have to go to the hospital. Oh, but I want to I wanna go look at other people's houses. Molly, we can't. We have to go. One of us might die. Also, it's time for school. I'm not going to school. I'm a demon. Demons don't go to school. We already know everything. We're so smart. Ew, you smell bad. Like a rotten, stinky egg. Whatever. Well, hello there. Ooh, a baby demon. Yeah, we've already established that. Can you make me better now? Rude, Molly. How about, how about just trying to be nice? 
Well, I guess it's nice to see you. Um, would you like me to heal you? Yeah, I already said that. Duh. Wow, Marty, you're so rude. Marty, why is there like a halo on top of your head? I don't know. I think she put a curse on me. I I I I feel like I'm I'm good. <laughs> she gave you a potion to make you a baby angel. What? No! No! This this can't be happening! What? What do I look like this for? Oh my god! It doesn't even look like me! Ah! Where's my baby demon horns? <laughs> that doctor! She turned you into a normal girl! Now you have no superpowers and you can't be evil. What? No! This is the worst day ever! Also, can we go somewhere? I'm really thirsty and hungry. Of course! Because <laughs> I can't call you baby demon anymore. Because your name's just Molly. Oh my god, she made me look just like her daughter. Hi, I'd love to adopt you. Come back. No! I'm a baby demon! I swear it! No, you're not. You're a sweet little angel. No! I did a bunch of jars of bubbles. Oh, yeah, really, baby Kira? I have no idea what you just said. Girls, it's time to do your chores. But, Mom, we're watching this amazing TV show. What? About a raccoon? Yeah, Mom, it's really interesting. This adorable raccoon is basically just hanging out, being lazy. Um, sounds a lot like you, girls. You both have chores, and you haven't done them yet. I did a blah, 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 blah. Yeah, my exact thoughts. Why doesn't baby Kira have to do chores? I'm not sure that's what she said, Miley. Yeah, I think it's what she said. I don't want to do chores. Well, but you girls need to help me. You're you're so grown up now. You, you can vacuum. You can do the dishes. Well, what does baby Kira have to do? She can just stay here and watch the raccoons on TV and, you know, not get anybody's way while we're vacuuming. But, Mom, I want to stay here and watch the adorable, lazy raccoon. I mean, look at him. He's at a wildlife shelter, just like recuperating, and, you know, he got injured. Someone, like, hit his foot with a car, and it's a crazy story, Mom. Oh, that's lovely, Molly, but right now, what I need you to do is vacuum the floor. I don't want to! Baby Kira doesn't have to! That's because she's a baby, and when you're a baby, you get away with everything. I did the yeah. Yeah, you are lucky, baby Kira. You get to chill out on the couch and watch a raccoon show. This isn't even fair. Sticky old chores. Ugh. Molly, could you switch with me? I, I need to do the vacuuming. What? No, I don't like doing the dishes. But I can't, Molly. I broke my wrist and remember? I'm not sure mom actually remembered. Because if she did, she'd probably have me doing the vacuuming and you doing the dishes. What? No, I hate doing the dishes. There's all that food stuck to the plates and then it gets under my fingernails. It's so gross. Molly, I have to vacuum because I I can't get my cast wet. Ugh, fine. Ugh, I hate being so grown up. Stinky old dishes. Stinky, stinky, stinky. Well, this isn't so bad. I mean, I at least have one arm that I can vacuum with. <laughs> Molly, are you almost done doing the dishes? Yeah, seems like it took forever. Like, I'm pretty sure uh, it took me at least a year. That's a year of my life I can't get back, Mom. A year! Molly, you've been doing the dishes for 15 minutes. Now it's time to get your homework done. But, but, Mom, I just finished my chores! I know, growing up is so hard, isn't it, Molly? I can't have any more responsibilities! Oh, Molly, you're just getting used to being a grown-up, that's all. I'm not a grown-up. I know, but we start practicing when you're this age. No! Oh my gosh, I don't, ah, I don't want to do any more responsibilities. Daisy, help! I'm not in charge here, Molly. I can't help you. Well, at least I can do my work on the computer. I hate having to write things out with a pen. No one will be too upset if I just play Roblox for a little while, right? I mean, holy guacamole, all this responsibility. It's too much for me. It's too much. What? A new Roblox game? costs 50 Robux to play. Wait a minute, how much do I have in my bank account? Zero dollars? That's okay, I'll ask mom for some money. Mom, mom! Yes, Molly? Hmm, what am I gonna make for dinner tonight? Mom, um, can, can I have some money? For what, dear? Are you done with your homework? Um, well, I'm working on it. But anyway, there's something that I want a whole lot and I've been doing my 
my responsibilities and um well what is it molly is it something for school of course i can help you pay for something if it's for school no it's so i can buy robux because there's this game on roblox i want to play and molly you have a job you have your own money now well uh don't tell me you spent all your money what could you possibly spend all your money on well um it all started when i can't believe that i'm the ice cream truck driver <laughs> this must be the best job in the entire world omg i love the ice cream truck can't wait to go inside and see what it's like what ever since i got my driver's license i'm like the most best dream job ever would be driving the ice cream truck and serving all this delicious ice cream i wonder what it's like inside and now i'm finding out look at this chocolate vanilla birthday cake bubble gum and mint chocolate chip yes delicious all right well i guess i should be open for business yeah this is the best job ever the best job hello can i get some service down here daisy yeah i want an ice cream of five they sound delicious what you got up there oh we've got everything delicious what what can i get for you I'll have um, a scoop of birthday cake, please. Okay, one scoop of birthday cake coming up. I'm just going to get a cone and then go over here, get the birthday cake. Mmm, this smells delicious. Mm. Oh, that's pretty good. Hey, you're not supposed to lick the customer's ice cream cone. That's disgusting. Well, I gave you two scoops, so that was too much. So I'm just going to lick one, one of the scoops and then give you the other. Forget it. That sounds disgusting. Okay, well, I guess I'll just eat the whole thing then. And while I'm at it, mmm, look at that chocolate. That looks good too. Mmm, oh, this chocolate looks good. Mmm, so good. Mmm. And um, by the end of the day, I had eaten all the ice cream. Oops. And well, uh, my boss sort of made me pay for all of the ice creams and then he fired me. What? You lost your job already? You only worked one day, Molly. Well, that's why I don't have any money. So can I have some for Robux? Uh, no. And also, no! Now go do your homework. Oh, man! This stinks. Look at Baby Kira is still watching the adorable raccoon. That's it. I've decided I'm no longer going to be responsible. I don't want grown-up training. Grown-up training sounds awful. Doo doo! Yucky! Miserable! Ugh! Molly, what are you doing? Why are you pulling out all those old baby clothes of ours? Because I've decided I'm going back to being a baby. What? What are you talking about? You're being crazy right now. Um, I'm not crazy. Here's the thing. Mom expects us to try to do this grown-up training where we have all these responsibilities. It's too much! I can't do homework and chores on the same night, especially when the rogue raccoon um, TV show is on. It's my favorite. Oh my gosh. My sister's having a nervous breakdown. Pretty much. I'm reverting. I'm going back to being a baby. Uh, Molly, I don't think this is going to work. Seriously. If you can't beat him, join him, Daisy. Here, I got a little onesie for you, too. <laughs> Molly, I remember that bunny ears hat. It's ridiculous. What? I think it's adorable. And ga 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 go 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 ba 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 Oh yeah, you're just trying to be just like baby Kiwa. Pretty much. Whoa, did you just take your brace off? You're not supposed to take your cast off. Well, for being a baby, I sort of have to. Okay, don't break your wrist again. Ugh, if it wasn't bad enough, you broke it the first time. We couldn't even go to Chuck E. Cheese because of that. Oh, yeah. Not like it was, like, really awful for me or anything, Molly. Wee! Wee! What is that sound? Baby Kira, are you crying? Are you okay? I think I'm okay. And Molly and Daisy, your babies. What? What are you, what are you talking about? Molly? Daisy? Daisy? Why are you dressed like babies? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Girls, that's enough of that now. Come on. I don't want to get any more responsibilities, so I'm not doing them. I'm a baby again. Too bad. Molly. Daisy. I, okay, I would expect this from Molly, but I would not expect this from you, Daisy. You like responsibilities. Well, everybody needs a 
break. I just don't want to jump up. You're working us too hard. I just don't want to jump up. Now, excuse me, I'm having a snack. <laughs> Looks like you have three babies now. And guess what, Mom? <laughs> I just made a poo poo. You better not have, Molly. You're not even wearing a diaper. <laughs> oh, wait, I'm not done yet. Oh, my gosh. I want Baba! Oh my gosh, I'll get you a bottle. Just just stop crying like that. Oh, I can't deal with three babies at once. It's like having triplets. Molly, it's actually working. I know. No responsibilities. And you and me, we get to watch the raccoon TV show. <laughs> Look at him. He's so adorable. Where's my bottle? I also want a donut. Molly, babies don't eat donuts. You have to just eat a bottle. I want a donut, though, too. Well, I don't really think you can. You're a baby. Daisy, I'm not really a baby. I'm just pretending to be a baby. Thank you, Bob. Thank you, Mom. Mmm, this is going to be so delicious. <laughs> Ew, what is this? It's baby formula. Don't you remember how delicious baby formula is? No, ew, that gross. I don't like it. Molly, are you having a temper tantrum? That's it. Time for you to take a nap. What? I don't take naps anymore. No. <laughs> Naughty little baby. Ow, stop kicking me. Ouch, you're kicking me. Molly, you, uh, you want to act like a baby? Then you're going to be treated like one. Good night. No, I don't want to get in bed. I'm not doing it. Good night, Molly. Have a good nap. Oh, maybe being a baby isn't all that's cut out to be. This kind of stinks. Or maybe that's just the smell of my super dirty diaper. <laughs> I'm sneaking out of here. <laughs> she doesn't get to tell me what to do like a baby. Nah, 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 nah. I'm sneaking out. Molly, what are you doing? Hey, you're not dressed like a baby anymore. That's because being a baby isn't what it's cracked up to be. Mom, Molly snuck out. She thinks she doesn't have to do what you tell her. Well, first of all, whether you're a baby or not, I'm still your mom, so you have to do what I tell you to your actual grown-up. Second of all, since you want to be a baby, you're going to get treated like one. Time out, chair. Time out, chair. Oh, Molly. You're going to get in trouble. You shouldn't say bad words in baby talk. But, 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 but. No buts about it, Molly. Time out, chair. <laughs> Being a baby is, is terrible. And very annoying for me, Molly. Are you done being a baby? No. I don't want to ever not be a baby because... Then I have to go back to having responsibilities. But also, this is kind of annoying, too. I don't know what to do. Should I be a baby or should I not? Oh. Well, Molly, if you can't beat him, join him. You might as well act like, well, your own age again. Ugh. I hate when my sister has a point. <laughs> Too early. Too early. <laughs> Molly thinks I'm her mom. <laughs> Silly. <laughs> Molly, seriously, it's time to wake up. Mom, I don't know why you sound so funny, but it's too early. Molly, open your eyes, please. Huh? Grandma? Is that you? It sure is, Molly. Grandma! I'm so excited to see you right now. What are you doing here? Wait a minute. Did mom decide to take a vacation without us? <laughs> no, of course not. Although I'm sure sometimes she feels like she might need one. Nah, not with us. We're the best kids in the world. Sure, sure you are, Molly. You're the best grandkids in the world for sure. Well, I'm so excited to see you today, Grandma. Are you excited to see Mr. Meows a lot too? Yeah, your cat's pretty cool. He can hang out. 
Oh, that's great, because I love cats. I love every kind of cat. Okay, Grandma. We know you love cats. They're your favorite. Good morning, Molly. Did you see that Grandma's here to babysit us? Yeah, Daisy. It's awesome, right? I love when Grandma comes to visit. Me too, Molly. Me too. Okay, girls. What's for breakfast? Everything. Just make everything. Molly, she can't make everything. Don't be crazy right now. Oh, I bet I could make everything. Yeah, see, Daisy? She can do it. Oh, this toast was delicious. Glug, 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 glug. Orange juice was good, too. Okay, well, here's some bacon and eggs, girls. Ooh, looks delicious, Grandma. You really are the best cook in the entire universe. I agree, Molly. She really is. Well, girls, um, what did you want to do after breakfast? I don't know, something super fun, Grandma. What do you think? Well, fun is my middle name. Ha, <laughs> Grandma, you're awesome. Ooh, bacon and eggs. One of my favorite breakfasts is. Breakfast, Daisy. Breakfast is. Breakfasts. Breakfast is. That's what I said. <laughs> Daisy, you're cute. Mmm, doesn't this look good? I just made myself some hot chocolate. Whoa, Grandma, that does look good. I love hot chocolate. It's one of my favorites. So, girls, how's school going? School's going great for me, Grandma. Don't ask Molly, don't cease. Daisy, that's not true. I've been studying. Yeah, one time in your whole life. Ooh, Molly, you have to study. You want to be smart, right? Yeah, Grandma, I am smart, though. Smart enough to know that it's time to watch the brightly colored unicorn, the brightly colored unicorn. The news, boring. Ooh, let's see what's on the news. No, Grandma, that's boring. Ooh, Gordon Bloxier. I love to watch him cook. No, Grandma, we're going to watch this. What's this? It's called the brightly colored unicorn. It's amazing. Grandma, can I sit next to you? Of course you can, dear. I wanted to sit next to Grandma. Get up, Molly. No, I was here first. You you didn't get here first. It's not my problem you didn't get here first. Fine, Molly. The pearly colored unicorn, the pearly colored unicorn. Do, 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 do. Ooh, Mr. Meowsalot, did you toot? Oh, <laughs> no, Grandma's cat farted. Molly. Well, it did. Ew, Mr. Meowsalot, what do you have been eating? Oh, he eats a lot of cat food and tuna and bagels. Bagels? Grandma, you're not supposed to feed your cat bagels. Oh, he likes them with cream cheese. <laughs> Don't, Molly, I smell it too. It was Mr. Meowsalot. Don't, Molly, it's you. Molly, please go take a bath. You're starting to get a stink cloud. Oh, but Grandma, the brightly colored unicorn. Molly, it's not nice to blame a toot on Mr. Meowsalot when you're the one that needs to take a bath. Fine, Grandma. Ugh, don't want to take a bath. But Grandma's still pretty cool. I forgive her for making me do things in the morning like take baths and brush my teeth. Yeah, I'm clean! Okay, I better brush my teeth because if I don't, Grandma will be like, did you brush your teeth? And I'll be like... No, and then she'll be like, we'll get back in there and brush them. And I'll be like, okay. Brushing my teeth, brushing my teeth. Brush, brush, brushing, brushing my teeth. Ah, I feel so clean right now. Grandma, I took a bath and I brushed my teeth. Daisy, did you brush your teeth? Um, well, um. No, she didn't. Daisy, you have to go do that. Don't. Take my seat, Molly. That's not really nice. Okay, Daisy, I won't take your seat. The brightly colored unicorn, the brightly colored unicorn. Do, 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 do. Ba, 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 ba. The brightly colored unicorn. Molly, you don't just want to watch TV all day, do you, dear? Mr. Meowsalot really could use some fresh air. Well, then you're in luck, Grandma, because... Basically, we have the biggest backyard in all of Blacksburg now. 
Just wait, Grandma. We have a huge backyard. Do you want to see it? I love the outside. At my house, at the retirement home, we have a garden. It's so lovely. Mr. Meows a lot loves it, along with his 99 brothers and sisters. Grandma, 99 brothers and sisters? How many cats do you have? I think it's 100 the last time I counted. I love cats. I love every type of cat. Oh, MG. My grandma is crazy about cats. Okay, everybody, let's go outside and play! Oh my gosh, look how big our backyard is. It's so amazing. I don't mind it. We just put in those hedges so it's like green everywhere. Daisy, you want to have a race? So, Molly, I love races. Grandma, do you want to race too? Oh, no, dear. I'm much too old for that. I'll watch you girls. Does Mr. Meowsalot want to have a race? No, Mr. Meowsalot just likes to sit here on my shoulder and be lazy. Mr. Meowsalot, lazy little kitty. He talked to me! Say something, Mr. Meows a lot. Say something. The Toy Girl fans are watching. Come on, Mr. Meows a lot. He's kind of shy sometimes. Yeah, right! He talks all the time. Meow. 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 <laughs> Mr. Meows a lot says, Subscribe to the Toy Girls channel! You won't regret it. Okay, Daisy, let's start here. And on the count of three, I'm going to say, um, three, two, one, go. And then we're going to run to the other side of the yard. Are you ready? I'm ready, Molly. Three, two, one, go! Molly, you cheated! Not really. I just, I didn't remember to say one. I'm going to win. I'm going to win. I'm going to win. Yeah! Whoops, I jumped over the hedge. Daisy? I'm right here, cheetah, cheetah, pumpkin needle. Lyle, lyle, pants on fire. Hey, it looks like one of our friends are here. Hey! Hi! Are you a fan? That's awesome. Nice to see you. Do you want to play? We're playing, um... We're playing, uh... We're playing races. Molly. Oh, my goodness. You couldn't even talk. And go! I'm gonna win again. I'm gonna win again. Oh, my gosh. I'm super awesome. Gonna win again. Okay, Molly. Whatever. You were racing yourself. Oh, now I'm hot. I gotta get in the pool. Ah, oh, that feels so good. Hey, Toy Hero fans, thanks so much for watching today. Don't forget to subscribe to the Toy Heroes channel, okay? Yeah, guys, don't forget. I'm going to go down the slide now, Daisy. Whee! Oh, nobody can find me. Me, Angel. I wonder if Grandma will come looking for us. Daisy? Ah, oh, Daisy disappeared. Girls? Girls? Where are you? Girls? Girls? Grandma doesn't know I'm down here. Ugh, I can't hold my breath much longer. Girls! Girls! Girls? <laughs> Grandma! <laughs> oh my goodness, you girls tricked me! And Mr. Meows a lot hates going in the water! I know, I tried to get him swimming lessons. Grandma, you tried to get your cat swimming lessons? Yes. He really just needed to know how to swim in case he fell out of my cat boat. Cat boat? What's that, Grandma? It's a boat that I bought for me and my cats to go out on the river. Why? Because they like fishing. <laughs> Grandma, I love you. You're so strange. Well, when you get old, you do things like put cats on boats and go out into the river. Okay, Grandma. Well, I'm very young, so I don't know anything about that. But you're still the best grandma in the entire world, even if you're crazy about cats. Well, I love cats. I love every kind of cat. <laughs> All right, Toyo fans. We'll see you next time. You guys are amazing. We love you. Bye. Mmm. This is delicious. Mm. I mean, I kind of wish I had some dessert, but, you know, as far as sandwiches go... This one's pretty good. Molly, Molly, what you doing? What's it look like I'm doing? Hey, why are you sitting in baby Kira's high chair? I accidentally tripped. You tripped and fell into the high chair. Well, I'm a little clumsy. I just got new contacts. Ooh, don't you want to wear glasses? You'd be so cool. No, I want to wear contacts. I don't want to wear glasses. Molly, do you want to come outside and play with me? 
Uh, no, not right now, TC. I just want to, like, hang out. But we could play soccer. It would be so much fun. No, I want to eat my sandwich, chill, and watch some TV, okay? But you have fun playing soccer. I can't play soccer by myself. Uh, I guess I'll just swing on the swings then. Uh -huh, okay, well, have fun. Mm, that's delicious. Oh, boy. I could take a nap like this. Oh! Oh, 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 oh! TC, what, what is it? Why are you crying? I, 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 <laughs> Daisy, what's wrong? What happened? Was there a bully at the park? No, Molly, I, I, I got poked in the eye. Hey, guys, you guys want to hang out? Uh, no, sorry. Oh, my sister got poked in the eye. Oh, my gosh, Daisy. Can you see out of it? It's, 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 well, it's bluey. Daisy, just blink your eyes and, and, and maybe it'll get better. No, Molly. Everything is still really bluey. Something is not right with my eye. I need to go to the hospital. Well, Daisy, uh, Mom has the car. I can't drive you there. Call 911 then. Okay, I'll call 911. Um, uh, call emergency services. Here we go. Why is my phone broken? Are you serious right now? Well, why aren't they coming? I don't know. They're not answering. Ugh, this phone is broken. Maybe it's not your phone, Molly. Maybe it's the hospital. I don't know, but the ambulance is not responding. I don't know what's wrong with the ambulance, but but we did a paramedic. Don't be scared. <laughs> You'll be fine. Um, sorry, but we can't hang out right now because my sister got poked in the eye and she might be going blind. Okay, Daisy, come on. I'm gonna lead you to the hospital. We'll have to walk. It's a little bit of a it's a little bit of a walk, but you can do it, okay? You didn't break your leg, did you? No, I just I couldn't see where I was going because these new contacts and 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 and, 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 and I got. Well, poked in the eye with a stick. Oh, Daisy. Oh, no. Come on. Well, follow me. Come on. You can hold my hand and, and we'll walk to the hospital together. No. Wrong door, Daisy. That goes into the bathroom. But I can't see anything, Molly. Well, I don't think the toilet's going to help you. Unless you know you have the poo-poos. Then you should probably go there. Molly, this is not the time to joke. I can't see. Okay, Daisy. Don't panic. Come on. Let's go. Okay, Daisy. We're at Maple Hospital. Everything's going to be fine. Oh, look at those little babies. We are, they're supposed to be at the vet, not here. Molly, stay focused. Hi, what can I do for you today? Are you sick? Uh, no, but my sister got poked in the eye with a stick and she can't see really good out of it. Oh my gosh. Okay, well, we'll get her admitted into the ER and have a doctor in right away. And also, I love your videos. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> are you a subscriber? Molly, not the time to talk about this. Look at my eye. It's swelling shut. Oh, no. Okay, well, can you get us in right now? Of course. Anything for Molly and Daisy. Oh, thank you so much. Come on. I'm bleeding over here. Oh, whoa. Oh, there you got a lot of patients today. We sure do. Okay, head on over to the ER room, please. I'm about to have my baby. And it's making me very grumpy because I was on my way to get an Italian sub and now I don't even get my sandwich. Whoa. Somebody get her a sub. Scat, watch where you're going with that stretcher. You almost ran me over. Okay, um, here, I'll grab the wheelchair. You sit in it, okay, Daisy? Um, I don't want to disturb you because I know your sister is sick, so I just made this sign. And could you read it, please? Are you recording? Oh, my goodness. Daisy, we're famous even when we come to the hospital. Well, our fans do love us, but I'm sorry. I, I, can't, I can't look at that right now. I can't look at anything. All right, Daisy, we're going into the emergency room. Everything's going to be fine now, okay? I hope so, Molly. I want to be able to see again. I know you do. Okay, here. Um, just get up onto this bed. Ugh. When will the doctor be here? Any minute, I'm sure of it. Excuse me, I need this room. I, I'm gonna have a baby. Hello, I'm the doctor. What seems to be the problem today? Um, here, I'm gonna talk to the doctor. She got poked in the eye. Okay, why don't you move on out of here? You are okay. No, I'm not. Oh my gosh. Just cause that lady's not gonna have, uh, she's gonna have a baby doesn't, doesn't mean that, um, she gets the bed. You're fine. You're not even sick. Scram. Ah, this doctor's crazy. Holy guacamole. Okay, Daisy, let's go into this other room. Obviously. What? I don't think he's a real doctor. I think he might be an imposter right now. Okay, apparently this doctor 
is not crazy anymore and he's gonna help my sister. I I'm having trouble breathing, I'm so nervous. Okay, well, we're gonna put this oxygen mask on you and tell me, can you see this? Uh, no, I can't see anything. Okay, you're probably gonna need a shot. What? A shot? Oh boy, Daisy hates shots. Oh my gosh, I don't want a shot. It'll help, don't you worry. Yeah, let's get an IV started here. An IV for her eyeball? Ah, uh, guys, could you stop stepping on my sister? <laughs> Seriously, you're gonna give her a concussion. Oh my gosh, I got here as quickly as I could. I got your papa. Yeah, I got your papa. Oh my gosh, what happened, Molly? Um, well, Daisy went over to the park, and her new contacts made her eyeballs not work quite right. They were a little blurry, and well, she ran into a stick on a tree and poked herself in the eye. Oh my gosh, my sweet girl. <sighs> um, I think this girl needs to have a doctor because she's laying on the ground and... Okay, are you okay? Yeah, <sighs> sometimes I just have my back seize up on me. Ugh, it's the worst. I can tell. Oh my gosh. Maybe they have a shot for that or something. Oh, poor little girl. Hey, why don't you go over to the gift shop and get something for Daisy to make her feel a little better? Here's some money and, um, you know, get her anything that she loves, okay? Okay, Mom. No problem. Wait, where's the gift shop? Oh, boy. The last time I was here was when I had baby Kira. The gift shop was in the basement at that time, but that was over a year ago. No problem. To the basement. Finally, I found the elevator. That seemed to take me forever. La, 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 la. Whoa. Well, this doesn't quite look like the, the gift shop, but maybe it's closed? I don't know. I better look around and see. Guacamole! It's kind of creepy in here. What's that, a science lab or something? La, 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 la. Brr, it's freezing in here. Wait a minute. Where am I? Use the hospital bed to place a body into the freezer? Oh, I didn't find the gift shop. I found the... Oh, no. Oh, no, okay, it's okay. I can just get out of here, right? Yeah, the door opens. Wait a minute. Why is it opening and closing? Is it, is it gonna lock behind me? Ah! Am I locked in here? Oh my gosh! <sighs> what was that? My stomach must be growling. I haven't eaten food in, I don't know, 30 minutes. Brains! Ah! Oh my god! It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a zombie! Ah, I hope the door opens. Oh, it looks locked! Okay, I know what to do. I just gotta put him back in the freezer, right? Get on this bed, zombie! Get on it! <sighs> okay, this freezer looks empty, right? Okay, in you go. Give me your brains. O-M-G, guys. I put that zombie in the freezer. And now I need to get this door open. Um, and get out of here. Okay, the gift shop is no longer down in the basement. And it seems like they're testing on zombies down here. So, um, yeah, let's try a different floor. Um, well, um, uh, the, the second floor, maybe? Uh, gift shop should be there, right? Can't be any worse than what I just witnessed. I can't believe there's zombies in the hospital. Oh my gosh. I think I found it. Wait, this is the gift shop, right? I mean, there's toys in there and... Oh yeah, maple gift shop. Okay. Now I have to pick out something that I think Daisy would actually like. Oh, look at that teddy bear. I bet she would really like that. She'd be able to snuggle in and... Yeah, she'll love this. Slow down, Speedy Gonzales. Sorry! I've got to go see my sister. She's got a, 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 her eye. Oh, wait, there she is. Okay, why is there somebody with a dumbbell on top of my sister? You should be in daycare! <laughs> I'm so naughty! Molly, is that you? I can barely see you. Oh, sorry. Here, I, I brought you something that you're really going to love. Is that a teddy bear? Yeah. Are you frowning, Molly? I can sort of see you a little now. The doctor's been giving me some some medicine for my eye. Yeah, it's a teddy bear, and yeah, I'm frowning, and yeah, it's because I saw something crazy, and 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 and, and it scarred me for life. Oh boy, Molly, I think you're gonna be okay. I don't know, Daisy. I'm I'm really not sure. It was crazy. Where's Mom? Oh, she went to get some coffee. Okay, baby Kira, uh, Mom will be back with a bottle in a minute. I'm sure of it. Here, you can have this teddy bear. What? That 
it's supposed to be my teddy bear. I'm sorry, but I think baby Kira might need it. She feels really sad. I'm back. Mom, baby Kira needs a bottle. Oh, man. Did you, wait, did you find the gift shop? Yeah, I did. Oh, boy, it was quite the adventure. Could you please go up to the maternity ward and get your sister a bottle? Okay. Hopefully I don't get lost this time. And make it quick, Molly. Well, I know that the basement isn't the, where the maternity ward is. I guess I'll go up to the third floor. Oh, it says ultrasound. I always wanted to go in one of these rooms. Oh my gosh, that's where they see the babies. That's so cute. Okay, let's go over to this section and see if we can find a bottle around here. Ooh, this is like, this is pediatric care. I bet there's one in here. Is there any nurse here? Because that baby is crying. Okay, well, I guess I'll pick this baby up because I don't want it to cry. And the nurses seem really busy. rock a bye, baby in the treetops. Gosh, is that a second baby crying? rock a bye, babies in the treetops. Okay, well, I've got to go down and give my sister that bottle. Um, I guess you guys can come with me, because, um, yeah, uh, baby Kira gets very grumpy if she doesn't have her baby bottle. Hey, Molly, what are you doing with those babies? Well, they kept crying, and I was going to bring baby Kira her baby bottle, and, well, I didn't want to leave them there, and a nurse wasn't there. Molly, you can't just walk out of the maternity ward with babies, but they needed someone to love them. <coughs> See? See what I mean? Oh my gosh, Molly. Take those babies right back right now before we get arrested. Well, it's not like I stole them or something. I just, well, I, I, oh boy. I can see this is going to be a very bad day. You're having a bad day. Try being me. Oh boy. Okay, well, here's the baby bottle. I get that one, I get that one, I get that one. I know, you love baby bottles. Mm, it's pretty good. Molly, don't drink baby Kira's baby bottle. Has anyone seen the missing babies? Uh-oh. That doctor's looking for these babies. I didn't mean to take them. I just tried to soothe them. I was going to bring them back. All right, we need to um sound the alarm. There's children missing. There's children missing from the maternity ward. Well, let's try to get these guys back here before anybody notices, well, that um they're gone. Too late. Everybody notices they're already gone. Maybe they just crawled away on their own. Yeah, just stick you guys down here, right here, like this. Shh, 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 shh. Okay, the nurse is going to find you in about two minutes. And I'm just going to sneak out of here so I don't get in trouble for um, trying to soothe the babies. And, um, oh, it's just a disaster. Oh my gosh, i got to run. I don't want them to see it was me. Truly, I don't steal babies. All right, I go back down and see my sister now. Oh, wait, I didn't take this elevator before. Okay, there's the emergency room. This hospital's so huge. I can't even find where I am sometimes. Okay, here we go. Oh, my gosh. Did you take those babies back? Of course I did, Mom. Of course I did. Okay, what's going on here? Someone's doing, like, gymnastics and dancing on Daisy. And they're also doing CPR. Um, you guys are not real doctors. She has an eye infection. Oh, my goodness. I feel better. Can we go home? Oh, man, someone has diarrhea. We need to get out of here before we all catch the stomach bug. Daisy, are you seeing any better? Yep, I'm completely cured. Let's go home. Well, here's all the ambulances. They could have been more helpful earlier today. Would you please watch out? You've run into me about five times. Oh, my gosh, that old lady is, like, so mad. Oh, no, there's somebody else having a baby. Whoa, I wonder if that's the ambulance that I tried calling. Now I know what happened. Daisy, you're wearing glasses? Yep, after that crazy time I had at the hospital, the contacts aren't worth it. Yeah, <laughs> you think you had a crazy time. Wait till I tell you what I saw in the basement. What, was it haunted? No, worse. <laughs> channel my sister daisy and i are going to play a brand new escape grandma today yeah she hates us because um we're her worst grandchildren i guess <laughs> oh my gosh is that an olive on her face no money it's supposed to be a what holy guacamole it looks like an olive it's so big so guys we have some sad news that we want to tell you before we start this game yeah guys um i broke my wrist uh, last weekend, uh, 
She was climbing a tree. She was trying to be just like me. And well, she fell out of the tree and she hurt her wrist. Yeah, actually, I had to have surgery on it. But she's back to being able to play Roblox. So, but she might just be kind of like a noob until her wrist completely heals. Yeah, so guys, don't be hating on me if I if I make mistakes and die a lot because um my arm is still in the cast all the way down my to my wrist. So I can only just move my fingers, but I might not be able to play Roblox as good. But we still love her, right guys? Send Daisy lots of get well wishes in the comment section below, okay guys? We're so glad here at the Star Squad to have her back to making videos. Even if she is my annoying sister. <laughs> Molly! That's not very nice, you know. I, I'm injured. Can't you be a nicer sister? Um, well, not really. <laughs> Woo! Who took the cookies from the cookie jar? Molly took the cookies from the cookie jar. Mmm, yum! They're delicious! Molly, quit getting distracted by the cookies. You're just upset because you only have one hand now. And so you can't eat two cookies. You can only eat one at once. Yeah, that does kind of stink. Guys, if you ever broken a bone in your body, let me just say it hurts really bad. And, well, I'm glad that it's getting <coughs> fixed because um, I want it to just be over with, basically. Yeah, my sister was in a lot of pain when it first happened. I was there when she fell. It was really sad and scary, but she's okay now, so... Don't worry, guys. She's she's healing. And you're still doing better than me with one hand, Daisy. How is that even possible? Because you stink at Abby's, Molly. That's why. <laughs> I'm playing this Roblox with one hand. And I'm still better at it than you. Where, where, where? Oh, aren't you so perfect? Oh, there's ugly Granny. Oh, man. She's got so many hairs on her face. Granny needs a razor. <laughs> So she can cut all her hair off of her face. She's like the bearded lady. Ooh, look at all these cookies. Doesn't it make you want to eat some, Daisy? No, they're probably booby trap. Ooh, Daisy just got killed. I wonder by what. But the psycho granny chasing you. Oh my gosh, and she's really mad. Look at her face. Oh man, you can't be mean to my sister. She broke her wrist. Be nice, evil granny. Okay, here comes Daisy. She's trying to get by granny. She's too busy freaking out. What? She's got a cookie shop here or something. She's storing all the chocolate chip cookies in the world. Knock, knock. Anybody home? Yes, Molly. You gotta go up this fan. Oh, no, not the lasers. Anything but the lasers. You people know that I hate the fan lasers. I am so terrible at them. Oh, my gosh. I, I might actually make it. Oh, I actually made it. I'm getting better, I think. I hope. And Daisy's gone again. Daisy's so much better at this game than me. No, Molly. Actually, I died. I was behind you. Oh, look at these shiny crystals. Come on, Molly. We don't have time for that. We have to try to get through this lava. Oh, no. Except for you just died. I know. I'm always dying in these games. Good thing I didn't break my wrist or I wouldn't be able to do anything. I could barely survive with my wrist being... Both of my hands being okay. Can you imagine if I broke my wrist? No, Molly. I think that that would just be tragedy. Whoa, Daisy. You gotta move quick on this one, girl. You gotta move quick. Do you need help? How you gonna help me, Molly? You're too busy trying to survive yourself. Daisy, uh, I hate to admit this. But when I had to make these videos and play Roblox for myself last week, I really missed you. Really, Molly? Yeah, really. Uh, sometimes we're annoying to each other because we're sisters, but I just, I love playing Roblox with you. Guys, if you would miss Daisy playing Roblox, slam that like button. It's a flaming meatball. Go, Daisy, go. Molly, my legs are broken. Just my wrist. I can run. Okay, not as fast as me, though. Yes, just as fast as you. Whoa, that flaming meatball comes out there quick. I think that actually... Giant balls of yawn. Ooh, look at this. This is kind of pretty. Is there anything else down there, though? Nah, just the flaming meatballs. Sometimes I feel like I'm going to miss some sort of trick or something. Like a secret part of the game. I love secret parts of the game. This is kind of pretty through here. I want to, like, hang out in here. Um, Daisy, what's this about? We're going to race Granny, I think. Yeah. Granny can go extra fast because she's got fart power. <laughs> Actually, she's already beating me because she does have far power. Oh, I got to speed up. <laughs> Get out of here, Granny. Oh, I'm right behind her. What if she farts? You're definitely a goner if she farts, Molly. Okay, Molly's um, Molly is actually picking up speed here. Beating Granny. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. Going down some stairs? Seriously? Stairs on our car? That seems dangerous. 
Oh my gosh, I think I beat Granny. Well, this is good news because then I don't have to do that part all over again. Good job, Molly. You're still slower than the person who only has one hand, though. <laughs> Whatever. Oh, look it. We're going to go down where the cookies are baked. That's probably not a good thing, Molly. Whoa, ow. Ow, that really hurt my wrist. Really? No, not really. This is just Roblox. I only broke my wrist in real life, not in Roblox. All right, let's go up in this event and see if we can get out of here. It's crazy granny, crazy granny. Free cookies. Well, let's go down here. <gasps> ah! Oh, my gosh. It tricked me. All right, now what do we got to do? Oh, I think we got to do a speed run. Wee! Whoa. More speed run. Boing, 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 boing. Whoa! I just got killed in the in the milk or whatever. Holy guacamole, this goes by so fast. Okay, this part's kind of hard. Holy guacamole, ah! I keep dying in that same spot because this part's really hard. Boing, boing, up to the top. And then more jumping. Wee! Oh, 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 oh my gosh. Oh, look at me, guys. I'm not dead yet. I'm not dead yet. I'm not dead Ooh. yet. Okay, now I'm dead. Do you have any Robux? Maybe you could skip the stage. I don't need to skip the stage. I can win. Okay, Daisy, when your wrist was broken and I had to play this one game by myself, oh my gosh, it was so hard. It took me like four hours, Daisy, to complete it. Really? Yeah, for real. It was so hard. Boing, boing, boing. But it's good to know you missed me, Molly. I did miss you, Daisy. Who else can annoy me like you? Ditto, Molly, ditto. I think we gotta go up this way, Daisy. And then, um, oh yeah, over here where the arrow is. Unless it's another trick with the one that says free cookies or whatever. Look up. Um, okay. Why am I, okay, why is it doing that though? Like, oh, we only have enough to like bounce to the next thing, I guess. All right, enough, enough wind power. You make enough wind power for everybody, Molly. Are you trying to say I fart a lot? Uh -huh. I don't know what she's talking about. <laughs> oh, brother. Yes, I completed it. Go me. Ooh, look it. A topiary hedge. And why is Granny sitting out here? Because she's going to chase us through it, duh. Is she really? She just sort of looks like she's sitting there. Oh, no, here she comes. And she's got evil gnomes out here. Ugh. They have creepy eyes. I like gnomes. I think they're cute. You would, Daisy. You would. Guys, if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, now is the perfect time to hit that subscribe button. Oh, gosh. Granny just... Kill me with a cookie? I don't know. If you gotta die, I guess that's a good way to go. <laughs> okay, Molly, we both died on that round. But that's because it was practically impossible. Um, I don't know if you noticed this, but when we get out of here, it looks like we have to fight a giant gnome. I so want my backyard to look like this. <laughs> it's so creepy and cool. I have to agree, Molly. It is pretty creepy. Oh, man. I didn't even pull the lever. Are you serious? <laughs> ah! No! I don't want it any more of your Ooh. poison cookies! Okay, hopefully it's saved this time, because I don't have Daisy to show me the way. Oh, yeah, I've got to go this way. Follow the gnomes. Follow the gnomes to get back home. Um, okay, I pushed the lever, so now I can escape. Dun, 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 dun. Wow, she has a beautiful backyard. Why is she so grumpy? Oh, she's waiting around the corner. Look at her. She's angry again! She's always angry. Oh, we get to go behind this beautiful waterfall. Okay, decent obbies. You definitely made a decent obby. This is really cool. Now where do we have to go? On a log ride, Molly. Duh. Oh, Daisy didn't make it. We gotta jump in the lily pads. Boing, boing, boing. Wee! Got it. I feel like the, the gnomes, they're, they're watching me, Daisy. Uh, what's that giant cookie do? I don't know. I feel like this is gonna be an epic boss in three, two, one. Keepers of the cookies. Oh, <laughs> we're shooting fake teeth at her! Okay, best granny game ever! Uh-oh, she's after me. She's after me, Daisy. You can bite her. You can bite her with your fake teeth, though. Ah, Granny's trying to kill me with her walker. And I'm going to kill her with some fake teeth. Granny's trying to kill me with her walker. And I'm going to bite her with these fake teeth. Okay, keepers of the cookie. Uh-oh, here comes some more. Ba-boom! Ba-boom! Come on. Down you go, Granny. All right, I love this game. This game is awesome. If you guys haven't played it, this is fun. Grandma's trying to kill me with the walker, but I'm gonna take her down with these fake teeth. Oh my gosh, I've almost won. Ah! No! Oh, I died at the end. Are you serious? Ah! That makes me mad, man. It makes me really mad. Well, looks like Granny killed you with a walker, and you tried to kill her, but it didn't work. 
Granny tried to kill you with a wacko, and she did actually kill you with a wacko. Okay, thanks for singing the second verse to my song, Daisy. Oh gosh, here's another one. Boom! Gotta shoot all the grannies before they kill me. Boom, boom, boom. Ah! Oh my gosh, I ran right into that one. Oopsie. Dentures launcher. Oh my gosh, this is too much. Daisy, this is the perfect game for you to play, um, like being back for the first time. Couldn't agree more, Molly. This is pretty funny. Except for I beat him already. Blah, 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 blah. You're so great at Roblox. I know. Everybody knows Daisy's good at Roblox. Why are you trying to kill me, lady? They don't want you to survive, Molly. Duh. Oh my gosh, there's more. There's always more. Come on, Molly. You got this. You can do it. Get that granny. She's right behind you. Oh my gosh, there's so many. Molly, keep moving. They're going to be right behind you if you don't. Boom, boom, boom. Gonna kill you with some dentures, lady. Boom, boom, boom. Come on, Molly. You're so close to winning. You got this, girlfriend. Ha ha! I think I did it, Daisy. I think I did it. You did it, Molly. Congratulations. Oh, it took forever to take down that grandma with those dentures. Yeah, Molly. It really was crazy. It only took me one try, though. Oh, look at, we have, we have, uh, chocolate chip, um, wheels on our car. That's super cool. Oh my gosh, I see myself up there. All I have to do is not crash, and I'm gonna get a badge right now, guys. O-M-G. This is one of my favorite Escape Grandma games I've played. This is really fun. Look at that, guys. Look at, I just won. That's amazing. Look at me. I'm huge. All right, let's go see Granny. Ugh, she is creepy. Ugh, but we escaped her, so we're all good. And look, guys, you can teleport back to the start if you want to play again, and you're crazy like that. What are our other options here? Ooh, speed and jump. I definitely want to get onto the jump button. Woo! <laughs> all right, can I go jump on Granny's head? Because that would be so cool. I don't know if I can, guys. I'll probably die right here. You crazy, Molly. I know, here we go. Jumping on Granny. No! <laughs> I totally died. Oopsie. Maybe if I jump on the tree first and then jump on Granny? I don't know. You guys know I love to do this, but I think the trees are like not real trees, so you can't jump on them. Guys, thanks so much for watching today. Don't forget to say something sweet to Daisy in the comments since, you know, she's been through a lot the last week and a half. Yeah, I really have, but still better with Roblox than you. What are you doing, Daisy? You forgot how to do an outro? Come on. Sorry, I'm a little out of practice, okay? But at least I'm better with Roblox than you are. Daisy! Ugh, you're starting to make me less happy that you came back to playing again. Really? No. I'm super glad that you're here. Me too, Molly. Me too. <laughs>
So if you have to go to the bathroom, um, you can't go. All right, guys. Um, our pizza is ordered, though. So, like, let's play some games and, um, yeah, see what happens. Chuck E. Cheese's sketchbook. Hey, I was playing this game and it's my birthday. Whoa, Brookie's getting angry. Sweet spin. All right, I'm going to try this one. I hope I win, like, a million tickets. Come on, come on, come on. Wait, is this broken? All right, let's try the ski ball. That's usually fun. Oh, my gosh. Are all these games broken? Oh, Molly, don't get too upset. It's a thought that counts, right? Right, I think so. It's for nothing's working. Swipe card to play. Oh, maybe I gotta have a card or something. Let me go see if I can find a card. Okay, I've got my, um, my credit. So now I wanna press start because I wanna play ski ball. Oh, wait, I think this goes over here. Why won't this work for me? Molly, just chill out. Everything's gonna be fine. Your ski ball is not working. Just try a different one, okay? All right, finally. Wham! Uh-oh. <laughs> I didn't do so good on that one. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, my gosh. I got 2,000. I got 9,000. Holy guacamole, you're amazing at ski ball Molly, do you want me to help you? No, I don't need help. I just, I need to win ski ball like, once or twice. Oh, that ball is stuck. <sighs> you got 9,000? How am I ever going to beat that? It's the thought that counts, Molly. We're here for my birthday. Oh, I got 3,000. How many balls do I have left? Oh, my God. Okay, I'm doing better. I don't feel as lame now. Well, that one was kind of stinky, but look at this person over here. They got 10,000. Wait, what? I looked away for one second and I got 9,000? OMG! Gonna do a little dance. Gonna do a little dance Um, at Chuck E. G's. Nice song, Molly. Yeah, I couldn't think of what to say. <laughs> Day at the beach. Oh, wow, that looks fun, Daisy. It's totally fun. Square one, um, bowling. Ooh, what's this? Some sort of, like, shooting game? Like a carnival game? I love these. Um, I don't know. That's a lot of tickets. Uh, land on the pad to win. Dog pounder! <laughs> these games look so fun. I don't know if I can actually play this one. I, I don't, some of them you can play, some not. But pull the handle. Yeah, okay, I'll pull the handle. Come on, big winner! Attention, Chuck E. Cheese fans! We have a birthday girl in house, and our pizza's ready. Meet us in the showroom, Brookie, and you can have an amazing party. I won 50 tickets, and also, Brookie, Daisy, it's time for us to eat our pizza and watch the show. I hope they heard the announcement. I'm sure they did. Oh, my gosh. Look at this. Holy moly. This is awesome. <gasps> There's even a birthday cake for Brookie. That is so cool. <laughs> Here you go. Here's your birthday cake. Oh, no. It's not my birthday. It's my best friend's. It's your birthday. Don't lie. It's not my birthday. It's her birthday, Brookie. <laughs> You're just being silly. Don't you want birthday cake? I want you to go away because you're super annoying. Molly, don't be rude to the dog. Can't remember what character he is. All right, guys, let's eat some pizza. Mmm. Are you going to sit here the whole time? Ho, 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 ho. Probably. I love the customers. Um, okay. Well, guys, the show's about to start. Hey, Molly. What are you doing here? Oh, hey, unicorn princess. Nice to see you. Haven't seen you since math class. Oh, well, why are you guys at Chuck E. Cheese celebrating something special? Ho, 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 ho. Of course they are. They're celebrating Molly's birthday. What? No, no we're not. We're celebrating Brookie's birthday. Oh, this Chuck E. Cheese has gone right downhill. Oh, well, happy birthday, Brookie. Um, I'm so glad that you're able to come to Chuck E. Cheese. Can I hang out with you guys? And my friend, too? Uh, yeah, you guys can both hang out with us. I think all the pizza's gone, though. But you can have some delicious cake from this dog. Okay, everybody, attention. The show's about to start. Hey, does anybody remember that cheeseburger being a part of the animatronic show oh yeah isn't that um oh no i i don't know if i remember oh wait yeah cheesy mccheeseburger or something cheesy mccheeseburger is not one of the characters like you got chucky you got the bird thing you got the weird the purple monster guy that looks out the corner of his eye at you and you wonder what is he thinking there's the dog that plays the guitar and the chef that plays the drums the Cheesy McCheeseburger is not an original character. It's just weird. 
Well, the show's about to start. Let's just see what happens. Hi there, I'm Chuck E. Cheese. Did you like your pizza? <laughs> it's the best on the planet. Oh, Chucky, you're the best on the planet. Give me a big smooch. <laughs> I don't think so. You have pepperoni breath. <laughs> well, oh, okay. All right, kiddos, let's get poppin'. I'm Chuck E. Cheese and I'm here to say I'm the coolest mouse Anyway, he's Chuck E. Cheese and I really love him. Oh my gosh, isn't he so cool? Molly, look at Chuck E. Um, Cheese. He keeps looking over at that cheeseburger. He doesn't trust him. Yeah, the bird girl keeps looking over there too. Something very strange is going on here. Uh, Molly, don't look now, but that creepy cheeseburger is standing right behind you. What? What? Uh I don't see a creepy cheeseburger. I just see a person dressed as Chuck E. Cheese. Oh, Molly, she's not lying. It's right behind you. Ah! I thought you were animatronic! Are you going to say anything? Molly, I don't think it talks. Okay, well, I'm just gonna go over here and sit over here. Molly, it's following you! I think it wants you to die! What? No, this is Chuck E. Cheese. What are you doing here, you imposter? This place is an amazing place for kids. Ah! Oh, my gosh. Yep, it's definitely following me. Um, Guys, do you want to get the check and get out of here? Uh, not really. It's Bookie's birthday. Besides, it's only chasing you. Oh, my gosh. Or maybe if I stand on the table, it'll just go away. Ah! Molly, is that a knife that the, the cheeseburger has? I don't know. Okay, I have an idea. I have a plan. You guys distract the hamburger. I'll be right back. For some reason, it must know that that I'm a Roblox star, and 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 it's after me because it wants my Roblox star. That that's all I can think of. How do I get out of here? I I knew I came in here, but all right, there we go. I'm gonna go dress up like, well, Chucky. That ought to help me. Wait a minute, I can't get over there. But here we go. Buy access, 440 Robux. Holy guacamole! Okay, maybe if I just put on this like costume over here or something. Ooh, I'll pretend I work here. How do I put this on? Oh my gosh, that thing's gonna come and kill me! Perfect! That creepy, creepy, creepy cheeseburger won't even know who I am now. I'll just go over here and take people's orders. <laughs> Perfect! Hi, welcome to Chuck E. Cheese. I'm Molly. What can I get for you? See, my disguise is working perfectly. Oh no, here comes the creepy cheeseburger. They don't even recognize me. <laughs> but it looks like they're looking for me. Why are they after me? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. And the dog's after me, too. Abandoned ship. Guys, our Chuck E. Cheese time is over. Guys? Guys? Oh, my God. My friends. They're missing. Um, guys? Brookie? Are you okay? Molly, that evil, that evil cheeseburger trapped me in this ticket blaster. I can't get out. Froggy, don't worry. I'll try to rescue you. Great idea bringing me here for my birthday, Molly. Um, okay, well, I didn't know about the evil cheeseburger, so that's not really fair. Where's... Oh, God. There they are. No. No. Molly, I thought you were going to get us out of here. All you did was get stuck in here yourself. Well, let's look at it this way. We could collect some of these tickets while we're in here and play lots of free games. Yeah, if, if, if a giant cheeseburger wasn't chasing us. Uh, yeah, good point. Sorry I ruined your birthday, Brookie. That's all right. We'll figure this out somehow. If that cheeseburger ever goes away. Wait a minute, I have an idea. I could take a chomp chomp out of his head. I love cheeseburgers. Molly, I think that might make you a zombie if you try to eat the cheeseburger's brain. Good point. <laughs> in like 10 seconds um about vacation don't you dare tell me something is wrong with our vacation um well uh the money spit it out um okay I i'm booking a new resort right now wait a minute what it well apparently the resort i booked us at wasn't real Molly! Oh my gosh! We're supposed to be taking this girl's only vacation and now we don't have a place to stay? 
Were we gonna fly to no wheel? No? Okay. Confirm, confirm, confirm! Yes! I just got us in to the new and exclusive resort. What's it called? The resort. It doesn't have a name, Molly? No, it's just called the resort. Oh my gosh. It's gonna be terrible! It, it got five stars! Yeah, and they're probably all fake reviews. Well, I don't know about you, but I'm taking my chances. Molly, are you sure this is a good idea? Absolutely. Now, we just have to wait for Brookie to get here, and we'll go to the resort. Molly, <laughs> I was so excited I ran by you. Um, Brookie, this is going to be the best girls-only vacation ever. Yeah, she forgot to mention that we have no place to sleep. Wait, what? Is this some sort of April Fool's joke? Is it April 1st? Uh, no. Then it's not a joke. This is Maddie we're talking about here. Hey, I don't always make mistakes, just sometimes. And Brookie knows this already because she's my best friend. And she loves me anyway. Aww. Yeah, but Molly, I really want to have a place to stay. So please tell me this isn't a mistake you actually made and that we have to stay home. I already fixed it. We're staying at the resort. Oh, well, what's the resort called? The resort. Don't even ask, Bookie. Come on, we gotta get to the airport, everybody. I brought this giant van for us all to go in. Eh, it's called rent a wreck though, so hopefully it gets us there. rent a wreck <laughs> Good thing I'm better at booking things than you are. Well, you know, I didn't get something from the resort. Yeah, but it's gonna be awesome, I promise. We'll see about that, Molly. We'll see. Well, I hope it's super awesome, because if not, we're going to be stuck there for a whole week. It'll be awesome, trust me. It'll be awesome. Oh my gosh, we're going to miss our plane. We better hurry. I'm not going to miss my plane. You guys might miss your plane, but I'm not going to miss my plane. <laughs> I'm going to go through security lickety split. That's because I'm going to be the security person. You can't do that, Molly. Okay, fine. I to put my luggage up on the security thing. Do you have your ticket, Molly? Uh, yeah, totally. I think. Oh my god. Where's my ticket? I've got to look at my backpack. My phone. No, no, no. No, no. Molly! Oh my gosh! Seriously! Okay, here it is. Found it. <laughs> Nobody panic. Why would we ever panic, Molly? Okay, it looks like our thing is on time. Yes. You mean, a uh, flight? Yeah, I said thing, but I meant flight. I just get a little nervous before I get on the plane. <laughs> You're still far up in the air. I don't know. It's cool and all, but it's it's a little scary. Ah, now this is the life. Just gonna relax on the plane for a while. I need something, like, delicious to drink. What am I gonna have? Mm -hmm. Ooh. This soda looks good. Glug, 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 glug. Mostly I eat healthy, but I'm on vacation, so this doesn't count. Yeah, boy, Molly, you eat so healthy. Well, I may not eat vegetables all the time, but, um, sometimes I do. Uh-huh, sure. Whoa, turbulence! Holy guacamole! Uh, why is there a sign for a parachute? Um, because you might need it, Molly, in the case their plane crashes or something. <laughs> OMG! I hope the plane doesn't crash! Well, at least you have that safe card if it does. Ooh, the airplane popcorn is really good. Well, you better eat a lot of it because when we get to the resort, they might not feed us. Of course they'll feed us. Guys, you have no faith in me. I booked this. It's going to be amazing. Sure, Molly, sure. You better sneak some food in your pocket from the plane, Brookie. <laughs> oh, my God. Where did the lights go out? We're going to die. Uh, Molly, it's just because it's nighttime. They turn the lights down so you can relax. Oh, okay. <sighs> I get a little nervous on planes. Did I already say that? Yeah, like 10 times, Molly. Molly, this place has a name. It's called Paradise Island. Oh, well, on my reservations, it just said, The Resort! <laughs> I cannot wait to see what Paradise Island is like. Ooh, it looks promising so far. Hello? Does anybody work here? Hello? Reservations for three. Oh, great. Nobody even works here. Yes, but Daisy, look. It has a buffet! Hallelujah. 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 Is that all you think about, Molly? Uh, yeah, that's where I'm headed right now. Excuse me, I want to go in the buffet. Why can't I? You probably have to have a reservation. 
For a buffet? No, you don't. Oh, it kicked me out of the buffet. I knew I should have put extra food from the plate in my pocket. We're gonna starve. Okay, I, I've got to go see what's going on with their reservations. Oh, self-check-in. All right, this is, this is good. Okay, standard room number two. Check-in successful. Perfect. Now let's see if I can go to the buffet. Just want to eat at the buffet! Well, you ate like a pig on the plane. <laughs> I don't know why I can't go in the buffet. Oh, my guitar! Uh, Molly, it says closed. Oh, man! Uh, don't worry, Molly. You can come back to the buffet in the morning. Let's go see our room. Okay, fine. We're in room two. There's not enough room, though. You guys might have to sleep down here on this couch. Molly! Sorry. <laughs> it's just the way it is. <laughs> Ooh, VIP, huh? Ooh, we've got a gym. Okay, Molly, I have to say this. This is actually pretty nice. Yeah, but how do I get to the second floor? I'm confused. There's no one here to tell me what to do. I think you have to just use your smarts, Molly, and figure it out yourself. Oh, standard rooms. Premium rooms. Okay, I, I think we have to go in here into the standard rooms. You didn't get us a premium room? Hey, they were all booked. This is a brand new resort. Rooms one through eight. Oh, it's got a laundrette here, too. That's nice. La, 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 la. Molly, come this way on the escalator. <laughs> oh, wait, where's room two? Whoa. It was right back here, Molly. Where'd Brookie go? She went to the gym. You know how she is. She's got to work out 20 million times a day. Okay, come on in, Daisy. I can't, Molly. You locked me out. Yeah, I can't get out either. Okay, there we go. <laughs> okay, this room is actually pretty nice. There's only one bed, though. What? Ay, 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 Molly. Well, I'm sorry. I got us I got us somewhere to stay, though. That's that's a plus, right? Yeah, I guess. And probably Brookie will be working out for a while, so... <sighs> I'm just gonna go to sleep. Me too. Tomorrow starts our girls only awesome party! That would be our best friend. OMG, we're supposed to be on vacation, Brookie. You're supposed to sleep in. No time for that. We have a lot to do on our girls only vacation. First, we have to go to the gym. Uh, didn't you just work out like until midnight? Yeah, that's sort of true. And I am on vacation. I guess I could take a break from that. We've got to go to the pool. Well, I'm down for that. But um, what about buffet? Uh, since it's still only 3 a.m., I think it's a little bit early for buffet. And I also think it's a little early to be up. Sorry, I'm just so excited. But we should definitely go to the pool anyway, right? <sighs> okay, I guess we can go to the pool. Molly, come on. I really want to get in the pool in the hot tub with you. Okay, okay. Ooh, cotton candy. Like guacamole, they have everything I could ever want in my entire life at this resort. You guys totally owe me an apology because this place is amazing. Still no bathing suits, though. Mm. So good. So good. I don't know where the bathing suits are, but I don't care. I'm just getting in right how I am. Okay. <laughs> You're kind of crazy, Brookie. Yeah, but it's going to be so fun. Woo! I totally want that. OMG, 95 Robux, I thought everything was included. Apparently not. Yeah, wait a minute. What's going on with the pool? Oh, it's closed until 7 a.m. The cover's on. Oh my gosh, is anything open in this resort ever? No buffet, no pool. I got out of bed for this. Well, I guess I gotta get in the hot tub. Do you think that could be open? Whoa, this is a deep hot tub. I almost fell to the bottom. Ah. <sighs> Sitting in the hot tub in my pajamas. Well, this resort didn't have bathing suits. A lot of things are closed in the middle of the night, but it's still a pretty nice place to vacation. What? Molly, where'd you get that giant, awesome thing of cotton candy? Right over there, and it's one of the only things that's not closed. Oh, I thought you said this resort was awesome. Actually, I think it is really awesome. They just close up at night, that's all. I guess a lot of resorts would be like that. I am still having the best girls-only vacation ever. Me too. What about you, Daisy? 
Well, I prefer a bathing suit when I get into the tub. Or, I mean, into the hot tub. Yeah, well, Miss Picky Karen, you can't have everything, you know. This is my vacation. I expect everything. I'm going to have to give this three and a half stars. Oh, everybody's a critic, especially my sister. <laughs> you guys fight like sisters. It's kind of funny. Huh? What? Can't hear you. Got cotton candy in my ears. No, you don't, Molly. What? Can't hear you. Oh, brother. I'm stuck on vacation with these two. Ay, ay, ay. <laughs>
to the bathroom. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. <sighs> okay, I made it. Oh, and she. Oh, can't believe she put milk in my taco. Oh, okay, better. All right, where's the toilet paper? Seriously? There's no toilet paper anywhere in this house. Mom! Molly, is everything okay in there? No, there's no toilet paper anywhere in this house. Oh, good thing I put a little bit of um, baby wipes under the sink. <laughs> in case I had to change baby Kira's diaper. Well, Mom, do I look like I'm one years old? I mean, come on, where's the toilet paper? Uh, sounds like we need to go grocery shopping. Ugh, you think? Gee, Molly, how's your stomach feeling? It feels like a volcano erupted in my stomach. Or like someone poisoned me with milk. Oh, geez, I'm sorry about that. She's just a baby, Molly. She didn't know any better. Holy guacamole. Well, good thing that the grocery store has a bathroom. <laughs> yeah, and maybe they actually have toilet paper. Oh, how embarrassing. Well, Molly, it could be worse. You could eat another taco. <laughs> uh-huh, very funny, Daisy, very funny. You should be so grateful you're not lactose intolerant. <clears throat> Ooh, Molly, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. <clears throat> Really? It doesn't sound like you're fine. Are you sure? She's got enough gas that we don't have to stop in the gas station for any. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, crack jokes at my expense. Sure. Uh, Molly, maybe you should wait in the car. No! I'm making sure that we have all the supplies needed at the house from now on. Molly, don't you think you're a little bit too old to be riding in the car? Hey, you're the one that put me in here. No, I didn't. Yes, yes, Mom. Yes, you did. Oh, well, I didn't mean to. I'm sorry. Get out of the car. Seriously, I can't push it. You're too heavy. Fine. I'm going to go over to the Dorito section. Are you sure your stomach feels good enough for that? <sighs> no. I just want to hide out over here. Okay, now, let's see. we got to get the essentials. Molly, what on earth are you doing? I'm getting the giant mega roll of toilet paper. We are never running out again. for Halloween. Oh, very funny. Pick on the lactose intolerant girl. <laughs> but you're literally wearing the toilet paper. How many rolls is that? A hundred? <laughs> hey, well, you know what? We're never going to run out again. Oh, I just got to move this over to the cart. Mom! Mom! What? Molly, what are you doing? That's a lot of toilet paper. I'm not even sure we have room in the cart for it. We have room. We have room, see? <laughs> oh, man. We don't have room for milk or eggs or chips or um, anything else. <laughs> we just have room for toilet paper. <laughs> hey, I don't ever want you guys to be in the situation I was just in. It's not fun, people. It's not fun. Oh, Molly, I'm sorry you're having such a bad night. I know taco night is normally so, so fun for you. Okay, we can pick up a pizza for tomorrow night. We need some more fruit. I need some more milk. I put it all in my taco. <laughs> oh my, you put all of your milk on Molly's taco. Oh, you naughty little baby. Yeah, very funny that you put all your milk in my taco. Remember, baby Kira, Molly can't have milk, okay? So don't do that again. Oh my gosh, she should be grounded for life. Wow, Molly, hush. She's just a little baby. I mean, look at her cute little innocent face. Yeah, so innocent. Besides that, behind that pacifier, she's probably making evil little faces. Oh boy, Molly, you really have gone insane. Molly, how's your stomach feeling, honey? Oh, well, it feels like I have to run to the bathroom again. Oh, good thing we bought all that toilet paper. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. I feel like the bathroom and I are becoming BFFs. Wait, w w w wait, where's all the toilet paper? We bought like a hundred rolls and there's none up here? Uh, mom, mom, wait, wh wh what? what are you doing? I love Halloween, I'm the mummy. Did you wrap yourself in toilet paper, baby Kara? Uh-huh, a hundred rolls of it. <laughs> That's what it took to make this Halloween costume. Are you serious right now? You used all the toilet paper to make a Halloween costume? It's it's not even Halloween! I love it, guys. Isn't it cute? Ah! Molly! Mo there you 
you are, Molly. Why aren't you up in bed? It's, it's almost 10 o'clock. I was watching the end of Brooke High, and it's a really good episode. Molly, I don't care. Your bedtime is well past your bedtime. That's what I meant. I, I'm so tired, I can't even think. Mom, why is it that old people are always so tired? Are you saying that I'm old, Molly? Are you saying that I'm old? Um, yes. Oh, thanks, Molly. That's such a nice thing of you to say. Well, you were getting all tongue-tied, and then you said you were really tired. I am really tired. I work all day. I take care of my kids. Oh, it's a lot to do. Now, did you brush your teeth, Molly? Uh, yeah. I, I sure did. Molly, are you being honest? Uh, yep. I, I definitely brush my teeth. Okay, come on. Let's head up to bed. Molly, don't get into bed till you brush your teeth. Remember you said you didn't and you do it later? Molly, did you lie to me about brushing your teeth? Um, I forgot that I didn't brush them. Molly, that's such a lame excuse. I, 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 um, uh, I really did forget. Molly, go brush your teeth and don't lie to me. Or you're going to be grounded for like ever. Okay, fine. And really brush them. I will. Good morning, class. Good morning. Molly, did you bring your homework today? No, but I brought the animal who ate my homework. What? Why did you bring a dog to school? Because this naughty dog, um, and I don't even know whose dog this is, it just came into my yard and decided that my homework looked tasty. Didn't it, dog? <coughs> Are you blaming the dog for the fact you didn't do your homework? What? No, I wouldn't do that. <sighs> the dog ran away, which tells me you're not telling the truth. Otherwise, the dog would just hang out here. But no, it ran away. It thought it was going to get in trouble for eating your homework, which it didn't. But it did. I'm telling the truth. Molly, you're notorious for telling fibs, and I'm pretty sure this is another one. Dogs eat bones. They don't They don't chew on homework. Oh, Daisy's new soccer ball. It's going to be so much fun to play with. <laughs> wee! Wee! Uh-oh, it's going to roll over the edge. No, wait, come back. Uh-oh, it ran over into town, and now it's definitely going to get hit by a car. Um, okay, I'm just going to pretend I wasn't playing with her ball. Yeah, that's exactly what I'll do. Molly, I looked everywhere outside for my soccer ball and I can't find it. Have you seen it? Who, oh, me? No, why would I see it? Okay, no need to get defensive. I just thought maybe you had seen it. No, I wouldn't see it or I wouldn't play with it and, and, and I wouldn't let it roll out into the road and get hit by a car. Oh my gosh, you're lying again. I'm not a liar. Yes, you are. You lied to everyone. You're so naughty and you fib all the time. Oh, really? Prove it. Ugh, Molly! You should see how it feels. It feels horrible to be lied to, even if it is just a little tall tale. Well, whatever. You can't prove it, and I'm watching my show right now. Bye! Molly! I have a good idea to teach Molly a lesson. She'll learn what it feels like to be lied to. And it doesn't feel nice. Good morning, Molly. Would you like a healthy piece of fruit for breakfast? You should start the day off right before school. What? No, I want Reese's Cup cereal. That's what I have every Wednesday or Monday or Tuesday. Yes, I know you like to have Reese's Cup cereal, but the bad news is Reese's Cups will no longer be made. Wait, wh what? That's right, the company that makes your favorite cereal has gone out of business. No more Reese Cups or Reese Cup cereal for the rest of your life. Ah! That's terrible news! What will I have for breakfast? Like I said, sweetheart, how about a nice delicious apple? I, I'm trying not to cry over this, but I'm feeling very, very sad. Well, Molly, <laughs> that's just the way the cereal crumbles. Now, why don't you go get ready for school? It's almost time to get going. Uh, it's going to be very bright and sunny out today, so don't forget your sunblock. Wait, what? Bright and sunny? It's the middle of winter. Yeah, but it's going to be like 95 this afternoon. What? Something doesn't sound right about that. Yeah, don't forget your sunblock and brush your teeth. Fine. I'm wearing sunblock. Molly, I'm going to check and make sure you use some sunblock. Okay. Wow, she's bossy this morning. Well, I guess that's just how moms are. Can't believe my favorite cereal is no more. Can't believe I have to put the sunblock on in the middle of winter. This is just weird. Ugh, so far this day is going really badly. 
Okay, Mom, I put the sunblock lotion on you left in the bathroom. Ah, I mean, oh! <laughs> um, good job, Molly. What? What's, what's so funny? Oh, nothing. <laughs> um, I just can't look at you right now. You're very, um, cheery. Yeah, very bright. No, I'm not. I'm really sad about my cereal. Well, at least it's gonna be nice and warm outside. Wait, am I gonna miss the bus, Daisy? You already missed it. The bus is incoming and... <laughs> you look great, Molly. What? What's, what are you talking about? <laughs> Nothing, but you have to walk to school. The bus is incoming. What? Oh, that's like a two-mile walk. It'll be good for you, Molly. Good thing you put that sunblock on. <laughs> Wouldn't want you to get a sunburn. Yeah. <sighs> what a day. I didn't even eat breakfast, so I'm like starving. Why didn't you eat an apple, Molly? Apple, schnapple, apple. I miss my Reese Cup cereal. I have to run to the bathroom. I'll be right back. Don't be late for class, Molly. Oh, what a day. Wah! Why is my skin bright pink? What is going on? Daisy! Daisy! I have bright pink skin! Why? Did you put something in the sunblock? Like, like Kool-Aid? Whoa, Molly! What happened to you? Somebody put Kool-Aid in the sunblock. Well, it certainly wouldn't be me. Are you lying to me right now, Daisy? Me? I wouldn't do that. Just like you wouldn't lie, right, Molly? Whoa, Molly, you look weird. Oh my gosh! This is the worst day ever! Yeah, but you can't miss class today because the teacher said if you miss class today, you will have in-school suspension all summer. What? Yeah, it's like summer school. You have to sit here and stare at the wall. Oh my gosh, I guess I guess I'm gonna have to face the world with this this super pink skin. Okay, fine. Holy moly, Molly! What happened to you? Did you get a sunburn? No. Somebody put pink Kool-Aid in the suntan lotion or sunblock or whatever it's called. Um, uh, Molly, it's called sunblock, so you don't look like that when you go out in the sun. Well, it failed, apparently. Speaking of failing, I have a pop quiz for you all. And I'm hoping you all pass or you have to go to in-school suspension for all the summer. You mean summer school? Pretty much. It's like prison. <laughs> Here you go. Take a test. Holy guacamole. It's like a miracle. I know all the answers to this this pop quiz. This has never happened before. I'm going to get a perfect hundred on this thing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I guess this day isn't so bad after all. Okay, everyone. Time's up. Doesn't matter. I completed it already. Here you go. Wow, Molly. You got done really quick. That's awesome. Well, I'll grade them right now and see if you're going to sit in summer school prison. I got nothing to worry about because I did so good on that test, I can't even believe it. Okay, I've created them and, well, <sighs> I had everyone do excellent except for one student. Ooh, what one student is it going to be? <laughs> Feel sorry for them. Summer school prison. Well, Molly, I'm very disappointed. You got every single one of these questions wrong. Wait, what? But I know the answers. I answered them correctly. Well, apparently you didn't, Molly. Yeah, Molly, so I'll be seeing you for summer school prison. What? No, 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 no. <laughs> Why are you laughing, Daisy? <laughs> well, <laughs> I was just lying to you. You got a hundred. Wait, what? Yeah. And I put Kool-Aid in the sunblock. What? Yeah, and your favorite cereal actually is still in production. Okay, now I'm just getting really sad and also angry. Why did you guys lie to me all day? Because, Molly, you fib and lie every day to us. We wanted to show you how it feels. It makes you sad and angry, doesn't it? It makes you feel cheated and, and, and like... Like, we don't respect you, doesn't it? Um, yeah. It kind of does. Well, Molly, maybe you should consider that because no one likes to be lied to. It feels really bad. Jeepers, I never thought about it that way. Well, maybe you could start by apologizing to the people that you lied to and then promise them that you won't do it again and really follow through. Okay, I'm sorry, Brookie. I'm, I'm sorry, Daisy. I'm sorry, Mrs. A. It's okay, Molly, but... 
We need to see your improvement in your lying. Don't worry. I see how it feels to be lied to, so I'm gonna work really hard not to do whatever again. Now, please don't lie to me. <sighs> Maybe I should ask you to lie to me. Tell me how long this Kool-Aid's gonna last on my skin. The truth, Molly, or a lie? Oh, the truth. At least a week. Oh, man! Telling me, Molly, and he looks angry. I know, look at his eyeballs. He's <laughs> like a demon right there. They're like red and yeah, he's just mad. He's mad. Maybe he needs to have a snack. You know, I get hangry when I need a snack. I think he's more than hangry. I don't know. He he might be. Here, do you want a cupcake, Mr. Bruno? Huh? 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 Oh boy, this is gonna be the best camp ever with this grumpy Gus in the back. His name is Bruno, not Gus. I I know that, Daisy. I was just saying, he looks like a... Wait a minute, did you just run somebody over? Oh my gosh! Is she okay? The girl with the purple hair! The school bus ran her over! Oh, this game is getting bad already. No, right? Oh my gosh. Well, at least we have a campfire. That looks promising. Right, let's go over here. Find a crowbar and break the fence. What's over here? Oh, look, it's like a castle. Welcome to this, this summer camp, which is probably going to be miserable because Mr. Bruno runs it. Because I have to find a crowbar first, so let's go in here. Oh, there's just my sister Daisy. I don't have a crowbar, and I need one. Whoa, I think I just found one. Yes, I've got a crowbar. Daisy, how's it going to work that you're at summer camp when um you have a broken wrist? Well, I'm just going to do my best, Molly, to have a good time. All right, where's it saying to go? Oh, the fence is over here. Okay. I hope you can have a good time, though, Daisy, because seriously. But ba da da I'm through. Um, it's not very fun to have a broken bone when you're at camp. Well, I know that, Molly, but, you know, I've got to make the best of it because there's not really much I can do. Wait, do we go in here? Oh, no, I just tied. Oopsie! I think I have to put those in there and then hop across them. Very smart, Molly. Now you're getting it. Okay, there's one. And I gotta go back for number two. Boink. I wanna just put it out as far as I can. Dizzy, watch out. I'm trying to throw this box. It like won't work. It won't let me. Put it, put it here! Take boxes and put them in the water. Okay, I'm trying to, but it won't let me. Okay, there we go. Jeepers creepers. And I need this box. This obby seems like a lot of work. <laughs> Put the box down! Ay ay ay. And if you die, you probably have to start all over from the beginning. That's right, Molly. It only shows three boxes, but that's a lie because you need four to get across. Maybe more. Okay, good. Now come over here. Jump on the water lilies. Easy! This one sinks though, Molly. Be careful. Oh no, Daisy just got killed. Poor girl. Wow! Oh my gosh, I went into the tube and now I have to decide which way to go. Left or right? Oh boy, that guy looks um, not very happy. I'm going to go to the right because he looks like a monster. And I don't want to deal with any swamp monsters right now at camp. It just seems really unfun. Alright guys, I made it out alive. I wonder if that thing... Ah! Okay, it's just easy. I thought that monster was chasing me. Go to the treehouse. Fun! I love tree houses. Come on, Daisy. I'm coming, Molly. I can't run very fast. It's your wrist that's broken. Not your legs. Uh-oh, there's Mr. Bruno. What's he doing? He's, he's, he's pushing a switch. Oh, he fell! Ow! Ooh. Mr. Bruno, that was rude. Choose the right door. If you can't, Mr. Bruno will win because you'll die. Okay, green means go. Red means stop. Blue means... I'm the right door? Let's see, did I pick it right? Huh? 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 <gasps> I did! Daisy! Okay, no, I didn't. I died, Molly. Green means go and red means stop. So do you think he meant go through the green door or the red one and try to trick us? I'm going to pick the red one. Yeah, I don't know, Molly. Maybe he picked that one, but I think you're right about the red door. Yeah, exactly! He tried to trick us! Ha ha ha. Well, you got me one time, but not the second time. 
Whoa, whoa, whoa. Daisy, do not touch any of that green slime. It's deadly. Blink. Ah! Oh my gosh, I just touched it. I told my sister not to, and then I did it. Holy moly. Ah! <laughs> I keep dying. Oh, man. Whoa, Molly. What's your deal? I don't know. I just keep dying and dying and dying. Feed me and love me. That's all I ask for. Okay, guys, I gotta be really careful this time because I'm starting to look like a real noob. Yes! Ha ha ha! Pass green water by pipes. Okay, there's Mr. Bruno. He looks really unhappy. I'm gonna go up in this event and avoid him. Bye, Mr. Bruno! Uh, Molly, you can't avoid him. He comes after you eventually. <laughs> Find a key and run to the red door. Okay. Let me see if I can find this key first. Oh, it's got all these arrows, but what's that mean? It means go that way, um, and you'll get to the red door. Oh, there's a key! Dun, 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 I found a key! Hey, why are you getting there before me? I need the key, too. Uh-oh, take the key and run. Oh, my God, there's Mr. Bruno. I gotta go up, I gotta go up, I gotta go up! Oh! <laughs> you didn't catch me, no, 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 no. Haha, <laughs> Mr. Bruno. Ha <laughs> ha Okay, now where do we go? I think we go up here. It's safer to go up here, though, so Mr. Bruno doesn't get you. Just saying, because he's... He, he can't run really fast. Yeah, Molly, he's, he just can't. He's too big for it. He doesn't get enough exercise. Yeah, exactly. Dun, 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 dun. I just got through the red door. I'm feeling pretty happy right now. Jump on the yellow barrels. This one's easy because it tells you exactly what to do. But I think I actually beat Daisy. Yes, Molly. Rub it in. Yeah, because you're usually better at obby. So anytime I can beat her at any level of an obby, I'm like, oh my gosh, I beat my sister. Ooh. This is amazing. Whoa, oh my God. <laughs> it's just deadly spikes. Look, the whole screen turned red. Wait, oh man, I didn't mean to run into it that time. Daisy's still back on level nine. Daisy, are you okay? Is your arm hurting? I'm okay, Molly. It's okay, my arm hurts a little. Oh, poor Daisy, guys. She's she's like struggling a little bit because her arm is hurting. She can't play as much Roblox as she used to right now because her wrist is broken. It's really sad, actually. Okay, climb the ladders. Not sad enough to wait for me, huh, Molly? Well, um, well, uh... I never win at Abby's. You're always better than me. I'm taking advantage of this moment, I guess. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, last ladder, guys. Okay, Daisy is only one level behind me. I've got to be super careful and not die. Just keep going. You don't better wait for me, Molly. No, you'll catch up to me. We all know it. But right now, I'm going to try to go over these tricksy bridges and not die. Oh, this is going to be hard. Yep. But maybe if I don't tell Daisy, then she won't know which way to go. Well, if I'm right behind you, I'll know. Oh, yeah, that's true. Oh, my gosh, I've got one more pipe. Nah, I'm not going to touch that one. I'm just going to jump over it. So much lava and ooze. Wait, where's Daisy? She's at 14, and I'm at 15. See you later, Daisy. Molly, can you please wait up for me? No, I just got to be good at one, Abby. Can't you just let me be good at one? All right, Molly, one. Whoa, these look like they're going to detonate. This does not look good. All right, I'm going to go over here and push. Oh, my gosh, they did. Boom. Did you guys see that? Do not touch these. Don't let your hand touch them. No. Oh, my gosh. Don't let anything touch you. Um. Okay, I did it that time. Hooray. It was actually a lot harder than I thought it was going to be. Now I can't touch these barrels either. And there's like little darts that just shot me. It shot me right in the booty. Not even going to lie. Where are all of them? Okay, there's that one. Waiting, waiting, wait. Wait, it shot me? Seriously? Hello, Molly. Oh my gosh, Ooh. Daisy. These will kill you. Just warning you now. Okay, you don't have to turn that. Oh my gosh, look at these saw blades. Past the saws. Past these crazy saw blades. Never mind, I got killed. Hello, Molly, I'm back again. Oh my gosh, Daisy, you're super fast. Okay, now Daisy's ahead of me. That's annoying. All right, guys, I, I, gotta, I gotta just make up my mind and go, but I'm just kind of afraid. 
Leave. Okay, I made it. Right, right there. I thought I was gonna die. Forever. Whoa. I'm still falling. When am I gonna stop falling? Uh, Molly, we have to push this, and then maybe we can escape this crazy camp. Um, no. It just kind of looks like we're in prison. I uh, know we're not, but other people have been, I guess. Whoa, who are we supposed to let out of here? Key number five. Is this jail cell number five? Oh, no, we're letting out Santa Cop? What's Santa Cop gonna do? I think it's gonna take down Mr. Bruno. OMG, follow, follow the Santa Cop. Okay, Molly, let's follow him, see what he does. Super fast, I can't keep up with him. We may or may not have let out a criminal. Oh, we may have let out Ooh. Santa Cop. Well, he looked like Santa Cop, but was he really? Bum, bum, bum! Why can't I get over these spikes? They just can't jump high enough. My legs are too short! Okay, there we go. Maybe if I double jump. Oh, man, now there's lasers too? Are you serious right now? Pass the lasers. Pass the crazy lasers trying to kill you. Don't get stuck on one or you'll be dead too. Yes, I did it! Now it's falling from the sky, coconuts? It kind of looks like coconuts, Molly. Just hover along the side of the wall here. You should be fine. So it's past the falling balls, but they look like coconuts to me. Oh, God, we got to swim in here? Jump and swim underwater. Ew, it's gross down here. It stinks like a stinky dude. <laughs> Come on, Molly, try not to breathe. Well, I can't breathe them underwater or under slime or whatever this is. Oh my gosh. Okay, um, those blocks will smush you. Oh, ah! I'm trying to swim fast. It was like too hard to swim fast. Okay, they just don't want me to pass, but I don't think it smushes me. Oh no, that will definitely smush you. That one will smush you. I actually really like games that, um, that have swimming in them. I think they're really cool. Oh my gosh, I almost lost my legs on that one though. Okay, we're getting out of this slime bath. Molly and Daisy in a slime bath, doo doo doo. Molly and Daisy in a slime bath, doo doo doo. Okay, um, I, I guess I don't need the ladder. I guess I can just swim up. Whoa, I'm swimming so slow. Good thing there's no piranhas in here. Uh, Molly, I think we need to go this way and just fast one. But da 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 I couldn't fast run and jump at the same time. So my brain only wanted to do one thing at once, and that was die, apparently. Okay, here we go. Boing, boing, wee! Whoa, that wasn't a very fast, long run for a fast run. I'm just gonna go down all these stairs. Close door and jump into the abyss? What? What are you talking about? I'm gonna go in here and jump in the, do in the abyss? Oh, choose door, not close the door. Choose a door and jump into the abyss. Oh, ow, 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 ow. Oh, I think I chose right. Did Daisy go? Daisy, Daisy, Daisy. Daisy chose wrong. Pass the fans by jumping. Okay, Daisy, you've got to choose the first door on the left. If you can hear me. I don't know if you can. Whoa, oh my gosh. We just swam in this stuff. I don't know why you're trying to kill us with it. I mean, we already swam in it. And we're pretty much going to have three eyeballs now. Come on. Yes, I made it. Past the lava. Oh my gosh. These sink. So I'm like, I got to move super fast. I couldn't even wait for Daisy if I wanted to right here because I'd die. Oh my gosh. <sighs> yes, I made it. But did Daisy... Okay, Daisy's at level 27. She's right behind us, guys. Oh, my gosh. This is going to make me so dizzy. I can tell already. Pass the mines. Try not to barf. That's what this one should be called. <laughs> Uh-oh. I failed. Um, all right. This one. And then, uh, maybe if I go out here. Daisy, you're back! Congratulations. I think you just died already, though. Do 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 Okay, wait, there's a walkway down there, I think, people. Yes, there is. Whoa! -ho -ho! Past these giant balls of fury right here. Nope. Oh, 
please don't make me jump on the bombs again. Okay, good. Wait. <laughs> All right, I gotta see where they actually pass, because... Okay, over the yellow, I think. Um, so I can stand here. Wait for it, wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. Uh-oh. Oh, I made it good. All right, now I gotta go, 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 stop. And go, 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 go! Molly, you made it! Congratulations! Whoa, disappearing blocks. Uh-oh. Okay, this, this hobby is pretty challenging, actually, I have to say. Huh. Everything's spinning, spinning, spinning. This is where I say you're gonna barf. Huh. We did it, Molly! We made it! Past disappearing blocks. Mm, okay. I don't see it disappearing. They seem like they're not disappearing at all, Daisy. Are they actually disappearing? No. What are they talking about? I don't know, Molly, but those lasers up here should try not to die. I'll try, but I did anyway. If you guys haven't noticed, I make that noise when I die because it's just like a sad, pathetic sound that like, it is pretty sad and pathetic. All right, I'm going to go up here. And then I'm going to go over here. And then I'm going to go over here and here and here and possibly right here and die. <laughs> and here. And here. 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 And here. Oh, gosh. Where do I pass here? It's, like it's too high for me to jump. No, I did it. And then you have to pass this crazy, like laser wall thing that was weird oh my gosh i'm almost past the lasers i'm so happy and excited right now all right what are we doing now where are we going peoples oh it looks like an elevator over there daisy's like bye uh no molly we're on the same level actually i don't see you for being on the same level i feel like i always feel like a noob when i play roblox with daisy Okay, where am I supposed to go now? You let me out of here? What? What's going on? Huh? 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 Get in the elevator and get stuck in the dark. Uh, what? 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 What's going on, guys? I feel stuck. Oh, wait. I'm going to climb up the... Okay, there we go. Hello! You decided to join us, huh? Yeah, now we get to race this... This, um... Well, this Mr. Bruno guy, and he's creepy. Daisy, get off my car. This is mine. Oh, my gosh. Molly, how could you? You stole my car. No, I... Okay, I... Oh, my God. I've got to beat Mr. Bruno. Don't you understand here? He's trying to push me off the road with his chubbiness. Get out of here, Mr. Bruno. Get him, Molly. Get him. Daisy, you're not even riding the car. How nice teen I am. Well, on this one, not so much. What? I'm going to... I'm not going to... Oh, boy. I didn't beat Mr. Bruno, guys. Now Mr. Bruno and I get to race again. Race will start in two seconds. Go. Bye, Mr. Bruno. I'm trying to hit all these speed pads so I can try to beat him because... Guys, hello. That guy can't beat me in a race. Come on. I'm going slow. Look at my hand. What's going on over there? I'm like... I don't know why. My hand is going crazy town. OMG! I, I did it, Daisy. I did it. Get to the zip line, Molly, and quick! Let's go up here. Oh, wait. That ladder doesn't work? What, what's going on here? I don't understand this. Not at all. Okay, there we go. Just had to jump on, I guess. And then... Oh, wait. Uh, wrong way. <laughs> okay, I, got, I finally got to the treehouse, guys. And here we go! Whee! <laughs> Best part of summer camp. It wasn't Mr. Bruno, that's for sure. He's grumpy. But the zip line's pretty cool. Whee! <laughs> I'm kind of afraid, Molly. Don't be. It's so much fun. Whoa! Except for the part where you hit your knees on the stone wall. That part, maybe not so much. Wait, did I just end up right where I started? Pull the lever and defeat the boss. Oh, goodness gracious. I don't want to have to beat the boss. <laughs> Yeah, Molly, but you know, it's a part of this whole thing. Um, wait, we already went this way, Daisy. Where are you going? We gotta pull the lever and beat the boss. Do, 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 do. Where's the lever to, to, beat, to defeat the boss? Oh, there's a lever. Okay. Daisy, you're so confused right now. I'm a little confused, whoopsie. Pull this lever. Uh-oh, spaghetti -o. Oh, they're going to give us some sort of rocket launcher. Here we go, guys. 
Oh my goodness. Um, where is he? Oh boy. He looks angry. Better start shooting at him. What? Okay, there's gonna be more than one is what I'm guessing. Oh my gosh, not one of these. Everybody knows I'm terrible at these. I, I'm just, oh my goodness. Why, why, why? <laughs> I'm going in a circle. Hopefully, I'm gonna shoot all the Brunos before I die. If I could do this in one life, that would be so amazing. I've never done it in just one life. Daisy does all the time. I know. Daisy's better than me, I guess, at everything. What? There's three of them now? Ah! He clubbed me. Ooh. Okay, yep. I already died. All right, don't you guys think that I should get the 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 blaster here? Okay, there we go. All right, here we go, guys. Let's take him down. Where is he? I got nobody. There he is. Get lost. And you too. I don't think I actually got him, though. Oh, I ran into him. I guess I can't run into him. That's a no-no. All right, let's do this again. <laughs> I'll do this eventually. One eternity later. <laughs> All right, guys. I've got my I got my gun. Ready to take down a Bruno. Boink. It looks like we're um shooting like tennis balls at him. We have like a tennis ball gun. I love that. That's funny. Boink. Oh, man. Oh, I, I went right through him. Ah, no. Oh, man. Poop emoji. <laughs> Where am I? I can't see myself. That was creepy. All right, guys, here we go. And we're going to try this again and again and again and again until I take down Bruno. Got to take down a Bruno or four or five. Bruno, I'm sorry, I'm gonna shoot you with these tennis balls right in your big fat tummy. Ah! No! Oh man, I tried backing up. I even backed up from the microphone when I was talking to you guys. Ah! You know what? I think I'm gonna stand like over here on this bridge and um, try to get him from there! Oh my gosh, he comes right at you. Ah, I backed up from my screen. He scares me. Bruno scares me, guys. Defeat the boss to finish. What if I just can't defeat him? What if it just can't happen? Now, who should not be a Bruno? Oh my god, where is he? Ah ha ha, they're all over there, but I'm over here. See how that works? Bye. Can they come over the bridge? I don't know, but I feel pretty safe over here. Ah, uh, he fell. <laughs> he, <f> he, <laughs> he fell in the moat. <laughs> oh my gosh, that is hilarious. Oh. I found a glitch in the game. None of you guys are smart enough to come across the bridge. But, um, I'm smart enough to get you from over here. How's that working for you? Not too good, is it? <laughs> Into the slime bath you go. Mr. Bruno in a slime bath. Doo -doo -doo. Mr. Bruno in a slime bath. Mr. Bruno, where are you? Boom. There's some more down there, I think. Boom. Boom. Boomity boom. There he is down there getting him. <laughs> Alright, let's go get some more to come out. Hello, Mr. Bruno. Okay, I don't... Do you guys see any more down there? Let's go look. Oh, yeah, there's one down there. I gotta get him. Boom, boom, boom! <laughs> well, there's, a, there's a big fat Bruno stuck over there, too. Oh, man, this is making me laugh so hard. This is great. Guys, I almost won. I mean, you might call me a cheater, cheater, pumpkin eater, but I don't know why. Oh, there's Mr. Bruno. <laughs> oh, they're too dumb to walk across a bridge. They fall. Maybe they're too fat. I don't know. There's two Mr. Brunos right there. And they're just stuck down there. I'm trying to get them. Get out of there already. I'm trying to hit him in the hat. Oh, yeah. I just destroyed Mr. Bruno. Oh, yeah. That just made me so happy. All right, where do I go now? Oh, I think I get to go into this nice little welcome castle. I don't know. Or maybe over there with Daisy. She's boring. Why don't we want to go over there? Molly, we have to come over here. Duh. I can't believe you cheated in order to win. I didn't cheat. I just outsmarted the game. Pfft, not my fault. If you can't win, then you just got to figure out a way that you can, I guess. 
Look at Daisy doing a silly dance over here. Good job! I just got an alboid! <laughs> Ooh, look at this. Jump booster. It doesn't work really good, though. <laughs> okay, I just did this in, um, like, 1,400 seconds. But look at all the people who didn't pass. Daisy, why don't I get my name over there? Uh, because I basically won with the best time ever. Holy guacamole, that's amazing, Daisy! Oh, of course you did. You're such an overachiever. What are you facing that way for? You're not an overachiever at making YouTube videos! <laughs> you're so rude, Molly. Sorry, I still love you, even though you're oh. crazy and annoying sister. Ditto, Molly, ditto. <laughs>
The water is arising, though. Oh, Apparently, you can buy bats in this game. Ow. Ow, the building just fell on me. Ah! I just need to survive a little bit longer. Come on. Okay. No. We didn't survive, did we? Well, we tried, Molly. We tried. No happy Roblox family survivors. Just sad. I think we're doing great, though. Yeah, except for the guy with the baseball bat. Rude. Um, cart ride. Okay, wait. I, I didn't get inside the cart. Wait, I, I need to get in the cart. Not with the guy with the bat. He's rude. Oh, wait, there's another cart. There's another cart. Wait, 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 wait. Let me in, please. Ah! Okay, it crashes the cart if you get too many people in there. All right, guys. Look at me. I Okay. Put the bat down. We're doing good, I think. No, no, the bat does, the, the cart does nothing, guys. I mean, what? What's the cart for? All right, I was swimming there for a minute. I was doing pretty good. No, Molly, you died just like the rest of us. This game seems impossible to win. It really does. Natural disasters really stink in Roblox. <laughs> Ew, Molly! <laughs> Molly's the one that really stinks. <laughs> Quit it, Spider-Man. Seriously. Spider-Man imposter is beating up on Dad. It's okay. This game is beating up on me, so, you know, just I just feel like whatever. <laughs> oh, poor Dad. Look at these rubber duckies. This little baby rubber ducky that's so Aww. cool. Well, maybe there'd be like a prize or a surprise in there or something. Oh my gosh, guys. Look at it. One of the things is on um, a microwave. There's a hot dog in there, too. That's making me hungry. What's dinner, Mom? Um, Molly, I'm playing Roblox. I can't make dinner right now. Ow. Are you guys sick and tired of hitting me with a bat yet? Seriously? Because it's sort of getting really annoying, by the way. Um, I don't even know where they got that from. Oh, my gosh. They spent 1500 I don't know if it's Robux or in-game money on that. You guys are cray-cray. Oh, Daisy, I'm following you. I think this is a good way to go. It is, Molly. You follow me and you'll be fine. Oh, no. Daisy just got hit over the edge. Oh, wait. There she is. I'm back, Molly. I'm back. Okay, Daisy. Oh, my God. Look at that tsunami. Ah! Daisy! Oh my god, I just got thrown outside the game. Holy guacamole. Guys, look at me. Um, yeah, I just died. That was crazy. The tsunami threw me so far. It threw all of us, Molly. Seriously. Well, I just want to survive one round before we end this video. <laughs> just one. Oh, no, not the cart ride. Anything but the cart ride. Um, I am determined to, to not get in a cart because I don't think the cart does anything. Look at me surviving longer than everybody else because the carts do nothing. Nothing, people. Your best bet is to just come up here and pray and survive. <laughs> See, Kenny knows. Kenny knows what I'm talking about right now. Oh, I don't think I can get over there. I'm trying so hard because I don't... I don't want to drown. Ah, I don't want to burn up in the fires, please. Oh my gosh, guys. I think it just survived that round. Oh, mom's on fire. Mom, I'm so sorry for you. Ah! And then it like throws me. I don't understand why it throws me. Ah, oh, I was so close to surviving that round. So close. Next round. Molly, you can't just play till you win a round. Says who? Of course I can. But Molly, we want to eat pizza at some point. Um, dad, all you think about is your stomach. Oh, mom won! Mom won the round! Good job, mom! I am so happy right now that I won. I didn't think I was going to win more than one round. But now I've won two. I've won none. You and me both, Molly. Oh, I can't believe I stink at Roblox so much. Factory! Alright, guys. This is going to be the one where I win the round. I think I would have run, won some of the other rounds. Uh-oh, I'm on fire. That's not good. I think I would have won some of the other rounds if it hadn't have been for the fact that that guy kept um, hitting me with a baseball bat. I mean, seriously, rude. Oh, boy. Um, the water's rising. Nope. 
No! I get five special reward. Hey, I don't know why I die so fast, because I can swim in real life, okay? I can swim. Hey, Dad, figured I'd meet you out here in the dead person's part. Yeah. Oh, my yeah. whole family's here! Are you serious? Yeah, that round was ridiculously hard. I agree! <laughs> Oh, look at this one. Staircase. All right, that one looks pretty cool. I'm definitely going to vote for this one. All right, guys, I voted for that because I think climbing that staircase is pretty cool. I think so, too. We're going to go all the way up into the clouds. We can go where the unicorns yeah. live. Um, I'm not sure that's where the unicorns live. Of course it is, right, Mom? It sure is. Let's go. Wait a minute. Why am I in the water? <laughs> I'm, okay, I'm a below the game. Okay, I don't think that's very fair. I didn't even get a chance. Are you serious? Ugh, I'm just gonna sit out here and cry. Ooh, look at this. It's a special portal. Just kidding. It's an outhouse. <laughs> you know what that means, right? Porta potty. Me stinky, stinky poopoos. Finally, we got the staircase. Oh, I want to. I want to do this one so bad. I just hope I don't die. Or I hope that that bully doesn't hit me with the baseball bat. <laughs> I feel like this one could be pretty easy. Oh, except for the thunder trying to hit you. And the, I mean the lightning, not the thunder. Duh. Thunder doesn't hit you, it's lightning. Oh my gosh! Yes! Okay, really? I get hit again? It's all right, it's all right. I, stop pushing me! Stop pushing me! I just want to survive one round! Ah, I'm getting so frustrated! Um, maybe we need to stop, guys. Molly's getting pretty mad. Uh-oh! I was getting pretty mad, too. That is definitely a bully in this game. And he he just hit Molly. Ow, oh, that really rung my bell. Oh my gosh, he hit the entire Happy Roblox family. Rude. Now I'm out here in the water by myself. Hello, anybody? Yeah. I guess this is the saddest way to end this video. With all of us, well, knocked out. <laughs> Mom? Mom, you still gonna order a pizza? Mom? Molly? Oh boy. Well, I guess we'll have to wait on the pizza. We're not waiting on the pizza! I want some! Ooh. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to our channel. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you can be one of our awesome subscribers. Yeah guys, today we're playing Pick a Slide. I love these games because um, I'm super good at picking slides. Uh-huh, sure you are, Molly. No, I really am. Um, You know, it's the most popular uh, vote that wins. So you have to try to decide, like, what everybody else is going to pick. Or you basically die. What? We're going to die? Only in Roblox. Don't freak out. <laughs> All right, let's go pick the first slide. McDonald's or Burger King? Oh, my gosh. I guess it depends on what you're getting. But um, Burger King has... um onion ring so i'm picking the same as daisy me too molly uh daisy um this isn't good if you see an elevator it usually means you're gonna die oh my god there's a giant kool-aid man with a with a knife nope 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 ah you killed me yeah molly the same thing happened to me uh -oh. all right um it's asking us to choose again but i don't want to choose mcdonald's well, do you want to keep dying? Okay, fine. I'll choose McDonald's. Oh, look! Whoa! Almost 3 million votes for McDonald's. <laughs> this would be good market research for them. <laughs> jump. Jump. Okay. Better form of communication. Does anybody call anybody anymore? That's just weird. I always text. Well, not always, but... What? People called... What? People pick phone call? What? Okay, who's gonna actually call me right now? I'm a little afraid to know. Ah! The phone blew up! <laughs> Holy guacamole! Um, okay, I wanna go around this maze now and see. Oh, there's nothing here. Oh, you tricked me! Aren't you just so funny? Uh, but, guys, now I can't get out. Okay, there we go. I was lost for a minute. Daisy never came back. Daisy's gone forever. All right, let's pick a phone call. If I'm being honest, sometimes I call my bestie, but I think texting is still pretty awesome. Yeah, but phone calls are nice, so. Yeah, true. 
No way out. All right, it's an Abby, guys. Oh, this is going to be fun. Boing, 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 wee. All right, that Abby was super simple. Is there more to it? Uh, no, Molly, we just got to pick a slide. Best type of bacon, crispy or chewy? Ugh, chewy bacon, gross. Crispy, especially if it's on a cheeseburger. Oh, yeah, I won. Yeah, that's what I picked, too. No, you didn't. You just copied me, Daisy. Copycat, copycat. Molly, quit being annoying. It's hard for you, though, I know, because you're my sister, and it's sort of your job. Yeah, totally. Our first choice equals your vote. Oh, look, it's kind of like an obby you have to go through for this pick a slide. All right, which would be better? Raining Skittles or raining marshmallows? I think raining Skittles. A Skittles taste the rainbow? Yeah, exactly. Sounds delicious. Although, if you're at a campfire, um, raining marshmallows would be great because then you could make s'mores. All right, guys, let's go see what's next. Boink. Oh, sorry, there was a pause in what I was saying because I was literally thinking about s'mores and it was making me really hungry. <laughs> All right, which would be worse? Wearing wet jeans all day or wearing a wet sweater? I pick wet sweater, how about you, Daisy? Totally, but I think they would both be gross. Yep, I totally won. Wearing a wet sweater, ugh. Whee! What's gonna be next, what's gonna be next, what's gonna be next? Which weather is better? Oh, you die if you touch that stuff. Daisy, don't touch the poo-poo. <coughs> Did you touch the poo-poo? No, Molly, I didn't. Which weather is better, hot or cold? Uh, well, pool parties happen when it's hot. Agreed, Molly. Who knew we would give so many the same answers? Uh-oh. Oh, my gosh. Everyone voted for cold. Where am I? Ah! I'm in here with Silent Head, guys, and there's no escape. Ooh. Nope, nope, nope. <laughs> It's kind of cool when you die because you get to see all the different like characters and what they came up with. Okay, fine. We'll pick cold. What happens if I pick hot twice? You die twice! Molly, what are you doing? I want to see if Siren Head kills me again or if it's something else. Congratulations. Oh! <laughs> oh my gosh, that was horrible. What happened, Molly? Um. Oh, and then I died here too. <laughs> Um, when I went in there, it was like, congratulations. And it had this super smiley face with a, with a slide. And then, um, when I go try to run through it, the floor collapsed and I died. Oh, man, that's harsh. Totally. Yeah, there's like so much poo-poo in here. What's this all about? Oh, which is better? Uh, breathe underwater or fly through the air. Um, hmm, hmm. I better say fly through the air because if you breathe underwater, it doesn't matter. Something could still eat you like a shark or a whale. Oh, she has a point, guys. She has a really good point there. Oh, you were right. Fly through the air did do better, Daisy. Good job. All right, it's saying to go this way, but I feel like, is this a trap? I don't know. Oh, wait, no. Hot dog or cheeseburger? Um, I pick cheeseburger any day of the week. Yeah, once a summer, though, I do like to eat it a hot dog, but... Normally, I pick cheese. I wonder if there's an end to this game. This is the game that does it in. Oh, man. We died in the poo-poo puddles. Ew, gross. I don't even know what this is, but it looks super stinky. Oh, my gosh. What's going to be next? I'm so excited. I don't even see it. Oh, wait. I think it's in here. Whee! It's like a giant maze. Which would you rather be, really strong or really fast? I gotta go for really fast. Well, just because you picked that, I want to pick something different. Molly! Um, and I shouldn't have done that because, uh-oh, something's gonna kill me. Caution, radiation area? Why, what's gonna happen right now? Um, I'm running through my, from my life, guys. Wait, what? What? Okay, that was weird. Nothing really happened. Whoa! It was kind of creepy, but nothing really actually happened. All right. Well, I guess I shouldn't have picked that answer. I didn't want to pick the same thing as Daisy every single time. That's just lame. Wait, which way did I go? Okay, this way. And then down. Whee! This is the weirdest house ever. Okay, so I guess the popular answer was to be really fast. 
Then you're gonna go to school if you're late. <laughs> Thanks for waiting for me, Daisy. No problem, Molly. It's the least I could do since you died. Whoa! Okay, there, there's lava here, Daisy. We gotta be careful. Daisy, did you make it? Oh, good. I thought Daisy died. Which would you rather be, the youngest sibling or the oldest? Well, I am the oldest, but... And I'm the youngest, so let's each pick and see what happens. Woo! Um, I just fell outside the game. So, I'm thinking the youngest is what everybody picked. I don't know, maybe that was just a glitch in the game, or maybe I just died. Woo! And I did Like, usually you go inside that elevator if you die. Daisy, are you down there? Daisy? Yeah, it was youngest. We're the coolest, saw we? You're not really the coolest, Daisy. We are, Molly. The youngest siblings always are. Um, something tells me there's gonna be a giant, like, rock that comes out of the sky here. Oh, no. Actually, I was wrong. The Abbey part makes it kind of interesting, too, because it's like, you're just going through this giant Abbey and trying to... trying to survive. When storing cups in a cupboard, which way is correct? Hmm. Hmm. Molly, just pick facing up. Well, yeah, but then it collects dust. And bugs can get in there and die, and then you'd be eating a fly. See? Exactly. Wait, I picked facing up. What? It killed me, but I picked facing up. That's not fair. I want to do over on that one. Wait, where do we go now? Okay, that's the end of the slide. Maybe I didn't actually die there. I don't know. Daisy, you're kind of glitching. Well, it's not my fault. It's the game, okay? Whoa, whoa, whoa. The best superhero? Um, I'm picking Iron Man. Whee! Oh my god, I died again? Are you serious? Ah! Okay, this is drawn out. Ah! <laughs> Everybody picked Iron Man. What are you talking about? All right, there goes Daisy again. She obviously picked the flash because she's moving so quickly. <laughs> and boink. All right, let's see. Daisy, you are totally glitching right now. Well, I don't know. It's got to be this game or something. Wait for me, Daisy! Oh! Okay, now we fell through the game here, too. I don't know what the right answer is. Now it's saying Spider-Man. What? Okay, this is ridiculous. Which one is it? I think we just stuck here forever. What? No, I think we actually got the right one that time. He just wanted to kill us for fun. Holy like guacamole. This game is cray cray. <laughs> oh, I think we have to jump through this little window. That's weird. What do you call this sport? Soccer or football? Um, well, if you live in America, you call it soccer. Okay, um, apparently a lot of people who don't live in America are actually playing this game. <gasps> it's Christmas! Wait, oh no, it's the Grinch. Going back in. I, I don't, no, you can't kill me. I'm over here. Get away from me, Grinch. Oh yeah, he killed me through the wall. <laughs> I don't know how that's possible, but he did it. Um, uh, Molly, we were wrong. It's, I guess, football. All right, fine, we'll call it football. I mean, actually, calling it football kind of does make sense because you play soccer with your feet. So, yeah, no, we just call it Sacco. I, I don't know why. All right, here we go. We got the right one. I don't know how far we're going to make it in this game, guys. It feels like it's just going to go on forever. What? Which would you rather have? An extra finger or an extra toe? Um, well, I don't know. I guess an extra finger because then I could play extra good at Roblox because I'd have another finger. <laughs> yes! Oh, I picked right! Amazing. Exit here. It says this is the exit. Can you test it out? Mm, is there any other way I can go? Daisy must have picked the wrong one. Do you guys think this is the actual exit of the game? Slam the like button if you do. Oh, I'm going to test it out, guys. Here we go. Whee! Um, yeah, it's an exit into the sewer. Or maybe this is like a swimming pool. I want to jump in here. Woo! This is kind of nice. Wait, is this the sewer? Because if it is, I'm swimming around in it right now. <laughs> Alright, now there's three to answer. Okay. Best type of ice for your drinks. <laughs> a nugget. 
Daisy didn't make it to this part, guys. She must have died. <gasps> See ya, Daisy! I'm picking a cube. <laughs> yeah! You guys don't have these other fancy things, that's why. Alright, now we gotta swim to this next part. Best place to swim! The lake, the ocean, or a bathtub! Oh, the ocean is amazing. As long as a shark doesn't eat you, you'll be all good. Yeah, I'm doing so much better without my sister here. We're in this, like, basement um, pool. It's kind of cool. Best fictional robot. Optimus Prime, R2-D2, or Freddy Fazbear. I feel like you guys are going to pick Freddy, but I'm picking old school R2-D2. And I died. Really? You guys don't like R2-D2? What kind of people are you anyway? Um, guys, uh, there's definitely zombies and ghosts in here. I don't like how this is looking. I'm, I'm leaving. Goodbye. Bye. <laughs> I jumped off the edge. I'm like, no, no, no. Those ghosts aren't getting me. All right, guys. Let's play one more round because I just love you guys. Maybe two more rounds. Okay, two. You guys talked me into it. I'm playing two more rounds. I don't know where Daisy is. Daisy, are you still there? Hello? Daisy. Daisy, are you there? I'm right here, Molly. <laughs> Oh my gosh, where you been? Well, I did glitch a little bit. Yeah, tell me about it. Oh yeah, I knew you were going to pick Freddy Fazbear. Oh, I still wanted to pick R2-D2 though. Alright, where do we go now? Oh, I think right through here maybe? Or, no. Maybe down the stairs. I love these swimming pools. I wish I seen the basement in my house. Yeah, right? Wouldn't that be the coolest thing ever? Most useless key. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know, Daisy. I'm gonna cheat. I'm gonna cheat and follow you on this one. I'm gonna pick pause and break. Um. Nope. Wrong. I should have copied Daisy. I don't know what she was talking about. Oh look! It's evil. Ah! He's got a knife. Okay, maybe if I go into his house, he can't catch me. Wrong. Oh. <laughs> Wrong. Oh. Wrong. Oh. Alright, let's try this again, peeps. Um, F12? What's this thing do? I don't even know what this button does. I'm picking it. Oh, yes! I win! I'm ahead of Daisy again. Goodbye, Daisy. You died again. Okay, I think I have to actually go through the stairs here, guys. This is kind of cool. Swim through the stairs. Best ice cream? Well, my favorite's strawberry, but I feel like you guys are going to pick chocolate. I really do feel like you guys are going to pick chocolate. Yes? Yeah, I knew it! Strawberry was the least likely. I love... You guys are crazy. Strawberry is amazing. Why are you guys picking those other ones? <laughs> oh, look, a slide. It's like a water slide. Yes, please. Whee! Oh, now we're going into a hot tub. Worst thing to step on while barefoot. A beehive. Oh, my God, guys. That would be the worst thing ever. Or a Lego or a cactus would be stinky. Wait, you guys didn't pick beehive? Guys, the bees are going to sting you over and over again. Oh, my God, guys. Look, at it's me. I have a shorter version of me, but why are you chasing me? Ah! My clone just killed me. I think that's the perfect way to end this video, guys. It's me, Molly. Or is it? teacher's gone crazy and we need to escape. Uh, I don't think they've gone crazy, but um, they look like a poo-poo. <laughs> oh my gosh, our teacher's a poop emoji. This is not exactly who I thought I'd be learning my science lessons from. <laughs> and he's also kind of, um, well, rude, because he's giving a test today. So uh, let's try to get out of here, guys. <gasps> it's somebody from Rainbow Friends outside. Oh my gosh, this game gets crazier and crazier by the second. Ah, I touched that and I got electrocuted. Are you serious right now? All right, Daisy already figured out how to get out of the classroom because she's so smart. Uh, Molly, I just walked through the door. Oh, um, yeah, okay, well, then you died on a trap. Oh, poor Daisy. That looks terrible. It was, Molly, totally. Uh, who collapsed the door? Probably that evil poopy teacher. All right, let's try to jump it right now. Yes, that worked better. Ah, double jump. All right, guys, I finally made it to the next save. Thank goodness. Ooh. What? Paper airplanes? Oh, they must be really sharp because I just got my leg chopped off by one. Oh, me too, Molly. These are much harder than they look. <laughs> just kidding. I want to keep playing Roblox. 
But I would like to not die on these paper airplanes. Me and Daisy are both stinking at this part. Maybe we can jump up here, Daisy, and cheat. <laughs> Molly, cheat a cheat a pumpkin needle. Yeah, and it didn't work. It turned my head on backwards. Okay, maybe if we just stay here and jump. Ooh. Oh, okay, I think I got it, though. If you guys play this game, just know this part is really hard. One eternity later. Oh, yes! <laughs> I knew I could do it. Never give up and never surrender. You can do anything. This is scary. Whoa! <laughs> I guess so. Ay, 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 ay. Mr. Poopy's school is not very fun. That's because he gave us summer school, Molly. Yeah, it totally is. Oh no, he caught us. Um, quick jump into this vent. Uh-uh, see you later, Mr. Poopy. Oh, and Daisy died like right away. Poor Daisy. Daisy, are you half asleep today? I might be Molly. I stayed up really late watching a movie. Oh, poor Daisy got her head chopped off. Now who's better at Roblox? Surely not you, Daisy. Look at me, huh? Molly, you just died. Uh, yeah, but I made it farther than you did. So you're still back at the beginning. I'm gonna beat you. Molly, you're so competitive, seriously. Uh, it's a game. I'm supposed to be competitive. None against your own sister. Woohoo! Look at me, I made it. Oh, a tricksy wall. You chose wrong. Ha <laughs> Uh, left. Ooh! Wait, what did you pick it pick for second, Molly? I'm not telling. Molly! <laughs> uh, oh boy, this is a long one. Ooh! It expects me to remember what wall I went through. Oh, um, I don't know. I think left, then right, then where? I don't know. Uh, right? Good thing I was here to help you. Why is there so much coffee? We Ooh. must be in the teacher's lounge. Ah, I drowned in the coffee. Ow. That hurt. Not really. Not in real life. But my Roblox character thought it hurt. Yahoo. I made it to the next part of the game. Oh, look at this, Daisy. It looks like we're about to escape. <laughs> Take that, teacher poopy head. Uh, Molly, I don't think that's his real name. Well, I don't know. He just looked like a giant poop emoji to me. What? What is this, shop class or something? There's like all these giant blades. This is crazy town. La 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 la. Would you eat guacamole for breakfast, Daisy? Um, maybe if it was on a egg breakfast um, burrito. Ooh, that actually sounds good. It's making me hungry. Of course it is. That's all you ever think about is your stomach. Well, at least we have that uh, mystery solved. Stomach is most important. Chemistry class. Oh no, I'm definitely gonna fail this. I told ya. Daisy failed it too! Nee, 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 nee. Molly, I would not fail chemistry in real life! Wait a minute, that's arts and crafts. Where are you going? You're going the wrong way, Daisy. Hello! Wake up! Smell the coffee! <laughs> Molly, I am doing kind of crazy on this obby today. Yeah, crazy bad. I just feel like this is exactly how summer school would be. Guys, let me know in the comment section below if you would actually go to summer school if it was set up like an obby like this. Or would you Ooh. rather stay home? Ah! I caught on fire! Would you rather um, ha go to school, summer school, and have it be like an obby? You have to escape like this. Or would you rather stay home, sleep in, and um, eat breakfast videos? That that's your options. One or two. Let me know in the comment section below. Can't wait to hear your answers, people. La 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 you really should record that song and put it up on the YouTube channel. I think you're right. Never give up and never surrender. You can do anything. You did fine. Now you can go. Oh, thank you, gym teacher. Don't touch the broccolis. Trust me. Don't plan on it. Okay, this game was simple but fun. <gasps> Ooh, Daisy! We're in the cafeteria. Mmm, pizza, bananas, everything I love pretty much. Cheese! So much cheese. This frying surface is hot. Mm. So isn't the pizza delicious? Molly, you're not supposed to eat the booby trap. How could I not? Mm. Look at these. Mm. Chocolate chip cookies. Best dessert ever. Wait, what? More flying airplanes? Wait, we were just in this part. I'm so confused. Is this some sort of prank game? Ay, yeah, yeah, with the paper airplanes. Okay, Ooh. I'm skipping the stage. This is ridiculous. 35 Robux to escape Mr. Poopy's uh, airplanes. Yes. Definitely. Daisy, I'll see you in the next one. What? You better wait for me, Molly. I'm waiting. She's not waiting for me, is she, guys? Oh, boy. Oh, Ooh. I died. And I died anyway. So how's your summer going, everybody? Did you do anything fun yet? Can you believe that school's going to start again in, like, a month? It's like, summer vacation is never long enough. Why? You can do it, Molly. Come on. 
I'm gonna try, but this next one is so hard. Uh, whoa, I actually made it this time! Only to be faced with a bunch of rats. What's up with this guy liking, liking to put all of these, uh, like, get past this, get pa past this. What kind of vets would an Abby is? Get past this, get past this. Yeah, I know, but he keeps giving us, like, paper airplanes, rats. Anyway, I got past this, so it doesn't really matter, but... I am about to make it to the winner circle. Give me my badge, people. Give me my badge. Congrats, you won. And there's a giant party for me. Oh, whoa, look at this. This is cool. A little panda in here, you can hang out. It's like a little, oh, a trampoline. Ow, I'm stuck in here. Ow, ow, ow. A rocking horse. This is really cool. You know who would love this is my baby sister, baby Kira. She would think this was amazing. Oh, they got a bounce house in here too. Okay, at first I was like annoyed that I had to play parts of this game like with the airplane, but the ending was definitely worth it. And they gave us some cake. Wait, did Daisy not make it? Where is she? Molly, I'm over here in the hot tub. There's a hot tub? Oh yeah. This game geez, just keeps getting better and better. Whoa, this is a deep hot tub. Look at me. <laughs> All you see is my eyeballs. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you in our next video. Bye! God's will! Wow, Molly, that was very dramatic. <laughs> I know, right? Um, I have no idea what this game is about, but you guys have been asking us to play it. So, here we go. Why is the classroom messy? Yeah. Um, I don't know, but who is that guy? What's he doing here? Maddie, this game is already so weird. And do not move when he faces the classroom. Press the button on his back to win. Oh, I got it. So it's like red, red, red light, green light. Um, okay, that seems a bit challenging. Okay, game start. Ooh, we're sneaking. We're, what? Don't move! Well, people already died. Yeah, please don't, please don't, please don't kill me! I don't want to die! I'm so scared! Whoa. Oh. Um, Gee! Oh, he's looking at us. Molly! I'm sneaking so good right now. Game over! Oh, someone actually touched his back. Look at her, she's dancing! Oh, yeah! Go, Nola! Dodgeball, you are split into two teams. Throw the dodgeballs at the opposing team. Time the F key to catch a dodgeball. Get ready! Do we have to run over there? Oh, that one's like on fire. I want that one. What? How do I throw it? Ow! Someone just caught me on fire. Holy moly. Oh, wait. Um, E to pick up. Wait, where are all the dodgeballs? Someone's got Ow, Daisy, Ooh. I'm on your team. You will revive soon. Oh, my already died and caught on fire. That's probably not good. Oh, return to the lobby. Seriously, I died? Yep, Molly, you're out of here. All right, I'm looking at Daisy, though. Let's look at Daisy. Oh, she is running like crazy. Daisy, you're doing amazing. I'm so good at dodgeball and Roblox. Not necessarily good at it in, um... What, Daisy? She is on fire. All right, what's that? Is that like an ice one? <laughs> Did you see? I said bang. Go, Daisy. Go, Daisy. Go. 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 Go, Daisy. Go, Daisy. Go. Oh, man. She's slamming these guys. I'm super good at this, Molly. I just want to win. I want my team to win so bad. Well, I was definitely the weakest one. I didn't make it. It's okay, Molly. Not everybody is good at Roblox. Oh, Daisy just got out. Goodbye, Daisy. Goodbye. Molly, you do know that if you just um stayed in there and didn't go back to the lobby, you wouldn't have lost, right? Wait, what? I wouldn't have had to start over? Are you serious? Exactly, Molly. Oh, man. I didn't realize that was the case. It's okay, Molly. We'll just play Red Light Green Light one more time. And then you'll just know for next time. Can I walk through these? No, I'm just stuck. Oh, man. Oh, somebody already got it. Whoa, the guy in the hat. That's amazing. Wait, what? why am I dressed like a giant banana? Wait, this is not dodgeball. What is this? Okay, E to pick up, F to push, Q to dash. All right, I think I got it. What? What is that? It's a giant monkey. Monkey game? Avoid his attacks, unwind his wind up, use the rocket to knock him down. Um, okay, I'm gonna try. I'm dressed like a giant banana. I can't really move because I'm waddling around. Oh my god. Ah! You're gonna get the ground shake. Ow! He hit me with his craziness. It was a banana on fire. 
Oh, what's that? Oh, I want, wait, what? I want to pick up one of those things. I don't know what's going on right now. Value you a giant banana. That's what's going on. Ooh, wind him up. Wind him up. Okay, I, I'm going to do it. <laughs> Ooh, run. 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 Daisy, can I pick you up and throw you at this monkey? Absolutely not, Molly. Whoa. Just like use giant symbols and now he's making lava on the floor. Uh oh, he's facing me. Well, uh -oh, that's not good. Ah! Oh my god, did you guys see that? It was like a skeleton inside there. Wait a minute. Um, guys, what's wrong with my face? Did you guys see that? It was like a skeleton inside the balloon or inside the banana. Why does he balloon? I don't know. Maybe it flies your brain, Molly. <laughs> what? There's a rocket. I need that rocket. I need it. I need it. Hey! Oh, he keeps smacking me everywhere. Oh, 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 oh. Guys, I, I'm, I'm a fallen banana and I can't get up. Oh, I just picked up that rocket. I was sitting on it. All right, let's see if we can wind this guy's... Oh, I'm winding it. Oh, <laughs> look at me. I'm winding him. Uh-oh, he's getting up. All right, guys, run. Run like the wind. We'll run like a banana in the wind. Oh, look at this, guys. There's a stage up here. Can I go up here? Um, Why did the banana cross the road? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, yeah, yeah. That was a horrible joke, Mindy. Oh, I'm on a rocket. I'm not very good at flying anywhere with it, though. Look at that monkey. Oh, my God. He's headless. Um, okay. That's not good. Oh, ah, banana minions. I did not see that coming, guys. I did not see that coming. So I'm just going to stay right here. It says um, I will revive soon. All right, I revived. Cool. All right, let's go wind this guy's back up here. I right, only get one wind per turn. Is he dead yet? Ha, ha, ha. Well, Molly, he looks like he's been fried. Fried banana sandwich. Ooh, sounds delicious. Oh, the bananas are all ganging up on him. They're like, hey, hey, you are a rude monkey. What? We won, we won, we won. We won, we won, we won. What? Order today? That sounds delicious. Molly, quit thinking about your stomach. Wait, breaking news, Daisy, breaking news. Students engage in a live game. What? This can't be true. This sounds like fake news. They're trying to scare people or something. Oh, did I lose my head over that? That was crazy. Ow. Musical wow. chairs. I love this. Chairs will move around randomly. Some chairs are broken, so look carefully. Don't sit on those chairs. Fight for the chair. Pick up chairs by using the E key and use E again to throw them. Sit on a chair by walking near it. You may only sit when the music stops. And I can't hear any music. Whoa, I can pick up chairs and throw them. That's kind of fun. <laughs> Ooh. Ah, ha, ha, ha. The music stopped and I sat down. I won that round. Now I can't get up. Ah, my butt is stuck to the chair. Ah, oh, wait a minute. Why did I sit on a broken chair? That didn't make any sense. Wow, there's a lot of dead Roblox players in here. Ooh, I found a chair, people. I don't want to throw it really, though. I just want to hang on to it. Ooh, there's Daisy. Oh, God, the music's stopping. I sat down and you didn't. Daisy, are you out? No, but way over here on the edge of the world, about to fall off. All right, I got a chair, guys. I'm running around with it. Boing. <laughs> oh, man, I hit that guy with that chair. I'm going to hit Daisy now. Oh, Daisy, I'm so sorry. I hit you with a musical chair. Where's it going to stop? Nobody knows. Yes, I'm in my chair again. It's me. Daisy and like a few other people. That's it. When will the music stop? When will it stop? Stop! Stop! Um, we did it. Stop! Ha <laughs> I'm out again. Game! Did I win? Did I just win? Wait, did we win? Yes, Molly, we won that round. Jeepers! Whoa, you need to get a clue in the way, Moosey. <laughs> Quit being rude, Daisy. Arctic rush slid down a hill full of obstacles and traps. Use A and D to turn. Get ready. Get steady. I'm already pushing E. Whoa. Holy mo. My Ow, I just. <laughs> you will revive soon. Whoa. Uh -oh. Wait, 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 wait. Ow. Wait, I'm not even turning it. Okay. The turn is very delicate, I see. Whoa. Whoa. Wow. Okay, I am terrible at bobsledding, apparently. Because I keep running into the same walls. One eternity later. Oh! Oh! oh, wait, it's not even over yet? Oh, God, please let it be over. If it's God's will, please let this be over. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, I don't, the, the steering on this is terrible. Oh, I made it to the finish line. 
Ah, oh, oh, that really stressed me out. Somebody give me a cupcake. Doors, doors, doors. Pick the door that matches the TV. Look for changes in the eyes and nose. Bam, bam, bam. <laughs> um. Oh, okay, because you... Oh, 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 my God. Why are you spinning me around like this? Guacamole. Wait, are you going to stop spinning me? Or uh, what's happening? Daisy! Um... Eh... I don't know which one. That's not right, Daisy! I'm going to go in here. This one looks sort of right. Well, I don't like this. It's got me blocked in here. I don't know what's going to happen. This is crazy. Does that mean I died? There's like all this red on me. Wow, wow. Oh, Daisy, did you die? Yeah, it torched me, Molly. Torched you? Oh, my. That doesn't sound too nice. Ow, why is it catching me on fire? What's going on? Oh, there's like a... F oh, boy. Oh, boy. Ow. All right, now we got to figure out where I'm going. Um... Sort of looks like this. Okay, going in. Oh, me and the fish head guy got in here. Me and D12. Oh, your fish is so adorable. What do you feed him? Don't feed him too much. He'll get like huge. Ow. I want to get electrocuted. Did I lose? Oh, I don't think I lost actually. All right, let me see the next one. Um, okay. Ah, uh, here comes that giant thing again. Trying to wipe me out with a crazy amount of fire. Ow! All right, it killed me that time. Okay, it's actually this one. Let me in. Let me in. It's that one. Oh, it's this goofy one. With his eyeballs up. Oh, no. Who do we go again with this? No one wants to play with this lava game thing. Just let us choose the door. Oh, there's all these heads bouncing around here, too. There's like giant bouncy balls or something. Everyone's picking this one. I don't know if it's right. I can't even see where I'm going. Ah, she took that one. Oh, my God. Get a door. Ah, I lost my head. Oh, wow. This game is something else. Well, I've died for good, I guess, because it will not let me respawn. And we're back to dodgeball, Marty. So this is a good time to say that God's will was for me to die in every single one of these mini games. <laughs> Except for Music of Cheers, Marty. You did pretty good there. I didn't really do good in any of these games. Why, God? Why? <laughs>
Wait, where do we need to go once we press the button? How do we get away from this lady? Get away from me, crazy! I'm trying to get her like stuck on something. She's right behind me though. I'm making her run in circles. You want your workout today there, Betty? Huh? I'm feeling a little bit discouraged because Betty is psycho. Oh my gosh, guys. I hit it with my head that time. Did you guys see that? Um, but I shouldn't feel discouraged because yes, I just made it through. All right, build your way up. Dizzy, it took you that long to build your way up? No, I was just waiting for you. You said I could have an ice cream if I helped you find all these phones. If I go too far ahead of you, I won't be able to find the phone. Oh yeah, okay, I made it. Molly, another phone! Hooray! Woohoo! Now I'm stuck. Oh my god, there's a glitch in the game. Guys, if you love ice cream, slam the like button. And then in the comment section below, let me know what kind of ice cream you guys, like, really love. What's your favorite? Molly, you know there's no skip the stage, right? Wait, what? Well, first of all, you don't have any Robux. But second of all, there's no skip the stage because this is hard mode. Well, then, good thing I made it. Three out of ten phones, guys. I'm wondering where the other phones are going to be. Do you guys think I can find them all? I'm not really sure I can, but I really want to see what this prize is. So, oh, I'm going to try so hard. I'm looking because if you miss a phone anywhere, you can't really go back and get it. So, you have to be really careful you don't miss any phones. I hope I don't get to, like, the end and I miss, like, one or something. Okay, I don't see any phones in here. That's good. Molly, guess what I found? Another phone. Do, 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 do. Boing, 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 boing. I hate when you're doing this part and then you fall down. And you're like, what? I'm going to do it all over? No. Uh, okay, where am I? I feel like I'm in a cage. Despite all my rage, I'm still just a molly in a cage. Boing, boing. Okay, it's like a cage maze with electrocutions. I mean, seriously. Only to have to push a button and then go back? Ugh, I did kick that button because this is annoying. <laughs> All right, where do we go now? DZ, um, you left me behind. Thanks for that. I don't know where I'm going now. Jeepers, you need me to tell you how to do everything? Oh, uh, pretty much, DZ, pretty much. Ay, ay, ay. This is a lot of work for this ice cream. Boing, boing. I hope I'm okay. All right, I think I am. Wait, there's a blue door, DZ. I see a blue door. Wait, there's a phone! That's what I'm trying to say to you, Molly. There's a blue phone. Five out of ten, Daisy. We're halfway there. That's amazing. Glad that that door opened. I'd be so sad if I had to go back through those electrified wires again. Like, no! Uh-oh, there's Ben, the janitor. Oh, what? We have to, like, we have to try to get him? Oh, this won't be hard. <gasps> oh, yes, it will. He can jump on boxes. He's going to jump at me in a minute. Watch. Oh, he's, I'm high. Okay. Ah! He's, like, farting at me or something. Oh, my God, here he comes. Can I shoot him behind me? I don't know, guys. Uh, he's trying to get me. We're just running in circles. Do, 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 do. Let's see if he can get all the way up here. Oh, God. Here he comes, guys. Wait, where is he? Oh, he's up there. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> oh, no. I can't get him up there. He's just jumping. This is difficult. What? I'm starting to learn his tricks, though. Look at him. <laughs> he's, just, he's stumped. Well, I might be smarter than you, Ben. I might be, but but probably not. Oh my gosh. He's such an evil janitor. <laughs> like seriously. What's your beef anyway? I mean, you mad because you didn't get to have pizza in the lunchroom? Oh, goodbye. Molly, I'm so happy for you. It only took you 20 tries. Be quiet, Daisy, be quiet. Pyong, pyong, pyong. Molly, rude. Whew, I thought I'd never take him down. Tell me about it. That was difficult. Especially in hard mode. What is this? Ooh, a letter B. I've got to go put this up on here. Oh, maybe it goes over here. B. Okay, I get it. I get it. I get it. I got to match them up. See? Molly, don't tell me I need to go back to preschool. What? No, definitely not. Okay, C. All right, and then it opens the door. And then I guess you get to go in here, but I don't know what's in here. Is there a magical phone anywhere, Daisy? Did I, did I miss it? Okay, let's just make sure there's no phone anywhere, because that would be bad. I don't see a phone anywhere, so I'm gonna move on to the next stage, guys. <sighs> I really hope that I didn't miss it. I'm looking up, looking all around, don't see it. Okay. I'm just waiting for you, Molly, even though you take forever. Wait, I think I see a phone! It's a phone. That's six phones, guys. Six phones. In case you lost count. Molly, it displays in the bottom left of your screen. Oh, yeah. I <laughs> forgot about that. Oh, man! You gonna jump up there again? Oh, into the vent! Back into a vent. 
Don't fall, Molly. You're gonna have to do that all over again. Uh, yeah, duh. I know. I'm not gonna fall. I'm becoming an expert at obbies. I mean, I can actually even play the hard modes now. Kind of super proud of myself about that. Oh no, not Betty. Betty, uh, Nanny Betty again. She's super grumpy. Let's make sure there's no phones anywhere around here. Okay. The phones have been pretty much out in plain sight. Uh-oh. Oh no, not another push the button and run for your life. Get away from me! Maybe she's slow running up the stairs. No, she's definitely not. Mom, Daisy on the first try. I'm so proud of myself right now. But, oh, she's still standing right there. Oh, Betty, you ugly. Okay, don't fall. Don't fall, Molly, don't fall. Oh wait, there's a, okay. There's another vent, whoa. Molly, did you check the, all the doors? I did check all the doors. Whoa, why did that close on you, Daisy? Are you okay? Yeah, you just slammed the vent door in my face. No big deal. Sorry. Um, guys, I don't know where this is going to take us. It looks kind of crazy. All right, let's 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 look from the overhead, guys. See, I don't hit the laser this time. Boing, boing, boing. Uh -huh. Ew, Molly. Hey, I'm just trying to make the, um, the Betty lady avoid us. Well, that would make everybody avoid you. <laughs> Except for you, because you're my sister, so you love me anyway, right? Rago, Molly! Stinky, stinky. Uh, okay, uh, then I've got to jump over onto this fan. And I didn't make it. Ah! Oh, but it right, brought me right back here, so... That's a good thing, because I keep on dying here. Oh, this time I'm going to make it. Maybe not. Yes! No! Ah! Wait, oh, it saved me there, though. It's like, oh, we feel sorry for you. Here you go. <laughs> Daisy, have you seen any more phones? Uh, wait, there's a phone. I know, right, Molly? We really are going to get all the phones. We're going to get a secret. I'm very excited about this. Me too. Okay, now I think we need to go over here and push a button. I don't know what it does, but I think it might turn that, like, fan or something on. Push it. Yeah, it turns a fan on, guys. Whee! Can you imagine doing this in real life? They sort of have something like this if you go to indoor skydiving. <laughs> well, not not exactly like that, but kinda. All right, I don't see any more phones in here. I have three more guys. I just don't wanna get to the end and only have one that I missed. That would be the worst. Round and round through the air ducts we go. Use metal planks to get across. Oh my gosh. I remember this from the time I played easy mode. And these things, I think this was the game. It was like so annoying. Oh, maybe not. Maybe it was a different one. One of them, it was like they kept malfunctioning. And I, I don't know. I couldn't get them to work. I don't know where Daisy is. She's just like gone. See? Oh, my God. That didn't work. Daisy, where'd you go? Daisy? Oh, no, Molly. Oh, no. Oh, no, what? Look up, Molly. You missed a phone. What? I missed a phone? No! Oh my gosh, maybe if I just fall off of here, um, it'll take me back to the top. Yes, Daisy, it worked! Oh, thank goodness. Thank goodness for you, Molly. Because you have missed that phone, you would have been so mad at yourself. You are so right about that, Daisy. I really would have been so upset. I think we're supposed to put it here and then... Yeah, because the other one is too far. You can't make it to the other one. Oh, I'm so relieved. Thanks for finding that phone for me, Daisy. No problem, Molly. You are still going to get that banana split, though, right? Absolutely. If I make you a promise, I keep it. That is true. There's a lot of things about Molly, but she doesn't break her promises. At least not very often. Look at my legs when I jump. I'm like, wee! <laughs> wee! <laughs> I look like a rabbit or something. Like, oh, boy. Isn't this fun? Okay, it's showing that I can put it here. You guys saw that, right? Okay, I'm, I'm just jumping. Oh! No, okay, I, I died. That was a bad one. I'm out of planks. I'm out of planks. And I have to do it all over. Ah! Okay, guys. Let's speed this up. One eternity later. Holy guacamole, Molly. Okay, don't say anything about the planks to me, okay? That was so frustrating. <laughs> yeah, sometimes they're a bit glitchy. Hey, Daisy, speaking of glitchy, I just ran into my sister and went spinning out of control. Me too, Molly. You got in my win. Down we went. Uh, somebody's um gamer tag is nope. <laughs> nope. Just nope. That's all I have to say. Whoa. 
Seriously? There's a laser at the end? What am I supposed to do with that? Okay, you gotta get all the way over to the right. Okay, or left or somewhere, because if not, that laser is going to kill me. Woohoo! I made it past that part. I'm so proud of myself right now. Is there a phone anywhere? I don't, but I'm just like looking around to be sure. Because I only have two more phones left. I think that's amazing. Um, yeah. Oh, did I hit that one? Whoopsie. I didn't mean to hit the laser. Here we go again, guys. Watch out for these lasers. Uh, I don't know how I just made that because I feel like I didn't, but I absolutely did. Buddy, beware of the blue door. Why, what's behind the blue door? I don't know, but it just seems scary. Molly, beware of the red door. Why? I thought it was the blue door. Now it's the red door. Um, okay, how about beware of the giant baby bottle? No, 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 no. We're fine with that. Glug, 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 Milk makes me gassy. Oh, I'm lactose intolerant. Oh, boy. Don't feed my sister milk. Or you'll be so sorry. All right, I'm going to drink this baby bottle. Here we go. Glug, 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 glug. Super speed! Whoa, I'm like lightning behind me. That's amazing. Boing, 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 boing. Whoa, we're still super speed, huh? See you later. Molly, come back here, a phone. You saw a phone from here? I always see everything, Molly. I'm very observant. Daisy, oh my God, we're one, one phone away. I know, it is pretty amazing. But I don't care, because I got the phone and I just really want to see what happens. Maybe it's going to be something cool. I don't know. I didn't make the game. But I'm hoping it's something cool. It said in the description. <coughs> excuse me. Like I said. Lactose intolerant. Wait a minute, Daisy. There might be a phone in here. We should check. No, 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 no. There's, there's no phone in here. Molly, there's a picture of the phone. Why does it say 10? What does that mean? What's the sign mean, Daisy? It might mean that we missed the last phone. Like, you collected them all. Wait, what? No, I, 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 what? No! All right, Daisy, let me stand on your head because I'm thinking maybe it's down there. Maybe it's down here, Molly. Let's keep looking. Maybe she drops the 10th phone? We already got the one through here, so I don't think it'd be through here. Where is the 10th phone? Oh my gosh, I'm gonna cry right now. That's so disappointing. I, I, I was just kidding like when I said, oh, I can't find the last one, but if I feel like it's in this door, but you can't go through there. Maybe when you get done defeating her, you have to go back and open that door. I bet that's what it is, Daisy. Well, Molly, you can hope. Yeah, I can hope. I'm going to hold out hope that I have to go through that door. And that's just what's going to happen. Come here, Robo Buddy. Oh my gosh, she's crazy town. She keeps hitting, with me, hitting me with electricity. Chasing me, throwing fireballs at me, guys. Oh, please don't kill me, Betty. Oh my god, I got hit by it again. I'm trying not to get hit by it, but I'm stinking <laughs> big time. Oh, that time I actually didn't get hit by it. Oh, she hit me. Oh, Daisy, does the door open? You defeated her, right? Yes, Molly, I defeated her. And the door, it, it, it doesn't open? No, Molly. I missed one of the phones? Ah! Do I still get my ice cream? Uh, no. I said you have to help me find all the phones or no ice cream. But Molly! Sorry, that's the way the ice cream crumbles. But M Molly, seriously, you really gonna make me miss out on a, on a, on a delicious ice cream over a phone? Yep, sure am. All right, guys, let's take this lady down. Guys, it's making me feel really sad that basically uh, there's a phone hiding here somewhere that I missed. Maybe you guys know where it is, and I don't. Like, I get it, but it's like, what? There's gotta be a phone somewhere here. Now I'm gonna have to play this game all over again. Ah! <gasps> I still feel like, um, like if we stand on each other's shoulders, something is down around that corner. There's a reason why that says 10. Uh-oh, I died again. All right, guys, this is gonna be the time that I take Betty down. I'm just sad because I have to find nine phones and you won't get me an ice cream. The deal was 10 phones, one ice cream. Maybe she drops her phone. No, Molly, she doesn't drop a phone. It's just no use. We missed one. Ah! I was just thinking, it's gotta be here somewhere. Of course it does, Molly. Do you think the game developer tried to trick us? Um, uh, maybe, but probably not. Okay, Betty, seriously, Robo Betty, you're starting to get on my last nerve. 
Cheesy macaroni, come on. Die already! And now I did! Boom! Maddie, where are you going? I'm going back to see if I can get in here. I'm gonna try to, I'm gonna, oh wait, maybe I can shoot the sign? It says 10, what? There's gotta be a phone around here somewhere. I want the secret surprise. Give me my secret! I feel like, this is weird. This part is weird. Hey, can you come here a second? I wanna just jump on your head. Just for a minute. Just see, we can go over through here. There's something over there. My sister already escaped. Oh man, they're going back. They're like, we missed a phone. No, right here. Excuse me. No one wants to listen to me right now when I say, look at guys, there's definitely something hidden down here. Ali, follow me, follow me, follow me. What? Are you trying to prank me right now, Daisy? If you're pranking me about this phone, I'm going to be so mad. Is that the phone? Is that the phone? <laughs> we found the last phone. Oh my gosh. We got the Betty's Phones Secret Update Award. I think that's all we get. It's just an award, but I don't care. I got the award. I got all 10. Daisy, are you excited? Yeah, because I get my amazing banana split now. Uh, and you are going to get it for me, right? Absolutely. We're both going to get banana splits. OMG. I am so happy that we got um two award badges. One for playing this game on hard mode. And two. Oh, we also got on the time leaderboard. Daisy, that's amazing. We are amazing, Molly. We are. This is why we're YouTubers. <laughs> yeah, you're probably right about that. Hey, guys. Thanks so much for watching today. I can't believe we found all 10 phones. I'm so excited. I don't know where this goes. Should I find out? Molly, no. It's going to take you back into the... Oh, no. Molly just went to the scary dog coast. Ah! <laughs>
<laughs> Why is this an abbey you'd ever want to escape? Something tells me Darling is not as darling as she seems. Maybe, but ooh, Bonbon's my favorite. Hit the checkpoint, Molly, and let's make it through this next part. Come on, Daisy, let's go! All right, neither one of us died. That was amazing. Yeah, especially for you, noob. <laughs> go, go, go. Oh my gosh, I just died. I spoke too soon. Oopsie. It's all right. I can make it this time. I'm sure of it. You just have to like time it exactly right. Wait a minute. I Did I go the wrong way? Follow the big arrows, Molly. And also look for your sister. Okay, running. Wow, here it is. Darling's Dollhouse. Oh my gosh, it really is Darling. Welcome to Darling's Dollhouse. So it's like a dollhouse within a dollhouse. She lives down here in Wonderland. And she's well... Creepy! Holy guacamole! Hello. Welcome to my dollhouse. Does she have button eyes, Marley? Um, yes. But she's also got candy in her hair, so I feel like we could be friends. Guys, if you want to give um, Darling a gift, you could give her tacos or you could vomit on her. You know, those are the two options in this game. Well, Molly, Darling might be evil. I haven't decided yet. Yeah. Um, okay, it says Darling's um, hide and seek game. Find three buttons to open the door. Find three buttons to open the door. Hide and seek. Where are you? Oh, there's one. Oh, my gosh. What's this mean? <laughs> I'm finding you, and now I'm chasing you. And if I catch you, you'll probably need to die. Okay, yeah, she's definitely evil. Remember when we said, I wonder if she's evil? Yep, she's evil. OMG, I knew she'd be evil. All right, I'm not sure I know where the other buttons are. Oh, wait, I think there's a button down there. All right, there's another button. Oh my gosh, she comes down out of the ceiling every single time? Where are the other buttons? I think that might be one up here, Molly. Um, is she right? Is she right? No, I already did that one, Daisy. Oh my gosh. I don't know where the third button is, guys. I'm just running around in circles. Well, there's that button. Maybe if I go inside this room? I don't know. What's in here? <gasps> Ooh, it's her, it's her bedroom. It's just every single picture is of her. She might be a little bit conceited. Just a little. Do any of these doors open? No, they're all locked. Guys, I don't know where the third button is. I really don't. Molly! Follow me, I'll help you. There you are, Daisy. I was wondering when you were gonna come rescue me and be good at the game when I'm not. Oh, that's just my job, Molly. No, 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 I pushed that button, Daisy. Um, yeah, she's stuck there being crazy. Okay, let me show you the other buttons then. If you already pushed that one. Okay, and I pushed that one, Daisy. Where's the other button? Daisy, where'd you go? Daisy disappeared. She's like, I'm right here, Molly Jeebles. Okay, yeah, I also pushed this one. But then you pushed out three of them, you crazy loony toots. <laughs> but wait, no, one of them's not. It just says red. I can't get through. I All of the buttons are green. All right, let me try pushing them again because that's weird. This is definitely a glitch in the game for me, guys. All right, I pushed this one. I pushed that one. Okay. Oh, wait, it opened. But it was already green. Isn't that weird? Come on, Molly. Who cares? Let's just escape, darling. She's, well, she's evil. She's not very darling at all. I know, darling. <laughs> Stop saying darling, Molly. O-M-G. It's like a giant Ferris wheel. Yes, please. Oh, okay, wait a minute. I think you've got to jump on it and then keep jumping or something, Daisy. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Ooh. This is hard. This is very hard. I don't get it. What am I supposed to do now? Jump it just the right time, Molly. Oh boy, well this is gonna take me forever. Everybody knows I don't know when to jump at the right time. Does anybody else think these look like a corn dog? Or is it just me? It's just you, Molly. Maybe now? 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 Ooh. Now? No. <laughs> Can I buy the tacos now, Daisy? No, Molly, you can't buy the tacos. Why? I need tacos. Tacos are delicious. Tacos make me feel better. I need the tacos! Wait, I think I just made it to the next part. Oh yeah, I did. This part is very difficult, guys. Very. But, oh, man! I almost made it, but I, not really. You almost made it, but not really, huh, Molly? Yeah, almost, but not really. Don't worry, I'll figure it out. I always do, right, guys? I think. I hope. Ooh. Oh, man. Ah! I'm gonna be here forever, forever and ever. I don't understand this part. It's driving me crazy. Oh, I almost made it. It's like, you have to time it exactly perfectly or, you know, you die, pretty much. Okay, I'm gonna walk out to the very edge and then hopefully, Ooh. ah, no. 
All right, how much does it cost to skip a stage? Just asking. Would you like to skip to the next checkpoint? Yes, how much do you want? 25 Robux? Worth it! Goodbye, people. Wow, you finally decided to show up, huh? And you had to cheat. Yeah, but I got a skipper award. <laughs> oh, that's kind of funny. I like the skipper awards. Oh my gosh, this axe is trying to kill me right now? This seems like a little bit crazy town. Whoa, oh my gosh. Oh, they can't get me right here. Okay, good. Holy moly. Holy moly! Holy macaroni! <laughs> Holy cheesy macaroni! Ay, ay, ay. My sister's crazy. Yeah, this game is making me crazy. Whoa, so much spinning around. And don't look now, but there's another half moon that's an axe. This darling is, well, she's nuts. Just gonna say it. All right, Daisy, uh, wait. Oh my gosh, she didn't wait. Daisy, you're gonna die. I didn't die, Molly, see? Look at all the balloons, it's like a party. A kill us party, I guess. I love the next um levels that you go through. I think they are so awesome. Oh, wait a minute. I got an, a, a friend award. Why did I get a friend award? I don't know. I'm Darling's friend, I guess? Maybe it's because we're playing together. We're not friends, we're sisters. We also can be friends, Molly. No, not a chance. All right, you gotta jump on the couch like this. Trust me, I do this all the time at home. <laughs> yeah, you're not supposed to either, Molly. Well, I know, but I'm just good at jumping on the couch, so I know what I'm doing here. Oh, no! This is crazy! I love this obby. Wait for it, wait for it, wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. Oh, this part's making me dizzy. You guys, if you play this game, it might make you dizzy. Just saying. Wee! All right, now I'm gonna jump on the bed. Maybe. Okay, now, I, yes, now I have to go. Right now, right now. Oh my gosh, people. Ah! No, no, no! Yes! Oh, I almost made it, and uh, then I almost died, and then I made it, and oh god, checkpoint. Good job, Molly. You sound really stressed out. Let me off your crazy ride, teddy bear. Oh, man, I died. All right, I'm back out of the crazy teddy bear again. Oh, yeah, I made it to the next checkpoint. Thank goodness, this is difficult. Like I said, guys, this part's gonna make you dizzy. This game developer was definitely inspired by Alice in Wonderland. And if you guys didn't know, I love Alice in Wonderland. Oh my gosh, destroy darling. I think we're at the end of this epic battle, guys. Uh-oh. Dun, dun, dun! I'm sorry about this, darling, but I have to shoot these pieces of gumballs at you. It's okay, though, she's just sort of standing there. No, she's trying to kill you with a sweet chewing. Oh, really? Like, that's just kind of sad. Oh, man, she tried to take me down with a donut. Daisy, did you die? Well, I don't want to tell you if I lived or died because I make you feel bad. Ooh, Daisy, I might actually beat you this time. Oh, my gosh. But everybody knows that you can escape chocolates and donuts and candy. It's just how you are. Well, she does have a point there, guys. Oh, I'm not shooting at her right now. I'm not shooting at anything. Get, get away from me, gumdrops. Guys, I don't even like gumdrops. That's why she's trying to kill you with them. Yeah, she's real like that. Oh, my gosh! She got me, guys! Or did I get her? I'm not really sure. Uh-oh. Goodbye. <laughs> oh, man. She's a psycho. What? Oh, no. I got her with the chandelier. Now I'm doing the chicken dance. Poor darling Dolly. Well, she was evil. It had to happen. Come on, Molly. Let's try to get out of here. Well, we can try, but I can't promise I know my way out of here. This place is crazy! Wait, I think I see an exit. Oh my gosh, we made it! Yes! Oh, wait, back to the start. Whoa, no thank you. That doll was crazy down. Yeah, she was, Molly. Totally. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching my channel today. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more fun games like this one where Daisy and I play together. That's a wait, guys. And um, thank you for all the, the well wishes in the comments because they broke my wrist. That was so nice of you. Yeah, guys, that really was nice of you. <coughs> I'm coughing. Are you sick, Molly? We can't both be sick at the same time and I'm currently the one with the broken wrist. No, 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 no. <coughs> I just, I swallowed a bug. Ew, gross. <laughs> Happens sometimes when you talk too much. Uh, I'll go eat a donut and wash it down. It'll be fine. Ew, gross, Molly. Make me want to puke. Guys, thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye! <laughs>
to our channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Today, guys, my sister Daisy and I are playing, um, wait, what's it called? Oh my gosh, are you prepared for this at all, Molly? Um, eh, uh, ay, ay, ay. What, are you taking a nap over there? Well, we are back in kindergarten, so naps are allowed. His name is Freddy. He's an adorable kindergartner that accidentally stuck his pencil up into his brain. Ah, that's horrible. All right, guys. Today, we are going to try to escape kindergarten. And I think I think we're going to be able to do it. Oh, man. Freddy is sitting in the naughty chair. Poor Freddy. Oh, look, he's crying. Poor baby. Why are you sitting in time out, Freddy? What'd you do? Huh? 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 He is being naughty. That's for sure. Well, I don't want to sit in the timeout chair, but I'm definitely naughty 99.9% .9 of the time. But I'm still going to escape kindergarten because I have been outside of kindergarten for a really long time. I don't want to go back to kindergarten. Well, Molly, there's less homework in kindergarten. Okay, she has a point. Maybe I do want to go back to kindergarten. Oh, Daisy, you died. Seriously? That was lame. All right, well, I, I make mistakes sometimes, Molly. Oh, 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 oh. oh man you even touched one of those and blammo all right let's see if i can do a better job oh there's freddy over there feeling sad he's got a pencil up his nose and go start pipes what am i starting the pipes for oh over there okay here we go whoa, whoa, whoa. okay that didn't work. <laughs> have you guys played this game before slam the like button if you have or you could slam the like button if you want to play this game. Whoa, Freddy, don't eat me. Seriously, I'm not a snack. Oh, I got all the way through that and then died at the end. And over one more. And can I make it? I don't know. Just really want to make it. Yes. Up into the vent I go. I don't know where I'm going right now. I'm just, I'm just living my life. Trying my best. Uh-oh, Freddy got a... Oh, wow, he's having Ooh. a temper tantrum. Ah, Freddy, no, let me go! Apparently, I need this hammer. This kid won't leave me alone long enough for me to get it. A few moments later. Well, I gotta grab it and then beat the door down. <laughs> ha ha ha! Do you understand what you do, Heal? Looks like I have to put all of these shapes in the right places on the wall. Wow, we really are back in kindergarten. All right, this looks like a square. That goes... Where does that go? Oh, right here. Blink. And now I'm going to pick up this cylinder. I guess that one goes there. Oh, wait, the door opened. Good. Uh, yeah, it was a little confusing. Maybe I've gone back to having a kindergartner brain. That could be. Totally. If you go back to kindergarten, you might become ignoramus. <laughs> well, I forgot to open the door before I went through it, so that was pretty ignoramus. <laughs> the slow jumping is so hard. Like, just let me jump as normal. Why you got to do the slow jump? Slow jump. Okay, now the slow jump went away, so that's good. Maybe it was just a glitch in the game or something. Boing. Oh, wait, no, the slow jump is back. Oh, I hate the slow jump. Up here, Molly. I'm coming, I'm coming. Almost there, almost there. Yes, a can of beans. Why am I eating some beans? You know what the beans are going to make me do? <laughs> Ew, Molly. <laughs> they make me go super fast and they make me super stinky. You're leaving a fart trail behind you. <laughs> Well, everybody's got to be some good at something, and I'm very good at farting. Yeah, you could say that again. <laughs> How about I show you again? <laughs> Ew, Molly! <laughs> oh, no, don't tell me there's going to be lasers. Oh, there's always lasers. There's always lasers. They want to kill me. There's always lasers. I don't want to die. Wait, I'm so confused right now. Where do I go? Maybe, like, right in here? Or is that the way I came out? I don't know. Where am I going? Oh, I tried to walk on the lasers. And I walked on them for like two seconds, too. That was kind of crazy. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, where am I? Okay, there we go, finally. Holy macaroni, that was hard. Looks like we're going to build some bridges now. <coughs> Molly, are you coming over here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold your horses. Yeah, I'm going to be a minute. You might want to have a snack. All right, Molly, I'm going to go to the kitchen and get a cupcake. When you get over here, just yell down to me. Okay, fine. A few moments later. Daisy, are you done getting your cupcake? Mm -hmm. mm. I'm so good. Did you bring me one? No. Did you eat the last one? Hey, your, your breath smells like peanut butter. You ate the last peanut butter frosting one? Ah, uh -huh. yep, I totally did. Oh, those are my favorite. You ate the last one. Okay, guys, I love chocolate with peanut butter on top. So sometimes they make like cupcakes or cakes with their chocolate, but then they have peanut butter frosting and it's like so good. Oh, 
Oh, we're already at the epic boss? That's amazing. This time, hopefully Ooh. it doesn't, like, glitch. Oh, boy. Every time I try to get this guy, maybe if I have to, like, run away so he can't get the gun or something? Like, I don't know. Here, Freddy, 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 Freddy. Okay, he's just stuck there. That makes it impossible for me to get the, the gun. Because he just gets me every time. Maybe if I go behind him. That is a definite game glitch. Sorry to say, guys. Oh, I got it. Okay, now let's take Freddy down. Sorry, Freddy, but you've been a very naughty kindergartner. Time out for you, Robo. Robo Freddy. Come over here. Oh, he's stuck on the tree. That's the thing about, you know, being in kindergarten. Sometimes you just don't understand how things work yet. Like when you walk into a tree and get caught in the branches. And now Robot Freddy has to go bye-bye. Maybe he's not thinking straight, Molly, because he's got a pencil in his brain. Well, that could be. I mean, really, the pencil in your brain is, you know, definitely a bad thing. Molly, I hate to break it to you, but this is not the end of the game. What? It's not the end of the game. Are you serious right now? Totally. One eternity later. One eternity later. Time for your night-night, little boy. <laughs> find all the buttons. Yeah, find four buttons, Molly. We have to go through this maze and try to g get them all. First, we have to go through this lava. Be careful. Don't touch it. You'll be a goner. Maybe this means we'll be able to leave. I don't know. I feel like we're going to be stuck in kindergarten forever. Yeah, I thought I just saw a button. Hmm. Yeah, there's one. Okay, I press that button. Where are the rest of the buttons? Buttons, where are the rest of the buttons? Over here, Molly. I can help you. Aw, thank you, Daisy. There's one um down there, like, right near you. I know that's not very good directions. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, I've got two of four. I don't know where the other ones are, guys. I'm still looking. I think find four buttons. Well, there's got to be two more around here somewhere. Unless they never want us to leave kindergarten. And this is definitely hard. I can't find my any of the buttons or what I'm supposed to be doing here. Oh, I found another one. Hooray! Daisy, why are you standing there? That's creepy. I'm trying to show you where the fourth button is. Duh! <laughs> O-M-G. There it is. Pushed it. Now what? Now we get out of here and leave kindergarten in the dust. Seriously, that was the end? That was the end. Give me an award. Yes, give me the award. I love the award. Hooray, Molly, we did it. Hey, guys. Wait, where'd you go, Daisy? I'm jumping into the outer space of the world. The outer space of the world. Daisy, did what? <laughs> I don't know. Don't ask me. I've got sugar brain from eating that cupcake. Hey, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and slam that like button, guys. Don't forget that, too. And we'll see you next time. Bye. Hey, guys. What's up? Welcome to my channel. Guys, today I'm playing How Far Can You Slap with Molly, which... You know, it just makes sense because when your sister's annoying you, this is definitely the game to play. Hey, what, what are you trying to say? Well, I'm just saying, like, you know, you're annoying me a little bit, so I want to see how far I can slap you in this game. Hey, rude! <laughs> oh, this is kind of funny, though, isn't it? Speak for yourself. I don't think this is funny at all. <laughs> Look at your hand, Molly. You have a slap hand, too. And I'm going to... How do I slap somebody? All right, wait. I think it's it's this button. We actually slap a noob. Oh, whoa. Why are we so tall? I don't know. I guess I guess this game just made us much taller. All right, let's go over here and see what we can... Uh, we can slap anyone? What? No, you don't want to just slap anyone. It's Huggy Wuggy. Okay, I'm sorry. I have to slap you, Huggy Wuggy. <laughs> but first, I got to practice on this noob. Oh, man. All right, guys. Let's see if I can slap him, like, even farther. So far, I got it to, like, uh, 251 studs. Let's see if I can get even farther. Nope, 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 nope. Come on! Go, noob! Get going! <laughs> I just paid 10 Robux so that I could do this. Come here, Daisy. I, I want to I wanna smack you. Molly, you better not! Okay, wait. I don't know how to smack you yet. I, I just, I paid the money, but now I don't know how. Maybe if I click on Daisy. Let's see. No, 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 no. That didn't work. Maybe I just got to get close enough to her and click slap. Oh, it's still clack. It's still slapping the noob. All right, guys. I just figured out how to slap Daisy. Watch this. Star Squad Daisy. And oh, wait, I have to pay ten dollars every single time. Oh my gosh. Well, um, that's kind of expensive. But all right, I'm I'm gonna do it, guys. Here we go. It says now I can slap Daisy. Molly, I can't believe you paid for that. That's so rude. Oh, <laughs> wait a minute. It didn't turn into Daisy. All right, I'm so confused by this right now. Come here, Molly. I'll teach you how to slap me. I can't believe I'm saying this right now. 
<laughs> oh, okay, wait. Um, all right, I just picked Daisy in the morph station. I can't believe I had to show my own sister how to play this game when she slaps me. This is just ridiculous. Oh, what? <gasps> she just slapped me! Daisy! <laughs> That's what you get, Molly. Oh, I just slapped Daisy. <laughs> yeah, take that for being an annoying sister. Oh, yeah, we'll take that for being an annoying sister. And that, and that, and hi! This game is ridiculous, but kind of soothing after I've been dealing with my annoying sister all day long. Whoa, Daisy. <laughs> Rude. All right, um, I, I don't think I'll ever get sick of this. Like, ever. Look at my giant slap hand. <laughs> That's amazing. And smack! Ooh, mega hand, admin hand. How much is this? 129 Robux. Um, guys, I totally need this. Oopsie, I didn't mean to do that. I, I accidentally just slapped Daisy at the same time I was buying this. That's talented. Yes, I did just spend <laughs> 129 Robux. Daisy, look at my hand. I can't even walk with it right now. This is ridiculous. But watch, I'm gonna slap you into the next stratosphere. Holy guacamole, Molly. <laughs> Oh, that is hilarious. Look at that. Look at my hand. Hi, Daisy. Nice to meet you. I'm not going to shake your hand. It'll probably crush me. Hi. Hi, I'm Molly. Nice to meet you. Ah! Oh, my gosh, Molly. You just made that play or leave the game. <laughs> I think that's hilarious. She was scared of my mega hand. Mega hand. All right, I want to go get a shiny egg or a bronze egg or something. Oh, I need Robux for that. Ooh, coins. How many coins do I have? 12,000. Can I just get this brown poo-poo egg? No, I can't even get a brown poo-poo egg. Ugh, this is the worst. 89 Robux. Yeah, why not? I've already spent so much money right now. Um, at the same time, I just slapped Daisy because I pushed the wrong button. Whoops. All right, let's hatch this. Look at the crab. Oh my gosh. That's so cute. I want that. All right, my shiny egg, guys. A monkey? <gasps> I just got a rare pet on how far can I slap, guys? This is exciting. Daisy, you have no pet, and I have a giant hand, too, so I, I think I'm winning. You got a pet, Molly? Yeah, I got a pet monkey. I don't know what I'm going to name it, though, but look at it. Wait, where's its face? Oh, there it is. Oh, my gosh. At first, my monkey didn't have a face. That was kind of creepy. All right, let's um slap Daisy some more. That'll be fun. <laughs> See ya, Daisy! Okay, keep slapping. The more you slap, the better you do, and the more coins you earn. See, guys? Sl slapping is never okay in real life. Slapping in Roblox makes you a lot of money, though. <laughs> Can you stop beating me up, Daisy? Never, Molly, never. This game is all about slapping you. Oh, man. When I slap you, your legs, like, get all crazy and wonky. Watch your legs. You're like, whoa, in your neck, sometimes in your head. This kid's just slapping me, like, so hard. I know. Whoops, sorry. Not really sorry, though. All right, maybe we should slap another player now. Let's see, does an Omega Kitty? Ooh, cook this kicky person. Maybe they, they need to get a slap. Get a slap down. <laughs> Daisy, you don't have a pet? Wow, that's lame. Well, Molly, I didn't spend a million Robux on this game like you. I bet you're going to regret that. Never! This game is so fun! Hiya! <laughs> I'm going to be able to get a new pet soon or maybe a boost or something, guys. I'm going to go see if I can get any boosts once I get to, like, 20,000, which... I just got to slap Daisy, you know, one more, one or more, 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 two more times, somewhere in there. Can't even talk. I'm so excited about slapping you. Oh, Daisy. One more slap. One more slap. Ooh, Daisy got a pet. What did Daisy get? <gasps> did she get the crab that I wanted? Oh my gosh. It's cute. And I still have the mega hand. The super mega hand. Um, morphs, uh, extra power. How do I get like more boosts? Oh, okay. This costs money. Um, speed. I don't need to go faster. Everything costs Robux in this game, just so you know. Ooh, can we collect all these coins with our mega hand? Let's go try. Oh, you gotta, oh my gosh, everything costs so much money! I already gave you so much money. How much more money do you want? All right, I have 20,000 coins though, so I'm just wondering if I can get the bronze egg now. Um, all right, let's hatch it. See what other animal I get. What I get? Oh, a cat! I have a cat and a monkey. I want another one. I want ooh, a turtle. Oh my god, that would be amazing. Guys, I love these pets on here. I got a cow! Oh, I got two. One rare, one common, and one un uncommon. Can I, like, make all of these follow me? Oh no, I can only have one at once. Well, I'm gonna stick with the monkey then. Oh, I wish I could have all of my pets following me. That would be amazing. Alright, let's slap Daisy around some more. 
Oh, nice, Molly. Look at all my cute pets. <laughs> Ow, Daisy, that hurt. <laughs> See you later, Molly. <laughs> Whoa, harsh, Daisy. You are so harsh. Daisy, you don't have the mega hand. I'll get it, Molly. Don't you worry. The mega hand is coming. Nah, it'll take you forever to get the mega hand. Whoa, Daisy. Daisy's getting slapped. Daisy's getting slapped. All right, let's pick one other person that we want to slap. How about this Abby girl? She looks so nice that that means I have to slap her. Whoa, Molly, you're getting ridiculous right now. No, but I want to... Oh, wait. Okay, that doesn't even look like somebody. Okay, let's try someone else. Noob Bounty Hunter. Oh, yeah, I'll pay 10 Robux to slap you. <laughs> this game's so weird. Guys, I still have 221 Robux, so I haven't spent all of my money in this game. It's probably a good thing. All right, let's go morph into it and slap him, okay? All right, noob bounty hunter. Here we go. I'm gonna slap you. There he is, guys! Boing! <laughs> I feel like he's not even watching, which I want him to see me slap him! Oh, look at Lexi. Maybe I should pay money to slap her next. Molly, I think you're getting a little crazy about the slapping right now. Hiya! <laughs> oh, yeah, look at Lexi. She's like, oh, look, I'm so sweet and innocent. But I'm still gonna have to give you this slap. I'm sorry. Lexi, prepare to get slapped. Oh, she's so pretty, too. Needs a valid user ID. How about this one? Oh, it won't let me slap her. Are you serious? It won't let me slap her. That's not fair. She she deserves to get slapped. Molly, you don't even know her. How are you gonna slap someone you don't know? Well, I do know you, so I guess I should morph back and, and slap you some more. I think... I think this video is over. Um, no, I don't think it's ever over. I think, I think slapping everyone is so much fun on Roblox. Ay, ay, ay. I could tell that this game was not a good one to play with my sister. <laughs> Guys, let us know in the comment section below if you've played this game and how far you've slapped someone before. I don't know if we should tell them that, Molly. They might tell us they've slapped somebody to like the moon and back. <laughs> hey guys, thanks so much for watching me slap Molly. It was really fun. Well, I'm the one with the super mega hand, so I'm better at slapping than you. Okay, Molly, whatever you say. Guys, we'll see you in our next video. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye! Hey, guys. Welcome to my house. Hey, Timmy. This is my mom. Hey, Mom. <laughs> I mean, Timmy's mom, anyway. Molly, don't be rude. I'm not. I said hi. Hey, kids. It's so nice to meet you. Hi, don't mind my sister. She farts a lot. Daisy, rude! Go ahead and take a look around. Get cozy. Can I jump on your coffee table if I'm collecting coins? <laughs> ay, ay, ay. She's something else, isn't she? I can't believe she's even my sister sometimes, Timmy. Ooh, there's coins in the drawers. Molly, you don't open the drawer at people's houses. Oh, that one didn't have anything in it. Boring. Wow, there's so many coins just laying around here. I'm going to collect all of them. Okay, Molly, well... You're probably going to be the rudest house guest ever. Guys, guess what? What, Timmy? What is it? Let's go play in my backyard before it gets dark. Okay, well, I collected all these coins. Do you want them back? No, you can keep them. Wow, thanks. Come on, guys. Let's go. We can all go in the backyard. It'll be so much fun. All right, I'm just going to chill right here. Uh, if your mom could make some cupcakes, that'd be great. But Molly, there's a playground. Uh-huh. Oh, look at your little dog. Your dog's name is Winston. Oh. <gasps> He's so cute. Is he friendly? Ah, he's trying to bite me. Ah! Molly, come on. Let's play in the seesaw. Stay away from his chihuahua. He seems like he'd be in a bad mood. Why? Because he just does, okay? He doesn't want people out here enjoying when he's enjoying his peace and quiet time. You mean pooping in the yard? <laughs> ay, yeah, yeah, Molly. You're being ridiculous. Well, that's what dogs do. They poo-poo in the yard. It's true. Molly, um... Uh, so we have one more second and then we have to go inside. What were you talking about? Kids, come inside. I made dinner for everyone. See, told you, Molly. We're coming, Mom. All right, I have to get off of this thing. Oh, Daisy, you left me up in the air. That's what I don't, I don't like about the seesaw. It's like you can get left up in the air. Then what are you supposed to do? Ooh, pizza? Wow, can I live here? Mm, delicious. Hey, quit jumping on the pizza! What's wrong with you? Ruining a perfectly good pizza with your shoes on it? Ew. It's getting pretty late, you guys. I think it's time for bed. Okay, but seriously, can I live here? Because you guys have pizza all the time, and it smells so delicious, and it's the best pizza I've ever had. Okay, Mom, we're all going to bed now. Oh, wait, here's the stairs. Okay. Whoa, it's super dark in here. It's kind of creepy. I think I might change my mind. 
I need a nightlight. I want to go home. I want my teddy bear. Molly, don't be ridiculous. Just go under the top bunk like you do at home and go to sleep. Okay, I'll try. I'll try, but what if I have a nightmare? What if I have a nightmare? Molly, come on. Go to sleep already. Sleep good and don't let the bed bugs bite. Wait, you have bugs here? Ew, gross, like cockroaches? Ew! 3 a.m. Bum, bum, bum! I can't sleep. Are you guys still up? Jeepers, Timmy, it's 3 o'clock in the morning. I wasn't until you said something. Yeah, we're all awake now, Timmy. Yeah, way to go, Timmy. Uh, did my TV just turn, turn on? What? Oh my gosh, it did. Did you guys hear that? Uh, I heard something creepy. What? What's going on? I don't know. Maybe you just have a short circuit. It's an incoming call. Ah! It's from a a, a pig, and we're getting sucked into the to the to the. I don't know. What do we get sucked into? The TV, Daisy Doll. Are you even paying attention to this story? Yes, Molly. I am paying attention. Wait. What the? Hey, who's this guy? Hey, you can't just wake people up at 3 o'clock in the morning. That's weird. Wait, is that John Pork? Oh, my gosh. John Pork, seriously, is that you? He's not answering, Molly. He's a pig. No way. It is John Pork. Look at him. It looks just like John Pork. Okay, yeah, but he's a pig. He can't speak English. This is not cool, guys. I want to go home. But it's John Pork. It's John Pork. It's John Pork. Pork, 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 pork. No way, dude. Let's stay here for a while. Molly, can you stop saying pork, 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 pork? We have no mom to boss us around. Yeah, you shouldn't boss me around either. I can say pork, 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 pork if I want. Right, John? John, say something. Come on. I know you want to. What's wrong with John? Um, I don't know, but hey, Timmy, quit turning the lights on and off. It's not me. I wasn't doing it. What's going on? I don't know, but maybe he's right. Maybe we should leave. Oh, my God! John Pork is possessed. Big time, Daisy. Did you see his demon eyes? He wants to kill us all. Look at him down there. He is evil. Stay away from John Pork. Stay far away from John Pork. Molly, could you stop saying John Pork? No, John Pork. John Pork, John Pork, John Pork, John Pork, John Pork, John Pork. John Pork. Ah, John Pork's got a knife. John Pork. Why are you doing this to me? Oh, he's chasing Daisy now. Ah! No, he's right behind me. God, this guy can teleport. It's crazy. Well, yeah, Molly. He's an evil demon pig. Of course he can. Holy guacamole. Now he's after Daisy. He just keeps reappearing. He took down a bunch of my life, too. Stop it! Timmy's just standing there. Of course he is. No one wants to get Timmy. Okay, I think John Pork has decided to not be crazy anymore. Guys, I think we're safe now. Well, you were safe all along. All you did was stand there, Timmy. We need to find a way out of here. Thanks, Captain Obvious. I hadn't thought of that yet. Buddy, look up there. We could go through the roof. Well, that seems like an epically bad idea. No, there's a zip line. Let's go. Yeah, she's right. There's a zip line. Come on. Well, come on, the last one. I don't want to be the last one. The last one always dies because that's where John Pork is. Right behind you, always. Bum, bum, bum. Okay, Timmy's last good. Molly, we have to be careful. I know, I know. I'll be fine. Okay, I gotta put my bat away so I can use the zip line. Timmy? Timmy? Timmy is afraid to come up on here. Let's get out of here. You're not here, Timmy. All right, I guess we'll just use the, the zip line by ourselves. I'll see you guys on the other side. Um, okay. Whee! <laughs> this is super fun. Ooh, we're gonna get coins, too. Oh, no, I don't think you do. You have to, like, sacrifice your life to get a coin. No, thank you. Whoa, what's happened here in the city? Daisy, this doesn't look right. But there's Timmy. Hmm, and he didn't even use the zip line. Weird. That was fun! But you didn't use the zip line! Okay, glitch in the story. Looks like we can escape over there. Let's go! Uh-oh! John poor clones! Bam, bam, bam! Hey, quit it! Quit it, my sister! She might be annoying, but she's still my sister, crazy John Pork clone. Nice work, guys. Yeah, not that you helped at all, Timmy. You're just standing there looking out over the abyss like, oh. Let's keep moving. Molly, the bridge just fell apart. Oh, no, this is where I lose all my Robux. <sighs> Great, we have to get across. Is it timed? I hope not, because that's when I do really bad. I don't think it's timed, though. Yes! We made it. Oh, the timer started now. 
Well, we beat that timer, Timmy. What do you think of that? Huh, huh, huh? John Pork story. Dun, dun, dun. It looks like there's mountains blocking us. Um, and also, uh, there's something crazy going on below us, too. There's an elevator we can use. Get on, everyone. I think we're already on this elevator. I don't know if I trust it, though. Watch out for those obstacles. They look like they hurt. Obstacles? Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, my gosh. I don't, I don't really like this elevator. I think it's kind of crazy town. Come over here, Molly. It seems the safest next to me. Uh, it seems like there's lava no matter where you go. What? Timmy, Timmy's having a problem. Okay, this is the strangest elevator I've ever been on. What's this all about, anyway? Oh, boy, there's some lava. Yep, Daisy, don't get into that lava. You'll die. I don't, Molly. I'm doing my best. I'm just trying to avoid everything. Yeah, but the lava keeps rising. Okay, I don't, I don't really understand here. Stay on the elevator and watch for obstacles. Over here, Molly! This is the best place to be. Okay, did we make it? I, I think we did. Look at Timmy. He's just floating in the, in the sky. Nothing can hurt Timmy. He's invincible. Okay, now the elevator works, except for my sister's head is stuck. Oh my gosh. Daisy, don't die. I can't live without you in this game, Daisy. John Pork, he'll get me. Molly, I'm fine. I'm right here. John Pork's lair. Dun, dun, dun. Whoa, we made it across. Oh, boy. Um, There's lots of tombs here. Probably a bad idea. I'm going down. Molly, no. But I wonder what's down there. Come on, let's go look. Whoa, it's like an abyss. There's only one way to find out. You guys go first. Yeah, I thought you were going to say that. Okay, well, let us go. Oh, it's like Survivor in here. Holy guacamole. Okay, yeah, I see this. Epic shot, epic shot, epic shot. What? Get safely across to the other side. Well, uh, in 29 seconds. Uh oh, Daisy. This is where I lose my Robux. You can do this, Molly. I have faith in you. Thanks, Daisy. I hope you're right. Oh my god. No! Don't kill me, please. Oh god. I just got taken out. That was bad. And I died again. Ooh. How many times can I die? Oh my gosh. I died. All right, I gotta revive myself. 35 Robux. Are you kidding me? Just kidding. I have to do it, guys. I have to. Oh, I made it to the other side. Isn't that convenient? <laughs> oh, Buado Mali. I'm gonna go collect these coins before you guys can. Come on, it's time to go. Great job, guys. Thanks, Timmy. Mr. I don't do anything. Looks like this is the exit. Let's go. Guys, I'm already going. Hmm, but which way is the way? Boulders on? Wait, what? Someone has to turn that machine off. I guess it's gonna be me since I'm already rolling up this hill. I'm rolling up this hill, trying not to die. With no promises. Okay, um, I'm gonna turn it off, guys. I'm gonna turn it off. Done so. Come on, guys. This is the way. No kidding. I was already up here. Oh, wow. Look at this. I'm ahead of everyone else. I love that. Oh, my gosh. This is going to be the epic boss battle with John Pork. I just know it. Where do you think you're going? <laughs> I knew you talked. Why are you doing this, John Pork? Seriously. Because you kids deserve it. No, we don't. Let us go, John. Yeah, John Pork, you psycho. You want to leave? You're going to have to get past me. <laughs> Quit snorting. It's gross. Uh-oh, get up on this block before the lava kills you. It's rising. Is Timmy okay? Yeah, he's always okay. Timmy's invincible. He's like a cat. He's nine lives. All right, time to put the smack down on John Pork. Watch out for that lava. Oh, boy. Wait, what? Did he just send out pork minions? Little porkers? Take him down. Take him down. Uh-oh, time to get up on the block. Oh, he died in the lava. You killed your own little piglet. That's just wrong, John Pork. Wrong. Time to put the smack down on your kneecaps, John Pork. Trying to stomp on us. He's rude. Where's his life? I mean, I need to know. Defeat evil John Pork. Oh, here comes a pork minion. Oh, Dizzy's got one of her own. Attack him. He's dizzy. Dizzy, 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 John Pork. Dizzy, 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 John Pork. I Ooh. might make you into some famous now that you're dead. No. <laughs> we did it! Yay, Molly! Did someone say bacon that's making me hungry? <laughs> Does this mean we get to go home? And also, I like scrambled eggs with my bacon! I think so! Timmy, you're clueless, okay? I'm sorry, but you really are. I think you need to go back to school and... Wait, what's that? Um, it's an incoming call. Oh, no. Don't tell me it's from... John Pork! John is calling.
calling. Well, I mean, it's kind of rude to not answer. Molly, don't answer it! I'm answering it. I'm answering it. Hello? This is Molly. How can I help you? John, be there. Jen Pork. Whoa! Where are we going? You chose to answer it, you crazy woman! <laughs> Thank you for answering my call. You brought me back to life. Wait, what? No, that can't be right. Now you will all be my prisoners. <laughs> Well, I don't think so, because, like, you know, we can just go right under those bars. We're small enough, right? What have you done? Well, you can be a prisoner here if you want, Timmy, but we're not. Hey, we got the bad ending! Oh, that's cool. Dun, dun, dun! John Poor. <laughs> To our channel today daisy and i are playing a new kind of obby it's an obby where you can't stop but there is safe zones i'm not really sure where they are but i know there's safe zones so let's go check it out and see oh hint you are safe on checkered platforms so if you stop right here i don't know that one didn't work but in theory if you stop you will die oh um she the pressure's on molly the pressure's on Okay, um, I'm stopping. Okay, yeah. Okay, you can stop for one second. If you stop for more than one second, bzz, you're out of here. You can only stop on the checkered, which is good because I'm going to just keep running. If I keep running, I'll be safe. I don't know, Maddie. I bet this obby's going to get hotter as it goes. We should try 10 minutes on the clock and see how um far we could get. Let's see if we can get all the way done. I bet I can. I don't know about you, Daisy. I'm already ahead of you by a lot. Well, that's just because I was explaining to the viewers what we were going to do. You will have less time to stop in each zone. Um, okay, uh-oh. I didn't stop. I just died there. <laughs> I already did this part, though. What? Why is it making me do it again? Daisy, are you waiting for me? Not a chance, Maddie. I need to get as far as I can in the ten minutes, of course. Ah, oh, man, I just ran into a laser. At least you can stop on the checkered spots because your brain would melt if you couldn't. I don't think you can even stop on the ladders. You just gotta go, 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 go! I have not played an obby before where you're not allowed to stop, so this is gonna be a little bit challenging. You can do it, Molly. Come on, you got this, girl. You're right. I just went faster than you. That's just because I waited for you, Molly. I don't have to wait for you. Why'd you beat me? I went right down the middle, duh. Boing, boing, boing. Don't stop. Oh my god, don't stop. Just keep bouncing. Keep bouncing. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whee! OMG, Daisy, I'm beating you. OMG, Daisy, I'm winning. OMG, Daisy, don't you wish you could be as cool as me? Molly, I am cool. In my own way. Uh-huh. Yep, I know. Molly, you keep making all these funny noises. You're like, woo, yay, blah. I know, I do that when I get nervous, because, like, just, just don't stop. Never surrender, you can do anything. Never give up and never surrender, you can do anything. Dizzy, how come I'm winning? I don't know. You're just lucky today, I guess. I guess. Maybe it's just because I'm like under pressure. I do better under pressure. Like, oh, don't stop moving. Don't you dare stop moving. Up the ladder I go to win this game. Whoa, whoa. Boing, boing. Whoa. Oh, oh, oh. After that one, I did need kind of a break. That was crazy town. Yay! Okay, Daisy, I really am beating you by like a long shot. I know, I know, but not anymore. You just died. You sound so happy about that. Look, oh, she's not winning anymore. Yay! Ooh. Come on, Daisy, let's go. Cheaper, slow poke. Uh, not every obby I'm good at, Molly. You're good at every obby. What is wrong with you right now? You seem distracted or something. Ah, uh, yeah, maybe. I'm busy thinking about lunch. Whoa, you sound like me all of a sudden. <laughs> that's something I would do. Okay, I haven't stopped at all, except for on the checkered platform, so that's my goal, It's just don't stop. Don't stop, don't stop. Oh, and then I died again. Oh, that's so annoying. Oh, and then I walked off the edge. I haven't played an obby like this before. But it's definitely challenging. Guys, slam the like button if you think you could be good at this obby. I'd love to know what you think in the comment section below about it. Usually I play a different type of obby. I don't just play these type, but I was really excited because this one just seemed really cool and interesting. Ooh. Oh, man, I just tried to turn my camera a little bit and I died that quickly, guys. 
it was that quick. It's, it, this part's hard because, oh my God. <laughs> Daisy. Oh, Daisy, 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 you died. I noticed. Yeah, if you, if you look like from overhead, Daisy, I think it makes it easier. Ooh. Oh, wait, what? Oh man, I must have touched the, um, the laser at the top, even though I didn't mean to. Whoopsie. Maddie, what's the time? We've been playing for six minutes. So far, we Ooh. are not even a quarter of the way there. Oh my God, we're never gonna complete this obby in time. It's okay, Molly, at least we tried, right? That's right, let's see if we can make it halfway in 10 minutes. And then let's go eat lunch. Boing, 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 boing. Ah! It's okay, Molly, don't freak out, you got this. I believe in you, Molly. No, don't sing to me, Daisy, Ooh. don't sing to me. I believe in you, Molly. My ears are bleeding. Stop it. Boing, 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 boing. Oh! <laughs> fell to my death. Fell to my death. A few hours later. Woohoo! Zone complete. Finally. Here, here, here. Ooh. Oh, boy. What? I'm trying so hard. Try harder and you might fail. But relax and it might go better for you, Molly. Oh, I can't. I'm stressing about it. I can't help myself. Molly, deep breaths. It's just a Roblox game. Everything's gonna be fine. Well, okay. I took a deep breath. Now what? Relax. <laughs> Have fun. No more dying, please. Ooh. Oh, and then you land right on a laser at the bottom. Boing, boing, boing. Ooh. Oh, I actually have to move at this? It won't just move it for you? Well, that's kind of stinky. Finally. Whew. That one was hard. Boing, boing. Boing, boing. Beat you, Daisy! <laughs> and up the ladder! This is all right. Have a break. No, no time for breaks. We must win this obby. Oh, look it! Yeah, they gave us a break at the spot, so you can stop, Daisy. Look it. You can just stand here if you want. I don't want to, though, Molly. Okay, well, then don't take your much-needed break. See if I care. Whoa! Look what happens when I don't take my break. What? Oh, yeah. See you later, Daisy. Is it just going to bug you so much if I win? Uh, yes. I don't like when you win, Abby's. Ha, 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 ha. Well, there's always a first for everything. Not this time, Molly. You're behind me again. My sister is so competitive. So are you, Molly. You're talking about how you're going to beat me at this game. Yeah, my sister and I try to beat each other at every Abby. Smushy, smushy, smushy. Foil is slippery. It doesn't feel slippery. I guess a little bit. Oh, ho, ho. I got to the very end and then I fell off. Oh, don't hit those lasers, please. Don't hit those lasers. Ha ha ha. That time I made it. Ugh, that part was hard. Where am I? Where am I right now? Like in outer space or something? It's like... Looks like another dimension or something. Whoa! Ah, I keep doing the same thing over and over again. Oh, that's insanity. It's insanity, Daisy. What are these supposed to be? Like sponges or something? I don't know. They look really weird. You, uh, Molly, when you stand on those, they fall. Oh, whoa, good thing I was moving so fast because I didn't even notice that. Yes, 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 wee! Uh, okay, where's my sister? I don't know what she's doing down there, but she must have fallen back down to another, like, round or something. Another, like, another part of the game. Ha, 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 ha. Okay, Daisy, well, now it's my turn to beat you at this game. You could never beat me at an abbey ever, Molly. Ooh. Oh, come on with the lasers, people. Just, just get away from me, lasers. Get away from me! Oh, right at the end, too. Boing, boing, boing. Yes, finally! You guys ever have a really hard part of the game and then, like, you just keep working at it, working at it, maybe for days, even. Then finally you get it and you're just like, oh, thank goodness. Yeah, that just happened to me right now. Oh, <laughs> yep. Ah! Woohoo! Okay, this part seems really hard. What am I supposed to do here? Step here. Pause. Step here, and you die. <laughs> oh, Daisy's head of me again. No fair. It's fair, Molly. Whoa. Whee! I did it! Yes! Oh, boy. What's this all about? You can't jump over this. This is insane. Insane in the membrane! Insane in the brain! There goes Daisy. Daisy died. Daisy didn't make it. That part's really hard, Daisy. I'm going to just tell you right now. One eternity later. Oh, wait, there we are. Oh my god, we're almost to orange. 
Let's see if we can make it to orange, because I want to see what orange is like. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. You got this, Molly. Good job. Thank you. Oh, don't stop. Don't stop. Oh, it's like a maze. It's amazing if I can figure this out is what it is. One wrong move, guys, or one stop, and I am donezo. Phew. That was hard. Phew. Just need a little bit of breather there. And then I'll move on to this difficult part. Whoa. Whoa, oh my god, I was gonna go over there to the lighted squares. That would have been a super bad idea. Wah! <laughs> boing, 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 boing. Let's see how Daisy's doing. Daisy is non-existent. Oh, there she is, <laughs> jumping up around. You making it, Daisy? You okay down there? I'm trying, Maddie. Making it to the orange is much more difficult than it looks. That's true. Uh, all right, I'm in a safe zone, so ooh, I think we just made it to orange. Or at least I did. I don't know about Daisy. Wee! Bum 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 bum! Da -da! All right, guys, it took me 15 minutes to make it all the way to the orange zone. This brick will make you go high in the sky, so give it a try. Whoa! <laughs> oh my gosh, this is a good place to stop today, guys. Um, because this game goes on forever and we'll be here for six years. But you should know that if you play the obby where you can't stop, it literally does kill you if you stop after like one millisecond. I think we did good, Molly, but we still have orange, yellow, green, light blue, peewee winkle, purple, pink, white, and black. So if it took us 13 minutes to do um, this one, actually, Molly, it took us 13 minutes to do two of them. Okay, so if it takes us, well, there's 11 of them, divided by two is five and a half times 13. Um, it, it'll take us uh, like two hours or something. It'll actually take us 71 and a half minutes, Molly. Ah, you're so good at math. That's so annoying. <laughs> hey, guys, thanks so much for watching. We'll see you in our next video. Bye. Bye, guys. Probably you. Everybody knows you're amazing at Roblox. Oh, look at this little baby. OMG 26834 is one of the ones that are it. And um, they're an adorable little baby. That's what they're going to do if they don't catch everybody. Ooh, classic mode. I like classic mode. I mean, I like infect mode too. I have no idea what candy mode is. If you guys know what candy mode is in this game, let me know in the comment section below this video. <laughs> Um, because I have no idea. Wait a minute. Was that not the seeker that we selected before with the little baby? Because now it's saying, how many seekers do you want? And I guess two seekers is going to be what it is, guys. And maybe the baby was the last round because, or I'm confused. I think maybe they were even the winners. Oh, really? Um, I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing right now. I'm just, I'm just existing. <laughs> oh, boy. Look, there's nobody in that cyclone. They got blown away. There's no one in there. <laughs> All right, where are we hiding? Um, I'm picking the kitchen. Kitchen looks the easiest to escape um, whoever's it. Ah! I need to hide near a rainbow, guys. Um, and I accidentally just hit my head on that, so that didn't work. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, I'm doing really bad so far. I'm trying to jump up on here. Whoa, 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 whoa. Why can't I get up there? Okay. Uh, uh, it was much harder than it looked. All right, now the seekers could not see me. Because, oh god, here comes a seeker. Oh boy. Oh boy. She can't see me though because I'm on rainbow. But guess what? The color's about to change, guys, right about now. Now it's saying I need to hide near blue. I forgot I'm not tall enough to get over there. Ooh, a coin. I'll take that. Let's see if I can find some blue. Oh god, I just fell. Well, that changes things. Holy macaroni. <laughs> Oh, okay, I gotta go back and do that again. Oh god, there's a secret right there! Alright, I'm on blue. Whew, that was scary. I don't know where Daisy is. I'm over here, Molly, just surviving. Oh, 
I've made it so far and I, I only have to make it like two more minutes and then hopefully I can win this round, which would make me so happy. All right, do you guys see anybody? I don't, I don't see anybody. Holy macaroni. All right, my color's about to change, guys. What's it gonna be next? I don't even know. Hide near a rainbow again? Well, I see a rainbow right over here. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna hide like right next to it. It's like, it's like a big pot of rice. Mmm, that's making me hungry. Daisy, where are you? I'm on the center island, right across from you, Molly. And my color is rainbow too. Awesome. Boy, I need to hide near red. All right, um, first I should collect some coins, right? If you want to get caught, you'll just run, Molly. I mean, you just not, not run right now. But if you don't want to get caught, you won't worry about the coins. You'll just go find the red color. Um, okay, that's apparently white, even though there's red on it. I guess that doesn't count. So, um, uh, uh, I, I can be seen, but I'm way up here. So I'm not sure that they'll be able to find me. I, I'm not hiding near red, but I'm just going to stay here and hope for the best. Hiding fail, fails. Seeker will be able to see you. Uh-oh. Is that, oh, there's no countdown unless you hide near that. Oh, boy. Oh, there's a Seeker right there. Oh, my God, guys. I gotta run. I gotta run so fast. Run like the wind. I uh, can this be red? Okay, red. Uh-oh. Did he see me? He's running right behind me. Ah! He ran right by me and he didn't even see me. Oh, there's Daisy. Can you guys see Daisy in the distance? He saw you, Daisy. Oh, my God. Make a break for it, girl. Make a break for it. He's coming right at you. <laughs> oh, I don't think he saw you, Daisy. Uh, This guy is obviously not paying attention because I ran right in front of him and he didn't even see me. <laughs> oh, I'm Chi. You need to hide near the color of black, but we only have... Uh, three seconds remaining, so I'm just gonna collect this coin and call it a win. Oh, yeah! Okay, guys, it looks like we're doing classic mode again. I'm gonna pick two seekers because it does, it's very hard if you only have one seeker. It's almost impossible if you only have one seeker. Exactly, it really is. Who's gonna be it? Not me. Actually, I don't mind if I'm it. I don't really like being it. I like being the one that hides, actually. Is it gonna be? Oh boy, not me, not me, not me, not me. I don't like to be it. Okay, good. I'm not it. Me either, Molly, but I don't mind being it. I kind of wanted to be it. Uh, let's pick the school. Ooh, everyone else is thinking the same thing as me. <gasps> school, school, school. Let's see if school wins. You can pay for it. If you have 10 Robux, you can just decide by paying for it. But uh, unfortunately, I don't have 10 Robux right now. <laughs> uh, so this is yellow. But it seems like a little too easy for me to hide on that. So I think I'm going to go up here in the pencils. Okay, it says hide near yellow. And I'm hiding near yellow, but I don't get it. I'm standing right on yellow. Why am I not blending in? Guys, this is a major problem I'm having right now. Um, It's not allowing me to hide near my color. So I don't really know what to do. Ow, I hit my <laughs> Don't do that. That's not good. Oh, maybe if I hide near this yellow? I don't know. Okay, there we go. Finally. Daisy, how are you doing? Good so far, Molly. Good so far. Whoop, my color just changed. Now I gotta go um, hide near the color blue. Let's see if we can find anything in this classroom that's blue. D like a bright blue, actually. Yeah, yeah. The seeker will be able to find you. I know. I'm doing my best. Look, at. I just found this... Um, this like science experiment over here. It's like a uh, a flask for science. Yeah, Molly, that's it. Uh, it might be a beaker or a container. Yeah, exactly. Well, I'm hiding on one of those. Where is everybody? Hiding, Molly. Can't you see them? Oh, wait, there's somebody there. There's someone there. Oh no! I got caught. Wait a minute. I lasted longer than Daisy. Holy <gasps> guacamole! I can't even believe it. Um, okay, now I need to find something green, but I don't know what. Let's go see if I can find something, guys. Um, I don't think there's anything up there. Only macaroni! This is harder than it looks. Ooh, okay, I blended in here, guys. Good thing. 
Wait, it's saying hide near this color. All right, there we go. Wait, that's not the right color. Ah! Well, it looked like the right color. It's gotta be this neon green, apparently. I'm just running around. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing right now. I'm just trying my best, but apparently I stink at finding this green color. <laughs> this green doesn't look right either. Ah! Well, good thing there's only a minute left, even though I'm, like, doing terrible at hiding at the one color. Um, maybe I could hide down there in that plant. That looks like the right color, doesn't it? I don't know. Oh, boy, Molly. You're really struggling on this one. I know, because where's all the bright greens? There's one. How do we get up there? I don't know. I'm just going to try to climb up the side. Boing, boing. Okay, it, it hit me. I don't know why. I'm touching the white. I'm not touching the bright green, but it hit me. <laughs> and now I just have to stay hidden for the next... Okay, guys, I'm going to run around the back. I feel like... I don't know. I just feel better hidden. Well, you're invisible right now. It doesn't matter where you are. I know, but I, I don't know. I just feel better hiding back here. Seven. Six. I'm staying here. To the end of the round, I'm staying here. Guys, I won two rounds in a row. I think that is amazing. Even Daisy didn't do that. Well, I tried. I need to hide near red. Nope. I'm not doing it. Gonna go collect some coins. Give me a rubble like that. <laughs> yes, I won! Daisy, I beat you at this game today. I know. I can't even believe it. Hey, guys. Thank you so much for watching. You guys are the most amazing fans in the world. Don't you think, Daisy? Uh, they really are. I love our fans more than anything. Aww. Me too. You guys are amazing. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And also, if you guys like this video, please hit the like button um, because it means so much to us. And you also can leave a comment in the comment section below. We read all of your comments, and you guys are such amazing fans. Okay, guys, we'll see you in our next video. Bye! Hey, guys, what's up? Today, Mia and Daisy are playing Silly Simon Says. Um, Molly, Simon Says, get to the top. Um, well, Simon needs to know I'm not that great at obbies. Oh, man, I'm getting points. This is so cool. All right, I've never played Silly Simon Says before. Ah, I just fell. Oh, man. All right, game over. What's this guy doing? He's dancing. Ah, he's just so excited, Molly. Simon Says, take over tiles. Take over tiles? What does that mean? It means put your face on as many tiles as you can. This is silly, Simon says, for sure. Can I go over daisies? No, you can't, Molly. Hey! What? Those were my tiles. This silly, Simon says, is kind of crazy. Oh, look, you can have a winner. Okay, round three. Simon says, prepare to eat what I say. Eat a taco. Eat a taco. Give me some tacos. All right, I don't see any tacos. Where's all the tacos? Wait, oh, no, I didn't mean to eat a fish. Oh, eat fish, he says. Eat fish, eat fish, eat fish, eat fish. Eat a donut. Ah, I didn't eat a donut. Ah, this is so hard. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Eat more donuts. Okay, um, we did not win, Daisy. Not even a little bit, Molly. And look at Simon. He's creepy looking. Stop on the sad faces. Oh, wait, there's a sad face. This is like whack-a-mole of Chuck E. Cheese. So many sad faces. Oh, I never win. The sweet bell bell one, two, three is amazing, and Simon says. Look at Simon, guys. <laughs> Simon. Final round. Jump over arm. What arm? Oh, that arm. Ow! I just got knocked down. <laughs> okay, that's kind of funny. Whoa, here comes the arm again. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm like bouncing so high. Oh, player two underscore game over was the winner. Good job. Okay, the overall winner is player two underscore game over. Why is that person doing crunches? Oh, Daisy, we totally lost. Maybe the next time. Simon says he'll be right back. He's taking a power nap. Maybe the next round we'll win, Molly. We're tied right now. That's awesome. I never tie you with anything, Daisy. Okay, I'm just getting the hang of the game. Give me a second, and I'm going to be beating you. Trust me. <laughs> Look at me. Oh, wait. I'm not worthy. Look at this move. I can I can buy that. Oh, I can buy, like, this levitating one. Oh, my God. These are so, so amazing. I believe I could fly. I want to buy all of those. I need so many silly faces, though. I've only got 60. I love that you can earn that with in-game points, though, rather than having to spend your Robux. Okay, Molly, enough talking. Let's play the next round. Okay, prepare to count one, a number of donuts. One, two, three, four, five, six, 
Seven donuts. Who knows? What else you got? Huh? 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 Number of bricks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm good at counting. The winner is Sweet Bell Bell. This girl is, is crazy. She's like, she knows Simon. She's one with Simon. Find the tails. Where are all the tails at? Where are all the tails? I see a tail. Give me your tail. I'm sorry I have to steal your tail, but... Oh, it turns into a pig. I love this Simon Says game. If you guys think this looks fun, slam that like button. I don't see any more tails. She won again. Sweet Belle Belle, can you just like leave the game for five minutes so I can win? <laughs> Find your shadow. Oh, there's... I see daisies. Wait, is that me? Yes, I found it. Dun, 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 dun. Player two, game over. Can you leave the game too? Because you're too good at Simon Says. Wait, why am I Why am I with astronauts? Don't stomp on me. Okay, I think I'm supposed to not stomp on them. Simon Says, don't stomp on me. Okay. Player two, how come you keep winning? He's so good at this, Molly. Okay, observe. Here we have lots of yummy tweets. Now I want you to stand on the banana. What banana? Oh, I didn't, I didn't memorize him. Uh-oh. Oh boy, Molly. The winner is none other than player two, game over. Oh, Daisy, we're stinky doo-doos again. Into my mouth. Um, okay, this doesn't seem like a little crazy or anything. Uh, yes! Ha <laughs> ha! I think I actually just did it. I feel like I did. Three, two, one, go! Oh no, I died on that one. What a big surprise. Player two, do you just do nothing but play Simon Says all day? So you become amazing at it? Ah, uh, he may, Molly, he may. <laughs> Avoid my heads. Do, 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 do. Ah, I got, I got lost a point. OMG. Hey, look, I'm doing pretty good, right? Vago, we're both doing terribly. <laughs> we are terrible at Silly Simon Says, but we're doing our best. Prepare to select person I say. Select a monkey. Select. Select Dio. Who's Dio? I like, I don't know who that is. Select a mummy. Bump. Got it. Um, uh, I don't even know what to say right now because I feel like such a loser. We haven't lost yet, Molly. Go in the spotlight. I'm in the spotlight and I'm jamming. I'm jamming. Look at me. I'm singing. I'm singing. I'm singing. <laughs> Look at me. I'm in the spotlight. I'm in the spotlight. Oh, come on. I should have won that one. I even sang a song. Don't get so mad, Molly. Just a game. Final round. Stop when I look. Ha ha ha! I'm doing so good right now. I couldn't even talk. What did I get? Yes, I think I just won! Oh my gosh, I think I actually won a round, Daisy. I'm not really sure, but I think so. Wait, it just killed me. Why did it do that? I, th I thought I made it. I thought I was the winner. It showed it showed that I was the winner. The winner? Oh my gosh, did you? Okay, I got third place. Daisy got second. All right, that's better than what we ever got before. True that, Molly. That's very true. I got 18, Daisy. What do you got right now? 18. <laughs> We're tied again. Cross the lava, Molly. Be careful, though. Um, I burned up in the lava. Does that count? Oh, boy, Molly. That's not good. Oh, my God. I got to jump on this stake. Then jump over here. And then jump on this noob. And then jump on this notebook. And then jump on this other Ooh. noob. And then I got... Ah! I, I died in the lava. And I feel so sad. And now I gotta jump on some cheese. And I died! Okay. Uh, this is not good. This is not good. Yo, figure Molly. Play O2-1 again. He's cheating. He's buying wins with Robux. I just know it. Freeze your clones. All right, clones. Time for you to freeze. I don't even... I don't even know what I'm doing right now. This is so weird. Oh, my god this is confusing holy guacamole okay i think i did pretty good because all of my clones are like missing nope molly not that good womp 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 always a loser make the longest rainbow look at me i'm gonna be a beautiful rainbow i'm gonna be a beautiful rainbow being a rainbow but i didn't win it's okay molly if you didn't win copy my moves you wait for it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, let's copy the next one. Split C's. Oh, yeah. Doing some crazy gymnastics or yoga or something. Excuse me, I'm jumping, guys. Oh, now we're going to do more than one move. Um, I kind of wasn't paying attention. Uh, uh, uh. Bum, bum. Uh, I didn't pay attention to the last move. Whoopsie. Win some, lose some, he said. Final round. Bum, bum, bum. 
merge your clones. Oh my gosh, Daisy, I see you. Okay, I got one clown. There's another one of my clones. Hi. Oh, I'm so cute. Look at me. Hi, hi, hi. Yeah, I'm getting myself there. And oh, there's me. There's me. Oh, Daisy, you did better than me on that round, didn't you? Well, um, uh, maybe. Daisy, you got second place. That's amazing. Well, I don't like to brag or anything, but holy guacamole, I did pretty great on that one. Yeah, you did, Daisy. That was awesome. I think you would get the same points, though, no matter what, depending on how many rounds you play. Because you did better than me on that one, and you still have 23. Yeah, I think you're right, Molly. Um, I definitely did better than you on that round. <laughs> Should we play one more round? Yeah, why not? One more round. Let's do this. Find my marbles. Yeah, yeah, I'm going half insane. Uh, I found zero marbles. That was so ridiculously hard. But then I spent the first five seconds of that round, like, stuck in the ground for some reason. Make the tallest sandwich. And can I, can I go? <laughs> okay. Um, can I go? Wait, go, wait, go. Apparently, I want to make the tallest sandwich with, ew. Ha <laughs> ha! Cheese, bread, tomatoes, chocolate, and fish. That sounds like the most disgusting thing I've ever heard. Collect your body parts. Here we go. Okay, I see Daisy. Where's where am I? Wait, there's my leg. I've got a leg. I've got a leg up on it. There, I've got two legs. Oh, there's my there's my body. There's my bo oh, that's my head. Guys, I'm doing good. I just need my arms. Where's my arms? Where's my arms? Oh man, don't worry, Molly. Play a two game over. He never lets any of us win. What's this about? Avoid the spotlight. Oh my gosh, I don't want to be famous. Don't even make me famous. Yeah, wait, Molly, you're a famous YouTuber. You have to be famous. I'm singing so many songs right now. That's what I do when I get nervous because I'm a noob. Oh my gosh, somebody else actually won that round. It's a miracle. Final round. Get to the top. Oh, we started with this one. Bum, bum, bum. Why am I going over there? I don't know. That was just such a noob move. Now I'm not going to get to the top. Someone else is going to beat me. Already they're beating me. Oh, this is so frustrating. I've lost my marbles. Yeah, yeah. I'm going half insane. I did not get any places on that one at all. Oh, Daisy got third. Congrats, Daisy. Thank you, my amazing fans. I loved playing this game. We should play it again, Molly. Simon will be back after a power nap. Um, Simon, quit being so lazy. There's people who want to play your game. Wake up, silly Simon. This game was so much fun. I really liked it. Me too, even though I was like a total noob in it. <laughs> hey guys, thanks so much for watching today. Don't forget to subscribe. Yeah, guys, and we'll definitely see you in our next video. We love you. Bye. Bye, guys. Teacher definitely looks yucky. <laughs> Ew, he's picking his nose. Oh, he's got one pink eye and one blue eye. He's got pink eye. Oh, that's highly contagious. He should be going to the doctor instead of trying to trap us in an obby. Ooh, it's a team escape, Daisy. Okay, um, all right, you stand on that, and then I'll go over and stand on it so you can get to the other side. Okay, here you go. Come on. Oh, whoopsie, I didn't mean that. Sorry, Daisy. I jumped up and down because I was too excited and then you died. Sorry. It's okay, Molly. It happens. But I might prank you on the next one. Um, Daisy, I can die all on my own. I don't need any help from you. Uh, yeah, that is very true. All right, let's keep going. This isn't as hard as I thought it would be. Wait a minute. Okay, so I have to go over here and then go through here and turn these on for you. Right, Daisy? Except Amundo, Molly. And then I have to go through here and step on this. Yay! Jump on someone's head. All right, Daisy, I guess you're the one that has to have me jump on your head. Oh, lucky me. <laughs> your turn, Daisy. Okay, okay. I'll, ooh, ooh. Molly, wait, what are you doing? We can't both go. Sorry, I got a little too carried away there. All right, let's try that again. Do, 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 do. Okay, Daisy, you can go on this one and I'll stay here. Thank you. That was a bit confusing. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, I did not. I'm sorry. You're a terrible teammate. Just so you know. Oh, wait. We have to start all the way back down here, don't we? Oopsie. Ay, 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 Molly. Can you just be patient for five seconds? Um, uh, uh. Ay, ay, ay. 
you. I'm stepping on the yellow. And I'm waiting with lots of patience. Ah, <sighs> finally. Hopefully she doesn't prank me now. Were you doing that on purpose? No, not really. I was just impatient. You're up. Guys, slam the like button if you like these team obbies. Uh, Daisy! <laughs> um, Daisy, you do know that we have to start all the way back here now, right? At the jump on somebody's head. What? Are you serious? Uh, yes. Was it worth it, Daisy? Uh, yeah. Pranking you is always worth it, Molly. Let's try to be nice to one another from here on out, okay? If we're gonna make this work, we have to be a team. Ah, uh, sometimes being a team with you, though, Molly, is, well, a giant headache. Yeah, I sort of actually have a headache today. You do, Molly? Do you need some medicine? I already took some, but I just figured Roblox would make it all better. Well, sometimes it makes it better. Sometimes you just need to go take a nap. All right, first, someone has to push the red. Now you have to push the blue. And the green. And the yellow. Now I'll do the same for you. Oh wait, red is first. <laughs> red. Blue. Green. Yellow. Whoops. Okay, there you go. Look at all the artwork for the daycare. That's adorbs. Ha <laughs> <laughs> Wee! Boing, boing, boing. Okay, green, a blue one. Thank you. We make a great team. Okay, yellow one. And green one. And now I have to try to figure this all out for Daisy. Um, all right, what comes first? Oh, uh, wait. Red one, Molly. Okay, go ahead. All right, she made it. Then she needs the blue one. And then she needs the yellow one. Good job, Molly. Try not to prank me, though. And here's the green. Wait, wait, wait. Daisy, oh my God. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to prank you. Ay, yeah, yeah. let's start over. One eternity later. Perfect. Um, oh, wait, somebody already did the blue one for me. Perfect. Uh, then you need red. Then you're gonna need yellow and green, bye. That's right. I'm up to the green one. Do, 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 do. The blue one's like frozen on. I don't know why. Boink. Boink. And ta-da! They're all good. More of these. Oh my gosh. Wait, am I going the wrong way? I'm confused now. Oh wait. Ooh! <laughs>to show us what we're supposed to do uh you you go through there oh and i'll be blue got it perfect ah oh, someone tried jumping on my head hey we're not teammates you can't jump on my head like that okay daisy i'm ready okay we have more than one teammate i guess it's okay marty they could jump on our heads too if they really need to yeah as long as they don't push us off it's fine uh marty you have to stand on my head here oh oh got it okay come on up and then I'll go up. And then you'll go up. This one's timed, Daisy. You better move it quick. Quick, quick, quick. Let's go. It was timed for me, too. Daisy always goes right. That's the way she always goes. So I didn't even have to think about it. I just went right. Well, um, Molly, I think that angry teacher is going to come after us. Um, he's going to stuck in one spot. He's like, doing his aerobics. One, two, three, four. You should blow your nose some more. Five, six, seven, eight. Boogers hanging, not your nose. <laughs> Whoa, what's this craziness? Buddy, I'm going to go down below. Or do you want to? Uh, you go down below and I will try to push the buttons you need. And I mean, I'll try. But no promises. Okay, um, you need to go through the blue door. And now where are you? Okay, now you need to go through this door. And then the yellow door. <laughs> and I guess that's a, a red door. It kind of looks pink from up here, though. You're good, Daisy. You're good. I'm over here, Molly. I need the blue tool. Jeepers. Okay, I'm coming. I'm coming. Okay, blue door. Hmm. Where is she? I'm over here, Molly. And I'm about to open the wall for you. See? Whoa. We did that together. That was amazing. Boing. <laughs> what? Ooh. <laughs> Oopsie. Okay, now I'm ready. Jeepers. This, this girl's always rushing me. Okay, now I'm ready for the red one. Perfect. Blue. Whoop. Ah! I went too soon. Sorry. It's okay, Molly. Everybody makes mistakes. Red. Boing. Blue. Boing. And red. Ha ha ha! We did good. 
I mean, sort of. All right, Daisy, you are gonna go on the red one now. And now you need to go on the blue one. Yes, Molly, I can see colors. <laughs> okay, I'm just more telling myself right now. Guys, do you play these teamwork obbies with your best friend or your si sister or brother? And do you guys get in a fight when you play this game? Because Daisy and I are about to. What? What are you talking about? I think we're doing great. Yeah, except for when you forget to stand on it. I die. Jumping on Daisy's head. Doo -doo -doo. Jumping on Daisy's head. Do, do, do. Boing, boing, wee. Okay, now I stand on the green for you, Daisy. Don't move an inch, Molly. And, okay, the red. Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. Done it. Wow, that was a weird sound, Molly. I know, I know. I'm just like kind of nervous that we're not going to be able to do this. Of course we will. We've completed lots of hobbies together. Well, I guess that's true. Hmm, I'm going to stand here and what? The door's open? Bum ba da da We're outside. Ooh, final boss. Okay, an egg launcher. We're launching eggs at this boss. Uh-oh, he's like right on me. Ah! Oh, he's like a robo guy. Oh! What is he doing? He put up rocks all around me. That was crazy town. Boing, 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 boing. These are eggs we're shooting at him, guys. That is hilarious. And because we're working together, uh, Daisy can destroy him really fast, and I don't have to, which is kind of great. What? We're gonna get an award. We're gonna get an award. We're gonna get an award. Oh, look at all these other fun games this um Abby developer made. Wow, that was crazy. We did that pretty quick. I mean, for being siblings who fight all the time, we sure did make it together. That's right. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and we'll see you in our next video. Bye! <laughs>
Whoa, she set it up for all of us. That's awesome. Um, I'm picking this bunk because if something tries to get us in the night, I'll be the farthest from the door. <laughs> I claimed this bed. We're not actually sleeping, right? It's a sleepover. We're supposed to stay up all night. Yeah, of course we are. Although your hat is a little creepy, I have to say. <laughs> you look like that monster from Stranger Things. Of course we're not sleeping. We're doing an all-nighter. Just waiting till Nanny falls asleep. I wonder what secret present your nanny got you. Yeah, Penny, I wonder. You guys, you want to go look for the secret present? Yeah, of course I do. My little bit, a troublemaker. Well, I'm picking that we sneak down and find the present. You can stay in bed and be boring at the sleepover if you want, Daisy. Okay, fine. I don't care about a vote. It's my birthday, so we'll sneak out and find the present. Whoa, Penny, you sing everything too? I knew we were alike. Watch out for the loud steps on the stairway down, though. It's like floor is lava, okay? And if my nanny hears you stepping on a, a loud step, oh man, she's gonna wake up and be so mad. Don't worry, I'm great at the floor is lava. Molly, no, you're not. Okay, well, I'm trying to be good at the floor is lava. So far, I'm doing good at the floor is lava. <laughs> Yes, I made it. So I don't know what you're talking about, Daisy. I'm amazing at it. Look, the basement door is unlocked. I think the present is in there. But it's creepy down there. I don't want to go down there. Let's go check and see. It's my birthday, so you have to go with me. Ugh, this might be creepy, Daisy, but it is Penny's birthday. So she does have a point. It's like a big empty room to me. Uh, Nanny? What are you doing down here? I told you kids to stay in your room. Whoa, Nanny just got real creepy. This is my private area no one can know about. Oh, her teeth are red and they match her eyes. I must end you. Um, okay, time to bring out my bat. Holy macaroni. Run from Nanny. Swack, swack, swack. Come here, Nanny. Quit chasing my sister, you evil lady. That can't be the real nanny. She wouldn't be that evil and crazy, right? I don't know, Molly, but um, I hope you have some Robux. Ah, she's stuck behind this tank. <laughs> uh oh, not for long. Wait, her face is back to normal, guys. What is wrong with Nanny? Nanny, I am young and sort of in shape when I don't eat too many cupcakes, and I'm probably able to outrun you. <laughs> well, she's chasing Daisy, too. I know, Molly. I'm trying to get away from her, this crazy old lady. All right, that's enough of that. Wait, where'd she go? We need to escape. There's a path. It's it's right there. Okay, Penny, Um, but just so you know, your nanny is not invited to the next sleepover. She's cray-cray. Whee! Ah, down the laundry yeah. chute. Ugh, or down in the sewer, one or the other. Uh -huh. Oh, ew. Ew, we're in the sewer. Here comes the... Abby. We need to get across and climb out of you. It smells so bad. I know. Tell me about it. Melly, unplug your nose and jump. Uh-oh. SpaghettiOs. You died. I can revive myself by spending Robux, right? Yep. Oh, my God, guys. I can't revive myself again, though. I won't have enough money. Oh, boy. I better not die again. Are we the only ones that survived? Yeah, you, me, and Penny. There's only one way to find out what's at the top of this ladder. Go up and look. We made it out! There's a long walk ahead of us, but let's go. All right, as long as that crazy nanny's not out here. La, 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 la. Hey, where is this anyway? There's coconuts on the trees. Penny, are you coming? Who, who is that? I have no idea, but maybe they'll give us a ride back to my house. I have much more fun sleepovers than this. Hello, sweet children. You guys seem lost. Can we help you go home? Uh, these old ladies don't look trustworthy. Guys, they're old like like our nanny. She probably sent them to kidnap us. Da, 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 and the plot thickens. Don't be silly. We're just old grandmas. We want to help. Uh, maybe I'm a little jaded, but I don't think so. Leave us alone. We don't want your help. Yeah, we can walk on our own. We can do this the easy way or the hard way. I knew it. They're evil. They threatened us. We have to fight the old ladies. Ugh, I need more cake for this. Where's all the cake? Somebody give me another piece of cake. Okay, uh, is it the old lady? Ow! Quit, quit doing that. Ow! Okay, she's hitting me with her cane. 
That's just rude and wrong, and I'm just going to run. Yeah, Molly, run, because if you get hit by one of them, you don't have enough money to respawn. Then game over, Molly. And next time, have more Robux. Ah, that one's hitting me. Daisy, what am I going to do? Run, Molly, run. Oh, man, this is the end of us. I thought we could escape, but as it turns out, you're goners, Daisy. We're goners. We got them. Can't trust anyone. What do we do now, Penny? Um, well, if you're me, you remember that you need to buy Robux before you play these games. We all have to destroy our nanny once and for all! Unless you're me, and then this game is probably over because I don't have any Robux, and, um, I'm most certainly going to die. <laughs> oh, no! Here comes Creepy Face again! I heard you kids want to destroy me. Such a shame. I bought you all those birthday presents. You were good kids. Yeah, you're a terrible nanny. We'll destroy you. <laughs> and you ruined my birthday. Oh, man. This is where I die, guys, because, like, look at me. Uh-oh. What's going on? Oh, no! Whoa! Oh my God! I don't want to die. Uh oh! Uh oh! Uh oh! Uh oh! Uh oh! Uh -oh, uh -oh. oh, guys! I don't think I have enough to revive. I'm out of Robux! No! Buddy, I could have told you that was gonna happen. You know you stink at Roblox. No, I don't. It's just okay. Yeah, maybe a little. Molly needs to get 440 Robux. Then she can finish the game. <laughs> what ending did I get? I got that. You're poor. And you can't afford Robux, so you don't get an ending ending. <laughs> That's a terrible ending. Yeah, totally. <laughs>
<laughs> Molly, look at me! You should see me in a crown. I'm the cutest baby around. <laughs> That's adorable. You're gonna poop your pants one by one by one. Oh, very funny, Molly. I thought it was hilarious. Taking down all these trollers. Gonna break them apart. Molly, look, you could smash the windows in here. Are you serious right now? Totally try it. <laughs> oh my God, you can. That is crazy. Here, let me get farther back. Um, guys, I just broke the window. Probably not a good thing, but kind of funny. Smash, smash, smash. Oh man, things are falling on my head. That's probably not good. All right now I wanna go back into the store and see if we can find some hair or something. Do you guys have any hair in here? What's this, bread? <laughs> I got a bread face. Yeah, I think I like bread face. That's my favorite. Oh, you can change your eyeballs too. Whoa, look at these eyeballs, they're creepy. Dizzy, look, I'm a bread face. Oh, very funny. Make me a sandwich, Molly, I'm hungry. How about I, I give you a banana? Smash, I smash that banana. Mm. I'm gonna make a banana sandwich. Ew, gross. What, Elvis used to do it. Smashing fire trucks. Smash, smash, smash. Yes, I just got level nine, level nine. Now I'm gonna go over and try to escape. I think we need level 12 to escape, Molly. Whoa, I'm carrying I'm, I'm carrying this stroller around with me. I don't mean to, but apparently it's coming with me. Get out of my way, I need to go through. Smash, smash, smash. Man, I just took down that light. All these lamps I can smash though. Smash. Let's smash all these sink gu sinks, guys, and the mirrors. Okay, this is a lot of stuff to smash. Hey, baby bread face, are you ready to make it to level 12? Absolutely. Wait, why are you calling me baby bread face? You still have that bread on your face. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. <laughs> Leveled up to level 10. Two more levels and we're out of here. Uh oh, I just caught the kitchen on fire. Oopsie, it wasn't me. Way to go, Molly. <laughs> One more till I level up. Oh, yeah. And Molly, after this level, you can escape. We both can. Well, that's great news. I'm in the soft play section of the daycare right now, and basically, I can smash everything. Smash, smash, smash. Molly, we're bad babies, that's for sure. Very bad babies. Very, very. Daisy, I feel like I'm headcoding everything. That's because you are, Molly. I'm stuck, ah! Oh my gosh, my giant bread face got stuck in there. I'm almost to level 12 though, guys, and that means we can escape daycare. The windows, that's what I should break. Yeah, if you're gonna trash the place, then really trash it, right, Molly? Exactly. Why do anything halfway? Almost there. I hope we can actually escape at 12 and I didn't just say that. I don't think it was lying, Molly. I think we really can escape at level 12. Oh, look at that adorable little painting. You know what I need to do? We'll do it. Smash it! Smash, smash, smash! I'm still not at level 12. I'm never gonna escape. Sure you will, Molly. Don't worry. Uh, Molly, what are you gonna do when you escape? Um, I'm a bad baby. I'll probably rob a bank or something. Duh. <laughs> okay, Molly, if you say so. Yes, I just leveled up. You know what that means? Sayonara, daycare. No, it's locked. It's okay, Molly. You just have to bust the window out. You're good at smashing stuff. You're a bad baby. Ha, 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 ha. Daisy, I can taste my freedom. Molly, does it taste like a, a sandwich because you have bread on your face? That's exactly what it tastes like. <laughs> My soccer ball just almost ran down the hill, and if it rolled down that hill, oh my gosh, I'd have to run so fast to catch it. Or I'd probably get hit by a car. Whoa, no, don't go over the edge! Oh, man, not again. Hey, loser. Who, who's that? Do they have a Corvette, or is that a Ferrari? I can't even tell the difference because I'm too poor to afford an amazing car like that. So, oh gosh, it's Sarah. Hey, loser. Hey, Sarah, where'd you get that car? My daddy bought it for me. Isn't it amazing? Uh, yeah, it really is. Could I go for a ride? No, loser. I just wanted to tell you that tomorrow is rainbow day. Everyone at school is supposed to wear rainbow. And what happens if you don't? You get expelled. What? You're kidding me. I don't even own anything that's rainbow. 
well, you better get some because all the cool kids are going to be wearing this and all the losers who don't are going to get expelled. The principal said so. Now I'm out of here. You're really making me look bad. But, but what if I can't find something rainbow? Then you'll get expelled, duh! Oh my gosh, I gotta go tell Daisy. We're gonna definitely have to go to the mall and go shopping. Daisy! Daisy, we're... Daisy! I bet here Molly making a snack. Ooh, that looks delicious. Daisy, no time for a snack! What? No time for a snack? Who are you? And what have you done with my sister Molly? <laughs> you always have time for a snack. Not today. Sarah just drove by in her Corvette, Ferrari, I don't know, fancy car. And she said that if we aren't wearing rainbow tomorrow at school, we're going to all get expelled. What? That must be not true. She was wearing a rainbow shirt. Whoa. If she did it, that must mean it's true. What are we going to do? We don't own anything rainbow colored. Well, we have to do your favorite thing. Go shopping, of course. I better call Brookie on the way. Let her know so she doesn't get in trouble. I mean, why didn't the principal just make an announcement? I don't know, but it sounds pretty serious. We need to get these rainbow colors and right away. <phone rings> hey, this is Brookie. What's up? Brookie, this is an emergency. Molly, are you okay? What's going on? Are you at the hospital? No, but I just heard that if we don't wear rainbow tomorrow, we're going to be expelled. What? Oh, my gosh, Molly, why? I don't know. Sarah didn't say. She just said we better wear rainbow tomorrow. Um, I don't own any rainbow. Me either, so wanted me to set them all? Hopefully we can find something there. Sure, I'll meet you there, Molly. Thanks for letting me know. I'd hate to get expelled. My parents would never forgive me. Me either. I'll see you at the mall, Brookie. Bye. Molly, hop on. Do you want to get to the mall or not? Yeah, we have to get there before they close, or I don't know what we do. I don't know either, Molly. Let's just hope they have some rainbow-colored clothes. Well, I was just thinking that maybe this could be rainbow-colored because, like, look, it's got, like, the galaxy on it. Not good enough! You're gonna, you're gonna get detention and then get expelled and then never be able to return to school! Yeah, sounds like the principal is taking this really seriously. Yeah, it really does. Come on, let's go into Rockstar and see what we can find. No, no, no. How about this? This is striped like a rainbow. Molly, there's only three colors. We must have more colors than that. Okay, um, uh, uh, what else do they got? Um, come on, don't let me down. Oh, look, I look adorable. I got mine. I got mine. Brookie, how are you doing? I can't find anything except for this silly party hat. Oh, no, yeah, that will not do. You need to change your shirt. Um, see if you can find something. They don't have anything in my size. Uh-oh. Brookie's gonna get expelled. Bam, bam, bam! No, Molly, no, no, no. We'll just help her. Even if we have to just color her shirt in with some markers. How about these? <laughs> these will work, right? No, you need a shirt that's rainbow. Oh, my gosh. Don't worry. Daisy's got a good idea. We can go to the craft store and, and just color your shirt in with, like, some... Some, like, Sharpie markers, okay? All right. I feel like I'm going to look ridiculous. No, no, no. You'll be fine. Come on, let's go. Just one more color and it will be complete. Don't stick me with that needle, Molly. No, it's just how I'm making the colors on your tie-dye shirt. There. Perfect. Oh, thank goodness. We all have a rainbow-colored clothes for tomorrow. Now none of us will get expelled. Yeah, but I got to get home and do my homework. I'll see you guys in the morning. Sounds good. Bye. Whoa. We all wore our rainbow shirts. We're not going to get expelled now. Come on. Let's get into class. Oh, look who it is. Loser one. Loser two. What? Who's that loser? And loser three. Oh, my God. Sarah. You you wore your Billie Eilish shirt. But, but, but today's rainbow day. And if you, you didn't wear rainbow, you're going to get expelled by the principal. <laughs> You losers fell for that. <laughs> what? What are you talking about? <laughs> Today's not Rainbow Day at all. Wait, it isn't? No, and now you guys look like a bunch of freaks, weirdos. Oh my gosh. I haven't worn a rainbow colored shirt since, I don't know, five years old, and now I look ridiculous. 
Everybody knows that these Billie Eilish shirts are the cool ones. Well, what about mine? Mine's tie-dye. Isn't mine cool? No, not even. I have your attention, please. This is the principal. Oh my gosh, the principal's gonna make an announcement. Probably that you guys are total losers. <laughs> Today is Rainbow Day. If you aren't wearing a rainbow shirt, please report to the office. What? Wh what are you talking about? I, I, there's no such thing as rainbow day. Uh, Sarah, you better report to the office. The principal seems a little bit annoyed. Sarah, you didn't wear rainbow on rainbow day? What is going on here? Didn't you hear the rumor? If you don't wear rainbow on rainbow day, you get expelled by the principal. But you're the principal. Yeah, but but I don't want to have to expel myself, so I wore rainbow too. Oh my gosh, this is ridiculous. Where did you hear the rumor from? One of the teachers in the faculty room. They, they said that, 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 that we had to wear rainbow today. Or Brookhaven would be exploding. And also all the students would get expelled. Whoa, 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 whoa. I never said Brookhaven would explode. Wait a minute. You made up Rainbow Day? Oh my gosh. The plot thickens. Um, Mr. Sminikins, I don't know what you're talking about, but I made up the whole rumor. Wait, what? Why did you do that? Why is... Why? So that I could make Molly, Daisy, and her friend Brookie look ridiculous in front of the whole school. But... The only one that looks ridiculous is you. Everyone else is wearing rainbow. Well, that, that's just because I'm awesome. The entire football team and cheerleading team are all wearing rainbow. What? Billie Eilish is so not cool on Rainbow Day. What? The, I, I... You, uh, are expelled. What? But, but... I have no choice. It's the rules on Rainbow Day. Oh, this is the worst day ever. Molly and Daisy, I'm going to get my revenge on you. Oh. I wonder what happened to Sarah. She's been gone a really long time. Oh, I can't believe this. I got expelled. Oh my gosh, Sarah got expelled. Well, it must be the rumors about Rainbow Day were actually true. <laughs> Yay, school is almost done. We need to go try the new Grimace shake. Y'all can come over to my house and try it together. Whoa, that sounds delicious, Shane. Huh, I'd love to try it, Shane. Uh, that's the bell. Let's get going. Okay, follow me. Welcome to my home, friends. Thanks, Shane. Now, where's these delicious shakes? I'm sure you're hungry, so let's eat first. Um, does that include the Grimace shake? You promised me a Grimace shake! Buddy, chill out, jeepers. Then we can go get the Grimace shakes. You don't want to just eat that. It'll make you feel like your stomach's upset. No, Mon, I can eat three Grimace shakes for dinner. <laughs> Molly, just eat something like pizza or something. You can't just have sugar for dinner. Says who? Huh? Says who? Looks like cheeseburgers wins. Oh, I wanted pizza, cheeseburgers. Come to the kitchen, guys. Let's eat. All right, guys, eat up. Mm. That isn't too bad for a cheeseburger, even though I wanted pizza. Molly, it's rude to say that when you're in someone else's house. Just be appreciative for what you've got. It's time for the launch of the Grimace Shake. Whoa, it's really late at night. <laughs> it's Grimace's birthday, so he created his own mystery shake. Okay, we gotta go take a seat in one of these chairs, Daisy. We don't want to be late. Exactly, Molly. We definitely don't. Oh, why can't I sit down? What's wrong with me? Okay, there we go. I am Grimace! I am announcing my new shake to celebrate my birthday! Drink the shake if you dare! <laughs> Don't say I didn't warn you! What's he talking about, Molly? Do you think his shake is like poisoned or something? Let me show you what will happen if you don't drink the shake. Um, I'm not liking the sound of this. Pick a friend of yours! Um, okay! Uh, Molly, I don't think this is gonna end well. What are you talking about? Daisy, I think it'll end just fine. Well, he just wants us to pick a friend. Congrats, G-Boy A23. You're about to be made an example of what will happen if you don't drink the shake. Huh? What? What's gonna happen to me? Huh? Uh-oh. This isn't gonna be good. I'm sorry, G-Boy. I'm sorry. <gasps> no, you all are next. <laughs> ah! 
Oh my god, Grimace is evil and wait, where is Grimace? I, I thought I saw somebody chasing me. Um, yeah, uh, Grimace just appears whatever Grimace wants. Um, I'm gonna go in the dining room, see if there's any pizza in the refrigerator. Molly, get back here and help us fight this, fight this evil Grimace. I don't even see an evil Grimace. She's hitting the TV. She's like, die, evil Grimace television show. <laughs> Just kidding. I wanted to scare you guys to make sure you go drink my birthday shake. Well, you did! Except for I realized at the end it was just a prank, so it didn't scare me that much. If you wish to find me, look for the first clue in the forest! What just happened? Grimace is real! We must stop him from making everyone drink his birthday shake before he controls the world! Okay, Chain, no need to get too crazy right now. I'm sure everything's gonna be fine. He said there would be a clue in the forest. Let's go there. Okay, fine. I think we should just stay here and order a pizza, but if you guys really want to... Okay, Grimace said we should find a clue in the forest. Let's walk until we find something. Let's turn on our flashlights, because I'm sure there's going to be something creepy. Stay close behind me. It's very dark and, and really scary. Don't worry, we have flashlights. Molly, just stay close to Chain, seriously. You're not staying that close. Don't look at me. You're running all over there. I can see him, Molly. Oh my gosh, Daisy, you're going to get eaten by a uh, zombie if you're not careful. There's no zombies in here, just, just Grimace. Oh, uh, does anybody else notice that Chain walks really slow? Come on, Chain. Pick up the pace a little bit there, buddy. There's a cabin. The clue has to be in there. A clue, a clue, a clue. Let's see, where can I find a clue? Start searching for a clue about, you know, Grimace. Maybe if I go upstairs, I can find something. You found a, a clue. Grimace's birthday, clue one, I am not alone. You found the first clue, congratulations. You fools will now be teleported into my world. Uh-oh. Bam, bam, bam. Look, the roof is open. We need to try to climb out of here. I don't know, Manny. I think we're just trapped. Nonsense. We could try to figure out a way. I, I think, I hope. Check for a lever. Look anywhere. Maybe it's one of these. Torches or something. I found it, Molly. Now what? Pull it, of course. What's happened? Does any did anybody know what happened? Okay. We have to we have stairs now. Let's let's climb up. Oh boy, here we go. A time dobby, and I have no Robux. Oh, this is bad. This is really bad, Daisy. This is really bad. Molly, you can do it. Just quit panicking and hurry up. I just keep looking at the numbers as they go down and down and down. Maddie, come on. You can do this. You can do this. Why didn't I buy Robux? Why? Phew, I did it. Congratulations. Boy, that was a close call, Maddie. Phew, we escaped. Let's go see what's out there. Follow me. Um, I'm thinking a bear is going to be out there and he's going to want to eat us for dinner. <laughs> Bad idea, Chain. What is this? Great. A graveyard. Yeah. These are kind of creepy, I must admit. Well, there has to be a clue somewhere around here. Search! In a graveyard? The only clues we're going to find here are zombies. So far, I see no clues. I see no clues. I found it, Molly! Clue number two. You should have just drank the shake. Now you will fight. You found the second clue. Congratulations. Prepare for battle! What? Prepare for battle? Uh-oh. Wait a minute. Who, who are we fighting? Probably Grimace. I don't know. Let's go see what Chain's doing. I don't know who we're fighting. But, but, but be ready. We're here, Molly. Grimace's minions. We have to take them down. Um, just so you know, if I die, this game is over for me. The stakes are very high right now. Which means I'm just going to run over here and pretend that this isn't happening. Molly! What? I can't die. I don't have any Robux. I am going to watch my sister fight the minions, though. Good luck, Daisy. Good job, team. We defeated Grimace's friends. Huh, phew. Well, I didn't do much, but you know, whatever. We're getting closer. Let's go find Grimace. It's Grimace's headquarters. And there's a third clue. Where? Where's the clue? Where's the clue? Clue three. You have two choices ahead of you. Choose wisely. Um, okay. What's my choice? Uh, hopefully it's either ice cream or pizza. There are two holes. We have to choose just one. Daisy, which one are you choosing? Did I go the right way? Yeah, okay. Daisy, which one are we choosing? Left or right? Left or right? Left or right? Left or right? Right, Molly. Whoa! Ooh. Um, Daisy? We died. What? Oh, man. I don't have any Robux. That means we got the, the worst ending of all, Molly! Um, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> Hey guys, thanks so much for watching our show today, Brooke. Hi. Don't forget to check out our sponsor, the new iPhone. Guys, the new iPhone is amazing. You want to run out to your local electronics store and purchase it right now. Whoa, Daisy, did you hear that? Brittany says we should get the new iPhone. 
I know, she's such a star. I love her. <sighs> but I haven't saved up enough money yet for the iPhone. That's okay, I know what to do. Mom! Molly, I'm right here. <laughs> you know the downstairs is all one room, right? Yeah, but Mom, I have a question. Uh, please stop crawling on the counter, Molly. I can't afford a new one. Uh, sorry, Mom. I'm just really excited. She's gonna say no. Uh, Daisy, shh! I haven't even asked her yet. Mom, Mom, Mom. Beautiful, Mommy! Okay, Molly, what is it? Spit it out. You are the most radiant, amazing mom on the entire planet. What do you want, Molly? Nothing! I'm just saying, you're amazing. Hmm, I think you probably are going to ask me for something. Okay, um, you know how on Brook High they have the brand new iPhones? Uh, yes, Molly, but that's because they got them for free because that is the show that's like most popular right now, so iPhone just gives them to them. Yeah, I know, but... Uh, I want the new iPhone, too. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's a big ask, Molly. Um, I, I, I don't think that I can afford that right now. I'm really sorry. <laughs> what? But, but, Mom, my old phone is like a flip phone. It's so old. I'm pretty sure the dinosaurs called each other on my phone. Well, Molly, just be thankful you actually have a phone. A lot of girls your age don't have a phone at all. Yeah, Molly, try to be appreciative. Hmm. This apple's delicious, Mom. Ugh, can't believe it. I can't get the new iPhone. I could have told you that, Molly. Duh. I cannot believe that I just won a bazillion dollars. What's the first thing you're going to buy? Uh, a new laptop, of course. They're also our sponsor for this video. Oh, my gosh. Now the stars from Rags to Riches are getting new um iPads. I definitely want one of those or a new laptop. Ooh, I could use that for school. I'm going to go ask Mom. Uh, yeah, good luck with that. I already asked for a new iPhone, and she said no. But this is for school. It's necessary. My laptop keeps freezing. Mom! Yes, Daisy, what is it? Dinner's going to be ready soon. My laptop keeps freezing whenever I try to do my schoolwork. Oh, man. We're going to have to take it into Best Buy then, and maybe they can figure out why. No, Mom, you don't understand. This this computer is so old, I can't use it anymore. Um, well, we're going to have to make it work because uh, I can't afford a new one right now. Even with all the overtime at work, I have to pay the mortgage and the car payment. And even your dad's mowing the grass instead of hiring someone else to do it. We have to all pitch in during this rough time. But, Mom, I need a new iPad or a new laptop to do my schoolwork. Daisy, I told you we could go to the Best Buy and see if they can fix your laptop. But, but, told you, Daisy. I knew she wasn't going to say yes. Hey, what happened to TV? Oh, I'm so tired from mowing that grass. It's like a thousand degrees outside. Ah. Dad, I'm so sorry you're dying, but what happened to cable? I need TV. Oh, your mother and I canceled that so we could save some money. What? No! No new iPhone, no new laptop, and no cable? I can't take this anymore. I've got to get out of here. I'm coming with you, Molly. Girls, wait a minute. If you're going out, I need something from the grocery store. Oh, really? We've got to go do an errand? Yes, Molly, please. I, I need some eggs so I can finish what I'm making for dinner. Okay, fine. Can I buy a candy bar? No, Molly. Of course you can't. You don't have enough money for that. But I want a candy bar. No, Molly, I need eggs. Don't buy a candy bar with that money. Okay, Mom, fine. Come on, Daisy. Ugh. I don't like being poor. Being poor stinks. I agree, Molly. I agree. Now, remember what Mom said, Molly. No buying a candy bar as much as you want it. Well, hello there. Welcome to my grocery store. Hi. Um, I only have enough money for some eggs. Where are those? Uh, back right-hand corner. Hey Luke, what's up? Yeah, I'm just I'm just uh, working at the grocery store tonight. The lottery is up to a hundred. What? The lottery is up to a hundred million dollars? I'm never gonna work at the grocery store again. And it's said that the winning ticket is in Brookhaven. Holy guacamole! Yeah, I'm gonna buy some tickets. Yeah. Yeah, it's gonna be awesome if I win. I'm gonna move to the beach. I'm never gonna work at the grocery store again. Daisy, did you hear that? Hear what, Molly? The 
the sound of my stomach growling. I hope dinner's ready when we get home. No, the grocery store worker. He said that the lotto was up to a hundred million dollars. Holy guacamole! He also said the winning ticket is at one of these stores in Brookhaven. Wow, that's insane. Whoever wins is going to be really lucky. Now let's get the eggs and go home. I'm hungry. Don't you see, Daisy? We gotta buy the winning ticket. How are we going to do that, Molly? Don't be ridiculous. We're going to do it because we're going to use this $3 to buy the winning lotto ticket. What? No, we're not. We have to use that for eggs. Yeah, but if we buy the winning lotto ticket, we won't have to worry about eggs. We could buy a bazillion eggs. Molly, how do you know you're going to buy the winning ticket? Um, well, um, I don't know. I'm just having faith it's all going to work out. What's going to happen is you're going to spend that $3. We're going to go home and there's not going to be any dinner. You could be grounded for a week. Well, Daisy, I'm buying the lotto ticket. Molly, you're not going to buy the lotto ticket. D Daisy, let me out of this car. Don't, don't you dare. Get, let me out of this car. I'm buying it. I'm buying it, Daisy. Get back here, Molly. You're not spending Mom's money. I am spending Mom's money. Daisy, did you seriously just put me back in the cart? Daisy, I'm not three years old. Stop it. Are you going to act more mature about the money Mom gave you? Yes, I will buy the eggs. Are you sure? Yep. Come on, let's go over and get them right now. <laughs> I'd like the um, winning lotto ticket, please. Well, there's no way I know if you're going to actually get the... Just sell me the ticket. Okay, fine. Here you go. Molly, no. You spent the money on a lotto ticket, Naughty! Naughty, you're grounded! Daisy, I'm not your kid. Stop putting me in the... Stop putting me in the cart! Fine, Molly, you're so naughty. I don't even want you in my cart. This is all your fault! I don't even know you! You're dead to me! Oh my gosh, my sister's so annoying. Good luck with that ticket. You know, I'm gonna buy the winning lottery ticket. Okay, fine, we'll see about that. Hey, Daisy, where's the eggs so I can finish up making dinner? Uh, ask Molly about that? I had nothing to do with this, Mom. I cannot be blamed! Mom! Mom, guess what? Um, you were able to get a two-for-one deal on the eggs? And then we can have her for breakfast in the morning, too. No, Mom, I spent the money on something else. What? I told you not to buy a candy bar! I needed those eggs, Molly. This is what feeds our family. What were you thinking? You're grounded. What? No, I can't be grounded. I didn't buy a candy bar. Then what did you buy? A lottery ticket! What? You gambled with our money? Are you crazy right now? Oh, that makes me so mad, Molly! But you don't even know if it's a winner! Go to your room, Molly. Go right now! Fine. Well, Molly, that worked out real well. But when I scratch it off and everybody sees I'm a winner... Molly, you're not going to win. Well, let's find out. Daisy! Oh my gosh! Oh, Molly, what is it? Oh my gosh, 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 oh my gosh! Molly, are you pranking me right now? What's going on? I, 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 Molly, stop talking dri gibberish. What's wrong with you? Did you bonk your head? What's going on? Oh my gosh. Is that a, is that a winning lottery ticket? For a hundred million dollars, Daisy. Oh my gosh. Uh, uh, yeah. I'll come back to you when you're actually awake. Mom, mom, mom. Molly. I can't talk to you right now, okay? I'm really stressed about money, and I don't have any eggs to <laughs> feed you guys, and I'm just really worried. I'm going to have to take another job, I think, if I can even get one. Mom, your problems are over. What are you talking about? That lotto ticket that I got? It, it's a winner. What, for like a free ticket or something? How's that going to help us? Mom, no, it's it's the big winner. A hundred million dollars. What? Let me see that. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Is there anybody in this house that hasn't passed out? Where's dad? 
Hey, everybody, we want to, we met, we met, we won a hundred million dollars. All of our troubles are over. Dad, what exactly are you doing? It's the day we're supposed to move into our new mansion. I'm just so excited. I can't stop dancing. I can't stop dancing. Is that a new song you wrote, Dad? Yeah, I'm thinking about becoming a musician now that I don't have to have a job. I can't stop dancing. This is my signature dance move. Uh, Dad, it's just weird. Nope, nope, nope. Raise a roof, raise a roof. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh my god, Dad. You're even weirder when you're rich. Well, I'm allowed to be weird. I have all the money in the world! Let's move these moving boxes to our new mansion. Oh boy, my dad is so crazy right now. Ah, now this is the life I was talking about. No one wanted to believe that my winning lotto ticket would actually be, well, a winner. But look where we are now. I have to agree, Molly. I thought you were insane, but this place is, well, amazing. It's off the hook. And, um, I'm really glad you bought that winning lotto ticket, Molly. Am I still grounded then, Dad? Oh, uh, that's a difficult one to answer. Go ask your mother. Come on, Daisy. Come see my new sports car. I've got one of my own, Molly. Whoa! Okay, yeah, I want to ride in yours. That's just because you can't drive, Molly, and I'm a better driver. No, you're not! I'm a fine driver! Uh huh, sure, says the girl who put Mom's car on the lake. Okay, that was a little bit of a mistake. You think, cheapers? Oh my gosh, Daisy, we have so much nice stuff now. Like, we've got a mansion, we've got nice cars, we have amazing clothes, we have. we have. The newest iPhones. What are we going to do with all this money that's left over? I don't know, Molly. What, what do you think we should do with it? Hmm. Dizzy, I think I have the perfect idea. What are you doing, Molly? Why are you going over there by the dumpsters? I just saw something when we were driving by. Oh, I'm so hungry. I hope this dumpster food doesn't make me sick. Ew! Why are you eating from the dumpster? That's disgusting. Um, you could go to the dino. They have regular food. Daisy, he's eating from the dumpster because he doesn't have any money. Oh, wow, that's really sad because I still have like 90 million dollars and... Daisy! Probably not a good idea to tell him that you have tons of money while he's sitting here eating from the dumpster. Sorry, I guess I just get a little nervous when I don't know what to say or do. Well, I know exactly what to do. Hey, I've got something for you here. Whoa. Uh, seriously? Yeah, there's like, um, $500,000 here. What? F five five hundred thousand dollars Yeah, it's enough to buy you a small house. <laughs> oh my god, did he die? Ah, the homeless man died! No, I just can't move. Partially because I just got $500,000, and partially because I ate something rotten from the dumpster. Oh, my stomach hurts. Yeah, you don't have to eat from the dumpster ever, ever again. How could I ever repay you? Huh, I can't wait to go to my own house where I have a bathroom because I'm probably going to have to throw up. Oh, man, that stinks. Yeah, don't eat from a dumpster ever again. Here's $500,000. You could buy food and everything you need. Oh, there was there was this work truck I wanted to get because I'm super good at construction and I wanted to start fixing stuff up and, and, and now I can afford to start my own business. I'll never be homeless again. How could I ever thank you? What's your name? Come on, Daisy. Don't even tell him our name. Let's just do it and be good Samaritans. Molly, look at the orphanage. It really looks a bit fun town. Maybe we could donate some money to them too. That's a great idea, Daisy. Let's do this. Hi, are you my mommy? Oh, no, I'm sorry. I'm just a teenager. I can't be your mommy. Oh, I really need a mommy. This place is really run down. Oh, I'm sorry, but look, my sister and I are going to um give the orphanage $2 million, and it's going to be a lot nicer for you, okay? Are you sure? Are you sure it'll be nicer? Yep, until your mommy or daddy comes to find you. Aw, uh, thanks so much. We just gotta leave the bag of cash right here. Hello, can I help you? You two are a bit young to be adopting. But I see that our little Kelly really loves you. Aw, she's super nice. Maybe I could volunteer here sometime. 
Anyway, we have something we like to give you two million dollars. Wait, what? <laughs> Very funny. Is that Monopoly money? No, it's real money. We won the lottery, but we don't need all this money, so we're giving some to you. Seriously? Yeah, please use it for the orphanage and make it a nice place for all the kids. Oh my gosh, the kids right now are out on the playground, except for little Kelly. She kind of didn't want to go out today. She just wanted to hang out inside. They're going to be so excited when they come in and they see this money. And I can tell them we're going to buy new toys and we only have one crib here for all the kids. What? That's horrible. Yeah, everybody's been sleeping on those mats on the floor over there. Every kid deserves to have their own bed. I couldn't agree more. Thank you, girls. This means the world. You're welcome. Bye, Kelly. I follow you. You could be my mommy. Sorry, Kelly, but I could come back next week and maybe I could be your big sister. I love that. Yeah, come back. Hello, this is Molly. Hello, Molly. This is the mayor of Brookhaven. I'd like for you to come down to the courthouse. Um, look, if this is about me driving my mom's car into the pool, I'm really sorry. What? You you were the one that did that? Uh, no, 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 no. Uh, never mind. I didn't say anything. Please come over to the courthouse right away. Okay, I'll, I'll tell my sister now. Come on, Daisy. We have to go to the courthouse. For what, Molly? I don't know. I hope we're not in trouble. Me too, Molly. Me too. Well, here's the mayor's office. Here goes nothing. H hello Hello, Molly. Nice to see you. Um, if you're going to give me detention, my teacher does that enough. <laughs> I'm not going to give you detention, but I am going to wait for your sister Daisy to get here, because this is for both of you. Oh, gosh. What kind of trouble are we in? I have to give my mom a heads up. What'd she do now? Why are you assuming it was just me, Daisy? Because, Molly, I'm an angel and you're the demon. What?! Actually, I think you're both angels. Really? Why? Well, I've been told that the two of you have been donating large sums of money to people in need. Seriously? You, you heard about that? The mayor? I sure did, and I want to let you know that you guys have won Citizen of the Year of Brookhaven. We usually only pick one person, but since you both helped, we're going to pick two this year. Whoa! That's amazing! What do we get for it? You get these trophies. They're made out of solid gold. Whoa! And you get free ice cream from the ice cream shop downstairs for the entire year. Oh my god, that's amazing! I mean, we still have millions of dollars, so we could just buy ice cream, but it's the thought that counts. We don't need any rewards, Mr. W Mayo. We just wanted to do it because it was the right thing to do. Well... I can tell you that you girls are quite amazing. I'm very proud of you. Wow. Hey, uh, one thing money can't buy is um, a get out of detention free card for the year. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I don't have that kind of power of the teacher. Oh, man. sleepover of my entire life like your house has an elevator that is insane it's like a resort and you have this amazing hot tub yeah it's pretty cool i'm so glad i could share it with my best friend me too molly me too hey dad can we have a snack before we go to bed girls it's like it's like 1 a.m aren't you tired yet i'm getting so tired I can't stay up any longer. You can go to bed, Dad. You don't have to stay up as long as we do or anything. <laughs> but I am going to get something to eat. Brookie, do you want a snack? Yeah, totally. Okay, let's see what we what we have. Okay, Brookie, are you hungry for, like, real food like pizza or an ice cream? Um, both? <laughs> Brookie's starving. Okay, I'm going to get both. Mm, that is delicious. Okay, I also need some ice cream. Okay, I got both, Brookie. I'm over here in the hot tub still, Molly. Uh, Brookie, if you are in the hot tub when you're eating ice cream, you're literally... Why am I washing my hands? <laughs> you're literally going to have your ice cream melt. Maybe you're washing your hands because you've got chocolate ice cream all over them. Mmm, this is delicious. Yeah. When you're at a sleepover, you can totally eat your dessert first and then your dinner. Yeah, that's true. Mmm. 
The pizza's delicious too. Molly, are you kidding me? There's a pool under your kitchen. Yeah, isn't this place awesome? I love our new house in Brookhaven. Should we go get in the pool for a while? I don't know, it's like 2 a.m. Let's do it. Whoa, it looks so refreshing. Yeah, come on. <laughs> I love this pool, it's amazing. Whoa, it's super deep. OMG, I just swam all the way to the bottom and back. It's all lit up too, I love that. Your house is so cool, I seriously wanna be your sister. I would love it if you were my sister. Maybe I could trade you in for Daisy. I mean, Daisy in for you. <laughs> yeah, I think I think Daisy would miss being your sister, though. Um, I'm not so sure about that. <laughs> I think maybe she'd want to get rid of me if she could. Molly, I had so much fun. I don't even want to go to sleep because then it'll be tomorrow and the sleepover will be over. I know, but you can always come for another sleepover, I promise. Aw, Molly, you're my best friend. Good night. Good night. <sighs> Molly, Brookie, are you guys ever going to get out of bed today? Huh? What? Too early. Girls, it's almost noon. Huh? We were up till like 2.30 in the morning. Girls, come on. I'll make something delicious for breakfast. Brookie, are you awake? Yeah, sort of. Geronimo! Ow, Molly, you totally jumped on me. Sorry, I guess that was a bad idea. <laughs> Next time, I'll use the ladder. Oh, I'm so cozy and comfy in bed right now. I don't feel like getting out. Okay, well, I guess you're gonna miss pancakes then. Did somebody say pancakes? I'll be right there. This house is so big, I forget which way I'm going. <laughs> oh yeah, the elevator's over here. Wait for me, Molly. That was some party last night, wasn't it, Brookie? Totally, I stayed up way too late. Okay, girls, how about some breakfast? Yeah, Dad, sounds delicious. All right, let's see. I could make you some burgers. Burgers? Dad, ew! What? It's lunchtime. <laughs> and besides, I ate all the pancakes. It's okay, I'm fine with eating a burger. See, Brookie's fine. Okay, fine. I'll have a burger, too. A breakfast burger. I don't think that's a thing, Dad. Hmm. These are really good, actually. I agree. Hmm. So delicious. Glug, 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 glug. I'm so thirsty after doing all that swimming last night. You guys went swimming? Huh. <sighs> you must have a lot of energy. Totally. It's because we're not old. Hey! <laughs> Sorry, Dad, but you are kind of old. Okay, Brookie, well, we better do our morning routine. Uh, I don't want to do my morning routine. Why not, Brookie? Because if I do my morning routine, it means I have to go home. Brookie, trust me, you're going to be able to come back again. It's not like you're going to have to stay away forever. I know, but I just, I love having a sleepovers at your house and like, uh, they just go by so fast. Yeah, I know. La, 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 la. I need to wake myself up. Seriously, I was up way too late last night. Can't even believe it. <laughs> oh, that water's freezing! Okay, I'm awake. I'm awake. <sighs> burr, burr, burr. Uh, Molly, what's going on? Uh, I took a shower and the water was freezing. I have no idea why. You should have a hot cup of cocoa. That'll make you feel lots better. That's a great idea. Mm, this is super good. Well, Brookie, oh, Brookie already left. <laughs> she must be taking her shower and getting ready. I cannot believe how amazing Molly's house is. Like, oh, they must be so rich or something. My house doesn't look anything like this. Oh, well, at least I can come visit her whenever I want to. <laughs> la, 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 la. Brookie, I hear you singing in the shower. Oh, sorry, but I like to sing in the shower. P-I-G-G-Y, Piggy is after me. I love that song. Me too, Molly. Well, I've decided you definitely have to be my sister instead of Daisy. Really? Why? What made you think that? Because you don't take three hours in the bathroom. Daisy has to do her pigtails just so. Then she has to put on makeup. Then she has to polish her nails. Oh, we're always late when she has to, like, be all beautiful. You take, like, three seconds and you're out of the bathroom just like me. 
<laughs> I think we were meant to be sisters. I really do, Molly. Yeah, or best friends for life. Absolutely. You know what? I just had a great idea. What, Molly? Well, what if the sleepover just doesn't end? What are you talking about? <laughs> I don't live here. Yeah, but it's only Saturday. And it's not like we have to go to school tomorrow. I think we should ask my dad if you can spend the night again. Seriously? Okay, I don't think I can stay up till 2.30, though. That was insane. Yeah, I'm serious. Do you want to? Absolutely. Okay, let me go ask my dad. Dad? Dad? Oh, you girls kept me up so late last night. Dad, why are your arms stuck out like that? I'm trying to sit up, but it's not working. <laughs> Dad, you're so old. Um, that's not very nice. Did you want something? Because you're not really selling your case here. <laughs> Dad, sorry, I didn't mean to call you old. I mean, you are old, but I really didn't have to point it out. Molly? Sorry, okay. I'm really bad at asking for things, I guess. I don't know. You asked me for an iPhone like every other day. <laughs> Dad, I was wondering, can Brookie Cookie spend the night again? Oh, uh, I don't know. You girls are up so late. Yeah, we're only going to stay up till like 2 tonight instead of 2.30. Wow, Molly, that's really late. Oh, oh boy. Um, yeah, okay. Woohoo! Come on, Brookie, we have to plan our whole other night of dun dun dun! A second sleepover! Yes! <laughs> In this Brookhaven mini-movie, Molly is an orphan that needs to be adopted. But every parent that comes into the adoption center doesn't adopt her. Soon, Molly is an adult and she still doesn't have a family. She is homeless until the kindness of a stranger changes her life forever. But will Molly finally get a family? Watch to the end of this video to find out. And guys, don't forget to slam that like button and comment in the comment sections below this video. Guys, we read all of your comments. Ugh, this crib is so, it's so small. Why do I have to keep sleeping in this? Oh, good morning, Molly. I see that you're awake. Good morning, Brittany. Oh, why the sour face, Molly? Because this bed is too small. It's meant for babies. Well... You see, all the other kids at the orphanage have been adopted, and, well, you should have been too by now, but, I don't know, we're just struggling to find you the right family. But don't worry, we're definitely going to find the mom and dad that are perfect for you. I just know it. Uh, speaking of, get up and get ready, Molly. There's a new couple that are coming today to see if you're the perfect fit for their family. Oh, great. Another one to say. Molly isn't right. Molly does this. Molly does that. Molly isn't right for our family. Uh, I think I'll pass, Brittany. Hello. Uh, we're here to meet the little girl. Oh, are, are you her? Whoa. Hi. I, I, I'm Molly. Hi. Uh, I'm Lieutenant Sean. And um, I'm his wife. My name is Heather. Sean and Heather. Whoa, you're a cop, huh? That's right, <laughs> and we're looking to adopt a beautiful, wonderful, sweet little girl. Do you fit that description? Of course she does, guys. Um, why don't you guys have a special day out just to see, you know, how you guys get along? <sighs> Listen, Brittany, this never works out. Molly, just try your best. I'm sure that they're going to love you. Come on, Molly. Um, we can go to the park if you want. Yeah, Molly, let's do this. Okay, uh, I know the way to the park. I'll show you guys which way to go. So, Molly, tell us a little about yourself. What? What is this, an interrogation? Uh, no, we just wanted to know. I have the right to a lawyer. I, I don't have to tell you anything, cop. Whoa, uh, Molly, we were just trying to get to know you a little bit. Uh-huh, sure, sure you were. Look, uh, I'm gonna go get on the swing, okay? Sounds fun. Okay, Molly, um, be careful. Sure, I totally will be. If I can ever get on this thing, ugh. There we go. Whee! Molly, don't go so high. Yeah, Molly, I rescue kids with broken legs when they go too high on swings all the time. Molly, can you please listen to... Molly, can you listen to me? Oh, boy, she doesn't listen, does she? I don't have to listen. I can do what I want. Whee! <laughs> Did you see that jump? Uh, yeah, Molly, it was really scary. I don't know if you should do that when you're at the park. Everything's fine. Now I'm going to go down the slide. But Molly, that goes into the pool. Do you know how to swim? Yeah, I can swim okay. 
Do you have your bathing suit? Because you're going to get your clothes all wet. Yeah, I don't care. Molly, I don't think it's a good idea. Could you come back here? We could just talk for a little while since, you know, we were thinking about being your parents. Wee! I don't have to listen to anyone. Uh, Molly, I, I think it's time for you to go back to the adoption center. Really? Why? Um, well, Heather and I just decided that, um, we're not ready to adopt yet. Oh, okay. Well, it was nice meeting you guys. Bye, Molly. Good luck with your search for your parents. Oh, hey, Molly. How did your day go with, um, with the new adoptive parents? Uh, eh. Oh, no, Molly. Not another one that said no. Well, I was just being myself, like you said. Were you behaving? Um, well, then it wouldn't be myself. Molly, where is your manners? I had pretty good manners. I just didn't do anything that they asked me to. I don't like being interrogated. Ugh, Molly. What are we going to do with you? I don't know, Brittany. I guess I'm going to be stuck at the orphanage forever. Molly, Molly, where, where are you? Molly? Molly, what are you doing on top of the changing table? I'm pretending to be a baby. Why would you do that? Because it seems like since everybody wants a baby and doesn't want me, I'll just pretend to be a baby from now on. Oh, Molly, someone's going to want you just the way you are, I promise. Well, I don't see them lining up to adopt me. Well, it's funny you should say that because I have a new couple out front that's looking to spend the day with you. Really? Maybe I'm finally going to get parents. Hi, I'm Molly. Hi there. <laughs> I'm Rich. And I'm Debbie. Nice to meet you. Rich and Debbie. Uh, nice to meet you too. Whoa, Debbie, are you a doctor? Uh-huh, I sure am. Whoa, cool. What are we going to do today? Well, we thought we would go get some ice cream. What do you think? Yeah, I love ice cream. Let's do this. Mint chocolate chip, my favorite. Mm. I think these guys could be my mom and dad. And they're going to take me for ice cream? Oh, yeah. Mmm, this mint chocolate chip is delicious. I know, right? It's so good. Would you look at that? We all got the same flavor. Yeah, and it's my favorite, too. Mm. Can't believe I ate all my ice cream already. Well, Rich, uh, I'm going to eat yours, too. What? No, you can't eat my ice cream. Give me that. Mmm, mm, delicious. That Molly, that was rude. Do, do they not teach you any manners at the orphanage? Guess not. When it comes to ice cream, I'm going to eat it all. I'm coming for yours next, Debbie. Molly, don't take my ice cream. Rude. Oh, my gosh. Sh is she standing on the table eating my ice cream? Um, I think it's safe to say that this one isn't right for us. Well, I knew that was going to be the answer, but at least I got to eat all the ice cream. Bye! <laughs> I knew they weren't even going to pick me. They never do. Mm. But I got to eat all uh, six scoops of ice cream, so I'm pretty happy about that. Mm. Delicious. Brittany, Brittany, I'm back. What are you doing? Uh, I'm just tidying up the, the adoption center in case we get any new kids in. Wait, wh where are the parents who took you out? They said no, as usual. Also, do you have any Pepto-Bismol? I have a tummy ache. What? Why? Well, I may have eaten six scoops of ice cream. What? They let you eat sk six scoops of ice cream? Are you serious? No, they didn't let me. I just took their ice cream, too. Molly, what are we going to do with you? I'm trying to get you adopted, but you have to help me a little bit here. Okay, fine. I'll try to be on my best behavior. Good. I have a new couple coming tomorrow. I figured I should book a, a more than one couple because, Lord knows, you seem to just, well, be sent back here over and over and over again. But don't worry. I'm going to find the perfect parents for you. I hope so, Brittany. I sure hope so. Whee! I love riding this bike. It's so much fun. I can't believe Brittany got it for me. It's the nicest present anyone has ever given me before. Molly, hello, come inside. <laughs> Brittany, I'm driving in circles around you. Molly, seriously, stop driving in circles around me. You're making me dizzy. <laughs> oh, well, Brittany, oh my gosh, I just ran you over. Oh my gosh, are you okay? Um, yeah, Molly, I'm fine. Ouch, that hurt a little bit, though. Sorry about that. Still learning how to ride a bike. It's okay, Molly. Look, I... 
I told you tomorrow that we were going to have uh, a new couple coming to see you while they're here. Nah, don't want to meet him. Molly, why? Because everybody says no because I'm just being me and they don't like it. So I'm going to say no to them. Oh, you haven't even met them before. <sighs> okay, fine. I'll meet them. After this one, if they say no, I say no. Hey, yeah, I'm at the adoption center. Uh huh, yep, I'm gonna adopt a kid. I know, right? Adopt a kid? These guys look like maybe they're like 22. Hey, what's up? We're here to adopt you and stuff. Oh my gosh. What's your name? Barry. What's your name? Sherry. Wait a minute, your name is Barry and Sherry? Barry, Sherry? Seriously? Yeah. You're pranking me, right? Molly, you're running out of options. Give Barry and Sherry a chance, okay? Yeah, come on. We're going to go to the diner. You can order a piece of cake. Well, it doesn't sound all that bad. Okay. Barry and Sherry, let's go. Hmm. This is the best cheeseburger I've ever had. Can I have another one? Sure you can, Molly. Um, excuse me. Can she get another cheeseburger? Coming right up. Hmm. I love these cheeseburgers at Brookhaven Diner. So delicious. So Molly, tell us a little about yourself. Yeah, we'd love to get to know you some more. Mm. Maybe I could tell you after I get done eating all these cheeseburgers. I'm hungry. Do they not feed you at the adoption center? Of course they do. I had a piece of pizza before I even came over here. I just like to eat food. Lots and lots of food. Cupcakes, ice cream, pizza. Wow. You sure do eat a lot, huh? I sure do. Mm. kind of feel like I ate too much today, though. Uh-oh! Here comes something special for you guys! Oh my gosh! Did you just stand on the table and fart? Uh, yeah, I think it's kind of funny. <laughs> oh, okay, it's not funny. I'm dying. Smells bad. Smells bad. Barry, this kid doesn't even know manners. How can we be seen with her? Ugh, she stood on the table and farted. That's so disgusting. Ah, um, sorry. I was just trying to be funny and lighten the mood. I'm out of here. Come on, Barry. I can't breathe. I'm trying to move, but my lungs won't work. Coming, Sherry. Fine, I didn't want you to adopt me anyway, Sherry and Barry. What kind of names are those anyway? They stink. Oh, wow, this is a really good book. I love it. Um, Molly, can you come here a minute? Sorry, Brittany, I'm reading my favorite book again. Oh, I wish the orphanage got new books every once in a while. And the town library doesn't get new ones either. Molly, please come here. I need to talk to you. Okay, what is it, Brittany? Well, it's been ten years, and I still haven't found you anyone to adopt you. I failed at my job, Molly. Brittany, don't talk like that. Just because I didn't find a mom and dad yet doesn't mean I won't. Actually, Molly, that's exactly what it means. What? What are you talking about? Well, today's your 18th birthday, and you've aged out of the system. What? What do you mean? It means you can't stay at the orphanage anymore. You're officially a grown-up. What? No, no, I'm not. I don't feel like a grown-up at all. Well, you are. I'm so sorry that I failed you, Molly. But... But this is the only home I've ever known. I know, but it's time for you to move on. But I don't have any family. You can always come back and visit me, Molly. Oh my gosh, I can't believe this. When do I have to leave? Well, your 18th birthday is at midnight, so that's when you're expected to go. Oh my gosh, I, I, I never got adopted and, and, and now I have to leave? This, this is terrible news. How can this be the law? It just is. I'm I'm sorry, Molly. Remember, if you need any help, you can always come back. How about a place to live? That would be helpful. Sorry, can't do that. How about some food? That would be helpful. Sorry, I, I mean, I could give you the money I have, but it can't be from the orphanage. This stinks! I don't want anything from anybody! How rude. How very rude! Kicking me out of the only home I've ever known! Ugh, I'm starving. I wish I had money to eat at Brooks Diner, but I don't even have a penny to my name. I'm so hungry. Well, there's only one thing to do. Look for the dumpster. Score!
I'm sure there'll be something delicious in there to eat. An apple! Delicious! I mean, it tastes a little old, but why would somebody throw this out? It's perfectly good. Mm, so good. Well, I better set up my tent for the night. Next to the dumpster seems like a pretty good place. I just wish I had a place of my own. Like a real house and a real family. It just makes me so sad sometimes. I don't have anyone in my life at all. I mean, I'm... I'm so lonely! <laughs> and also hungry. I have to go back into the dumpster and get something else to eat. Mmm. An old cheeseburger. That looks pretty good. Okay, there's just a little mold on the bread. I can deal with it. Uh, is that girl eating from the dumpster? Ew, disgusting. Hey, what are you doing up there in that dumpster? Oh, um, nothing. Uh, I could share it with you if you want. Just don't tell on me, okay? Share it with me? Ew, I'm not going to eat that old cheeseburger from the dumpster. Why are you? Um, well, um, I'm, I'm homeless. What? Seriously? Did I stutter? Yeah, I'm, I'm homeless. And I'm very hungry. See, that's my tent where I live. And this is the cheeseburger I'm having for dinner. Oh, wow. I'm here. I'll give you a little bit of money and a sandwich, okay? Uh, here, here's some takeout. And I put $20 in there for you, too. Seriously? That's so nice of you. Yes, yeah, seriously. What happened? Anyway, they made you homeless. Well, I was an orphan, and I never got adopted. Really? I was an orphan, too, but I got adopted by a rich family. I didn't. I, I never got adopted, and then I turned 18, and I had to leave. Oh my gosh, that's terrible! Well, I hope things get better for you. Here you go. Oh, wow! Thank you! You're welcome. Good luck! Thanks! Bye! Wow! She said she was just gonna give me a little bit of money, but this is enough money for me to buy, like, a house! Holy guacamole! I mean, it won't be a really expensive house, but at least it'll be better than a tent. Wow! A house of my own! Home sweet home. It might just be a camper, but I don't care. It's it's nicer than I've ever had. Wow, we it even has a TV. That Daisy person is the nicest person in the entire world. Well, I better get these groceries inside. Oh, I gotta be careful crossing the ah! Be careful! You almost ran into me! Oh, but I'm so sorry. My vision isn't like it used to be. Wait a minute. Are you that girl that was eating from the dumpster? Are you that girl that 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 gave me that money so I could buy a little house? Yes, I am. My name's Stacy. My name's Molly. I just got back from the food pantry. You want to come inside for a hot dog or something? Oh, I, I'd love to. Let's go. Come on in. M my house is it isn't much, but um, it's mine. I know what you mean. I I had a lot of money, but I downsized. My hips won't do the stairs anymore. Yeah, I know what you mean. I like having a house all on one level. Well, it's 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 very nice. I I see what you did with the money was a good idea. Yeah, I never really had much in life, but I didn't mind. The one thing I didn't have though was family. And, well, I've always been sad about that. Oh, really? You never did find a family? No, never. Wait, I never had a sister. Would you like to be mine? Seriously? Wow! Oh, don't get me too excited. I'll jump up and down and I'll definitely break a hip. Oh, yeah, don't do that. Let's sit down and talk about it. Now... Tell me more about yourself, Molly. Um, well, I I was rejected by every family who who um came to see me. Wow, that sounds terrible. Yeah, well, I was kind of a rebel back then. I've learned a lot since then. Well, I would love to have you as my sister. Seriously? You really would? I think you'd be a great sister. I think you'd be a great sister, too, and I finally have a family of my own. Well, I'm just one sister, but at least I'm better than nothing. It's totally better than nothing. Hey, 
Do you want to come over later for s'mores? Oh, I love s'mores. I'd love to. Wow, having a family is amazing. Would you mind if I brought my children and my grandchildren with me? You have children and grandchildren? Yes, that means now you're going to be an aunt and a great aunt. Oh, wow. It sounds like I have a huge family. You sure do. You're not alone anymore, Molly. You're not alone anymore. Oh, now I can die happy. <laughs> Molly? Did, 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 did you just die? I mean, I know you said you were going to die happy, but did, did, did you just die happy? No. Bad hip gave out on me. Molly, should I do that one more? Not for a bad hip. Get off me, Daisy. Oh, sorry. <laughs> We're already fighting like sisters. Yeah, it'll be fine in a minute. It just seizes up on me. See? All better. Well, I'm glad we can spend our final years as sisters. Me too, Daisy. Me too. Wow, we really did have to get up the crack of dawn for this flight. I know, Molly. Daisy, why are you so sad? We finally saved up enough money to go to Hawaii. This is going to be amazing. Yeah, except for it's like a 12-hour flight to Hawaii. I'm terrified. It's not 12 hours, but it is like 7 hours. It's going to be okay. I don't know, Molly. I don't like flying that much. Really? I think it's exhilarating. You're up above the clouds. You're way up in the sky. Yeah, that's exactly why it's so scary. What if the plane crashes? What if I want to get out? Well, what if what if spiders take over the plane? Uh, no, no, and no. None of those things are going to happen, Daisy. You watch way too many scary movies. Now, come on, we're going to be late. I don't know, Molly. I guess so. Hold it right there, please. Um, bags up there. Okay, okay, I know the drill. I've taken flights before. Uh, first the blonde goes through, please. Okay. Okay, uh, back up, please. Try it again. All right, go through it again, please. All right, wh what do you think this could be? I don't know. You're the security guard. Why don't you tell me? Molly, don't be rude. One more time here. Maybe there's... Let me just clear out the system here. Okay, I may need to call for backup. What? No, I'm not a criminal or anything. All right, I just need you to step over here, please. I know what's going on here, security officer. You do, Daisy? What? My sister has a few screws loose in her head. <laughs> Probably the metal detector is definitely catching them. No, oh, very funny, Daisy. Okay, I'm to your pockets, please. Okay, there you go. Okay, I don't see anything. All right, let's try going through again. Okay, it must have just been a little glitch with it. <laughs> yeah. Watch that one, though. She's she's definitely got screws loose in her brain. Oh, ha, ha. Stealing my joke. Very funny, Molly. Okay, go through, please. That's <laughs> happening to you, too, Daisy. All right, try again. <laughs> that thing's totally whack. <laughs> oh, boy. My job is miserable sometimes. All right, go through again. All right, you're good. Have a great trip, I guess, or whatever you're doing. Molly, do you have your ticket? Jiminy Cricket, I forgot it at home! Are you kidding me, Molly? Uh, yeah, I'm kidding. I think. Where is my ticket? Okay, let me look through my backpack. Uh, a taser. Uh, Molly! Just kidding, here it is. Well, hello there. Um, let me just see your tickets, please. Okay, I'll scan those right now. Welcome, Molly. I see today you're going to Hawaii. Daisy, don't look at the board. What? Why? Just don't. What? The, the flight to California? Does that say crashed? Uh, no, uh, that was just a typo, right? Right, flight attendant? Oh, no, I'm afraid not. That one actually did crash. Ugh, we've been having so many problems with that plane. Okay, next, please. I'm out of here. Let me out. Daisy, what are you doing? Come on, we're going to Hawaii. They've, they only have one, like, plane crash every 10 years, and it's already happened, so there's not going to be any more. Could you tell my sister everything's going to be okay? Of course. Everything's going to be fine. Now grab your luggage and head to the plane. Oh, this is so bad. My sister is so freaked out now. Totally freaked out. Oh, yeah, yeah. I need to just take deep breaths into a brown people bag. 
You got this, Daisy. You got this. Wow. This plane is posh. Okay, I'm gonna go see where the restroom is. Ah, uh, Daisy, here's the seats. I don't feel so good. I think I definitely need to go to the bathroom. It'll be okay, Daisy. You just probably gotta... Then everything will be fine. <laughs> Daisy, relax. Listen, everything's gonna be amazing once we get to Hawaii. Yeah, you're right, Marley. All this nervous energy will be worth it once we get to Hawaii. Hello! Welcome to the flight! Uh, I have to go back into the cockpit now because if I don't, the plane will crash! Holy guacamole! <laughs> that was interesting! Tell me about it! Why is he leaving the plane to, to, to run itself? Don't worry, everything's automated. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Ah, what's that? It's turbulence, Daisy. Relax. Goodness gracious. Hi there! Welcome aboard the Flight 106 to Hawaii! <laughs> I'm super excited to have you two aboard! Wow, she likes to sing everything too, Daisy. Yeah. Oh, let's turn that frown upside down! Who thinks about going to a trip to Hawaii in such a big frown? She just feels like something's gonna go wrong on this flight. Of course not. Whoa, 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 I suggest that you guys sit down and just strap in. <laughs> We're having a little bit of turbulence. And here's a strawberry shake. Doesn't that look delicious? Yeah, I want it. Give me it. Molly, don't be rude. I'm drinking it. Yes, it was for our passenger Jay Daisy so that she could be more comfortable. Well, do I get anything delicious? You could have this mint one. Yeah, okay, I'll take it. Mmm. That tastes delicious. Ah, this is the life. I don't know, Molly. The plate is just... Whoa, it's doing it again, Molly. Really bad this time. Daisy, relax. Everything's going to be fine, I think. Whoa, I never have a plane do this before. Holy guacamole. Ah, 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 ah. Ah, oh, boy, that was crazy. Oh, no. Here it goes again. Oh, I think I'm going to be sick. Daisy! Wow, I've never been on a flight like this before. Oh, 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 oh. oh man, Daisy, everything's gonna be okay. We're we're good. I don't want to get away. Turn the plane around. Daisy, it's look, da Daisy. Wait, come back here, Daisy. I'm trying to talk to you. Nope, I'm hiding. I don't like it. Oh, <laughs> I was like, I was so dizzy. I was like laying down in the seat. Oh. Molly, you're supposed to be comforting me. Okay, look, Daisy, I'm sorry that this flight's been so rough. Don't worry about it, though. Everything's gonna be okay. Are you sure? Yeah, and think about all the fun stuff we're gonna do in Hawaii. Ooh, ooh, more turbulence. Um, we're gonna sit on the beach. I don't like this. Woo! Daisy, just listen to the sound of my voice. We're gonna sit on the beach. We're gonna have so much fun. We're gonna, um, drink drinks out of coconuts. <laughs> We even might see, like, um, I don't know, some, like, hula dancing and stuff like that. My brain is kind of scrambled from all that turbulence, but we're going to do something fun. Hello, could I interest you in anything else to drink? <laughs> Actually, the last drink you brought kind of made my stomach upset. What? I don't think so. I make the best in-flight drinks ever. Um, okay. Try this one. I'm sure it's going to knock you right off your feet. <laughs> um, no thank you. Daisy, um, meet me in the bathroom. Daisy, I don't want to freak you out any more than you already are, but something's just weird about that, that flight attendant. I know, Molly. I sense it too. I don't, I don't know what's going on with her, but I don't, I don't know if I like her very much. Don't drink any food or drinks she brings. I think she's trying to fill us full of toxic, like, slime or something. Ew, gross! That would make you have to go poo-poo a lot. Yeah, no kidding. Okay, come on, let's go back to our seats and just, you know, like, pretend everything's normal. Oh my god, she's still standing here. Oh, did you guys have a nice trip to the party? Um, yeah. <laughs> okay, well, how about that drink now? I'm telling you, it's going to make you feel very relaxed. <laughs> For that matter, the pilot just had one. Um, okay, no thanks. Actually, you know what? You could go make us one. Um, 
And, uh, yeah, don't come back for like 15 minutes. Okay, how about I show you what's gonna be like in Hawaii, too? <laughs> you can just totally get chilled. Daisy, um, if the pilot drank that, I think I better go check on him. Why, Molly? Because something tells me there was something in that drink that'll knock you out. Molly, even I'm not as paranoid as you are. Yeah, but my gut's telling me something's not right about that flight attendant. Pilot? Pilot? Are you just taking a nap? Pilot? Oh my gosh, he drank the drink! And now he's knocked out, just like she said! Daisy, the pilot is knocked out. Of course he is. Because <laughs> you're trapped with me forever. Want a snack? No, I don't want a snack, you psycho. <laughs> You'll never get past me and my snack cart. <laughs> you do realize that no one is flying the plane, you psycho. That means we're all going to crash and die. Whatever. This will be the flight of a lifetime. <laughs> the end of yours. Okay, crazy flight attendant. Daisy, come here. We have to devise a plan. <laughs> come back here. I wasn't done. Okay, Daisy, I'm going to tell her that my stomach hurts and I need some Tums in the bathroom. When I go in there, we'll both lock her into the bathroom and then we'll land the plane. That sounds right, right? I don't know. That sounds like a crazy hand plane, plane plan to me. Sounds crazy. What other choice do we have, Daisy? I don't know. I guess I'll go along with it, but I'm never flying again. Next time, I'd rather swim to Hawaii. Okay, let's do this. There you are. <laughs> I don't feel so good. I've got to go to Pawnee. To the Pawnee. Oh, flight attendant. Please bring me some Tums. I've got heartburn so bad. <coughs> oh, ew. Okay, here's your Tums. Um, can you just... Oops, I dropped him. Can you get him right there? Lock the door, Daisy! Molly, I'm trying! Okay, I'm just gonna spray you with this and, and that'll help. Daisy, get... Okay, all right. We obviously didn't know what this plan was supposed to be. We're not on the same page! Okay, the door is locked. Hey, you little demons! Let me out of here, you brats! Okay, now come on. We have to go land the plane. Oh... <laughs> Yeah, I know. You you drank the drink. You fool! Marty, what are we doing? I don't know. Plane emergency triggered. Yeah, that was me. I pushed the emergency button. Whoa! Daisy, do you know how to fly this? Of course I don't, Marty! I thought we already established that! Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. We're gonna die. We're gonna die. We're gonna die. Hello? This is the tower. Is there an emergency? Is there an emergency? Yes, there's an emergency! Listen up! There's an evil flight attendant, and she uh, knocked out the, the pilot, and my sister and I are just teenagers. We don't know how to land a plane, and it's bouncing all over the place, and I don't know what to do. Don't worry, Molly. I'm Googling how to fly a plane. Got it. We're going to be okay. It sounds like your sister knows what she's doing. We'll let you guys take it from here. What? No. She's only 16 years old. She doesn't know how to fly a plane. She only Googled it. Everybody knows Google knows everything. Okay, here we go. I am ready to die. Goodbye, life. Goodbye. Molly, I did it! I can't believe it! I landed a plane! I might have a new p profession. Yeah, except for the fact you hate planes. All right, let's call 911. Good idea, Molly. Hi, 911? What's your emer emergency? I'm on the plane that just landed at the airport, and there's a crazy flight attendant on here. Okay, we'll be there right away. Okay, where's the criminal? We have her locked in the bathroom. <laughs> and I also farted in there, so it's extra punishing. Okay, um, I, I, I'll take care of this from here. I'm so glad you girls are okay. Thank you. Let me out of here, you little demons! This is the police. You have the right to remain silent. Oh, wow, it is stinky in here. Hey, don't be judging. Well, Molly, it's safe to say that the worst thing that could have ever happened on a flight happened to me. Um, yeah, I think you're bad luck. Molly, rude! <laughs> well, at least we landed in Hawaii. Maybe we should take that dream vacation. Agreed, Molly. We definitely need it after all of this. Oh my gosh, I'm so hungry. I keep eating these donuts, but I never feel full. Oh! Oh! Dan, are you okay? Um, well, 
Not really. I, I'm just freaking out. Why? Why? Mm, this leftover pizza is delicious. Can you stop eating for one second? Tell that to the baby. The baby keeps telling me you're hungry, you're hungry, you're hungry, you're hungry, you're hungry, you're hungry. At one o'clock in the morning, at three o'clock in the morning, at five in the morning, I'm getting up all night long to eat the weirdest things like peanut butter and pickle sandwiches. Ew, gross. I know, right? So what are you stressed about, Dan? You could tell me why I'm eating this donut. Well, the nursery isn't built yet. I mean, I've been working on it really hard, but the crib's not quite done yet because I accidentally put it together wrong and it fell apart. Oopsie. Oh, Dan, seriously? Sorry, I've never put together a crib before. I wasn't quite sure what I was doing. But it's almost time for the baby and, and, and I'm freaking out now. Everything's done. <laughs> uh, Dan? Correction. It's not almost time for the baby. It's time right now! Wait, what? <laughs> Dan, wake up! I need another donut. And also, a ride to the hospital. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna be a dad soon! Okay, don't panic, don't panic. I'm not panicking, Dan. You are. Okay, I'm telling myself not to panic. Don't panic, don't panic, don't panic! <sighs> I may not have the crib built, but I did have our overnight bag packed. Oh wow, Dan, you're so prepared. All I've done today is eat a box of donuts and an entire thing of pizza. Oh, don't worry. After the baby comes, you probably won't be as hungry. Jeepers, I hope so. <sighs> I bet this bus will be big enough to fit all the baby gear in. <laughs> Plus, it's extremely safe and it doesn't have a lot of bumps when you drive it. What are you... Did you seriously just charter a bus? Yeah, I want to make sure we can fit all of our baby gear inside. Dan, we don't need that much baby gear. Come on, Laura! You don't want to have the baby right here in the street, do you? Well, not really. Come on, get inside! Buckle your seatbelt! Here goes nothing! Dan, make sure you're driving safe! Dan, slow down! We're here! Okay, Laura, just take a deep breath. <sighs> I'm trying. Laura, everything's gonna be okay, I promise. I think. Here, I've got a stretcher. Hop on! Dan, I hope you can drive this stretcher better than you can drive that giant bus. Excuse me. Excuse me. My, 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 my wife needs your help. Uh, okay. What can I do for you? She's, she's about to have a, a puppy. A puppy? Dan, are you feeling okay? I mean, a baby. Oh, I was going to say, if she was having a puppy, she'd need to go to the veterinarian. <laughs> I don't deliver puppies here. He's he's just losing his mind right now, doctor. I'm having a baby, not a puppy. Okay, why don't you go into exam room one and get comfortable? Really? Get comfortable? But isn't the baby going to come right now? Um, By the look of your wife, she has about 30 minutes. Oh, okay. 30 minutes, yeah. Oh, everything should be fine. Dan, deep breaths. Oh no, here comes a first time dad. They're always the crazy ones. How are you feeling, Laura? I feel like I got run over by that bus. Ah! How are we feeling, Laura? Everyone keeps asking me that. And I just want to tell you, not good. I want my baby out. Okay, well, let's take an ultrasound and make sure everything is going along smoothly, okay? Okay. <sighs> I can breathe, right? I can breathe. I hope you can, because if you can't, well, that would be bad. You'd die. Oh my gosh, don't tell me that, doctor! Laura, now you're freaking out. Just try to relax. How can I relax? I'm having a baby! It's going to be a wonderful time in your life, Laura. Now, okay, let's get you over to the exam room so we can do our ultrasound. I've had an ultrasound every single month of my pregnancy, so I know my baby's going to be healthy. And it's a girl! Oh, wow, that's amazing. <laughs> little girls are the cutest. Well, little boys are cute, too. I've delivered thousands of babies. Whoa, I've never seen this before. I I've delivered uh, a thousand babies. And, 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 and this is this is beyond me. I, I, I've I never, ever seen this before. Seen what, doctor? This... This seems crazy to me. Oh my gosh. It's actually a boy instead of a girl, isn't it? Oh, this could be awesome. No, it's still a girl, right? Um, guys, it's still a girl, but it has 
Well, wings. Wings? Did you just say wings? Oh! Well, you didn't actually just say wings, did you? Um, yeah, I did. Your baby is a fairy or an angel or something. Oh my gosh! I, I can't believe this! Dan, wake up! Oh, what? No, I can't. Too much craziness! Too much craziness! Laura, you're doing great! Your baby is almost here! Yay! I can't wait to meet my baby! This is the most amazing day ever! I'm gonna name her Molly. Oh, I love that name! Here she is! I'm just gonna wrap her up and her wings inside this blanket so they don't get cold. Seriously? She really does have wings? Yup, she sure does. Oh my gosh, is she a fairy or an angel? She's definitely a sweet little angel. Hi, sweet little baby. I'm your mommy. Oh, uh, yes. Hello, CBS. I would like to report that I just helped a woman give birth to a baby angel. I'd love to be That's right. On the telegraph. First one in Brookhaven history. On the telegraph. I'd love to be on the TV program tonight. That's right. Yep. That's right. Yep. Seven o'clock's great. Thanks. Okay. Well, your baby's very healthy. See, uh, I gotta go be on the news. What? Yeah. First time I've ever delivered an angel baby. I'm gonna be famous. She's got to be the sweetest baby on the entire planet. Well, she is definitely the most unique. Dan, come over here and see your daughter. I'm a little nervous. I'm a dad. Yeah, but she's beautiful. Wow, she really is. Aww, let's take her home. Great idea, Dan. We're a family now. Daddy, what are you doing? Oh, I have to work two jobs just to pay for all the toddler stuff. Daddy, you're the best daddy in the world. Oh, thank you, baby angel Molly. Oh, I work so hard. Dad, don't, don't be stressed, Dad. Everything be okay. Oh, you're a sweet girl. I, I try be. <laughs> mama, 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 mama. Oh, hi, baby Molly. Oh, I'm just really tired right now, honey. What is it that you need? I'm hungry, I'm hungry, I'm hungry, I'm hungry, I'm hungry. Okay, well, dinner, dinner will be ready in like an hour. It took me a really long time to prepare it. In the meantime, while that's in the oven, I'm going to go pay some bills. Hopefully, we have enough in our bank account. We've been short almost every, every month, despite your dad and I working so much overtime. Oh, Mama, no worries, no worries, Mama. Oh, little Molly, you're so sweet. Yeah, I'm sweet. I know, you're an angel. Hmm, I am an angel. Okay, I do something nice. There, I use my angel power to make dinner. Mom, dinner's ready. What? Oh my gosh, I don't want to have a million dollars in the bank. I make a million dollars for you. What? Baby Angel, you you put a million dollars in our bank account? And I make dinner real fast because I know everyone's hungry. Oh my gosh, this is insane. Dada, wake up, wake up. Oh, I can't believe it. Oh, you are amazing. I could get used to this. Oh, baby angel, that was so sweet of you. I had turkey and stuffing like Thanksgiving. Oh, such a sweet girl. Wow, my first day of school. I can't believe it. I'm actually in kindergarten finally. This is super exciting. Hi, I I I'm Molly. Oh, great. It's a kindergartner. What do you want? Um, to be friends? Duh. A second grader cannot be friends with a kindergartner. And what's up with those giant wings? It's not Halloween. <laughs> they're ugly. What? No, they're not. They're my wings. I, I, I was born with them. My parents told me they're beautiful. Well, your parents totally lied. I think they're weird. Really? They are? Yeah, totally. And don't talk to me anymore because you're a kindergartner, so I cannot be seen with you, or I'll look like a total loser. Wait, wait, we can be friends. 
stop following me, loser. No, seriously, we, we can be friends. Hold on. I, I have magic. Wait, what? Okay, now I'm interested. What can you do for me, kindergartner? Um, well, maybe this would make you less grumpy. Wh what? What's on my back? It's an adorable little bear backpack. And it's full of super cute school supplies like pencils with little cute erasers on the top that are in the shapes of like animals and it even has a laptop inside seriously you did that for me yeah do you feel happy now actually yeah i kind of do awesome do you think we can be friends uh i don't know about all that but you did make me feel pretty happy cool and by the way I think your wings are really beautiful. I was just saying that to be mean. Oh, wow. Well, thanks for being honest. No problem. Sorry I was rude to you. Awesome. Thank you. Wow, I totally tur turned the bully's heart around. She's not a bully anymore. She's just really nice. Hey guys, what's up? It's Angel Molly, and I'm making a super amazing TikTok for you today. Who just drove their motorcycle by so loud? Oh, that's so rude. I can't even make a TikTok now. Hey, what's up? Um, what's up is that I am trying to make a TikTok and... Wait a minute. Are you a demon? Are you an angel? Ugh. Ugh, oh, yuck. A demon. Oh, yuck. An angel. Except for the fact that you're, like, really pretty. Yeah, well... So what? You're a demon. Get away from me. Wait a minute. Are you the girl that makes all those amazing TikToks? You're like super smart and funny and stuff. What's your name, Molly? Yeah, that's me. You're a fan of my TikToks? Yeah, they're amazing. Wow, thanks. That's nice of you to say. No problem. You know, demons aren't all bad. Um, I beg to differ. How about you come to the ice cream shop with me? And I'll show you how demons can actually be nice. Well, I don't know. Come on, give me a chance. All right, fine. What's your name? My name's Luke. Hop on my motorcycle. Oh, this seems like a bad idea. Nah, it's going to be so fun. Whee! <laughs> my wings are blowing in the breeze. Ow, you ran into that plant. Sorry, I'm still learning how to drive this thing. I noticed. So, uh, what's your favorite ice cream? I'll get you anything you want. Are you gonna steal it because you're a demon? No, but can you stop hitting me with your wings? They're huge! Well, you have wings too! Yeah, but my wings are really small. Yours keep smacking me in the head. Sorry, I can't help it. They're attached to me and basically, they go where I go. Yeah, I know what you mean. My wings, even though they're small, it's just like sometimes they get caught in my backpack and they get caught when I'm closing a door. Yeah, that's so annoying, right? Yeah, totally. So what kind of ice cream do you want? Mint chip is my favorite, but I think I'm going to get bubble gum. Whoa, you're loaded. You have a ton of money. Yeah, I got a summer job. Doing what? Robbing banks? What? No, I'm actually working at the bank, making real money. Wow, you must be really smart. Yeah, almost as smart as you. I've seen your TikToks. Ah, thanks. Mmm, this is delicious. I hate to admit this, but I kind of think you're cool. Really? Do you think I'm handsome too? Um, let's not even go there. So that's a yes. <laughs> Are you going to eat an ice cream? Yup, chocolate. Mmm, I like chocolate. I actually like all ice cream. Something told me that you might. <laughs> mm. This is so good. Well, thanks for the ice cream. Hey, um, if you're not busy, tomorrow night, do you uh, want to go on a date with me? Date with a demon? Uh... Oh, come on. Well, I guess I could. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited to tell Luke the news. And we've only been married two years now, though. Like, are we ready for this? Well, I'm at his job, so here goes nothing. Luke? Uh, are you here? 
Molly, what are you doing here, wife? Well, husband, um, I have some news. Uh, what is it? I, I, I'm gonna have a baby! What? Are you serious? Oh my gosh, this is amazing! Really? Oh, Luke, you didn't have to pass out, it's okay! I'm just so excited! Me too, Luke, me too, this is gonna be so amazing! I can't agree more, Molly. I think we're going to be great parents, even though, well, you're an angel and I'm a demon. I know, but we love each other, so we're going to make the perfect family. Is it, is it a boy or a girl? It's a boy! Oh my gosh, a son! But more importantly, is it an angel or, or a demon? Actually... It's just a regular human baby. Wait, what? H how did that happen? I don't know, but Luke, maybe because I'm an angel and you're a demon. Wow, this is amazing. Can I hold my baby? Absolutely. Oh my gosh, he has my eyes. He has my smile. He's perfect. Congratulations, Angel Mommy and Demon Daddy. You have a perfectly healthy little boy. What are you going to name him? Um, I don't know. What What about... I don't know. What do you think? Lucas sounds pretty good to me. Wow, I love that name. Hi, Lucas. <laughs> Molly, I got here as soon as I could. Are you okay? Well, I don't think so. Not this time, Luke. What? what? Why? It's almost my time to leave this earth. What? No, you're an angel. You have to live forever. No, not even angels live forever, Luke. I've loved you forever. Even though you're missing half your teeth now, you're so old. I still love you. And I still think you're the most beautiful angel on the planet. Oh, thank you, Luke. Ugh, these old bones, though. They're ready to give up. No, don't say that, Molly. Don't, don't say that. Molly? Molly? Goodbye, Luke. Uh... Molly! No! Molly! Molly, I can't live without you. Please, please don't leave me alone on the planet. Well, I mean, I have our son, but I'm just, I can't live without you. You're my other half. Luke, Luke, Luke. M Molly, I I is that you? Ah, it is you. You look so young and different. What is this? Is this a hallucination? No, Luke. <laughs> Angels only change form when they die, duh. <laughs> Just because we lost our human bodies doesn't mean that we're not still angels. I'll be your guardian angel now. Seriously? Yep, pretty much gonna follow you everywhere you go. And remind you to wash your socks and do the dishes. So you're like an annoying wife guardian angel. Exactly. Until you die, demon. And then we can be together forever again. Oh, I'm so glad you're my guardian angel. I didn't know what I would do without you. Me either, Luke. Me either. Dan, this is the room here. Come on. Look at all the babies. Oh, they're so cute. Okay, the doctor just said the baby we're adopting is wrapped in a pink blanket. Oh my gosh, is that her over there? OMG, this one says Molly. That's right, that was her name, Molly. Oh my gosh, hi little baby. Where are your parents? I don't know for that, I don't know for that. Are you sure this is a good idea? The baby's crying already. As soon as she saw us, she started crying. Dan, she didn't start crying because she saw us. She started crying because, well, she's a baby, and that's what babies do. Okay, but maybe she doesn't want us to be her mom and dad. Don't be ridiculous, Dan. Of course she does. Come here, little baby. I'm gonna pick her up, Dan. Okay, 
But be careful. That thing cries a lot. Hi, sweetie. I'm your mommy. And I'm your dad, if, if you are okay with that. Don't cry, okay? Oh, sweet little baby. There's no reason to cry. Maybe she doesn't want you to be her mom or something. Dan, that's a silly thing to say. Yeah, you're right. You're going to be the world's best mom, Laura. Oh, thanks, Dan. Let's take our new daughter home. Daddy, 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 daddy! What is it, Molly? I want to watch another movie. I want to watch another movie. No, Molly. It's time for you to take a nap. No, I don't want to. Molly, come on now. You already watched one movie, and you promised you'd take a nap like a good little girl. No, I don't want to. I don't want to. Molly, you need to listen to your mother. Oh, boy. These toddler stages are so crazy. Come on, Molly. Let's go up and take a nap. Mommy, I'm not tiger! Actually, you sound very tired, Molly. Come on, let's go take a night-night. See you in a little bit, Molly! Oh, kids. Oh my gosh, I need a vacation. <laughs> Molly, I think your dad wants a vacation. I need a vacation, too. On my vacation, I don't take naps. Well, we're not on vacation now, so you have to take a nap right this second. Oh, I don't want you. Okay, night-night. See you in a few hours. I'm hiding. Okay, Molly, however you want to take a nap, I don't mind. This stinks. I don't want to take a nap. I don't need a nap. I'm a big kid. Molly, get back in your bed. Hi. I don't want to. <laughs> I don't want to take a nap. <laughs> I think she finally fell asleep. Ah, oh, thank goodness. <laughs> This room boring. Woo! I jump on the bed. <laughs> okay, bored now. Woo! The safe. One, two, three, four, eight, seven, four, three, nine. I know my numbers perfectly. Whoa! I say open the safe. Whoa! There's a lot of money in here. I need all this money. It's mine. I gotta, I gotta buy a car with this. Oh yeah, this could be awesome. My new car's amazing. Oh yeah! Making it rain with all my money. <laughs> This is gonna be the best life ever with all this money I have. Molly? What what are you doing in our safe? <gasps> Were you stealing money? Who, me? Uh yeah. What? No, that's naughty. You're not supposed to steal money. But I need a new sports car. You and me both, Molly. I need a sports car too, but I have to be an adult. And I made all that money, so you can't steal it from me. If anybody gets a sports car, it's me, Dad. Wow, you sound grumpy. Maybe you need a diaper change and a nap. That's it. Time out for you. What? But I, do I have to get the money back? Yes, of course. Give it to me, please. No, can't have it back. You can't get me and you can't have it. Molly, get Molly, get back here. <laughs> Molly! <laughs> you're extra grounded! You're you're going to baby jail! Baby jail? What's that? Baby jail is time out for the naughtiest of children! Oh man! You must stand in the corner until, well, for ten minutes! That's a long time! Well, next time you should think about it and and not be naughty. Yeah, that's it. Okay, I'm doing pretty good as a parent. I I think. Is this the right thing to do? I don't know. No, you're me! Sorry, Molly, but sometimes Mom and I, we have to be strict and teach you a lesson. Uh, I don't like it. Just stay there for 10 minutes, Molly, and no more stealing from the safe! This is so boring. I'm out of here. <laughs> I broke out of baby jail. Oh, that was so boring. Instead, I think I'm gonna get an ice cream. Mmm. That's delicious. Mmm-hmm. <laughs> So good. Yummy! Molly, I can't believe it. This is a huge day. Why? I don't feel like it's a very huge day. Why are you crying, Mom? Because you're so grown up, Molly. You're going to take care for the first time. Oh, man. This sounds boring. You're going to learn so much, Molly. You're going to learn about math and science and social studies. Boring, boring, boring. Oh, Molly, try to have a positive attitude, okay? Now, come on. Let's go in and meet your teacher. Fine, but I can go in by myself. What? I was gonna walk you in. I don't need to have you walk me in, Mom. I'm a big kid now. Okay, Molly. Well, have 
Have a good day. Uh, bye. Uh, my mom, she's like driving me crazy. She's always crying when I'm doing new stuff. Uh. Good morning, little girl. I'm your teacher, Mrs. Lily, and you must be the new student. Oh, please don't stand on the desk, okay? Whee! <laughs> Let me tell you who's in charge here, lady. It's me. Um, okay. Um, <laughs> usually we don't talk to the teacher that way, but it's your first day, so I won't put you in timeout or anything. Uh, there's a timeout here, too? Uh, yeah. Did you have timeout at home? Uh, yeah. <laughs> All the time. Oh, boy. I can see I've got my work cut out for me here. Okay, well, why don't you go play with the other kids? Actually, I think the only one here this early is Daisy, but she's super nice. You'll make good friends with her. Fine. You were kind of boring anyway. Use nice words, please, Molly. And welcome to Brookhaven Daycare. Oh, my. My name's Stacy. What's yours? I'm Molly. You talk kind of funny. Well, I can't help it. It's just how I talk. My mom said I'm adorable, though. Well, I guess your mom thinks you're adorable. But I don't. Ouch. You're kind of mean. Why don't you go play somewhere else? Oh, I'm sorry. I, I got off on the wrong foot. I'm Molly, and it's nice to meet you. How about we start over? Okay, I'm Daisy, and it's nice to meet you, too. Don't worry. I think you're just a little nervous about daycare. Wanna play with a hippo? Uh... Not really. I'm too big for that kind of stuff. But you just started daycare. You're like five years old. You don't play with toys? No, I have a much bigger agenda on my mind. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad that Burger Barn delivered this. <sighs> I'll just eat it later, though, because I'm super busy at work. Ooh. The teacher just got something delicious, and my mom tried to feed me healthy stuff for breakfast. I didn't eat it, of course, so I'm hungry. I should steal her lunch. Come on. I'll share it with you. Um, I'm not gonna steal the teacher's anything, let alone her lunch. That's just wrong. What? No, it's fun. Besides, her lunch looks delicious. Look at it. I'm not stealing the teacher's lunch, Molly. Ugh, I don't know if you're a very good friend after all. What? Yes, I am. I'm the best friend in the world because I'm telling you we can have a delicious um snack right now and you don't want to. Well, I just think that it's wrong to steal. Okay, suit yourself, but I'm going to. Ooh, that cheeseburger looks delicious. Mmm. That's good. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Marley, you really did steal her burger bun. Yeah. Mmm. And it's delicious. <laughs> Do you want me to share it with you? I put some of it over on a tray for you over there. No, I don't want to eat that. That's terrible. You stole the teacher's stuff. I'm telling and I'm taking it back too. Don't you dare. Don't you dare do that, Daisy. I'm going to take it back and tell her you stole it. Miss Lily, I have to tell you something. Oh, well, what is it, Daisy? Molly stole your book upon lunch, but I brought it back the half that she tried to give me because I don't want to eat your lunch. Oh, Daisy, thank you for telling me. You sure I'm not a tattletale? No, Daisy, of course you're not a tattletale. It's okay to tell the truth, and this was definitely a time that you should come to me and tell me what's going on. Okay, well, try not to be too harsh on my... I guess. Well, she definitely has to have a timeout, but thank you for telling me. I am sorry you only get to eat half of your lunch now. It's okay, Daisy. I wasn't that hungry anyway. Hmm. Delicious. Is my lunch very, very good, Molly? Huh? What? How did you know? Uh, because Daisy told me. But she... Oh my gosh, what a tattletale! Molly, time out, please. Oh man, come on, you can get in the playpen. What? I'm too big for a playpen! Don't come out for at least 20 minutes. 20 minutes? Well, mom and dad only give me a 10 minute time out. Well, you're a big kid now, and you stole from the teacher. Very naughty. 20 minutes in time out to think about what you did. Oh man, Ugh, that Daisy is so rude. I can't believe she told on me. What a brat! <laughs> I know what I'll do. I'll sneak out. Yeah, it's what I've been doing since I was a baby. <laughs> Ooh, the park. This looks like fun. Oh, I could go swimming. I could go swing on the swings. Pfft, not sitting in any kind of baby jail. Whee! <laughs> Whee! This is fun. Who needs school anyway? Ah, another day at school. I'm so excited. I think I'll store my money in my locker that I made from babysitting. It'll be nice and safe in there. Did she just say she left money in her locker? <laughs> now I can steal it when she walks away. <laughs> well, better get to class. <laughs> she didn't even see me behind that bush. Now time to break into her locker. Oh, I've got to go be a student. Okay, no problem. I can do that. Perfect. What locker owned? That's okay. I have a way to just bust into this locker. <laughs> Ooh, there's the money. 
I can't wait to go to the mall with all this cash. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 100 dollars? Holy guacamole, I can buy something really cool at the mall. Caught you red-handed, Molly. Wait, what? What are you doing? I'm filming you, Molly. Stealing from my locker. No, I wasn't. You can't prove that. Uh, hello, duh. Of course I can. I've got a, I've got a camel right here. And I filmed the whole thing. Oh, well, I was just putting this money back. I, I wasn't taking your money. What? Did I hear it? It's, I just hear someone was stealing. Oh my gosh, it's the principal. Ugh. You are so in trouble, Molly. This is like the 10th time you've stolen this school year. What? It is? Well, you can't prove anything there, mean principal. Uh, actually, we can prove it, Molly. I have it on film, remember? I was just gonna put some money in Daisy's locker. You know, because I'm such a good person and all. Molly, I know that's not the truth. Give the money back, and it's detention for you. Ha ha, Molly. You are in trouble. You are in trouble. You just wait, Daisy. You'll pay for this. You'll pay for this. Okay, Molly, that's enough out of you. Come on, detention. You can have it in math class since that class is let out for the day. Fine. Oh, this is so boring. Quiet, please. And take out a piece of paper and start writing, I will not be a criminal about a thousand times. Okay, let me find my notebook. Where's that one I stole yesterday? What did you say? Nothing. I will not be a criminal. I will not be a criminal. <laughs> I'm not even really writing anything. <laughs> I will not be a criminal. I will not be a criminal. I will not be a criminal. Okay, I've got to go to the lunchroom because I'm super hungry. I need a snack. Try to not do anything silly, Molly. Nope, just going to be right here. I will not be a criminal. I will not be a criminal. <laughs> uh, yeah, right. I'm out of here. So boring. Oh, I don't have a car, though. What am I going to do? <gasps> Wait, there's Daisy's car. Oh, it's so adorable. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> I guess I should have paid attention in driver's head. <laughs> whoa, whoa, uh, uh-oh. I sort of slammed into the mayor's office. Oopsie! Well, good thing that this card isn't registered to me. See, it says Daisy. <laughs> so I guess she'll take the heat for that one. What kind of ice cream do they have today? Hi there. <laughs> I would love to take your order. What would you like? Oh, um... Well, the mayor said since I'm going to be the new mayor and starting next week, I get free ice cream. Wait, what? You're going to be the new mayor? But aren't you still in high school? Yeah, they're turning over a new leaf, you know, getting the young people involved. So I will have a scoop of everything. Okay, well, here you go. Mm, free ice cream. <laughs> She totally believed that lie, too. It was awesome. Now that I'm a grown-up and I'm a criminal as my profession, I thought I should start looking a little bit more professional. <laughs> There's Daisy. Now I just have to wait till she goes to lunch, go in, hack into the computer, and steal all the money. Ooh, my stomach's growling. Guess I better go into the back end, get some lunch. Perfect timing. I have to work quickly. First, I have to hack into this computer. <laughs> it's working! Right? Should start spitting out cash any minute now. Stacks of cash! Stacks of cash! I got me some stacks of cash! Oh yeah, I'm gonna buy a huge mansion, a brand new, um, let's see, what kind of, what kind of car do I want? Um, a Lamborghini! Uh-oh! Here comes the police! <gasps> oh my god, they're right outside! Okay, it's alright, it's alright, I'll just go up here and pretend I work here. Yeah, that'll work. Okay, I have to hide the money back here, and, um, okay, there we go. All right. Hands up, Molly! What? What are you talking about? I work here now. Oh, well, that's great. You got a job here, huh? Yeah! <laughs> Don't I look professional? Actually, I'm the manager. See why I'm wearing a suit? Oh, okay. Well, um, have a good day. I thought I got a call here that you were stealing things. Nope, I just work here. Don't I, Daisy? What? you don't. I'm your manager, remember? Now get back to work. She does not. I think she she hacked into my computer and stole all the money from the ATM. All right, Molly, you're under arrest. No, I'm not. I'm going to get out of here. I've got to get out of here. No way. <laughs> now, you can go quietly or we can do this the hard way. Oh, man. Molly, I knew sooner or later you were going to get caught. You've been a criminal since the day you were born. Okay, Molly, time to go to the slam. Oh, no! Can we at least listen to the radio? No. Um, can we go back and get the money I stole since I'm paying prison time for it? No. Can we stop at the grocery store? I really want a candy bar. No. 
Oh man, you're no fun. I'm not fun, I'm a cop. Oh my gosh, this room is terrible. Why do I have to wear this ugly outfit? I look terrible in orange. Because you're a prisoner. <laughs> you're a criminal. You have to wear a criminal outfit. And that's your room, so I hope you like it. Besides, you got a bunk bed. You're pretty lucky. What? This isn't lucky. Let me out of here. Not a chance. You're going to be in there till you're very old. What? No, I'm not. <laughs> Whatever. I'll just escape. I'll flush myself down the toilet, go into the sewer, and get out of here. Wait a minute. I don't... I, I don't fit. I'm too fat to fit down the toilet. Okay, maybe I could fit in the sink. No? Okay, there's got to be some sort of loophole. I've gotten out of every single jail, time out, and detention I have ever been put in since the day I was born. Oh my God. There's no way out. There's no way out! Okay, maybe there's some way in the ceiling or something. Wait, is that a vent? <laughs> Wait a minute. It goes to nowhere! Just face it, Molly. You're stuck in here. But, but the vent! It looked like it was gonna let me out of here! Not a chance, Molly. Not a chance. Oh, they thought of everything for criminals. You think you can escape that way, but of course you can't. <laughs> but, Daisy! Sorry, you do the crime... You do the time. Oh, man. Well, it won't be so bad. I'll be out of here soon enough. I'll be out of here soon enough, right? I'll be out of here soon enough. Oh, I'll be out of here soon enough. Soon enough, I'll be out of here. I'll be out of here soon enough. I'll be out of here soon enough. Oh, I'm never gonna get out of here. Well, hello there, Molly. <laughs> I think you've finally done your time. I've been in here for 70 years. You're finally coming back to let me out. Uh, actually, <laughs> that was my grandfather who put you in prison. I'm his grandson. I also became a cop. It's a family thing. Oh, well, that's really nice of you to finally let me out. Oh, I don't know what I'm going to do now, though. Well, you're free, but I suggest don't be a criminal anymore because <laughs> if we put you in jail again, you'll definitely die here. Oh, well, I guess thanks for letting me out. No problem, Granny. I mean, Molly. Oh, Oh, I wonder where Daisy is. Uh, I think she, um, still works at the bank. Well, I guess it's time for me to start up. Ah! Granny? Granny? Granny, are you okay? Oh, boy. I don't think she made it. And on the day she got out of prison. Well, that's the sad life of a criminal, I guess. <laughs> Once upon a time, there were two twin sisters who both wanted to adopt babies. There was Laura, who was always happy, and there was Dora, who was always grumpy. The two of them wanted more than anything to adopt a baby of their own. And this is their story. I cannot wait to adopt a baby. This is going to be amazing, Dora. You won't be a better mom than I am, Laura. I'm going to be an amazing mom. I'm going to be an amazing mom too, Dora. No, because I'm popular and you're not. Well, what does being popular have to do with anything? I have been popular since high school and it's going to mean that I'm super good at being a mom. Uh, Dora, I don't think it has anything to do with that. Well, we'll just see who the better mom is, okay? Okay, Dora, if you really want to. La, 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 la. Oh, hello, new clients. What can I do for you? Hi, I'm Laura, and this is my twin, Dora. Whoa, you guys look so much alike. I don't think we look alike at all. Really? You both have blonde hair. I mean, your faces look almost identical. Well, sort of. I have the pretty face. You mean you have the grumpy face, Dora? What did you say, Laura? Nothing, Dora. Oh, you guys even act like twins. What can I do for you today? We're both here to adopt. Oh, well, that's great news. Well, but there's some bad news, too. What? Bad news? What? Um, we only have one child left to adopt. Okay, well, it'll be mine then. Oh, <laughs> well, there's two of you and there's only one child. Well, Laura didn't want to be a mom that much anyway. What? Yes, I did, Dora. Don't say that. Well, why don't you guys meet the child and maybe she'll help you decide who should be her mom. Great idea. Let's meet her. Ooh, it's the toy hippo. I love that. Hi, hippo. Hi, hippo. Oh, you're so cute. You're my favorite. Even if it does look like you're eating my hand. Ah, stop eating my hand. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Whoa. <laughs> you have a lot of personality, don't you? 
Who are you? And you? I'm Dora. I'm going to be your mom. Wait, what? Dora? She she doesn't even know us yet. Don't say you're going to be her mom yet. She, she, she'll get scared. What? Are, are you guys here to adopt me? Um, Molly, they're just here to meet you right now, honey. Um, but there's two of them and only one of you. Uh, yeah, I see that. So, so what's going on? Brittany, I, I don't like this. It's making me scared. I want to stay here with you, Brittany. Oh, Molly, you know you can't stay at the adoption center forever. Don't you want a mommy of your own? I want you to be my mommy. Oh, that's so sweet, Molly, but I just work here. You should... See if you like Laura or Dora. You can choose which one you want to be your mom. Okay, I'll try it, Brittany. Okay, listen up! If you're gonna be my mom! Whoa, this kid has an attitude. We're gonna have to take care of that. Well, she's probably just scared, Dora. You're gonna be my mom! You gotta be nice! And you gotta give me ice cream! And you, and you gotta change my diapers! What? You're not potty trained? You can already talk. Why aren't you potty trained? Okay, you don't have to do that. I am potty trained. I was sort of wanting a baby. You're kind of grown up for me. Okay, well, I guess I can't choose a mom then because you don't want to be my mom. I could be your mom. I have a better idea. Why don't we each take her home and spend a day with her? And whoever she likes best, she can choose as her mom. Actually, Dora, that's a great idea. You think so? You're totally going to lose. Ah, <sighs> Dora, it's not really a competition. It's just to see who's the best mom for this little girl. What's your name? My name's Molly. Well, I'm Laura. But hopefully someday you'll call me mom. I'm Dora. You can call me Dora. Okay, Dora. I'll call you Dora. Well, who is going to take Molly home first? I'll take Molly. I always go first because I'm amazing. Now leave that silly hippo here. I don't want to leave hippo here. Actually, she can take hippo with her. No, she's too old for that toy. Come on. Okay. I guess I don't have to take hippo with me. Goodbye, hippo. You've meant the world to me. Ah! Oh, this is going really well, Dora. I'm sure she's going to choose you. Be quiet, Laura. She likes me, okay? Now come on. Hurry up. Keep up. I'm trying, but my legs are shorter than yours, Dora. Whatever. That's such a lame excuse. Okay. I have to go shopping, so you can come along with me. Ooh, are we going to go shopping for toys? Not a chance, brat. Why are you calling me brat? Oh, I said that, like, very lovingly. Come on, brat. I don't know if I like her calling me brat. That's not very nice. Oh, look. <laughs> Everything's on sale. It's just perfect. Ooh, I love that shirt. Um, Dora, could, could I have some new clothes? The orphanage doesn't have many outfits for me. No? What do I look like made of money? I don't have money to buy you clothes and me. And if it comes to you and me, it's definitely going to be me that buys stuff. Huh. Okay. Um, I guess I'll just go wait outside and get some fresh air. Ooh, a park. And Dora, 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 Dora. What? I'm trying to shop and you're being really annoying. What do you want? Um, can we go to the park when you're done? Please, please, please. No, I'm busy. I'm thinking about going to get an ice cream. I'm super hungry. Ooh, ice cream, my favorite. Come on, brat, let's go. Okay, I'm coming. Look both ways, da. You don't want to get hit by a car, do you? Uh, not really. Okay, you can get in my golf cart. Golf cart? You don't have a real car? This is a real car. It's what the popular people drive around Brookhaven. Whoa. Doesn't have a seatbelt, though. That seems kind of dangerous. Well, I didn't think I was going to have a kid so soon. Oh, there's the ice cream shop. Oh, that looks so delicious. I'm going to get one of every flavor. Well, come on, brat. Can we go to the arcade afterwards, please, Dora? Please, please. I haven't been out of the orphanage ever. No, sorry. This isn't like your special day out or something. What? No one's even working here? Well, I'll just take what I want then and leave the money. So rude. No one's even working. Mm, this is delicious. Uh, Dora, you forgot something. Oh, yeah. I forgot to put sprinkles on my ice cream. Pfft, duh. No, Dora. You forgot about me getting an ice cream. I don't have enough money for both of us to get an ice cream. Oh, are you going to share yours with my me? Absolutely not. Someone else licking your ice cream is the grossest thing ever. Ew. Now come here and sit down and be quiet, brat. Oh, look at the time, Dora. It's time for me to get back to the to the orphanage. Your time is up. 
What? It's only been two hours. I know, but, um, see you later. Brett, come back here. You can't walk on your own. Get back here. I know my way. Oh, my gosh. She was like the worst mom ever. Huh, huh, oh, my gosh. I'm so glad that this is over with. I just want to go see Brittany. Brittany! Molly, how was your day with Dora? I'm not doing this anymore. I'm not leaving the orphanage ever! Oh, my gosh. I knew this was going to be the case. Molly, I promise I'm not like my sister. She's just evil. Yeah, she is. You're both evil twins. Brittany, don't make me go. Molly, maybe, maybe Laura isn't like Dora. Can you just give her an hour or two to try it out? I don't know. Your twin is evil. I know she is. She's so a brat. But I promise, Molly, I'm not like that. Um, okay. I guess I'll go with you. But only for an hour. Wow, an hour? That's a pretty tall order to have me show you that I'm going to be a great mom in an hour. But here goes nothing. Hmm. When I was little, I loved going to the park and swinging on the swings. Do you like to do that? I don't know. I've never been to the park before. I live in an orphanage. Oh my gosh, that's so sad. Come on, I'll show you how. You still know how to swing on a swing even though you're a grown-up? Of course I do. I still have fun, you know. Whoa! Laura, this is so much fun! Whoa, 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 I'm getting dizzy. It's best to get off if you get dizzy, Molly. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Ow, the swing hit me! Ah! Oh, Molly, are you okay? Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry you, you got hurt on the swing. Are you alright? Yeah, I'm okay. Do you need a band-aid? No, I'm okay. Thanks for asking, though. Aw, it's okay. So, um, do you, um, need anything? What do you mean? Like, um, maybe some lunch? Ooh, lunch would be great. Or, or dinner, since it's getting kind of late. Yeah, I guess your time with Dora did take a lot of time up during the day, huh? It is time for dinner. Let's go to the Brooks Diner. Ooh, I always wanted to eat there. Look both ways, brat. What? What'd you say? Oh, that's what Dora said. Look both ways, brat. She called you a brat? Yeah. Oh, Molly, I'm so sorry you had to, to go through that. Everything's going to be okay now, though. You seem really nice. Well, you seem really nice, too. What are you going to order? I don't know. I just miss my hippo. Well, good thing I brought him along. <gasps> you brought my hippo? Oh, my gosh. Thanks so much. You shouldn't have to live without your stuffed animal. That's just mean. How's burger and fries sound? Delicious! Mmm, this is really good. Mmm, mmm, mmm. I love this diner. It's my new favorite place to eat. I mean, I've only ever ate at the orphanage before, but... Mmm, this is really good. I have to agree, it is pretty delicious. Well, what should we do now, Molly? Do you want to go pick out some new clothes? Really? Dora took me there, but she said I couldn't pick out anything. Well, I'm nothing like my evil twin sister. Come on, let's go. Oh, wow, Molly. The hour's almost up. We have to hurry. We'll have to go on a super fast shopping spree. Look both ways, brat. Come on, Molly. Don't let anyone call you a brat. You're not a brat. But definitely look both ways. Wow, you're taking me to the Rockstar store? That's amazing. Yeah, let's pick out a brand new outfit for you. Okay, let's do it. Hmm. Look at this alien outfit! This is so cute! Well, you can buy that if you want, Molly. What else do you like? Um, no, that's too grown up. Um, oh my gosh, this is cute too! And I need new pajamas! Okay, well, we'll take all three of these, please. Okay, let me just package that up for you. I'm gonna wear this one, okay, Mom? I mean, Laura, did you just call me Mom? Um, yeah? Oh my gosh, that makes me so happy. Okay, well, our hour is up. Come on, we have to go, Molly. Okay. Back to the orphanage I go. Molly, you're back. How did it go? I see you got a new outfit. Wow, that's amazing. Yeah, I had a great time. Of course she did. I knew she'd pick me. I'm the world's best mom. What? No, you're not, Dora. You're a terrible mom. I would never pick you if you were the last person on the planet. What? Don't talk to me like that, you little brat. 
Don't talk to my daughter that way, evil twin. What? She's not your daughter. Yes, I am. She's my mom. Oh, Molly, you picked a mom? That's amazing. I'm going to miss you, Brittany. You were like my first mom or my sister or something. But I really like Laura, and, and she's going to be my mom forever. Well, all we have to do is fill out the paperwork then. I am so offended right now. Ugh, this is so annoying. You're the worst twin ever. Tell me about it, Dora. You're so evil. Goodbye, Dora. Goodbye! Wait a minute. Does this mean she's my aunt? Well, yeah, technically, but we don't really have to hang out with her very much. Just maybe for an hour on Christmas. Oh, man. Well, if it means you get to be my mom, Laura, I guess I'll have to endure it. I'm so happy that I made a match today. You guys are going to be the perfect mom-daughter team. I think so, too. Thanks, Brittany. Thanks, Brittany! Come on, Mom. Let's go home. Now here's your passy. <laughs> the baby went potty goes. Someone needs a diaper change. Wee wee. Oh no, she's miserable again. Oh boy. Huh, I don't like any of these other babies. I don't like it. We're gonna keep whining. Wee. Wow, Molly, you're the bratiest baby ever. I can be a brat if I want to. <laughs> Molly, you're about to step on that other baby. Be careful. <laughs> Too many pop-ups. <laughs> wow, someone needs to put that big baby in timeout. Here, maybe if you have your teddy bear, you'll be happier. Finally, the big baby is happy. Now, maybe she'll try not to kill all of us. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. What's this baby food? Mm. This looks delicious. I definitely want some of this. No, don't eat that. You're going to get even bigger than you already are. Oh, no. This isn't going to be good. Whoa, look at this giant food. Holy guacamole. I definitely need that. Wait a minute. Why am I so small? <laughs> Marty, you must have shrank back. What? No, that can't be. No, I was a big baby. I want to be a big baby. Oh, trust me, Marty. You're a big baby, all right. <laughs> I'm back to being big baby. You can say that again, big baby. Be quiet. Baby wants what baby wants. Oh, brother. Watch out, my sister's gone psycho again. And she's a giant whiny baby. I'm a big baby. Oh, yeah? <laughs> I'm a bigger baby. Whee! Ow! <laughs> Uh-oh, Molly. Looks like they were about to get in a brawl. Fight, 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 Molly. Get him. Oh, you shouldn't. Oh, <laughs> you shouldn't pick on other babies that are bigger than you. Look what happened. Oh, I can't believe you killed me. Oh, I'm gonna drink my bottle. It was me. I know what I'll do. Hey, he's still hitting me. Rude. Okay, I'm. That's it. That's it. Take that! Take that! And that! And that! Oh, 
god. Yeah, he killed me again. Do I want to enter area four? Not really. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna get one of these big baby foods and I'm gonna eat it, and then I'm gonna be able to beat up anybody. Here I go. It was 149 Robux. Mmm. Well, that's delicious. <laughs> so good. Now guess what kind of baby I'm gonna be? Gigantic! <laughs> now I'm a bigger baby. Bigger than everyone! <laughs> everyone shall bow down to me! Ooh, a rumble. Yes, yes, yes. Uh-oh. This person's way bigger than me. Wait a minute. I thought I was the biggest baby of them all. No fair! <laughs> Molly, you're beating up your own sister. Uh-oh. Look at the brawl is against me. And this other little tiny baby. And this other little itty bitty 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 baby. Oh. The baby's a preemie. It's so cute. I'm sorry that I have to beat you guys up. It's a part of the brawl, but. Okay, bye guys. Oh, I can't even I can't even get that little baby because it's so small. Ow, what? who knocked me over? That little tiny preemie? It was crazy. Hey, don't pick up my sister, mister. Don't pick on my sister. That's right. That's right. No one gets to pick on my sister but me. Molly! <laughs> Ow! What are you doing? Daisy, I was defending you! Well, too bad, Molly. No, too bad for you. Uh-oh. Now it's me against this other big baby. No! No, you will not defeat me! No! Oh, Molly, are you gonna cry some more? Yes! <laughs> that makes me sad. Ow! Someone just threw me! <laughs> I need a bottle! Whee! <laughs> oh, boy. You're the whiniest giant baby I've ever known. Whatever, Daisy. Daisy, don't do it. You're gonna come over here and beat me up. You're gonna be sorry. You're gonna be sorry! Told ya! Told ya, Daisy! What? I can't believe that! Well, believe it. I'm bigger than you. I'm also the older sister, and anybody that comes near me is going to be a squished baby. I'm not even bothering you, Molly. Get away from me, Molly. Okay, fine. Here comes somebody else to be, like, so mean. I'm not going to let him know. You're the only one that's being crazy around here, Molly. You need to sit in timeout. I don't want to sit in timeout. Nobody understands why you're being so rude, Molly, and so whiny and mean. But you need to stop it right now, big baby. Okay. That's it. You need a nap. I knew it. You look so sleepy. Okay. I'll sing you a little lullaby. Go to sleep, big baby. Quit your whining. It's annoying when you try. To kill us all Go to sleep, Molly Go to sleep, Molly Oh, I think she's asleep Wait, why is she sleeping with her eyes open? Because I'm not really asleep! <laughs> Molly! How dare you try to take make me take a nap! <laughs> I'm coming for you all! That was so rude! <laughs> well, today my sister is at camp and I didn't want to go. Um, so I have a new babysitter and I'm sure she's going to be super nice because every babysitter I've ever had has been super nice. So it's time to go middle! I am DC and um, I was just wondering, are you excited to be my babysitter today? No, I'm not excited to be your babysitter. I could have gone to a pool party, but no, I had to be here all day. Whoa, you're grumpy. Now go to your room right now. Why, you didn't do anything wrong. Yes, you did. You talked to me. Ooh, wow, she's a mean babysitter. Grumpy, grumpy. 
Let's escape! Do, 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 do. Time to escape. How do I get out of here? There's so many doors. Okay, this one looks pretty good. Whoa, this babysitter's made a mess. My mom's not going to be happy about that. Nope, nope, nope. She's going to be so mad when she sees it in here. Oh, I'm already outside. Okay, this is good. Things are going pretty good. Where are you, little kid? You're supposed to be in your room. I know you're outside. Oh, no, she followed me. Now I have to run. <sighs> getting away from the grumpy babysitter. Getting away from the grumpy babysitter. Don't touch the wall. It's still electrified. Boing, 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 boing. My name is DC. Just like the flower. I got Roblox. Flower power. Not really need it because every time I touch anything, I explode into a marshmallow head. Boing. 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 Don't touch the sand because you're in Texas and it will boil your feet, see? <laughs> so hot here, seriously. I just want it to be snowy. I want to go live with Santa is because it's too hot in Texas. I don't like it. Why do you think I wear my hair in pigtails all the time? Because it's too hot to wear it any other way. Jeez. I love all blacks. Yes, I do. I love all blacks. How about you? Do, do, do. I love all blacks. Yes, I do. I love all blacks. How about you? Whee! <laughs> that was fun. Guys, if you love Roblox as much as me, slam that like button. Come on, guys. Give this video a huge thumbs up. It'll make me so happy. And this is my new channel, Gaming with DZ. So I need you guys to support me, okay? Because I know you guys love me and stuff. Okay, guys. Now I have to jump over these lava sand um thingies. Because if I don't, again, it will mount my shoes. And my feet. It, that would be bad. Feel we bad. Oh, did you think you were going to get away from me that fast? Um, well, yes. Yes, I did. No way. <laughs> I just shrunk you down. See if you can escape now. Oh, no. This grumpy babysitter just shrunk me. And now I have to try to escape the kitchen. Ay, ay, ay. Looks like we were going to have pizza, too. This babysitter ruins everything. Now I feel like I should have gone to camp with Molly. She's totally going to be like, I told you so, Daisy. Maybe I could call her. Um, there are no phone calls. But it's my phone and it's my house. Not right now it's not. Right now it's my house. I'm the babysitter, so I'm in charge. I don't like this, not even one bit. I wish I was a grown-up right now, because you'd be fired with a capital F for failed babysitter. I give you an F on your babysitter test. If there was a test to be a babysitter, you would get a giant F on yours. So you're grumpy and mean, and I don't like you. There, I said it! And I'm not mean either, but I just said it, you're mean. You're grumpy. And I don't like it. Oh, whoa, I almost fell. Then I'd be stuck with this babysitter forever. Okay, let's sneak out. She doesn't know I'm in here. What? She turned our living room into lava? Oh, something tells me I'm going to get blamed for this one. My mom, I hope my mom believes this was a grumpy babysitter. Wait a minute. She has to believe me. How am I going to put lava in the living room? I'm just a kid. Jeez. Yeah, you're definitely going to get fired. Mom's going to make you clean all this up. I don't know how you're going to sweep up lava. It's going to melt your broom, baby Sado. Ooh, I'm outside. See you, baby Sado. Now I just have to learn how to drive a car. Hmm. That seems like it might be a little tricky. Nah, driving the car should be pretty easy, right? <laughs> Whoa, um, 
Yeah, I'm not good at walking on tight ropes. Just gonna say that right now. Whoa! Okay, <laughs> I just landed on top of my window, so but it saved my life, so I'm super happy about that. Hey, who's that down there? I don't know, he died. He died before he could he could even escape the grumpy babysitter. Okay, let's get out of here. Whoa, I almost died right there, but I didn't. Thank goodness. Phew. Where did that little girl go? Ugh, what a baby. I'm not a baby. You take that back. Wait a minute. I think I know where she is. She went outside. No, I didn't. I'm still in my room. See? Ugh, no one's in her room. Okay, I'm going to go out and get her. Oh, no. Here comes the babysitter. I should have just stayed quiet. Bling, bling, bling. Whoa! I made it! Hooray! Bling, 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 bling. So much jumping, jumping. Oh! No! I made it that whole way. And then I died at the end. I have to keep trying, though, because who wants to stay with this stinky babysitter? I mean, she's not literally stinky. But she's stinky like... She's stinky like mean and grumpy. Nobody likes a grumpy babysitter. Boing. 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 Wait till I tell my sister Molly about this. She'll probably be like, oh my gosh, that's terrible. Whoa, I feel like I'm on top of the world right now. Pretty soon the babysitter is not going to find me up here. Oh, really? I could say something totally different, and I am going to say something totally different. I found you. Wow, that was witty. <laughs> boing. Boing. Running super fast from the baby saddle. Okay, this is part is really hard. Uh, I hope I can get out of here super fast, kiss. Um, trying to run really fast, but it's hard to run really fast and jump. I'm right behind you. I'm um, really because I don't see you, Slowpoke. I think I'm way faster than you. And I think I'm smarter than you. There, I said it. <laughs> I read a lot of books, so I'm very smart. Whoa! Oh my gosh, I almost died right there. Oh, no! Oh, do, 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 do. That's my sad song that I sing when I die. Oh no, here we go. I'm right after you again. <sighs> Don't you worry, babysitter. You're never going to catch me. Not ever. I have super speed. Do, 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 do. I just ran my face into that. <laughs> Whoopsie. Okay, now I have to go up here, up here, up here. Close up of my pigtails. <laughs> oh, wow. That was super scary. This, this part is so hard. No! Oh, I need some flower power, guys. Come on, say it with me. My name is DC. Just like the flower. I've got the blocks. Flower power. Okay, I was busy concentrating on the song and I accidentally fell off the edge. Whoops, let's try that again. <laughs> Sorry, but that looked kind of funny. <laughs> Here we go again. Do, 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 Oh, yeah. Let's do this, peeps. Just so you know, if you're a Roblox noob, this might be hard. It might be even harder even if you're not a Roblox noob, because look at me. having a hard time doing this, seriously. Let me out of here. Maybe if I just wish with the flower power, I can get out of here. I'm going to close my eyes and make a wish. Whoa, it worked. I wish that I could be passed out and away from the babysitter. And guess what, guys? It worked. Flower power is a weird thing. That's why my name is Daisy. That's right. That's why I'm special, too. Let's escape the baby. Say it, 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 it
Okay, sometimes when you have to climb up walls like this, I fall like 6,000 times. But I've been practicing, and hopefully my practice means something right now, because if not, I'm going to be stuck with this annoying babysitter forever. Oh, I'm stuck right here! I'm coming for you, you little baby. I wish you'd stop calling me a baby! I'm not a baby. I'm not a baby at all. Okay, let's go. Oh, I keep hitting my head. I don't understand. Ouch. Why did they put these so close together? That was just bad design work. Yes, I made it. Hooray. I guess all that practice um, paid off. Even though, basically, I almost just fell. <gasps> yes, I finally escaped a babysitter. Hooray. Now I can have so much fun. I'm gonna take a spaceship out of here. See you later, babysitter. Hey, I was supposed to be babysitting you. I better still get my $50. I took the $50. Now I'm going to go to the toy store with it. Bye. <laughs> hey, come back here, baby. You can't take that spaceship. Come back here. Whatever. Bye-bye. <laughs> hey, Kevin with Daisy fans. Thanks so much for watching my silly video today. <laughs> Guys, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. Oh my gosh, I totally just died. <laughs> that was funny, my spaceship crashed. Anyway, guys, I'll see you next time. Thank you for being the best fans in the whole world. Bye! <laughs>
Jeepers creepers. Okay, now I gotta go back to being a rock star. Get up, Marley! Daisy, you locked me out of the house? Are you serious right now? You are so spoiled, Marley. Whatever. I have a secret key. It's right here under the mat. <laughs> I'm back in. Good riddance to my sister. Now I can really concentrate on my homework. I'm in Granny's house and I'm kind of sad I came. I'm in Granny's house and she's totally insane. Wow, Molly, it's sounding really good. Uh, that's a really interesting song you've picked. <laughs> right? I'm in Granny's house and I'm kind of sad I came. I'm in Granny's house and she's totally insane. I still can't concentrate. Molly's too loud. Okay, fine. I'll go do something else until Daisy's done with her homework. Well, I just decided to eat something. Ooh, this looks delicious. Molly, don't take it all, you pig. I wanted some too. Daisy, don't be mean to your sister. But she got more than me. Does it really matter if I got more than you, Daisy? Yes, it matters, Molly. Jeez. I'm going in here to eat. Um, Daisy, why don't you sit out here with the... Daisy? Why don't you sit out here with us? Daisy, you have to sit at the table for dinner, please. Fine. Hmm. I don't usually like salad, Mom. This is delicious. I... I... I was just wondering if maybe I could have more salad. Hey! Molly ate it all! <laughs> oh, I'm so full. Maybe excused. Mom, Molly ate way more than I got to eat. Well, Daisy, you decided to go to your room. Ugh, this is so annoying. My sister is so spoiled. No, I'm not. Okay, I'm going to go play my game. It's going to be awesome. Which game do I want to play? Ping pong. Oh, yeah. This game is so fun. Molly, remember we're partners for the science project, which, by the way, was not my idea. Mrs. Harris said we had to. What well, Daisy can't hear you. Molly, I need your half of the science project. Uh, Daisy, okay, I'll get to it later. No, you won't, Molly. Then we'll both fail. Uh-huh, yeah. Mm -hmm. No, not uh-huh. I don't want to fail, Molly. Okay, I'm going to go tell Mom. No, wait, Daisy! Yep, I'm gonna go tell her. Okay, well, you could just tell her that um, you're such a tattletale then. I'm not, Molly. I'm just... Girls, are you arguing again? Oh, my goodness. I need a vacation all by myself. <laughs> Mom, a vacation all by yourself. That's a good one. You'd miss us. Um, yeah, sure. I'd really miss you. <laughs> Mom. Mom, Molly and I are supposed to be partners for a science project due tomorrow. And, and well, Molly has to do half and I have to do half. And I did my half, but Molly didn't do her half. Is that true, Molly? Uh, well, um, no, not entirely. Because I planned on um, getting the rest of it done as soon as I get finished playing this game with my friend. Um, Brookie Cookie's online and, and I'm playing a game of ping pong with her. Well, Molly, you have been her working harder at school, so I guess you can play a game. What? Does she can't? Why can't she play a game? I mean, if she doesn't do this, I'm going to fail. Molly, did you hear that? If you don't get your work done, your sister will fail too. Uh-huh. I heard you. Don't worry. She's not going to fail. Okay, Molly. Well, as long as you promise. But she didn't promise. I didn't hear her say promise. Ooh. My sister is such a spoiled brat. You're a spoiled brat, Molly. What? Can't hear you, Daisy. <laughs> Molly, if I have to do your half of the science project, I'm gonna scream. That's it. I'm unplugging your computer. Hey! Daisy, I was right in the middle of the game with Brookie Cookie. Well, now you're right in the middle of doing your science project. Oh, I can't believe I have to go outside and collect leaves from the trees. We have to properly identify trees in our yard. Uh-huh, I can't hear you, Daisy. Oh, now that my sister's gone, I can just swing around back here and just jump in the pool and relax. Ooh, I can jump off the trampoline. Woo! Went into the pool. 
It says here, according to this, Molly, there are trees in the backyard. Over here are maple trees. Molly, what are you doing in the pool? I'm chillaxing. Molly, I don't even know what that means. It means chill and relaxing all at the same time. Get out of the pool! Fine, so bossy. And you're so spoiled. Okay, I think this is the maple tree. No, no, no. Okay, yeah, that's the maple tree. <laughs> I told you. Look at all these leaves. This is going to be easy, Daisy. No, Molly, you have to get the ones up at the top. Oh, my gosh. Okay, I'm going to try to get one. Uh, 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 I can't even reach it. Okay, let me try something else. No, nope, that didn't work either. Okay, let me try. Um, Yeah, I just give up. I'm going to sit down and relax under this tree in the shade. Molly, we have to get the leaves that are still green. Well, you get on that, Daisy. I'm going to chill here. Like I said, my sister is the most spoiled person in the whole world. Molly, what are you doing? Are you helping or are you just sitting under the tree? Help your sister. Ha ha, Molly, you finally got caught. <laughs> and I'm done with my half, so I'm going to jump in the leaves. One, two, three. <laughs> oh, brother. Now who's spoiled? You are Molly 100%. Hi, Kim Big with DC fans. Welcome to my pool party. What? I'm so excited about this pool party. I was invited, right, Daisy? Of course, cutie. Um, you were all invited in my pool party. Did you get my invitation? I did, and I'm so excited about the pool party today. I know, right? Me too. Now, let's see. Where's my bestie, Bookie Cookie? <gasps> She's not here! Oh my gosh, she didn't come to my pool party! Oh no! Wait a minute. I better call her on the phone and ask her because I feel like she would come to my pool party and I don't know why she wouldn't, so I'm gonna call her and ask her. Let me get out my guy phone. Okay. Bookie Cookie's number. There it is! It's ringing. Hey Daisy, what's up? Hey, Bookie Cookie! Oh, why are you wearing your bathing suit? Are you at the pool? Yeah, why aren't you here? What are you talking about? Um, you didn't invite me? What? Yes, I did! I'm having this huge pool party and everybody's coming and you're not here! Um, well, I didn't get my invitation. What? Yes, I, I sent you an invitation! I think, anyway. I put it right on the counter in my kitchen! Um, well, I'm sorry, Daisy. I didn't get it. Well, you could still come. Ask your mom if you could come to my pool party today. Okay, Daisy, hold on. Mom, can I go to Daisy's pool party? What did she say? What did she say? She said, yeah, I can. Oh, my gosh. Okay, I'll see you in 10 minutes. Bye, Bookie. Bye, Daisy. Okay, I'm just going to wait in the pool for my friend. Hey, Daisy, great party. Thank you. Oh my goodness, this is so cool. I'm going to have the best pool party in the whole world. First, I want to go up this slide. Then when I get done with that, I bet Pookie will be at my pool party. Oh, ouch! I fell! Ouchie! I fell right in my bum bum. <laughs> Okay, if you come to the pool, this slide right here is totally insane. Daisy, is that you way out there in the pool? Bookie, hold on, I'm coming over. Don't jump in the pool, Bookie, we'll jump in together. Okay, Daisy, I'll wait for you. Bookie, I'm so happy to see you. You're my best friend, you have to come to my parties. Oh, I'm so happy to be here, Daisy, this is great. Whoa, someone made a total mess over there um, at the soda machine. Yeah, crazy. Let's go take a selfie by it. Okay, Bookie, if you really want to. Of course I do. This is insane. Um, This is a huge mess. Come on, let's take a, let's take a selfie. Um, Daisy, don't drink the soda off the ground. Ew. Oh, <laughs> I was just picking it up to put it in the trash. Sure you were, Daisy. Say cheese. Ew! 
Daisy, you drank the Pepsi off the ground. Gross. Yeah, but I was really thirsty. <laughs> okay, whatever you say, Daisy. Pookie, let's jump in the pool. On the count of three. One. Pookie, come on. I'm coming, I'm coming. One, two, three. <laughs> We're best friends and we jumped in the pool together. Let's play Marco Polo. Okay, let's do it. I'll go first. Marco. Polo. Marco. Polo. Ooh, I can't even see who Pookie Cookie is. Marco. Polo. <laughs> I almost got you, Pookie. Where's Pookie? I don't hear her. Marco. Polo. What is going God? Okay, I give up. Don't give up, Daisy. I'm sure you're going to catch me eventually. Okay, I keep trying. Okay, close your eyes. Marco. Polo. Marco. Polo. Marco. Polo. What? What's... Molly, what are you doing here? What do you mean, what am I doing here? I'm at the pool party. Molly, this was just for my friends, not sisters. Uh, I'm your friend, Daisy. Molly, you're my sister. Okay, well, I'll even be Marco and you can be Polo. Molly, I... What is going on? You said it'd be at my pool party. Well, then why did you send me an invitation? I didn't send you an invitation, Molly. Um, guys, don't fight, okay? It's not cool to fight. Yeah, guys, don't fight. Hey, cutie, um... Thanks for coming to my pool party, but my sister has to go home now. I'm not going home. I want to be at the pool party. Besides, you sent me an invitation. Why'd you do that? I didn't. You left it right on the counter for me. Oh, Buado. That was supposed to be for Bookie Cookie. No wonder she didn't get her invitation to the pool party. What? You didn't send me an invitation? You mean that was Brookie Cookie's and it wasn't mine? Yeah, Marley, that's right. But, why wouldn't you invite me? Because you're an annoying older sister. Just like you say I'm an annoying younger sister. But Daisy, that wasn't very nice. Um, Daisy, can I talk to you over here? Why? Um, just because I want to talk to you over here by the corner of the pool. Okay, fine. Okay, Bookie, what is it? Bookie? Where were you? Come up here, Daisy. What is it, Bookie? Look, I know you think your sister's annoying, and your sister thinks you're annoying sometimes. I know, because sisters can just be annoying, I'm sure, but I think you really hurt Molly's feelings by not inviting her to the pool party. But I didn't want her to annoy me at it. Well, sometimes sisters annoy you, but doesn't mean that you can be mean to each other. I think you should invite her to the party. I mean, you love her, right? She's your sister. Of course I love her, but I don't know why I didn't invite her. I guess it was kind of me. Yeah, but it's okay. Everybody makes mistakes, Daisy. Why don't you just go and say you're sorry? You're probably right, Pookie Cookie. I could go over and tell her I'm sorry and even give her a Pepsi. She'd love that. Good idea, Daisy. Good luck. Thank you, Bookie, for being the bestest friend in the whole world. I have to go find Molly. Can't believe I didn't get invited to the party. <laughs> Molly, Molly. What, Daisy? What do you want? Molly, I came over to say I'm really sorry I didn't invite you to my party. Well, that's because you said I'm annoying. But guess what? You're annoying. No, I'm not. You're annoying. You're annoying. No, you're annoying. You're annoying. But I don't even know why I came over here, Molly. Goodbye. Boom, chicka, boom, chicka, boom, boom, boom. A boom, chicka, boom, chicka, boom, boom, boom. A boom, chicka, boom, chicka, boom, boom, boom. Daisy, how did it go? Uh oh, Bookie Cookie's talking to me from Overdale. I'm not gonna tell her how it went. I'm gonna go up here and hide where she can't find me. 
Um, Daisy, I'm right behind you. Oh, it went okay. Except for my sister caught me annoying, so I didn't invite her to the party. Daisy, oh, come on. Come over here with me. I'll solve this between you two. Well, tell my sister to be less annoying and there'd be nothing to solve. Tell my sister to be less annoying and there'd be nothing to solve. Okay, guys. I'm going to ask you some questions and you have to answer them honestly. Okay, that should be easy enough for me. Are you calling me a liar? I'm not a liar. No, Molly, I'm calling you annoying. Okay, enough, guys. Seriously. Ugh. Well, I'm just saying she's annoying. Do you guys want to do push-ups? Push-ups? Why? Because if you can't behave, I'm going to make you do push-ups. Whoa, you should be a gym teacher when you grow up. Oh, a drill sergeant. <laughs> okay, guys. So, Daisy, do you love your sister Molly? Of course I do. And Molly, do you love your sister Daisy? Uh, well, uh... Molly! Yes, I love my sister Daisy with all of my heart. Then there you go. Sometimes the people who love us, or who we love, annoy us. It's just a part of being human. But it doesn't mean you shouldn't be nice to each other or apologize. I guess she has a point, Molly. Yeah, I guess so. I'm sorry, Molly. You're invited to my pool party. It's okay, Daisy, that you're annoying and I accept your invitation. Molly! <laughs> now let's get to the party! See what I'm talking about, Brookie Cookie? Oh, yeah, yeah, sisters. Boom, chicka, boom, chicka, boom, boom, boom. A boom, chicka, boom, chicka, boom, boom, boom. Hey, gaming with Daisy fans, thanks so much for watching my pool party. Don't forget to subscribe to my new channel and hit the notification bell. We see you guys next time. Bye! <laughs>
can't climb up here. What am I saying? He's a wolf. He can go anywhere. Oh, OMG. Wait, can wolves climb trees? I don't think they can. Okay. I'm just going to go up onto this tree. That'll, that'll keep me safe, right? I think. Oh, my gosh. A wolf is chasing me. I should have never left the orphanage. Oh, Look at his face. He looks evil. He looks terrifying. Oh, man. I really need a mom or a dad right now to save me. OMG! Two wolves? Oh my gosh, this is not good. Okay, what should I do? It doesn't seem like they can come up here. Okay, I'm gonna jump into the cemetery and just run! Run so fast! Oh my gosh, maybe if I just go over here and hide, they won't know. Maybe I should go in the grave! Yeah, they won't think to go in there. Oh. Oh, man, how am I going to get out of here now? Oh, my gosh, I'm too short to jump out. And I think they saw me come down here. Awoo! Awoo! Oh, MG, my first night out of the orphanage, and I'm going to be some wolf's dinner. Awoo! Ah, it's a, it's a, it's a, a little kid wolf? She's helping me out. Why? Do you want to make me your dinner? Oh, of course not. Are you crazy? Oh my gosh, you talk? Of course I do. I'm a sophisticated wolf, silly. OMG, I, I, I don't want to be your dinner. Or are those your parents? Yeah, they're my parents, and they don't want to eat you for dinner either. They were just trying to ask you if you were all alone. Do, do, they, do they speak human? Of course we do. Uh, yeah, but we're still working on it. <laughs> We've been speaking wolf for so long. Oh! Whoa, are you guys nice or are you just trying to prank me? Oh, don't we look nice? Uh, no, Daddy Wolf. You don't look nice. You look evil. Hey, that's not very nice. I can't help it. I was born to look this way. Well, dear, your eyes do look a little creepy. Yeah, they look super creepy, Dad. No offense to anything. Oh, I thought that they looked awesome. Well, they're awesome, but they're just creepy to humans. That's all. Wolves think it's super cool. Whoa. Uh, okay, uh, I'll see you guys later. Wait a minute. Did you come from the orphanage? Yeah, why? Do you need a family? Um, yeah, I could really use a mom or a dad. <laughs> well, maybe my mom or dad could... Mom and Dad could adopt you. Uh, sorry, but we're different species. <laughs> I can't be a part of your wolf family. See, I don't have pointy ears. I don't have a tail. I don't howl. Well, we could teach you how to howl, and the rest of it don't worry about. Yeah, you could be a part of our family. Uh, woo! Oh, I love that idea. She's so cute. Uh, I don't know about this. So this seems like a bad idea. You don't have to be afraid of us. We're nice wolves, and... And we'll be your family. Wait, really? I mean, you're not what I pictured as a family, but you seem really nice. And you rescued me out of that hole in the cemetery. Yeah, that was no problem. I can jump really high because I'm a wolf. So we, it's a full moon, so we, we howl a lot. A it's just in our nature. <laughs> full moon me means howl a lot. Yeah, we love to howl at the moon. You can try it, little girl. Okay, I don't know how good I'm gonna be though. I'm I'm a human, not a not a wolf. It's okay. Give it your best shot. Okay. Ha 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 ha. Oh boy, that won't do it all. Try it like this. Howoo! Well, you're good at it because you're a kid wolf. You can be good at it too. No, come on. If you want to be a part of the wolf family, howl at the moon. Maybe she just needs to find the moon. Yeah, I don't see it anywhere. You guys are really good at finding the moon. But I'll try it without it. Well, go ahead. Wait a minute. What's your name? My name's Molly. Okay, Molly. <laughs> nice to meet you. Go ahead. Howl at the moon. Howl! She did it! Hooray! Family, come on. We have to go back to the lair. The sun is coming up. Well, that's a good thing, you know, if you're human. Not if you're a wolf. Come on, everybody, let's go! Uh, your house looks kind of haunted. I don't know. I 
think maybe I was better off at the orphanage. Don't be silly, little human. Come on. Yeah, come on. Our house is really nice. We have an extra room just for you. Well, it's definitely kind of creepy, but it's a house. Oh, that's right. <laughs> Don't mind us. We keep it a little dark in here because we are werewolves. Um, okay. Um, there's a coffin over there. And, um, well, at least they've got a washer and dryer. That's cool. Can I go see my room? Um, mom and dad wolf. Oh, she called us mom and dad. She's going to be an adorable baby human wolf. I don't know. Is she ever going to turn into a wolf? No, she's not going to turn into a wolf. She's a human. Ay, ay, ay. Your boob could be um, right in here if you want it to be. Oh, wow. Why is there a cage in here? Oh, that's just for once a month when, you know, we, um, well, it's a full moon. But you guys were out last night on a full moon. Yeah, but sometimes we get a little too crazy. Oh my gosh, what have I gotten myself into? You've gotten yourself into a nice family who will care about you always, wolf or not. I guess I couldn't do any better for a family. I mean, these wolves seem to really care about me. Yeah, we'll teach you the way of the wolf. Now let me see you swish your tail. I don't have a tail. We'll just try anyway. How's this? Um, yeah, we got some work to do on your tail swishing. <laughs> That's okay. T That's okay, Sister Wolf. <laughs> I'm sure I'll get it eventually. Yeah, I'm super good at swishing my tail. I see that. You're super good at it. Maybe it's because you have a tail. <laughs> You'll fit in. Don't worry. 